MRS Xia happened to be sitting at the table with MRS Lu, and said with a smile, Aunt Lu is really good at joking, who doesn't know that conserving a house is a big event in life, so naturally, she has to bring out the best in the house to entertain guests and eat them to the fullest. The main family will add blessings, longevity, and popularity, inherit good family traditions, and increase good luck. Even if it's not for yourself, for your children and grandchildren, even if you don't have money, you can borrow money to make a big table of good dishes. After finished speaking, he looked at MRS Tian, do you think so? Tian Shi didn't protect Murong Lingran and was thrown out by his sister-in-law Gao Shi, and he always felt ashamed. Seeing that there was a good opportunity to help Murong Zhe's family, he quickly said, yes, this housewarming is a major event, and it is not easy to be careless. Also, Aunt Lu, how can you say that you haven't eaten meat for two months? Every time I go to your kitchen, I smell meat, so you don't have to say it so badly, everyone knows you how did you treat your eldest son and family, there is no need to ruin his reputation. Shi Xia said again, yes, at the beginning, when the eldest son and the sick granddaughter were driven away recklessly, it is not bad that others still recognize you as a biological mother. How dare you ask others for money? I'm not ashamed. Lu Shi choked and immediately stared at Tian Shi and Xia Shi sullenly. Sure enough, there is nothing good about Murong Zhe. Tian Shi suddenly thought of something after speaking, and burst into a smile. Lu Shi frowned impatiently, what are you laughing at? Mr. Tian shook his head, it's nothing, I just thought, if I were you, I would definitely regret it now, why did you separate such a capable son from the family? Is it yours? Actually, I heard a saying before, that kind people will definitely have good luck. God is watching, doesn't this Murong family agree with this principle? Do you think so? Murong Ching was too young to interject, and she also felt that they were all right, so she could only relieve her embarrassment by eating stuffed. Murong Cai is a man. Hearing that, it is not easy to compare with a few women. Like Murong Ching, he chooses some favorite dishes and devours them. As for the Lu family, Chen family, and Murong Shui, their faces were as black as the bottom of a pot. Who knows how Murong's family is so lucky, they can get so much money even if they lose their hands. I don't know if I want to invite my parents to live in a new house. What kind of people are their family? God must have been deceived by them. Murong Liang glared at Lu Shi fiercely. You can't stop your mouth if you have something to eat. If you talk again, go home immediately. Since Lu was beaten last time, she was a little afraid of Murong Liang. After all, there are two if one beats her once, and if she dares to beat her once, she will beat her twice. I was afraid that he would really do it. If there were too many people here, it would be too embarrassing for her to be beaten. Seeing that everyone was concentrating on eating meat, she had to start grabbing meat to eat. Chapter 161 I Didn't Die At this time, Fei Kai, Su Mama and another maid were sitting at a table with the villagers of Liwa village, listening to the adulation of Murong Zhe at the next table, and only then did they know that the two Murong brothers had actually split up. And the old lady actually gave out the most capable boss. Was she crazy? Couldn't help looking in Murong Lingran's direction, Seeing her and her young lady sitting and talking, her expression suddenly twisted and mad with jealousy. Mother Sue glanced at her face and frowned in a low voice, You have a grudge with that girl. Fei I smiled nonchalantly, It's all in the past, I've long since let go. That's what he said, when he was 70% full, seeing Murong Lingran walking to the backyard alone, he suddenly excused herself for convenience, and followed behind her. It's just that when he arrived in the backyard, he saw Murong Lingran standing in the middle of the yard, staring at her coldly, as if he was waiting for her. Fei I looked at her frosty face for a moment, did she deliberately lure herself here? Looking at the blue brick house and spacious yard in front of him, Fei I pretended to smile calmly, and said with envy, Murong Lingran, is this really your home? 
isn't it my home or yours? Seeing Murong Lingran's bad attitude, Fei Ziaokai knew that she was holding grudges about what happened three years ago, and smiled flatteringly, it's fine if it's your house, Murong Lingran, no, miss, I know that I did it in the past. That's not right, now I come to you sincerely to repent, and I hope you don't remember the villain's deeds, so please forgive me. Murong sneered coldly, with an undisguised sarcasm on his face, forgive you? You came with me just to make me forgive you. Yes, I also know that I made a mistake in the past few years. Want to forgive? Tell you, impossible. Fei I was instantly angry, but this person's temperament did not change at all, and shouted loudly, Murong Lingran, don't go too far, I'm begging you in a low voice, what else do you want? Shut up. You call it sloppy? You look so arrogant, people who don't know look at it and think you're the master here, and I'm your servant. Murong Lingran said in a cold tone, I will never forget, if my father didn't know how to heal, my mother died three years ago because of your persecution, and now you are my mother-killing enemy. You want me to easily forgive the enemy who killed my mother, can you forgive me instead? Fei I frowned, she didn't kill a single person with so much money back then? A bunch of trash. Didn't your aunt not die? How could you say that to me? Murong raised her eyebrows Ling Ran, since you don't think there is anything wrong with your vicious behavior back then, that's fine, if I stab you, I'll send you to medical insurance immediately and you won't die, and I apologize to you in the tone you just said, do you? Will you forgive me? Fei Kai's face became cold when she saw that she didn't eat this set, and she stopped talking nonsense, and said directly, Murong Lingran, since you don't want to forgive, then I won't say this. You can see it, I am now a servant of the Minister of Rights, and there are many rules in the mansion, and my life is very difficult. My young lady knows you, I hope you can tell her and let her give me my freedom. Murong Lingran suddenly looked at her like a fool, Fei Kai, who do you think you are? What do you ask me to do? Who the gave you the courage to order me like this? Chapter 162 People Are Not Saints Fei Kai looked at her rough fingers casually, and said indifferently, Murong Lingran, the people in this village still don't know that your Murong family used to be sinners, right? You said that there are so many people outside, do you want me? To help you spread the word. Murong narrowed his eyes dangerously, his face suddenly turned extremely cold, are you threatening me? Fei I shook his head, no, this is not a threat, I am asking you, as soon as I regain my freedom, I will disappear in front of you immediately. Humph, as long as she regains her freedom, she has the secrets of the Murong family in her hands. Whether the Murong family wants to do business with the Minister of Rights or establish a foothold in this village, she can threaten them. Even if it is this house, maybe she will be able to take it as her own. Even. Thinking of Murong Zong's handsome face, Fei Kai's face suddenly turned red. She had been attracted to Murong Zong when she was in the Imperial Doctor's mansion, and her beauty was also good, maybe she could become Murong Lingran's eldest sister-in-law and she could discuss with her at that time. The idea is very good, but unfortunately what Mirong Lingran hates most is that someone threatens her, she just spreads her hands indifferently, do you think I'm scared? When our family came to Liwa village, Lichhen invited us to settle down. Don't you know that my father's temperament has been serving me for a few years? He is the person who can't hold back secrets the most, and he is also extremely upright. Not long after Liwa village, we told Lichhen that our family was exiled and then pardoned, and Lichhen told the villagers a long time ago. There are also the wife of the Minister of Rights and Miss Wei. I did not personally inform them about my family's situation, but their status is honorable, and I am the one who provides them with fruits for a long time and vegetables in the future. Do you think they would not investigate my situation beforehand for such an important matter? Fei I was startled and couldn't believe it, how is it possible? They know, 
how could they still be in contact with you? Mirong Lingran sneered, if you don't believe it, you can go out and publicize it yourself. However, if the Minister of Rights knew that you made a riot in front of so many villagers in my house and lost their face, you said, what would they do with it? You. She was telling the truth. Originally, she thought that Mrs. Wei didn't know about their family's affairs, but it was not until she once delivered cherries at the back door that God Lord Chanky asked her to stop under a courtyard wall. As soon as we stopped, I heard Sue Mama and Butler CAO talking, saying, why does Madam still accept their cherries when they know about their family's affairs? Butler CAO only said, that's all in the past, people are not saints and sages, who can be blameless. There is no evil in their family now. From then on, she realized that Mrs. Wei had already brought up their family's affairs. Fei Ziyaki's face suddenly turned pale, what else could be done, either sell her with a cane or kill her directly. Seeing her face change greatly, Mirong Lingran said with a sullen face, For Miss Wei's sake, I will spare you for the time being today. If you are sensible, get out of here quickly, or else I will treat you to my Aniang before. Tell your wife what you have done, and we will see who is worse at that time. Fei Ziyaki bit her lip, she never imagined that she would be threatened in turn, and Madam was more likely to believe Mirong Lingran's words. Chapter 163 What tricks did you play? Mirong Lingran, you are ruthless. Mirong Zong, who came over in the dark, was relieved to see that there was not much conflict between them. After Fei Ziyaki left, Mirong Zong came to his sister, frowned and said, Aaron, what you said is true. We used to be the Minister of Rights and People in Liwa Village. Mirong Lingran nodded solemnly, it's true. You still don't know what kind of temperament Dad is? Li Zhang takes care of our family a lot, how could he bear to hide it from him and make him embarrassed in front of the whole village? Mirong Zong thinks that too, when he was darts, he was really worried that one day their past would be exposed, and Dad would be kicked out of Liwa village. Now that I know that everyone has known it for a long time, and they have not excluded their family, I am suddenly relieved. The two brothers and sisters returned to the table together. Seeing Fei Ziyaki's convenience trip, Madame Su looked a little bad, and frowned, What's wrong with you? It looks like someone else owes you money. Let me tell you, this family is a distinguished guest of Madame, and I don't care about you. What kind of grievance did you have with Miss Murong in the past, if you dare to offend her, go back and wait for the lady and the master to clean up you together. Fei Ziyaki was surprised, Master? Does Master also know about the Murong family? Mother Su sneered, Have you forgotten whose mansion you are a slave? The master of the mansion of the Minister of Rights is the master. What is the matter in the mansion that he doesn't know about? Some time ago, Mrs. and Master had been eating cherries. How could Master Cherry, who is so good for the body suddenly appear, not to ask more questions? A person who can be a minister of the second rank will fight openly and secretly in the courtroom every day. How can his mind be simple? Fei Ziyaki suddenly felt a little bit of fear, and she was glad that she didn't make a sudden impulsive accident. Only now did she believe that what Mirong Lingran said just now was not to scare her. After a while, the guests left after they were full. Wei Yushan has never had lunch in such an environment and has never eaten farm food. Although I thought the villagers were chattering a bit, it was quite novel. When I was full, I took a look in the vegetable field, and I really saw a large piece of green vegetables. Mother Sue has also grown vegetables before, and at a glance it can be seen that this dish is indeed a little different from what they usually eat. Miss, it seems that what Miss Murong said is true, and her vegetables grow really well. Wei Yushan nodded and said with a smile, let's go, let's go back and tell mother, she should be very happy. That's right, the purpose of her visit today is to stay a little bored in the house every day and want to go for a walk in the countryside, secondly, she also wants to see what the vegetables that make her mother's dreams look like. It is good. Mirong Lingran heard Wei Yushan say that she was going back to the city, 
and put her on the carriage herself. Looking at the carriage that gradually disappeared from view, he frowned slightly. Aaron, what's wrong with you? Brother, although Miss Wei is arrogant and domineering, her nature is not bad. I don't know why the Minister of Rights keeps someone like Fei Ziaokei by her side. Maybe she played some tricks again. Murong nodded succinctly, those who were able to bribe the officials back then should not be underestimated. But now she doesn't care about others, and she doesn't dare to harm Wei Yushan even if Fei Ziaokei has ten courage, she will remind Mrs. Wei when there is a chance in the future, turn around and continue to stand at the door to see the guests. Chapter 165 Location The problem of the younger generation has been pointed out. Naturally, I will treat the problem of the elders equally. Greeting gift is in the room, so I won't run away, and I won't be in a hurry at this moment. After Murong Zhe finished speaking, he looked at Chen Shi coldly. Chen Shi looked at Murong Zhe and the hairs on his face suddenly stood up. Murong Lingran spoke in a timely manner. Auntie, although Daddy is the same generation as you, he is also the master of this family, and he is also older than you. Generally, only the elders can raise the juniors, and Daddy has supported your family for more than ten years. Nian is also half your elder. Just like Murong Shui, Daddy doesn't have a seat, what qualifications do you have to sit down? Chen Shi said with a smirk, It's all a family. If you say anything in public, just sit down and just sit down. Family? Don't dare. My family won't give up on me when I'm seriously ill, they'll just run around for me. A and D. Murong Lingran looked at where she was sitting with a sullen face, do you know what that seat is? That's where people sit? What else could it be? Chen Shi said anxiously. Murong Zhe said in a deep voice. You and A Niang are sitting on the head at the same time, Xianqing always respects the left side, A Niang is an elder, but A Niang sits on the right, you think A Niang's identity is not as good as yours, yes no. Chen Shi's face suddenly turned red as if it was about to drip blood, this, our family is not a big family now, why do we still need to abide by those rules? Murong Zhe laughed suddenly, you mean, we are ordinary people so we don't need to pay attention to the rules of the elders and the younger? That's fine, I won't treat your three children as my juniors in the future. Look at your peers, how is it? Chen Shi panicked, and couldn't help asking Lu Shi for help, but Lu Shi stared at her gloomily and said, I forgot the right and left when I was old, you are still young and you have lived in the imperial doctor's house for more than ten years. Nian, have you forgotten? As soon as you came in, you helped me to sit down on the right side, what do you mean? Do you want to ride on the old lady's head? Murong Lingran suddenly answered, what does auntie mean? She and her daughter took the master's seat as soon as they arrived, leaving the guest's seat to us, who are the real masters. Isn't this style very obvious? Just want to pass my father and mother to be the master of our family, just want to ride on the head of grandma. Chen didn't expect to be given such a big hat, so she got up quickly and explained anxiously, Auntie, I really forgot, I didn't mean to disrespect you. After finished speaking, he looked at Murong Zhe, Brother, I really didn't mean that, I just forgot, don't think about it. Lu Shi coldly snorted, It's not the best, if this kind of thing happens again in the future, don't blame me for taking care of you. Yes yes yes. I won't, I remember it, never again. Chen sighed in relief when he saw that Lu hadn't been held accountable. She really wanted this house, and she just wanted to test Murong Zhe just now, but she didn't expect him to be so disrespectful, and he was told in public by a little girl Murong Ling Ran. It's really hateful. After teaching his daughter-in-law, Mrs. Lu returned to the topic just now and said unceremoniously, Bring out all the gifts you received today. Murong Zhe said indifferently, Auntie, that congratulatory gift is for us. Since the family has been separated, you have no right to intervene. Chapter 167 is definitely fake. Chen hurriedly said, Yes, yes, 
Auntie said something wrong, I'm sorry, Auntie just wanted to help you sort things out, nothing else. Help us sort it out. Mirong Lingran said helplessly, Auntie, it's not that I don't let you help, but you said that you haven't read the book. Although you have registered just now, you usually have troubles when you are busy, and there will always be some problems. What is wrong, how can you help us? Help us read? Or help us write? Chen Shi was speechless for a moment. What kind of auspicious day is today, her disaster day is almost the same, always picking on her faults. Lu said impatiently, Okay, don't talk so much nonsense, take us to see the congratulations, we will choose some and go. If there is anything to organize, don't we still use it? Let this dead girl go on, even if it gets dark, she won't be able to get the congratulations. Mirong Zhe said with an expressionless face, the congratulatory gift is a personal exchange. In the future, when another family builds a house, we have to return the gift. Aran is right. There were indeed some congratulatory gifts just now because the guests came too intensively, and only a simple record was made. We'll have to wait until the registration is done again. Lu slapped the table sharply, and roared with sullen eyes, You've said so much nonsense and you won't give it, right? Mirong Ling ran sighed and said, Grandma, do you have a bad ear or a bad memory? I said, You have to wait until the re-registration is clear before giving it, or you will give it lightly in the future, but it will offend people. Yes, even if father wants to send something to mother. I'm not allowed. You. Lu Shi saw that everyone in the courtyard nodded in agreement, and immediately became angry. I thought that this dead girl would definitely agree to her in front of outsiders. How could she know that she could find a legitimate reason to reject her? She had seen it just now, most of the eggs that the villagers gave were their own eggs, and then they wrapped red envelopes with dozens of copper plates. With Mirong Zhe's decent temperament, Let's look at the beautiful furniture in this room. How could it be possible in the future? Reward with these? She didn't see the specifics of the gifts that came by the carriages, but they were all packed in delicate brocade boxes. That box was less than the average farmer's annual income, and the contents inside were definitely not cheap. Although the Murong family has some money now, how could they afford a gift of equal value? so their excuse for registering carefully must be false. But even if she said it, few people would definitely believe her. After all, she had a bad reputation, and she was self-aware of this. S mind changed, and suddenly he passed out when he rolled his eyes. Grandma. Auntie. Mirong Shui and Chen Shi immediately called out anxiously. Mirong Zhe also wanted to step forward but Mirong Lingran grabbed his sleeve and motioned him to look at Grandma's hand. The three brothers followed their line of sight, and saw that Lu Shi's hand seemed to be nervous, holding on to the clothes, and then letting go, and the cycle continued. The women outside heard that something was wrong inside, so they hurried in. Mirong Shui saw that there were more and more people, and seemed to have the confidence again, and said loudly, Look at what you said, you have all fainted AMA so don't hurry up and apologize to AMA. Mirong Zone glared at her coldly, what are you? Dare to point fingers at my house? Is it your turn to instruct us? Mirong Shui was stunned when he glared at him, and immediately shrank behind Lu Shi, daring not to speak any more. Chapter 168 Provoked Public Anger Chen Shi frowned and said, A Niang just wants you to be filial to her. If you don't give it, why do you have to find so many reasons? Now that A Niang is dizzy, you feel better. Mirong Lingran said casually, I'm dizzy? What a coincidence. Big brother, second brother, third brother, you should quickly carry AMA back, and by the way, tell me how grandpa and grandma passed out. If anyone asks you on the road, you to be honest we will come to our door to apologize in person in the evening. Lu Shi secretly gritted her teeth, this dead girl is really sinister, if she is brought back, the eldest family will add more fuel and jealousy, saying that she is dizzy for the sake of money, 
then she will become a joke in Liwa village again. The most important thing is that the old man has warned her time and time again that she can't ask the boss for money. If she knows, can she find a reason to deal with her? Thinking of Murong Liang's last slap, Lu Shi suddenly opened his eyes and sat up straight again. When the women onlookers saw her doing this, they immediately understood that she was pretending, and immediately looked at her with contempt. It is really shameless to be so unscrupulous in broad daylight for the sake of money. Murong Zhe's father and son gritted their teeth secretly, how could they have such an elder? It's really sinister. MRS Lu didn't notice the other people's faces, she just gave Murong Lingran a stern look, and said angrily, is it true that you said you would wait until the registration is complete? Murong said lightly, of course it's true, but you also know that I still need to save money to find my brothers, so I may not be able to give you money or anything. You mean you want to send me something worthless? Lu Shi said excitedly. It's worthless. Murong Lingran said in surprise, AMA, what you said is wrong, today's conservatory, most people bring what they think is the best, AMA, you look down on most of them. Things from the villagers? Do you think they are not worthy of your use? A few women exploded immediately, and they also gave gifts. Did Mr. Lu look down on what she gave in front of them? Tian Shi took the lead and said with a cold face, Aunt Lu, if you don't like what we gave you, then please don't let your son give it to you. She is not worthy of your noble status. Shi Xia also said coldly, Yes, since you don't like it, then don't force your son to give you the egg meringue I gave you, you will dislike it anyway. Xia's younger brother and sister Zhou also said, Aunt Lu, I also gave eggs, you must not use them. The other women also said, I gave white sugar, and I also reminded you, don't eat it, the worthless ones are not worthy of you. Although mine are duck eggs, they are also worthless, so don't take them away. Mine are eggs too. Mine is white sugar too. Everyone immediately talked about what they had given them, for fear that Lu would look down on them after taking their gifts. Liu's face flushed instantly, and she never expected that she would provoke public anger. After thinking about it for a long time, I didn't think of how to make it work, so I started to break the jar, I just don't like eggs, I don't like sugar, if you don't want it, don't want it, what's the big deal? Didn't you receive a lot of gift money today? Give me all the gift money. No. Mirong Zhe refused without thinking. Chapter 169 Life Saving Money You Lu Shi was about to say that if she didn't give it to her, she would not recognize him as a son, but she thought that if she said this sentence, it might be just as they intended. Stared at him deadly. Grandma, you can't blame my dad for that. Murong Lingran turned to look at the onlookers, and sighed, Ants, you don't know, what I meant was that now that the brothers are back, they can protect the father, and they can go to the brothers together. Already. Xia knew that Xiao Dongjia was a smart one, so he complied with face, Yes, the children have been away for so long, and you have also settled down. The matter of finding someone should really be put on the agenda. Murong Lingran glanced at her gratefully, and said with a sad face, But if dad and the two brothers with good kung fu leave, Dad doesn't worry about me and the third brother and two children at home alone, so I just leave. Rejected my request. Xiaoshi frowned in cooperation, this is indeed a problem, we can't just let you both fend for yourself and let you die. There is still a lot of things to take care of at home. If there is no income at home, they won't have the money to go out in the future. Already. That's the reason but it's not a solution if you don't look for it all the time. Just as the elder brother said, you can ask their guards to look for it, and we are naturally very happy. For the sake of our loved ones, no matter how much money is spent willing. Xiaoshi clapped his hands, like waking up from a dream, yes, you can indeed hire someone, if my child is lost and I can't walk away, even if I want to break the pot and sell iron. I would be willing to let someone help me find it. Tian also said, 
the child is the life of the family. Anyone who hears that they can spend money to find them will be willing to spend money. Murong nodded Ling Ran, but the price of the agency is very high. According to their bids, we roughly calculated that the three people would need more than 100 tails of silver a year. If they can't find it, they will continue to spend money. They only inform the whereabouts and are not responsible for rescue, do you think we should save something? The women all nodded their heads immediately, it is indeed right, who knows how long it will take to find it. If the child is sold into some complicated place, it will definitely cost a lot of money to redeem it. Who knows if the other party will speak loudly? Murong Lingran wiped away the non-existent tears from the corners of his eyes, and sighed while looking at the eyeing grandma, so, grandma, no matter how much money you have now, you can't just spend it randomly, even if you have money, I they should also use their efforts to earn money and plan for the future. That's hundreds of tales of silver, not a few copper coins. You have food, drink, and shelter right now, and you don't have much to spend on money. We'll pack up some things you can use later and send them to you. Uncle is filial to you, and you don't have to worry about eating and drinking. What else do you have to do to make things difficult for us and rob your three grandsons of life-saving money? The crowd immediately began to talk at once again. That's right, why bother them? Snatching money from children is really thick-skinned. I'm so old, I don't know how to make a face. MRS Lu frowned and said, who said I didn't use the money? I'll give it to. Asia I married a daughter-in-law. Grandma. Murong interrupted her, don't you still want dad to pay for Murong Cai's wife to buy land? Chapter 170 Without a Cousin Like You After he finished speaking, he said as if he was frightened, AMA, did you know that the money for marrying him and buying land is just enough to find a child, but you only care about your uncle's children and ignore my younger brothers? Is it more important to find someone, or is it important for him to marry a wife? It's really sad that you are so eccentric, so biased. Tian said indignantly, Aunt Lu, are you still their auntie? Ah, to oppress the eldest son's family like this, do you still have a conscience? Xiaoxi also sneered, yeah, other people get angry every day about finding children, but you are always discussing how to take other people's property to marry your favorite child, and come again and again, I see. There's conscience is indeed eaten by dogs. Chuang Qinghe's daughter-in-law, Kui, was young and straightforward, and she said with disdain, Indeed, look at the way they swaggered in just now, as if they were the masters of this family. When the family was separated out, the Gao family drove them out again, forcing them to have nowhere to go twice. My father-in-law and they were not blood-related and they helped to run around, helping them find houses and delivering quilts. And what about them? Stay in the house, eat, drink, sleep, and don't care about the lives of others. Some time ago, there were three people in their family, two of them were injured, and they all depended on a young daughter every day. Why didn't they want to help at that time? Now that people have money and houses, they are rushing to the door to them, and come to pick up ready-made ones. I will ask you where your faces come from. Chen Shi and Murong Shui couldn't lift their heads when they were told, so they wanted to leave Lu Shi and ran away immediately. How could things become like this? Murong Zhe didn't give his mother money, shouldn't it be him who was blamed? How did they become them? Liu's face suddenly turned blue and white, and her lips trembled with anger, and roared, I didn't say that they should not find children, nor did I want them to pay for ACAI to marry a wife. Kui scorned. You think we will believe it? Your son came to ask for money in person. If my man just happened to see it, your son would have done something to his eldest brother. And the third one opens his eyes and speaks nonsense, you are not afraid of retribution. Mirong Zong and Mirong Xian didn't know that the uncle almost bullied my father, Mirong Zong suddenly became angry, looked at Mirong Shui and said viciously, Mirong Shui, your family is too shameless. A healthy person actually bullies my father, I without a cousin like you, we don't welcome you in our family, get out of here immediately. 
Mirong Shui was scolded by her cousin pointing at the nose, she was very sad, and her tears flowed down, that's what dad did, not me, why do you say that to me? Just relying on your uncle's daughter, is it your little ones who are going to benefit from your uncle's money? You say yes. No. I, woo woo, woo woo. Mirong Shui couldn't speak to him, so she covered her face and ran out crying. Chen knew that the person who was scolded later must be herself. Who asked her husband to ask for money for her son? Seeing her daughter ran away, she quickly chased after her, Ax Yu, Ax Yu. Seeing that the mother and daughter had left her alone, Mrs. Liu's face turned ashen, and she stood up abruptly and walked to the door of the main room. After thinking about it, she was really unwilling. She turned around and stared at Mirong Zhe and said, Remember what you just said. After saying that, he walked away sullenly. Chapter 171 Careful Mirong looked sincerely at the women who helped him, Thank you, sisters-in-law. They are too irritating, they should help. Tian Shi said. Yes, the land outside has been swept, you just moved to a new house, there must be a lot of things to do, we will go first was about to leave when he heard Mirong say, Auntie, wait a minute. The women turned around at the same time, and saw Mirong Lingran take out the red envelopes from the satchel that he was carrying, and hand them to them one by one. The ants have worked hard, this is a little thought, and I hope the ants don't think too little. Women did not refuse, it is extremely normal to help the host family to give red envelopes on such occasions. Calmly wait each other. Everyone was very satisfied, and said that if there is something to do, just instruct them, and left Murong's house with a smile. Murong Lingran went to the kitchen again. The women just washed all the dishes and gave them a red envelope. Went from house to house to return the borrowed tableware and chopsticks, and the family came to the house where the gifts were placed. Although Liu's trouble just now made them feel a little nervous, but seeing the dazzling array of gifts in front of them, they couldn't help but feel much better. After all, they were still in Siwan a few months ago, and they never dared to imagine that there would be a day like today. Mirong Lingran looked at the eggs in the house and sighed, Oh, there are too many eggs, but we have a lot of family, so I eat them in different ways, but I can finish them. Looked at the table again, and basically all the items on it were presented by those noble sons and young ladies. Mirong Lingran opened it and took a look. Miss Wei gave several brightly colored silks and satins, as well as several sets of jewelry that she could wear, from headgear to earrings to bracelets. Xiang Gongzi also sent a lot of silk and satin, but I don't know if he has a silk and satin business, but he sent more than 20 horses directly, from all age groups, and the rest have some daily use items. The ninth son sent a lot of things including a landscape map of famous people, three sets of the four treasures of the study and three swords, six sets of women's clothes, a box of bead flowers, and a complete set of ruby heads. Of course, there are also several fine silks, all of which are extremely tender in color. You don't need to think about it to know that the landscape map is for dad, the four treasures of the study and the sword are for the three older brothers, the clothes and beads are for Murong Lingran and the silk and satin are definitely for the three younger brothers. As for the set of ruby heads and faces, it must be for the aunt who is far away in Ruyi Embroidery Village. I didn't expect that a big man, young Master Ju, would be so attentive, and everyone's gifts were ready. When Murong Zhe saw the face, he also thought of his wife, and said with a smile, Your aunt can't participate in the new house conservatory today, and it must be very regrettable in my heart, Go see her tomorrow, and bring this face to her, she likes it the most. It's red, so you should be very happy. After speaking, he looked at his daughter with a doting face, you should keep these valuable things, including your mother's, father and you and your brothers are big men, careless, it's really not suitable custody. Mirong Lingran also smiled, okay, dad. The three brothers had no opinion when they saw it. Mirong Kwan suddenly said, Father, do we really want to send something to Grandma and the others? 
they will certainly not appreciate us for giving them to us like that. Chapter 172 She Just Wants Money Mirong Xian also said bitterly, Yes, it's better to give them a dog, at least they will wag their tails and beg for pity, and be able to watch the house. Although Mirong Zong didn't want to talk to his elders very much, but today's events are not worth his respect, and he said with a reluctant expression, No matter how much you give them, it will be too little. It is indeed better not to give them. Mirong Zhe was also a little embarrassed, Father knows that you have complaints over there, and father is the same, your grandma dislikes their things in front of your aunts today, if we insist on giving them to her, we may offend the people in the village. As for those precious things, Mirong Zhe never thought of giving them to them. No matter how precious things were given to them, they would end up in the hands of Mirong Ki unscrupulous younger brother. It's better to save them to find children or buy land for Aran. Mirong Zhe said again, Father also knows that it's embarrassing you, but after all, it's father's relatives and mother, and he has the kindness of giving birth to father, and father has the obligation and responsibility to take care of that side. Can't you just take care of it? I really don't want my uncle to scold us while using our money. Mirong Quan frowned. Mirong smiled lightly, who said that we must give the uncle and the others money. Mirong Zone was taken aback for a moment, Aaron, what do you mean? Looking at Grandpa and Grandma's blushing face today, there must be no shortage of food now, why don't you give them that? Mirong Ling Ran pointed to something in the distance. The three brothers looked at it, and it was a good idea to give it away. Anyway, there are a lot of them, and their family can't use them now. In this way, it will neither fall into the limelight nor offend the villagers and more importantly, it will not reach the hands of the uncle's family. But... Mirong Xian hesitated, a king and uncle are different, should we ignore her? Mirong Lingran thought about it for a while, this matter has to be considered carefully, otherwise grandma will definitely take her out when she sees us being nice to her, and even if she doesn't take her out, her older sister probably won't give her a good look. Mirong Zhe also agreed with his daughter's idea. It's time for Daddy's hand to soak the medicine, so it won't pass. You can make up your own mind and don't fall for words. Yes, Dad. The four siblings said at the same time. As it was approaching evening, Mirong Lingran and his three elder brothers went to Liu's house with a lot of things. When people passing by saw it, they all stopped, and after seeing what they were holding, they all said that Mirong Zhe was generous, filial, and benevolent. His parents treated him like that, and they even sent good things over there. Chen Shi and Mirong Shui were immediately disappointed when they saw what they were holding. Their family couldn't use these things at all. She couldn't help but hold a sullen breath in her heart, it must be Mirong Lingran's idea again, she did it on purpose, to send those things, it will not be true, people can't find the fault, and they can earn a good reputation. By the way, can also them off. Lu Shi looked at the things they were holding, and was immediately angry, you just use these things to kill me. These can only be used for silk and satin that can't be eaten or spent, so it's better to give her money. She doesn't want anything, she just wants money. Mirong Ling Ran said with a look of surprise, Grandma, you actually dislike them? Are these things still bad? After he finished speaking, he touched the eldest brother and the second brother was dragging, do you know how much silver it costs for these four silks and satins alone? No less than twenty tails. Chapter 173 Discord Touched the third brother's hand again, and this tea, this is the best Taiping Hukui, and a tail of tea costs at least five tails of silver. After speaking hesitantly, he asked, does grandma like our food? But Grandma said today that the egg white candy sent by the villagers is not worthy of you, so we can't do anything about it, after all, most people in the village give it to you. If you bring those of yours, wouldn't it offend everyone? We only came to Luwa village, and there are places where we want their help, but I don't want to offend them, so I can only give these to you? Does Grandma think that silk and tea are not suitable for you? 
If it weren't for the old-fashioned colors of these satins, none of the family could use them, and she didn't even want to give them. As for the tea, she knows that Grandpa has been suppressing Grandma recently, and she doesn't mind being nice to him and asking him to make persistent efforts in the future. Liu's heart skipped a beat, the dead girl dared to sue. Mirong Liang glared at Lu Shi suddenly, when did you say that kind of thing? After speaking, he understood in an instant, and shouted loudly, at noon, you said that you would take the mother and daughter Aishwe up the mountain, and I also said that you have become so diligent. After a long time, you went to the old family to ask for something. Is not it? Lu Shi immediately shrank his neck, I'm a motherfucker, what's wrong with him receiving so many gifts for me? You. Mirong Liang slapped the table abruptly, he did receive a lot of congratulations today, as a mother, it's reasonable for you to ask for one or two, but time and time again, you don't listen to me, and you treat me in a positive and negative way. I. I'll kill you old guy. After saying that, he picked up the feather duster beside him and greeted her. Oh, oh, old man, stop beating, it hurts me to death. Lu Shi hurriedly begged for mercy. After Mirong Zone waited for Grandpa to greet Grandma in earnest, he slowly handed the silk and satin in his hand to the third brother, and slowly stepped forward to stop Mirong Liang, Grandpa, don't be angry, Grandma didn't say anything, just he said let's not send her with meringues and other worthless things, but it happened to be heard by the ants who helped, and the ants also told us not to bring the things they sent, so we only sent silk and tea. Mirong raised his eyebrows, but he didn't expect the big brother to sow discord. Mirong Liang became even more angry when he heard the words, and he was actually heard. Now I am afraid that the whole village is talking about their family behind their backs again. I, I kick you old guy to death. Mirong Liang's upper body was blocked by his grandson, so he had no choice but to kick Lu Shi's knee. But fortunately, Mirong Zone pushed the person back, and that kick only touched Liu's clothes. Lu Shi is also their grandmother anyway, if they are injured because of their juniors, it will not benefit their reputation. Mirong's shrewd eyes rolled, and suddenly he said softly, Grandpa, don't be angry, look at this satin, it looks much better than ordinary cotton. And this tea is also for you. I know you used to love tea, but I didn't keep it for him. I brought it all for you. Today is too late, you may not be able to fall asleep after drinking tea. In the morning tomorrow, let a king make you a cup to try, to ensure that the fragrance is very fragrant and you will feel refreshed all day long. Mirong Ching was so frightened by Grandpa's anger that she shivered. Hearing Sister Ling Ran calling her, she immediately came back to her senses and said with a trembling voice, Yes, yes, Grandpa, don't be angry, I, I'll be there tomorrow. Get up early in the morning to give you a drink and I guarantee you can drink it as soon as you get up. Chapter 174 Treat Them Hearing the soft voices of the granddaughters, Mirong Liang's anger disappeared a lot. Thinking of the past, he said with a guilty face, Aaron, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa shouldn't have treated you like that before. Mirong Ling Ran smiled lightly, It's okay, it's all over. That's all she can say but she doesn't think so in her heart. Grandpa and Grandma are somewhat different, but they are essentially the same, otherwise they would not have raised a son like uncle. The attitude towards Grandpa in the future will depend on his future performance. Mirong Liang saw that his granddaughter forgave him so easily, and felt even more guilty and uncomfortable, if you don't want to stay for dinner today. Liu's and Chen's expressions changed suddenly at the same time. With so many people in their family, they had to stay and how much rice had to be eaten. Mirong felt their unkind gazes, glanced at them coldly, and said lightly, No, Dad is still waiting for us, you take care of these, then we will go back first. After saying that, he motioned his brothers to put things down, raised their feet and wanted to leave. Although they also wanted to stay to be angry with Lu and Chen, but compared to angering people, Life was more important, and they were really afraid that Chen would poison them if they wanted to. 
That's right. Murong Lingran suddenly turned her head, Grandpa, the color of that satin suits you very well. Many people have seen it on the way you came just now. You ask my aunt to hurry up and make it, and it will definitely look like when you put it on. The most handsome old man in the village. Murong Liang was overjoyed by what his little granddaughter said, and said with a smile, OK, Grandpa will definitely wear it out. Chen Shi suddenly stared at Murong Lingran sullenly. Dead girl, and ruining her good deeds. Then let's go. The four siblings glanced meaningfully at the gloomy Mrs. Chen and left with satisfaction. Murong Liang touched the comfortable silk and satin, smelled the tea leaves, and said in a good mood, The second child, give you half a month to make two clothes for me. When his eldest son was an imperial physician, he also lived a good life. Now, seeing the familiar fabrics, the guilt in his heart is getting deeper and deeper. Compared to the younger son, the older son is really nice to him, and the husband and wife will think of him if they have any good things. It's like a young son and a couple, they all want to loot when they have good things. Why was he so confused in the first place, and he separated his eldest son, which made him feel chills? Chen looked at the four pieces of silk and satin that were not suitable for him and felt extremely jealous. Murong Lingran did it on purpose, all of them were suitable for the two old guys. Such an old-fashioned color, even if she and her son and daughter grab it, she can't wear it. But she couldn't say anything yet. After all, the elder brother's house had no reason to send anything to the younger brother's family. Fortunately, she also took ten copper coins over there. She thought she would get a lot of benefits today, but she didn't expect to be offended by the old lady, and she didn't even catch a worthless egg. Chen Shi rolled his eyes and suddenly said, Dad, this silk and satin looks quite valuable, why not? Murong Liang's face sank, what do you want to say? Chen Shi smiled and said, Dad, this silk is so valuable, our current status is not as good as before, and it is not suitable to wear in this country place, why don't you think of them? Ling Ran is not saying that it is worth twenty tails of silver. Chapter 175 Do you think I'm a fool? It can be worth at least fifteen tails of silver if you take it as a pawn, wouldn't you have the money to buy the land? Your grandson can also talk about his daughter-in-law faster. Murong Liang snorted coldly, as a CAI's mother, you don't think of a way to marry a daughter-in-law for your child, but you decide to dress your parents-in-law. Do you know what filial piety is? Didn't you hear what Aran said just now? A lot of people looked at what they brought over, if you take it, they won't see me wearing it out for a long time, how will you let me see people in the future, ah? Chen Shi had already thought about his words, and explained seriously, Father, it is not suitable to wear silk and satin in the mountains and fields. If you are not careful, you will be scratched. Where can you use cotton cloth? Why not? For fifteen tails of silver, you can buy land for ten tails of silver, and the rest is for your food. For five tails of silver, you can buy a lot of cotton cloth, you can wear new clothes every month, and you can buy a lot of meat. Eat. Dream, do you think I'm a fool? Tell you, don't even think about these satin ideas. Murong Liang said angrily, don't think I don't know what you're thinking, you just don't think it suits you so I don't want the two of us to have it, but it's not for yourself. Chen Shi smiled awkwardly, Dad, you think too much. Said this, turned his head and cast his hopeful eyes on Lu Shi again. Lu is the one who cares most about whether Murong Cai can marry a daughter-in-law. Hearing that he can buy land, he should agree to her, right? Unexpectedly, Lu Shi's expression tightened when she saw her eyes. She hugged the two silks and satins that were obviously given to her like a baby. Thinking of a way, I'm thinking of looting my parents-in-law, and it's not a shame to be a daughter-in-law for your sake. There is no woman who does not like expensive materials and expensive clothes. Although she is old, she likes it very much. She is old, and if she doesn't take the time to dress up, she will never have a chance in the future. Chen Shi said with a bitter face, 
Auntie, I am also doing this for our CAI's good. Lu Shi looked to the side, saw Murong CAI looking at her with a light expression, and quickly said, Ah CAI, this silk satin grandma really likes it, you shouldn't let grandma abandon them, right? Murong CAI shook his head, this was given to grandma by the uncle's family, so naturally I let grandma call the shots. Seeing that his grandson is so considerate, Lu said with relief, Good boy, your grandfather is doing well now, don't worry, the fields will be available sooner or later. With the old man watching, it shouldn't be easy to get money from the old people, Lu Shi gritted his teeth and looked at Chen Shi again, Well, I'll give you the money later, you will come back tomorrow with two piglets, grow up and sell them. With the money that Daddy ACAI earned, it should be enough to buy land next year. Chen Shi said, Auntie, last month I heard from you that I bought ten chickens, ten ducks and ten gooses. Do you still want to raise pigs? Now these are all for me and the two. My daughter's feet are not touching the ground every day. There is no field at home, no rice bran or anything. With only one third of the land in the yard, we can only grow it for our own consumption. If you raise pigs, in the future, you can only rely on me and the children to go up the mountain to find pig grass, and find wild vegetables for them to eat. In the past few days, you have to help Dad make clothes. If you raise me again, I'm afraid I really won't have time. Chapter 176 Harvest Lu said with a stern face, Why don't you have time? I'll help you in the future. For the sake of her grandson and the satin clothes, she had no choice but to aggrieve herself. Mirong Liang looked at his grandson, gritted his teeth and said, I will help you in the future, and ACAI will also help, a family of five, how many animals can't feed? Chen said unwillingly, Auntie, you can help, but the heavy rain some time ago left every household with no food left, and every household looked for food from the mountains for the livestock keepers at home. I'm afraid that there will be insufficient food at that time. Lu glared at her, and saw through the lies she was telling at a glance, Do you think I can't go up the mountain? The Wuming mountain is so big, there is no place nearby, can you just walk a little farther? Mrs. Chen pouted. Wouldn't that mean he would have to walk a long way every day? But if she said it, her in-laws would definitely say she was lazy again, so she had to agree, okay then I'll go tomorrow. That's all, today is not a complete loss, at least the in-laws are willing to help her, and there are two more pigs in the family. Is that satin, she wants it too. That girl obviously has a lot of colors that suit her and her daughter, but she just doesn't bring them, it really her off. Let's cook, we're hungry. Chen had to take the children to the kitchen after hearing this. Murong Cai saw that A Niang was in a bad mood, so he comforted, A Niang, I will help you, you don't have to worry. Chen's face was very bad, and he frowned, A Cai, your grandma usually protects you in everything, but when it comes to threatening her own interests, she doesn't see you at all. There is obviously a shortcut to buy land for you, but for the sake of my own selfishness is unwilling to pay, but I want to squeeze my daughter-in-law which is really sad. Murong Cai lowered his head, they are elders, so there is nothing I can do. Chen Shi knew that it was useless to say anything more, so she sullenly ordered her daughter to wash and chop vegetables, and start making dinner. After the four brothers and sisters Murong Lingran returned home, because they were tired all day today, they went back to their own room after dinner and fell asleep. Someone helped them find the whereabouts of the three children temporarily, and they finally moved into a new home. Although they still lacked some daily necessities, everyone in the Murong family felt a lot more at ease, and they all slept until dawn. Originally, Murong Lingran wanted to start looking for someone to develop the newly purchased 20 acres of wasteland today, but she thought that when it came time to sell vegetables, she would also need manpower, which would delay everyone's time. You can recruit together, so it was postponed for a day. Mr. Xia said a few days ago that some of the vegetables in the vegetable field can start to be harvested slowly in the past few days. 
for selling vegetables, Murong Lingran is also the first time to do it. She still remembered the promise she made with Mrs. Wei, so she brought all kinds of vegetables that had already grown to the back door of the Minister of Rights. It was still housekeeper CAO who came out to pick her up personally. Seeing a man following her, after learning that it was her own brother, he didn't say much, and greeted them enthusiastically. Since she sent vegetables this time, Mrs. Wei received her in a courtyard near the kitchen. Although Mrs. Wei has always been pampered, she is also a person who often cooks herself. When she saw the vegetables she brought, although she was told in advance what her vegetables looked like, she was still surprised after seeing it with her own eyes. A bit. Chapter 177 Is it really acceptable? The appearance of these dishes is really good, steward CAO, Madam Su, what do you think? Mother Su had seen it once in the vegetable field last time, but she was not very surprised. She smiled and said, this old slave deals with vegetables every day. These dishes are indeed better than what I have seen before. Butler CAO also said, indeed. MRS. Wei nodded and looked at the two brothers and sisters, I wonder what price you plan to sell at. Murong Lingran glanced at his elder brother, Murong Zong glanced at his sister, saw her nodding, and said the number he thought was impossible, Madam, these are all twenty cents per pound. That's all, if the lady thinks it's too expensive, then he can persuade Aaron to lower the price. On the way here, he asked the street vendor, and the most expensive dishes were only sold for ten cents a pound. Although their food looks good, Aran also explained to him that this dish is different from the ones sold by others. It is good for the body to eat, but twenty cents a pound is too expensive, almost comparable to the price of meat. Although Madame Sue heard her husband, Butler CAO reveal the reason why Madame must have these vegetables a few days ago, she still couldn't help persuading her, twenty cents a pound? Madam, the crops in Zhuangzi don't need money at all, why don't you just... Mrs. Wei shook her head and said cheerfully, 20 cents per pound is only 20 cents per pound, but this is the effect. You can take out the ones in Zhuangzi and sell them, but these are not easy to buy with money. The office of the Minister of Rights of the Dignified Ritual cannot afford even this little money. Murong Zone was shocked, this lady really can accept it. Ma'am. Murong said, don't worry, I'm just an ordinary commoner, I don't dare to lie to you, these dishes not only have the functions I promised you, but also taste better than others, like this small dish. Cabbage, as long as it is stir-fried, is extremely delicious. If you don't believe me, I can make a few dishes for you now, and I'm sure it will not taste the same as what you used to eat. It was agreed at the beginning you can try it and decide whether to cooperate or not. I will not force you to buy it. Although she is not worried that her vegetables will not be sold, someone will definitely buy the vegetables that look like this, so there is no need to ask for help. But since young Master Wei and young Master Ju have helped their family, she doesn't mind a little trouble. Although there is Ju Gongzi as a backer, who would think that there are too many backers, and one more is more security. Mrs. Wei happened to be hungry too, okay, then I'll try it first. After all, she has to feed the master, so she should be more careful. Madame Su led the siblings to the kitchen, Murong Lingran glanced at the ready-made meat in the kitchen, and quickly came up with several dish names. After half an hour, six dishes and one soup arrived at Madame Wei's. Before. Mrs. Wei is very generous and she has tasted all of them several times. She knows that the meat is her own, but she did not expect that the taste is completely different from what she had eaten before, and repeatedly praised, the taste is indeed very good, and the vegetables are very refreshing. It's really good, and your workmanship is also good. Madame Sue hurriedly said, Madam, I was always by my side when she was cooking. You don't think she is small, but she is very quick to cook. She obviously looks at ordinary meat or something. Her hands seem to have changed immediately, the fried taste is not the same as that of the old slave, and the aroma is compelling. 
Chapter 178 You can send someone to deliver the food. Mrs. Wei smiled helplessly when she saw what she said. She couldn't help but took a few bites of green vegetables and asked patiently, you should increase the variety of vegetables in the future, right? Naturally, the growth period of vegetables is different. These are all fast growing, and there are slower production periods later, which are more delicious, but the price is naturally higher than this. Price is not a problem. After Mrs. Wei finished speaking, she looked at Madame Su, how much fresh vegetables do the masters in the house need every day? Mother Su naturally understood who the masters were in her husband's mouth, and replied respectfully, the leaves that the masters eat must be carefully selected, and at least fifty caddies of fresh vegetables are needed every day. Murong raised her eyebrows, I brought five kinds of vegetables today each of which is exactly 10 kilograms left over from the ones I used just now, making a total of 50 kilograms. Madam takes care of my business so much, the ones that have already been cooked just now are the only ones left. When I gave it to my wife, the rest was exactly one tail of silver. Mrs. Wei was very quick to ask Butler CAO to give the silver, which was only one or two silver a day. For her, it was not expensive at all. Murong accepted the money and said again, Madam, when the ninth son asked me to deliver the vegetables last time, let me know by the way, and let you send someone to tell him that my vegetables are ripe, and he can send someone to deliver the vegetables. Mrs. Wei had investigated Murong Lingran, so she naturally knew who she was talking about, and nodded, Don't worry, I'll let Jing Xian tell him, but... You said that Zhu Gongzi said that every time he sent someone to you by himself. Delivery. Well, it should be that ninth young master doesn't want to trouble young master Wei anymore. After all, he is a commander who delivers food to others every day. Mrs. Wei thought about it for a while, then suddenly looked at Butler CAO, Butler, you will also send someone to pick up their dishes in the future. Mirong frowned, Madam, you are. Mrs. Wei smiled, don't worry about it, providing vegetables is a long-term thing. You are still young, I just don't want you to work so hard every day. That's it, thank you for your understanding, madam, but I have one more request, I hope madam will agree. You're welcome, just tell me. Murong Lingran said slowly, I hope madam will not publicize the role of this vegetable. Although someone will know about it as long as someone eats it often, but if this lady says it out, and if all of them come to her to buy it through this lady, it will be their family who will be embarrassed at that time. And she only planned to use the spring water to water the five acres of land. If everyone knew that her vegetables had the effect of strengthening the body, it would definitely bring them other troubles. Although they have the backing of Zhu Gongzi, they still try to make him less troublesome. Mrs. Wei instantly realized that her family didn't want to be too high profile, and said with a smile, OK, I promise you. Originally, she wanted to tell her parents' family, but since she didn't want to, then forget it. The big deal is that she only delivers food to them, not to mention the role. Murong nodded, thinking of Faze Iaki, hesitant. Mrs. Wei saw that she was hesitating to say anything, and said with a smile, are there any conditions you haven't said yet? Murong shook his head and said sternly, It's not a condition. Madam, I think you already know our identity and past. What I want to say is the maid next to Miss Wei. Mrs. Wei was taken aback, you mean. Chapter 179 The man named Fei Ki. The one called Fei Ki. Then Murong Lingran told them what Fei Ki had done to their family. Mrs. Wei got up abruptly when she heard the words, and said in shock, Is what you said true? Madam, I don't have to lie to you. With your abilities, it's easy to find out her past. You can check it out. Mrs. Wei nodded solemnly, Go back first, I will definitely handle this matter properly. Butler, take her down to sign the document. Murong clearly understood that this was a family scandal so it was inconvenient for them to stay here, so they followed Butler CAO obediently away. After the siblings left, Mrs. Wei frowned and said, 
Mother Su, I don't remember that phase I okay, I was chosen by Yaxing, right? Mammy Su nodded, indeed, the slave remembered that the eldest lady happened to meet the thugs while shopping, that phase I okay, I happened to save the eldest lady, and the eldest lady took her back to the mansion when she saw that she was injured for her own sake. Heal. Who would have thought that when she was healed, she would not leave after giving her money, crying that she was helpless and begging the eldest lady to take her in. The eldest lady relented for a while, so she left her in the yard as a sweeping maid. Last time the eldest lady went to Miss Murong's house, and the maid who was serving her clothes to her happened to be ill. She recommended Faze Iokai, and the eldest lady took her away without thinking much. She was really surprised when she saw Miss Murong, and there was indeed hatred in her eyes. Mrs. Wei said, then was the thug with her, or was it a bitter plan they set up together? Mother Sue said solemnly, Madam, you forgot, the eldest young master went to investigate in person, and they just met by chance. Mrs. Wei thought about it for a while, as if there was such a thing, and asked, then Faze Iokai did something wrong in Yushin's yard. Mother Sue shook her head, that's not true. Even after she promised to stay, Madam, you know that her origin is unknown. Although she is kind to the young lady, according to the rules of the mansion, she must sign a deed of betrayal. Although she was extremely reluctant at the time, she agreed. It's just that she heard from the maid in the eldest lady's yard recently that she asked how much money it would take to redeem her body and get her deed of sale back. Mrs. Wei sneered, it seems that her life here is not as she intended, and she feels that she has not enjoyed the treatment of the eldest lady's benefactor, and she has thoughts of leaving. You sent someone to investigate what happened to her in Murong Imperial Physician's mansion. If what Miss Ling Ran said is true, it is impossible for someone with such serious revenge to stay in the mansion. For the sake of her saving the eldest young lady, I sent her to the village outside the city, looking for someone to watch, and forbid her to step into the city again. Yes, ma'am, this servant will go. Mother Su went to Wei Yushan's yard with a mighty force to arrest someone, but was told that Faze Iokai had been on sick leave since yesterday and had not been there for two days. Mother Su knew it was broken as soon as she heard it, and the person must have run away. After asking Mrs. Wei for instructions, she began to send people to look around. At this moment, Murong Lingran and her elder brother were walking down the street. Murong Zong did not expect that the vegetables grown by his sister could sell for such a good price, and he earned a tale of silver in less than a morning. I signed the documents just now, and if I provided them with it every day, that month would have earned at least thirty tales of income from the Minister of Rights. Chapter 180 Buying a Carriage There are still several acres of vegetables lying in the land, and there are twenty acres of undeveloped wasteland. If all vegetables are grown, it is really possible to make a fortune. He now understands why Aaron gave their brothers two months to think about it. Aaron can earn money much faster than him, and he doesn't even need to lick blood with a knife. Aaron is too unconfident in himself, where do they need to give them two months, one month is more than enough. Murong Lingran looked at the eldest brother in a good mood and knew what he was thinking, but she didn't point it out. Took the eldest brother to the embroidery village to give the boiled eggs, sugar and silver to Aniang, showed Aniang his face, and finally dragged the eldest brother to the West Market. Murong Zong looked at the market where people came and went, and asked suspiciously, Aaron, what are you doing here? Brother, have you forgotten that we still have so many vegetables in our house? Our family alone can't sell them all, and we have to transport so many vegetables to the city every day, and there are no means of transportation in the village for us to borrow. So for the convenience of business in the future, I plan to buy a few carriages to go back. Although ox carts are cheaper, she believes that as long as her family's business is on track, the ox carts will gradually become unusable. And horses are more humane than oxen, their endurance is better than that of oxen, and they can run farther. There are many men in her family, and they have all learned to ride horses. When they are not carrying food, they can ride for fun, and even ride together to find their younger brothers. 
a carriage? That's right, there is a lot of land in the family, and it's really too hard to rely on manpower. 10,000 Murong Zone believed that Aran would never live on the 20 plus acres of land alone, she must have bigger ambitions. Murong Lingran asked passers by, and after knowing that there was a tooth shop, he went directly there. Today, Murong Lingran was wearing beautiful clothes given to her by Helian Rongju, with light colored bead flowers on her head. Her face was white and charming, so she looked like someone who grew up in the city. Girl! As for Murong Zone, he was wearing new clothes that Murong Lingran bought him last time. Although the material was not as good as what Murong Lingran wore, it was rarely worn by ordinary people. So the guy from Yaxing looked at the clothes of the two and thought they were from a big family, so he diligently introduced them to them. After a while, Murong Lingran chose four horses, one medium carriage, and three ordinary carriages. The medium carriage is naturally for them to use as a walking tool when they usually go out, and the general carriage is used to transport vegetables. No matter what age, horses are extremely valuable, and four horses that look extremely energetic cost her 80 tails of silver. The medium car cost five tails, and the three regular cars cost six tails. Today's total, it cost 91 tails. Murong Zong's heart suddenly throbbed a little. He only earned one tail today, but Aran spent 91 tails. Now he feels that the money for growing vegetables is slow. Murong Lingran didn't feel anything at all, she was willing to give up, only if she gave up, she looked at the man and said lightly, this eldest brother, look at me, there are only two people, but my eldest brother can drive horses and carriages, can you please find a few people to help you? I drive the other carriages back. The guy has not met such a big customer for a long time, and his eyes are laughing into a straight line. This is a requirement and he quickly nodded, don't worry, girl, you can send four people to help the girl drive all the carriages home. After you get home, the girl can give you more money. Chapter 181 Crazy Shopping Murong nodded and asked earnestly, what's your surname? Under Zhao Lu. Murong Lingran gave him a tale of silver, brother Zhao, I still have some things to buy, and they will all be delivered to you in a while and when my eldest brother and I come back, we will go home together, and we will be together at that time. I'll give you the rest of the money. Zhao Lu took the money and said with a smile, OK, listen to the girl, just leave when the girl comes. Thank you big brother Zhao. The two brothers and sisters went out of their way, and immediately started a big shopping spree. Although some rooms are still empty, they all have owners. In order to let their owners come back and live at any time, a simple arrangement is inevitable. And some of their rooms are also missing a lot of things. I needed a lot of things at home, and I just bought four carriages, just in time to transport the things back. As soon as the door was closed, no one in Luwa village could see what she bought. They only knew that she had bought four carriages. When she said it was used to sell vegetables, she would be able to fool her. The quilts that were used in the bamboo house and so on, are naturally impossible to use when moving into the new house. After all, they are the old quilts that were sold to them in the past. Because they were busy buying land and warming up the house some time ago, they simply arranged the room where they slept. Many things were too late to buy and they moved to a new house. Murong Lingran plus six brothers, a total of seven rooms, plus parents and a guest room. A total of nine rooms, Murong Lingran plans to prepare four beds of cotton wool for each room, one padded bed, covered with different thicknesses of three beds. Dad and the four brothers and sisters had already bought two beds each a while ago, and they still need 28 beds. Seeing that there are all kinds of ready-made bedding, such as curtains, quilt covers, sheets, etc., Murong Lingran waved his hand and bought 20 sets at a time. I looked at other shops on the street, and as long as they saw what they thought could be used, such as tea sets, copper basins, face towels, etc., and even combs, they all bought at least nine copies, and then told the guys to all take it to the dental office. As for the food, 
the eldest brother bought a lot for the warm house, but he still bought two hundred caddies of rice and two hundred caddies of flour to go back to be prepared. The current house is not as cramped and prone to dampness as the bamboo house, the place is spacious, and there is enough money left on hand, just in time to have a carriage to buy more. Passing by the pharmacy, Murong Lingran went to buy a lot of spices such as pepper, pepper, cinnamon, star anise, and so on. The meat buns I bought last time were delicious. Passing by the bun stall, Murong Lingran bought another 30 buns, which they could have for lunch when they went back. Zhao Lu originally thought they were just buying a few things, but he didn't expect that cotton wool would actually stuff two and a half of the carriages. He was so tired that he sweated out for several days. As soon as I took a break, something was delivered, so I had to resign and start carrying it again. After repeating this for half an hour, his whole body was soaked with sweat. There is no way, he took money from others, and the two of them bought so many things here, it is absolutely impossible to make fun of him. Allowing these to be placed in the tooth bank will affect other guests, so I had to sigh and put them on the carriage. After waiting for the four carriages to be filled up, when Zhao Lu was about to become weak, the Murong Lingran siblings finally returned. Chapter 182 Arrangement Murong Lingran saw Zhao Liu's sorrowful eyes, and then looked at the stuffed carriage, and suddenly laughed wildly in his heart. This guy is too sincere, he can wait for their siblings to come back and let them move by themselves. Girl, you guys are finally back. I'm almost exhausted. Mirong smiled and checked it roughly. Seeing that the number was correct, he took out a piece of silver from the bag and gave it to him, okay, I'll give it to you, thank you. Zhao Lu immediately became energized when he saw Yin Ziai, and said with a smile, it's okay, girl, have you finished shopping? I'll call the driver when I'm done. Well, almost there, go and call someone. Okay. Zhao Lu hurriedly called the four chauffeurs to come over, and earnestly instructed that they must be sent home safely. After a long time, four carriages drove into Liwa village in a mighty manner, which immediately attracted the attention of everyone on the road. Seeing Murong Lingran's siblings sitting outside the carriage with three carriages behind them, they thought that their friends had moved to come to see them, so they didn't ask any further questions. After all, the presence of the wealthy children yesterday also opened their eyes. Although others are from outside, their ability to manage contacts is not weak at all. Basically greeted them with a smile. But no one thought that after the carriage drove into Murong's house, only four coachmen came out. Someone asked curiously and stopped the coachman to ask. Only then did he realize that the Murong family had bought four carriages at one time, and the village exploded. I wanted to ask, but Murong Lingran closed the door as soon as they entered, and the place where they lived was far from Murong Lingran's new house, and it was time for lunch, so no one came. Murong Zhe heard the movement and came to the front yard. He looked at the four carriages neatly arranged, and said in shock, Aaron, these carriages are. Well, I bought these. Murong Zhe thought of the vegetable field at home, nodded and said, there are more fields at home now, and it is indeed better to have a carriage to help. Aaron built a stable when she was building the house. Although he knew she would definitely buy livestock, he did not expect to buy four horses at one time. Murong Kwan looked around the four carriages and said excitedly, Brother, you actually bought a carriage and came back. Is it really all our families? Of course it is. Murong Zong smiled you can open the doors of the carriage and take a look. Murong Kwan did as he was puzzled, and the smile on his face became even bigger when he saw what was inside. When he left in the morning, Murong Lingran told Murong Zhe that he would buy some household items to come back, and there might be a little more, so Murong Zhe was not very surprised at this time. Aaron, did you really buy everything in your three younger brothers' rooms? Well, they are also part of the family so they won't be in a hurry when they come back. Muranj smiled gratified, Aaron, you guys have your minds. You guys, go to the kitchen to help out, make lunch quickly, 
and try to get all the rooms ready within today. Murong Lingran said again, Dad, I also bought a meat bun, and I can eat it soon. After lunch, taking advantage of the sun, Murong Zong and his younger brothers and sisters got busy, washing what should be washed and drying, and carefully arranged each room, and finally put everything before going to bed. The rooms are all furnished. It was accidentally released today, and I will explode tomorrow. Chapter 183 Choose Yourself Even if the vegetables from the Minister of Rights and Ju Gongza don't need to be delivered in person, there are still several acres of vegetables in the field. It is impossible for the four children of Murong's family to sell the vegetables before they rot in the fields. Therefore, Murong Zhe took advantage of the busyness of his children, and he couldn't help him anyway. Following his daughter's instructions, he released the news that their family needed people to pick and sell vegetables. It might have been better for Yuri Maseo to recommend it directly, but he didn't want to bother Lee Maseo anymore. The last time I recruited people to open up Wasteland, because some people were not selected by Li Zheng, they were also hated by Petty Mines, which made his family members listen to a lot of slander. So this time, they will choose their own people and they will just do the work of offending people. Picking vegetables is also considered physical work, 30 win a day, while selling vegetables is a combination of mental and physical work, and picking vegetables is also required, so 40 win a day. It takes 6 people to sell vegetables, and 6 people to pick vegetables. Those who want to do it can register at the door of Murong Lingran's house tomorrow, on a first-come first-served basis. But if the boss has other orders, the workers must obey. But because of the issue of accounting, the Murong family agreed from the beginning that applicants for vegetable sales must have basic arithmetic skills. And whether you are applying for picking vegetables or selling vegetables, you must be of good character, obey management, have no bad behavior in the village, and have a good reputation. If they conceal their past mistakes and get selected by mistake, the villagers can also report it. Once it is verified, the Murong family will never hire him and anyone who is related to him. After hearing this, many villagers were immediately moved, knowing that even if they went out to find work and do coolies, they would only be paid 30 liters a day at most. Picking vegetables in the village and then selling them can actually earn 30 to 40 cents a day, which not only saves the daily cost of entering the city, but also takes care of the family. For them, it is almost like a pie in the sky. Some time ago, they were envious of the Xia family being chosen to work by the Murong family. It was also because of the flood that all the food was flooded, but the life of the Xia family was better than theirs. They also thought at that time that Murong Lingran's vegetables would definitely need manpower when they were ripe, but they didn't expect that more than a month later, they would actually have the opportunity. If they are selected, they will not be hungry this winter, and they will be able to eat meat often in the future. So early the next morning, Murong Lingran's family had just had breakfast and placed the desk at the door, when a crowd of people gathered at the door, making a lot of noise and excitement. A long and bitter woman didn't know who stepped on her foot, and suddenly roared in displeasure, who dares to step on the foot of the old lady and stand up for the old lady. Murong Zhe was about to make a round when he was pulled by his daughter. Seeing her daughter shaking her head at her, she had to wait and see for a while. Kui Shi looked at her with contempt, how dare you apply for a job? Why am I so embarrassed? Don't think that your father-in-law can insult anyone just because he is righteous, and you can tell me clearly. Seeing that Murong Lingran looked at them and didn't stop her, Kui suddenly became energetic and sneered. Don't pretend to be confused here, your sister is Gao, when your sister kicked people out, you why don't you come to help them? Also, when your sister's family framed the third child of Murong's family last time, you didn't stop talking nonsense. Now you're so embarrassed to make money from someone else's family, you're really thick-skinned. Chapter 184 Revenge Murong raised her eyebrows Ling Ran, so she was Gao's younger sister. No wonder she helped Gao to speak ill of the third brother. Seeing that the faces of Murong Lingran's family were all darkened, Mrs. Gao quickly explained, I. 
I just had a broken mouth, so I said some unpleasant things at the beginning. I know I was wrong, or I will give you three now. Sorry brother, how about you? Murong Lingran said with an expressionless face, no need to apologize. Xiao Gao thought that Murong Lingran had forgiven her, but before he could breathe a sigh of relief, he heard Murong Lingran say again, my third brother and I, no, our family will never forgive a person who starts cursing himself without knowing the truth. Loved ones. Murong Zong and Murong Xian also said coldly, that's right. Insulting their family members and wanting to make money from their family, want to expose it with an apology? There is nothing like this in the world. Murong looked at the crowd with cold eyes, and said lightly, Human hearts are full of flesh, and I am a person who holds grudges, so I can remember the faces of those who once said nasty things about my family, and now please take the initiative to leave, especially when I said it in front of me. As soon as the voice fell, several women emerged from the crowd. There are so many people now that they didn't dare to say any complaints, they only dared to give Murong Lingran a gloomy glance, and then they all left in despair. Xiao Gao's face suddenly turned blue and then white, and he regretted it very much in his heart. He knew that he would not watch the fun in the first place. Under the contemptuous eyes of everyone, he could only roar unwillingly, let's go, what's the big deal, let's wait and see, hum. A lot of people present felt very fortunate. Fortunately, they didn't listen to the wind or the rain and didn't talk about the Murong family's gossip. Only then did Murong Lingran look at MRS Xia, MRS Xia reacted and hurriedly greeted, those who need to apply for a job selling vegetables stand in front of me first, but they need to take an exam in arithmetic, and those who feel that they can't pass the test can wait for a while, and they can apply for a job later. Vegetable Work Everyone knows that the Xia family is now a popular person in the Murong family. Knowing that what she said was inspired by the Murong family, after hearing what she said, she took the initiative to leave the team because she thought she was incompetent. There were only ten people left in front of the Xia clan, mostly men. Murong nodded in satisfaction, and in order not to waste everyone's time, he sent them the exam questions he had written last night, and said lightly, if you answer all of the above questions correctly, then you can be selected. You can line up for our four siblings to read to you, everyone's questions are different, so you don't have to worry about plagiarism and cheating. The ten people were basically illiterate, and they all handed the test questions to their brothers and sisters to read. Murong Lingran sat on the chair that had been prepared, looked at the man in the first row, motioned him to sit down too, took his test questions, and asked seriously, Name. I. My name is M. O. K. Fu. M. O. K. Fu said uncomfortably, after all, he was a few years older than Murong Lingran, and Murong Lingran was a girl who looked more capable than him, making him a little ashamed. Sir name M.O. Murong Lingran glanced at Aunt Tian in the distance, and saw that she looked at M.O. Kefu expectantly, nodded and said, Age. I'm fifteen. Have you been seriously ill in the last three months? No. Murong Lingran began to read according to the test questions, for example, if a caddy of cabbage is twenty cents, and a guest asks for six caddies, how much should you charge? Chapter 185 M.O. Kefu M.O. Kefu replied immediately, a total of 120 texts. M.O. Kefu thought that the price of this dish was casually said by Murong Lingran, so he didn't ask any further questions. Then what about the guest asking for nine pounds? 180 pennies in total. The small cabbage is still 20 cents a pound, the small green cabbage is 20 cents a pound, the spinach is 25 cents a pound, the cabbage customer needs eight caddies, the small green cabbage customer needs nine caddies, and the spinach customer needs nine caddies. How much should I charge? M.O. Kefu just paused for a while, and immediately replied, it's 565 in total. Murong nodded with satisfaction. The first one was considered a success. He smiled and said, Congratulations, you have been selected. M.O. Kefu was young after all, 
so he jumped up happily when he heard the words, and hurriedly said, Thank you girl, no, thank you boss. No thanks, you have the ability. Mokfu touched the back of his head naively, thank you so much for the boss. Xiaoshi saw that his son was successfully selected, and he was immediately excited. He originally wanted to take his son to thank the Murong family, but seeing that they were all busy, he had to give up. Murong Lingran's side is progressing smoothly, and two of the other three brothers have also been selected. The second round started soon, and it didn't take long for six people to be selected from the ten people, all of them were men, and they were all young people over fifteen and under twenty. After a while, the six people who picked vegetables also settled down. Some of them helped their family open up wasteland before, or helped them build bamboo houses. The rest of the villagers saw that there were enough people, and they were about to leave in disappointment when Murong Lingran suddenly said, Everyone, please stay. Everyone stopped for a while, and saw her saying slowly, My family bought twenty acres of wasteland some time ago. This time, I need a lot of manpower. I have accepted all the people who were willing to come. There are others who want to join. As long as they meet the requirements I just said, they can join after passing the interview. Naturally, land reclamation is still 30 coins a day, and lunch is not included. As soon as the voice fell, the already silent crowd suddenly exploded. The Murong family bought another 20 acres of land without a word. The house has just been built, the vegetables in the land can be sold, and there is so much land. Isn't the Murong family really the number one family in Liwa village? Everyone started to sign up actively, and the atmosphere suddenly became lively again. When a woman who had not gone far heard Murong Lingran's words, her expression changed. Instead of going home, she walked in another direction. I, I want to join. And me. I'm going to join too. And I. I also want. Murong Zong hurriedly said, Well, come to interview one by one. Those who pass the test will go back today to arrange the family affairs, and they can come to work tomorrow. As soon as the voice fell, everyone hurriedly started lining up in an orderly manner, for fear of giving the owner a bad impression. After a while, when everyone was registered, and after simple questions, basically all the people who came had jobs. The Murong family said something to be aware of, and everyone went home with a smile. Murong Zhe looked at the list, shook his head and said, There are too few people who open up the wasteland, and I don't know how long it will take to complete it. Father, it's all right, planting one acre per acre, you can't eat fat in one go, let's take it slow. The people of Liwa village now, except for Murong Ki family, basically every household has a field and others must take care of their own first. Chapter 187 Final Purpose Murong Zhe said, their master found out later, he felt sorry for it, and he just lost a little money. Lu hurriedly asked, how much did you lose? Murong Zhe's face suddenly turned cold, how many times have I said it, you are no longer qualified to inquire about my family after the separation. I am your mother. My mother. Murong Zhe mocked, then where was your mother when our family was besieged? Why didn't you come to protect my mother? If I have money, you are my mother, and if I have no money, you are my mother. Stepmother, let us fend for ourselves. Lu Shi was speechless for a moment. Murong rolled his eyes, Grandma, I know your purpose, no matter how much money you lost, it's all gone now. Run out? I don't believe it. Murong Lingran spread out his hands helplessly, believe it or not, Grandma, just tell me if you want money. But as I said last time, looking for my brother is now asking someone to look for it, at least one hundred dollars a year is needed. Don't say I don't have any more money now, even if I still have it, I will save it. Murong Liang didn't know about this, so he said in shock it costs more than 100 tails a year. Yet, why else would I buy land? I don't hurry up to make money. If I don't find it within a year, where will I get the money to continue looking for it? 
Lu said with a distressed look, can't you find it yourself? 120 tails, just give it to outsiders casually, prodigal son, prodigal son. Murong Lingran's face sank and narrowed his eyes slightly, let's find it ourselves? Who will take care of the land at home? Isn't it enough to leave it to your uncle's family? They are idle anyway. Lu said without thinking. Murong sneered sneeringly, so grandma's ultimate goal is this? Grandpa, do you think so too? It turns out that you came here today to ask for land. Okay, our family almost broke down in exchange for the money, but someone came to it as soon as they heard the wind, and their ambitions are not small, and they will take over all the land in the family as soon as they come. Where were you when my father and third brother were inconvenient? Where were you when I was in a coma and lacked money? Where were you when our family was besieged by more than a dozen big men one after another? If it's good, I'll rush here. Grandpa and grandmother don't have to come. What are the aunt's family doing? I'm afraid we don't know that grandma is asking for the money for her. I'm going to find Lichhan. Judge, are there any relatives like you in the world? Chen's mother and son, except for Murong Ching, suddenly changed their expressions, they deliberately waited for the others to leave before coming, this dead girl actually wanted to make a big issue. Murong Liang saw that she really wanted to go out to find someone, so he stopped her quickly, Aaron, don't get me wrong, Grandpa didn't think that way. After he finished speaking, he slapped Lu Shi mercilessly, you old man, before I came here, I said that I was not allowed to ask Ach for money, but I dared to attack them, are you taking my words as a deaf ear again? MRS Lu covered her beaten face and said aggrieved, I. Am I right? Wouldn't it be cheaper for them to find it themselves? That way you'll get your youngest son to fully accept their land, won't you? Even take their house and make them homeless again, won't you? I, I didn't think so. Chapter 188 won't help. She really hadn't thought about it that way, it's not that she didn't want to, it's just that she didn't have time to think about it. Humph, if you say something unpleasant next, get out of here immediately. Lu Shi was really angry when he saw that he didn't want to be beaten again, so he had to shut up temporarily. Murong Zhe felt tired when he heard their quarrel, he didn't want to know who they were saying was true and who was false. He just said with a cold face, Father, if the family is separated, the family is separated. When we are separated, we are two families, we can even be said to be enemies, and we will never be able to change back to the way we were. Today I will say it for the last time, for the sake of you being my parents, I will honor those who should be honored during the festivals, according to the standards of most people in Liwa village, but if you want money today, then go back it will never be possible. Ach. Murong Liang suddenly became anxious, I really didn't come to ask for money, I just wanted you to do me a favor, and I won't ask for your money in vain. Before I came, my mother and I agreed. Yes, who knew she would suddenly have such an idea? Murong Zhe resolutely said, I won't help, Dad, if you push me again, I'll sell the house and land take the money and go away to find the children, and I'll never show up in front of you again. Lu and Chen panicked at the same time, he actually had such an idea. What if he ran away and left their family here? How can that be? Only then did Murong Liang know how much the eldest son's heart was hurt. It was impossible for him to say such unfilial words before, and he glared at Lu Shi again. Lu didn't dare to speak again for fear that the eldest son's family would really run away. Why not? Isn't that what Aniang meant just now? I wish all my property was given to Murong Chi, and I wish I would be your long-term worker for the rest of my life. Rather than that, I might as well sell them all. I've always thought about it. Murong Liang knew that half of his words were angry, so he had to say the real intention of today, Ach, whether you believe it or not. I really don't know your mother's idea. The purpose of my visit is to hear that you are here today. We are recruiting people, and I want you to give the three children in the family some work, and rely on their own hands to live a good life. 
Mirong Zhe glanced at his three nephews and nieces, and saw that Mirong Cai and Mirong Ching had prayers in their eyes, while Mirong Shue's eyes were obviously disdainful, and he smiled coldly in his heart, I just said that if you don't help, you won't help, let's go. After saying that, he strode to his room. Mirong Xian and Mirong Quan were worried about Daddy, so they ran after him, Daddy, wait for us. Ach, Ach. Mirong Liang anxiously wanted to follow. Mirong Ling Ran stepped forward to stop the person, sighed and said, Grandpa, don't blame Grandpa, you must know that our children are his life, you may hit him with any idea, but just don't hit his children's ideas. The land and carriages in the family are all bought to make money, what can I use to find my brother after I can't earn money, that's why dad is so angry. Mirong Zong raised his eyebrows and persuaded, yes, grandpa, grandpa is only angry, you must not blame him. Mirong Liang was persuaded by his grandchildren, and his mood was no longer so depressed, but he still frowned and sighed, grandpa is also a father, I can understand. Chapter 189 Aching is Alone After he finished speaking, he drank the tea and got up to leave. Seeing Mirong Ching looking at her pitifully, Mirong Zong shook his head helplessly, and hurriedly said, Grandpa, Dad used to treat Aking quite well, maybe I can persuade Dad to arrange for Aking to pick vegetables. Chen Shi was instantly overjoyed, why don't you arrange Auntie, A Shui, and A C A I as well? Mirong Liang roared impatiently, shut up. Chen suddenly did not dare to speak again. Lu Shi was about to speak, when Mirong Liang glared at him, he swallowed the words in his mouth. Mirong Ling Ran said coldly, Auntie, I will remember what my uncle did to our family for the rest of my life, and there are enough people. I heard that your family now has a lot of livestock to keep, so I'm afraid it can't be separated from people. Arranging for Aching is already my elder brother and I risking being scolded by Dad, and angering Dad, I'm afraid Aching won't be able to stay. Mirong Shui and Mirong Cai looked at each other and saw embarrassment in each other's eyes. Mirong Liang quickly said, OK, Aching is alone. After finished speaking, he shouted at Mrs. Chen, you and your three children have come here. Who will take care of the family affairs? Why? Do you want to put it all on the old bones of me and your mother? Chen's face changed, and he waved his hands again and again, Father, I didn't mean that, I was wrong, just a king. Humph. Mirong Ling Ran said again, A king didn't come this morning, and there are still some things I don't know, just stay for the time being, and let her go back later. Okay, okay. Mirong Liang told Mirong Ching to be obedient and took the unwilling Lu Shi and left. Chen's mother and son knew that they would get no benefit today, and although they were unwilling, they had to follow. After Mirong Ling Ran and the others left, he looked at Mirong Ching and said, A king, wait here first, and I'll go and tell dad. Mirong Ching nodded nervously. Mirong Ling Ran and Mirong Zong came to daddy's room, saw the second and third brothers sitting on the chairs like uncles, and said helplessly, Dad, they are gone, according to the initial discussion, I will take A Ching stayed. Mirong Zhe nodded, don't let Dad blush in the future. Why? Mirong Zhe felt a little uncomfortable and said, Daddy feels that it feels really good to sing a red face. I am afraid that I will continue to sing a red face all the time. It will be too deep into the play and I can't control myself. The four brothers and sisters suddenly burst into laughter. They had a serious discussion yesterday. Their family has so many places. Although the uncle hates their family, the difference between the uncle's family and theirs is indeed a big gap now. They are going to do business in the future. If they really ignore it at all, it may affect their reputation. After all, most people don't understand their family's grievances and don't want to do business with people who don't recognize their six relatives but it is impossible to continue helping the other side unconditionally as before. After thinking about it, everyone agreed that they could help the other side, but they couldn't help those who had a bad heart, so they could only choose Mirong Ching. 
Mirong Lingran also quietly asked Chang Qi Shenzhen if Mirong Qing was worth helping. After got his affirmative answer, Mirong Lingran sang today's play with everyone. Mirong Qing waited for a while, and then Mirong Lingran came out and said with a smile, A king, stay here for lunch at noon. But I have to go back to feed the chickens, ducks, and geese. Mirong Zong patted her on the shoulder, If you come to work in the future, you will never have time to do those tasks. Leave it to your brothers and sisters, they will have to get used to it sooner or later. Chapter 190 Mirong Shue's Jealousy Mirong Qing had no choice but to say, Well then. Mirong Lingran knew that leaving Mirong Qing in the main room would definitely make her uncomfortable, so she pulled her to the kitchen and asked her to fight and cook a sumptuous lunch together. Although he only had a big meal when he came to the conservatory, looking at the braised pork, sweet and sour fish, and other kinds of meat on the table, Mirong Qing still swallowed her saliva. Uncle, I. Can I really eat it? Also, you don't have to spend so much money. Her parents have been calculating uncle, she doesn't deserve to be entertained like this. Mirong Zhe saw that she had misunderstood and did not explain that this is what they usually eat. He said softly, Uncle scared you just now, don't mind, you don't know who uncle is yet? Eat it, let it go. Mirong Qing was slightly relieved when she saw that the uncle was talking to her in the same soft and gentle manner as before. Seeing the things tied to his wrist, he didn't dare to ask any more questions. After the uncle took a bite, he began to move his chopsticks. After eating, Mirong Lingran sent her to the door and ordered her, Come over early tomorrow morning, but I said that picking vegetables is 30 cents a day, but if I give you all these coins, I don't think they will reach you. In hand. So I will deduct 15 when in the name of your strength and physical strength as a child, which means I will give you 15 when. I will save the remaining 15 when for you, when you have it in the future. I'll give it to you urgently, what do you think? However, if you are willing to give all the money to your aunt to support the family, I also respect your opinion. Mirong Ching didn't expect Sister Lingran to help her like this, so she nodded excitedly, Sister, I'm willing to listen to you, but you don't need to give me 30 cents, my strength is really small, give me 20 cents every day. I'll be satisfied if I can save 5 cents. Her eldest brother is the eldest son, and he has the grandmother to help him consider everything. Mirong Shue is two years younger than the eldest brother. When the eldest brother gets married, A Niang will definitely start thinking about her. After the marriage of her brother and sister, the family must have no money left to plan for her. She saved some by herself, which can be regarded as a guarantee. Mirong Lingran said helplessly, OK. You don't have to be polite to my sister, I heard Aunt Tien say that you quietly came to look after me several times during the twenty days I was in a coma. Help you, and because you haven't completely abandoned me. Mirong Ching's face immediately flushed red, and she said a little embarrassedly, Sister, you already know. Well, that's why it's thirty when, thirty when. Mirong Ching heard the words and no longer refused, and said with sincere gratitude, Thank you, sister, then I will go back first. Um. Mirong Shue didn't wait until Mirong Ching came back, she knew she was staying there for lunch. Seeing her walking into the main room in a happy mood, thinking that she was eating and drinking at her uncle's house, but she was eating chaff at home, her face suddenly contorted, and she said with a strange yin and yang, Yo, it seems that there is really taking you there. My daughter is the same. In this case, what are you going to do when you come back? Keep staying there, the food at home is not as good as there. Sister, what are you talking about? They just wanted to tell me what to do tomorrow, so they took some time. Mirong Shue said with a sullen expression, You dare to say that you didn't eat delicious food there. The uncle's house only warmed up yesterday, and there must be a lot of delicious food left today, Mirong King. Do you still have any ang in your eyes, and do you still have my sister, you are just unfilial. Chapter 191 is all sold out. 
I don't know how to bring some of the delicious food back. With their attitude towards A Ching, she wanted to bring it, so how could they not give it? Chen saw that her daughter was back, and hurriedly said, A King, you are back, how many coins does your uncle give you a day? Murong Shui then remembered that A Ching was already a person with a job, and suddenly looked at Murong Ching with complicated eyes. Why, they are both the uncle's niece, why is the uncle being so kind to A Ching? Sister said, I'm still young and my strength is small. The people who pick vegetables with me are adults. If they pay the same wages, they will definitely complain, so they only gave me half of it, 15 copper coins a day. Chen Shi said angrily, What? Only 15 copper coins? You are only a few years apart from them, and you are still his niece, so can you be the same as the people outside? Shouldn't normal relatives give more? How can they still pay? I'll give you less? It's too black-hearted, and they are so stingy with their own nieces, are they still human? Auntie, I'm really weak, no wonder uncle, don't say that to them. Chen's eyes rolled, a king, why don't you give this job to your sister, she is bigger and stronger than you, and she can definitely earn 30 cents a day. No way. Murong Ching knew that A Niang only cared about A Ji, A Ji Ling Ran said that she would only accept me. If you change someone, you won't even want me. Chen Shi didn't doubt her words, it really seemed like what Murong Ling Ran could say, so she had to stop thinking about changing people. Mirong Shui went back to her room with a gloomy face when she saw that she still had nothing to gain. The next day, vegetable pickers, sellers and wastelanders all arrived at Mirong's vegetable field early. They are all people who are used to doing farm work and naturally know which vegetables can be picked. Under the leadership of Mr. Xia, they rolled up their sleeves and started to work. An hour later, everyone loaded the cleaned vegetables into the car and started to sell vegetables in groups of two. Originally, the Murong family wanted to let them go and sell it by themselves, but they didn't know how to drive a carriage, so they could only ask the three Murong brothers to take them there, just one for each person. After a while, the carriages from the house of the Minister of Rights and the ninth young master also arrived, gave the money, loaded the dishes into the carriage, and left. After they left, Murong Lingran asked the pickers to join the team to open up the wasteland. After all, I still don't know the market price on the first day. Now I pick out the vegetables to be sold in the afternoon. If the vegetables are not sold in the morning, they will not be fresh tomorrow, and they will not be able to sell at a high price. The three brothers thought that the price was too high, and there would be a lot of dishes left to come back today but they did not expect that the whole three carriages of dishes would be sold out in less than half a day. The three brothers came to Mirong Lingran's room with smiles on their faces, handed the three full purses into the hands of the younger sister, and said excitedly, Aaron, they are all sold out. Sold out. Mirong Lingran still set the price at 20 cents per pound. She thought it would take a day. After all, it was more than half more expensive than the ones on the market. There are hundreds of pounds of vegetables in a truck. Mirong Zong smiled and said, Well, the dishes in our house are so good, compared with other hawkers, it's like a sky in an underground. There are more rich people in the capital than I thought, we will listen to you and go directly. Minghua Street, when those people saw our food, many people bought it even if it was expensive. Murong Zong also said, yes, some people even buy dozens of kilograms at a time, that's why we came back so early. Chapter 192 Crazy Busy Murong Lingran was also extremely happy. The business on the first day finally went smoothly, that's good. The family carefully counted the money in the purse, and together with the money given by the Minister of Rights and Zhu Gongzi, they actually sold nearly 15 tails of silver in one morning. Murong Xian had already made a rough calculation, but he was not surprised to hear the numbers from his sister, but sighed, compared to playing darts, this money is too easy to earn, if I had known that we would have made more money in the morning. City. Yeah, why didn't you know that selling vegetables could make so much money before? 
Mirong Quan also said. Mirong Lingran smiled lightly and said, It's all thanks to the seeds. My dishes are of better quality compared to other people's, and the business is naturally good. Besides, most of the farmers now mainly grow food. After all, they still have to pay the food tax. Few people grow vegetables on a large scale like us and sell them. Today, they sold a few hundred kilograms. The money looks naturally high. Everyone nodded in agreement, thinking of the other vegetables in the field, Mirong Xian excitedly said, let's go to the city again in the afternoon, this time each car will have to pack more. Mirong nodded, naturally she wanted to go. Her vegetables have high yields per mu, and the vegetables in the fields are almost mature. With the temptation to get dozens of tails of silver into the account every day, in order to sell the vegetables when they tasted the best, the Murong family was crazy busy during this time. The three men were busy selling vegetables to make money, while Murong Lingran was busy preparing seeds and planning the planting area. Knowing that they were working hard, they prepared food for them in different ways every day. Although this period was the busiest time for them since they were born, because of the hope for life, plus eating vegetables poured out of spiritual spring water every day, and managing enough meat every day, and various stews, so I don't feel tired at all, but my energy is getting better and better. After a few days, their dishes were finally seen by more and more people, and they accumulated more and more repeat customers, and the time they returned from selling vegetables every day was getting earlier and earlier. On this day, when Murong Zong came back, there was an unfamiliar carriage behind him. Some wasteland has been developed. Murong Lingran was handing over the seeds to the workers when he heard the elder brother calling him from a distance, and he looked very anxious and ran home quickly. Seeing the three unfamiliar middle-aged men in the main room, Murong asked in doubt, Brother, why did you guys come back so early today? How many of them are? Mirong Zong just poured tea for them and said with a smile, They are the reason why I came back so early, they bought all the dishes. The three middle-aged men looked at each other when they saw what Mirong Zong said the so-called head of the family was coming back, and the head of the family was actually the little girl in front of him. But the world is big, and there are all kinds of surprises. The three of them are experienced people. They didn't say much and started to introduce themselves. Girl, below is the shopkeeper Jia of Tianhe Tower. Below is manager Huang of Minjiuilu. The next one is shopkeeper Ding of Shengzhen Restaurant. Shengzhen Restaurant? Murong Lingran said calmly, Little girl Murong Lingran, are you here for my family's food? Murong Zong nodded, Indeed, Aaron, they want our family to provide their restaurant with vegetables. It's okay to provide vegetables. Mirong nodded without hesitation. The three shopkeepers had a show as soon as they saw it. Shopkeeper Jia hurriedly said, Girl, I heard from your elder brother that they are all 20 cents a pound. I wonder if the price can be reduced a bit. Chapter 193 The Person Who Can't Be Offended Mirong motioned them to sit down, and he sat down opposite them, shaking his head, No, the price can't be changed. Miss Murong, the quantity I want is large and stable. I need at least 400 caddies of vegetables every day, and I will send someone down to pull it personally. You don't have to work hard to sell it at all, just give it a little discount. Shopkeeper Jia advised. Yes, although my restaurant business is not as good as Tianhilu, the source of customers is also stable. At least 300 kilograms of vegetables are needed every day. You can also save labor and time, worry and effort, and girls who cut prices appropriately will not loss. Manager Huang also said. That's right, although Shengzhen restaurant is not as good as the two of them, but every day is like a cloud of customers, and it needs at least 200 caddies every day, and I hope the girl can drop a few pennies. Mirong Zong glanced at his sister and saw that she took a sip of tea very calmly, and said lightly, the shopkeepers are right. The three shopkeepers thought that she really agreed, and they were instantly overjoyed. It was easy to do business with children. But... Mirong Lingran continued, 
the price is impossible to drop. The faces of the three suddenly stiffened, and shopkeeper Jia frowned and said, Does the girl have something to hide? It's not hard to hide, right? Murong Ling Ran said slowly, The shopkeeper seems to have forgotten, if I accept your proposal and you pull it out yourself, then why can't my people go to the street to continue selling at the same time? And the manpower I am hiring now is just enough to provide the amount of vegetables my brothers sell each day. If the shopkeeper promises, according to what you just said, the daily workload will be increased by 900 kilograms. I am at this point. There are absolutely not enough people to work, and we have to continue to find people, so the wages of this labor will not be reduced. The three shopkeepers looked at each other, but they didn't expect this girl to be quite ambitious. Shopkeeper Ding's eyes suddenly flashed a stern look, although he was quickly covered up by him, he was still caught by Murong Ling Ran. Murong raised his eyebrows sharply, and it really is that things gather together, people are divided into groups, and he smiled lightly, actually, there is another important reason why I don't lower the price. Shopkeeper Ding asked curiously, what's the reason? Murong Ling Ran said, there are two big families in the capital who also come to get food every day, and the price is also 20 cents. I also told them that the minimum price for my food is 20 cents, and there are other options in the future. They have nothing to say about raising prices. If the price I give you is cheaper than theirs, I will most likely offend them. Our family is just an ordinary family, and we want to do business in the city smoothly for a long time and live in peace. I really don't dare to act against them. Shopkeeper Ding was startled, and immediately sat up straight. Can you tell me which two families they are? I don't dare to reveal who it is. After all, when it comes to imported food, it's the people I can't afford to offend. But if you want to find out, you can find it. The implication of is that I dare not say it, but you can inquire for yourself, and what you inquire about is not what she said. Shopkeeper Jia said tentatively, Is he an important minister in the DPRK? One of the households is under one person and over 10,000 people. Ninth young master is a member of the Ningen Haofu, and the Ningen Haofu should be considered to be under one person and more than 10,000 people. The three shopkeepers immediately looked at each other. Chapter 195 Do whatever you want. After saying that, he was about to leave the main room. Murong Lingran hurriedly said, Brother, I was just talking about it just now and I don't know if it is enough for you to drive and sell it in addition to supplying restaurants every day. If it is not enough, you should rest for a while and wait for the newly developed wasteland. The ones inside grow out and go. Okay, big brother got it. With the fixed business of three restaurants, the food business of Murong Lingran's family has improved a lot. However, after careful calculation, Murong Zong found that it was still difficult to supply restaurants and send people out to sell vegetables before the remaining 20 acres of wasteland were fully developed. Therefore, for a period of time, the priority was to prepare for the restaurant. If there were any leftovers, they would drive to sell them, and the remaining people would join the team of reclaiming wasteland or planting vegetables. During the period, the Minister of Rights and the Ninth Young Master seemed to have doubled the amount for gifts, which made them busy every day. But after the villagers learned to drive a carriage, the Murong family let the villagers do it themselves, and they gradually began to relax. It is enough to inspect the vegetable field every day, keep a record, read the account book, collect the money, and listen to the problem report. Of course, Basically every day people come to their door and want them to supply vegetables, but they are now saturated with supply and demand, so they all refuse. In the middle of the night, everything is quiet. Girl. Changi Shenzhen suddenly called from the space. Murong Lingran was sleeping, and suddenly opened his sleepy eyes. Since she is sleeping alone in a room now, she doesn't have to hide anything. As soon as her eyes are closed, her body immediately enters the space. Shen Jun, is there any urgency for you to call me suddenly? Murong Ling Ran yawned after speaking. Shen Jun Changi said lightly, from tomorrow onwards, 
you will provide me with ten different kinds of herbs every day. Remember, there must be ten completely different kinds. Murong Lingran was instantly overjoyed, thinking that there was more land available for cultivation, but when he went there, he found that it was the same as the last time he came in. Your injury hasn't changed, how come the herbs you need have changed? Shenzhen Changi snorted coldly, Humph, you can do whatever this seat asks you to do, stop talking nonsense. Murong Lingran rolled his eyes, this man's arrogant temper came up again, so he had to say, OK, but you are looking for me in the middle of the night for this matter. Of course not, it's... Well, forget it, you'll know when the time comes, I'm sleeping, don't disturb me, I'll look for medicine early tomorrow morning, there's no delay, you know. Got it. Mirong Lingran said with a smile. After waiting for a while, she didn't hear Changi Shenzhen continue to speak, and Mirong punched and kicked into the air abruptly. If she could, she wanted to give him a good beating. Is there anything I can't tell you tomorrow morning? Don't drag her out of her dream. In the middle of the night, he was suddenly woken up by someone and got angry for a while. Murong fell into insomnia and went back to bed tossing and turning for several hours without falling asleep. The next day, without exception, he got up with dark circles under his eyes. She was going to have breakfast, and she was always the first to wake up in the family. She put the breakfast on the table in a trance. As soon as she sat down, she felt that the atmosphere was not right, and when she looked up, she saw everyone looking at her worriedly. Mirong Zong reached out and probed her forehead, the forehead is not burning, Aaron, what's wrong with you, your face is so bad. It's nothing. Last night, I dreamed of a monster that was so mad that it didn't pay for its life. When I woke up, I had insomnia. As soon as I fell asleep, it was dawn. Chapter 197 It's Not a Dog Threw most of the herbs into the space, and was about to go down the mountain when suddenly bursts of crying came from a distance. Woo-woo-woo, woo-woo, woo-woo. Mirong Lingran was stunned for a moment, all his hair stood up, how could there be children crying in this deserted forest? Woo-woo-woo, woo-woo, woo-woo. Bracing his courage, he walked cautiously in the direction of the sound, listening to the sound getting louder and louder, patted his chest to cheer himself up, and after walking for a while, suddenly appeared in front of him a large monster that seemed to be left by a hunter. Pit. Murong Lingran cautiously looked into the pothole, and saw a boy of about seven or eight years old sitting in it, crying bitterly. And next to him lay a dog-like animal. With his eyes closed he didn't know whether it was dead or alive. Woo-woo-woo-woo. The child suddenly raised his head and finally saw someone appearing. The crying stopped abruptly, wiped his nose and tears, and sobbed, Sister, please help me up, it's too high, I can't climb up. Seeing that it was a child, Murong suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, the killer she met with her third brother last time in the forest more or less left a shadow on her and she asked curiously, Child, how did you fall? The child looked at the dog lying beside him, and said with a look of fear, I was chased here by it and fell off accidentally. At this moment, the dog seemed to have finally woken up, stretched leisurely, and stood up slowly. Glanced at the child in front of him, suddenly felt the breath of a stranger, looked up and saw the human looking at it, his eyes suddenly lit up. The child hurriedly huddled in a corner when he saw the dog woke up. Unsurprisingly, the child was frightened and cried again. Woo-woo, 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 sister, help, help. Murong stroked his forehead reluctantly, it's just a dog. If it wants to eat you, it has already eaten you, and it can keep you crying for so long. Put his hands behind his back, took out a rope from the space, and threw it down. Wrap the rope around your body, and I'll pull you up. The child was about to stretch out his hand when he saw the dog taking the lead, stood up suddenly, showing his sharp fangs and biting the rope in one bite, his bright black eyes staring straight at the human above. Murong was stunned for a moment, then frowned, You want me to pull? 
The dog bit the rope and pulled it, signaling her to hurry up. If it can go up on its own, can it stay with this little brat for so long? Waiting for it to fall asleep. Murong Lingran suddenly squatted on the side, and didn't know why he suddenly started to discuss with it, then let's talk about it first, I can pull you up, but you can't attack us. After he finished speaking, he took out a knife and said with threatening eyes, Have you seen this knife? If you dare to bite us, then I will only eat dog meat tonight. The dog nodded impatiently, Why do these stupid humans regard it as a dog? It's not a dog, it really isn't a dog. Seeing it nodded, Murong raised her eyebrows, she really understood what people said, but she didn't seem to have a good temper, but she started to exert force on her hand, and planned to pull it up first. The dog is big and heavy. Although she knows how to crawl up the soil with her paws, she is only a ten-year-old child, how much strength can she have? After gritted her teeth and pulled it up, she felt that her hand was about to break, and the palm of her hand was burning. Chapter 198's Yang Zishu After pulling up one person and one dog, Murong Lingran was also paralyzed from exhaustion, sitting on the ground breathing rapidly. Looked up at the dog who had been sitting on the ground and staring at her since he got up. This black dog was too big. It stood taller than her and had a lot of meat. It looked like it was domesticated. Looking at its huge body without a trace of stray hair, Murong Lingran suddenly felt a little itchy, and his hands couldn't help but reach out and touch it. Well, it feels really good. I don't know if this dog is a unique breed of Xian Qingguo. It's different from the dogs she's seen before. She wanted to have a large dog in the 21st century, and she always felt that the rate of turning back must be very high when she was taken out. After the parents over there knew what she was thinking, they took her to the house of a distant relative who had an Alaskan dog and asked her to take her out to try. As a result, Alaska was locked in the house all the time. Every time he went out, he was very excited. When he went out, it was not her walking the dog, but the dog walking her. She was afraid of losing the dog or scaring the elderly and children, so she never dared to let go, and tried her best to control the dog leash. Even so, she was almost thrown by the dog several times. When it got too excited, she finally took it back to her relative's house. She had almost half of her breath left, and went home to rest for two hours without recovering. Later, she learned that the male host of the distant relative's house was always led out for a walk by the host, and the hostess was never able to hold her. Since then, she has never thought of raising a large dog. Although you can keep a dog in a cage or let it move around at home, it is too cruel to the dog if you don't take it out for a walk. When the dog saw her touching it, it did not resist, but closed its eyes as if enjoying it, and let her touch it. The weather was very gloomy this morning. Although it was very cool, in this forest, it gave people a gloomy feeling. A gust of cold wind blew, and because the child was frightened all morning, his clothes were already soaked with sweat, and he shivered suddenly. Sister. The child glanced around in fear, and said uneasily, Sister, I'm afraid, let's get out of here quickly, there are a lot of beasts here, and it will be miserable if we meet. Murong Lingran retracted his hand and ignored the dog. He helped the child up from the ground and looked at his whole body. Seeing that he was only a little embarrassed and there was no blood on his body, he said lightly, I want to when I take you out, you must answer my questions seriously. Okay. The child nodded obediently. Tell me your name, why you came here, and how long you've been in it. A child appeared here alone, and it was no wonder she was suspicious. The child said seriously, Sister, my name is Yang Zishu. My brother and I were hunting together, but we happened to encounter a wild boar group. In order to protect me, my brother put me on a tree. But I saw that the wild boars have been gone for a long time, and my brother didn't come to me. I was afraid that he would forget me or get lost, so I got down from the tree and wanted to find him. Who knew that he would be chased by this dog as soon as he came? I don't know how long he ran, 
and he fell into this pit after running here. I don't know how long it has been falling, maybe more than half an hour. Mirong nodded, the child should not have been frightened, the adjustment is clear, she completely understood, and immediately gave the dog a displeased look, you really have the ability to bully a child. Chapter 199 Turned Into Bones The dog ignored her accusing eyes and looked up at the sky. Mirong Lingran was instantly angry, she was ignored by the dog. Is wrong. Xiang Zishu? Why is this name familiar? Mirong Lingran asked in surprise, who is Xiang Zimo? Xiang Zishu said softly, Sister, he is my eldest brother. Is Xiang Zimo your eldest brother? Mirong Lingran couldn't help twitching the corners of her mouth, this world is really small, and she knew someone who could save a child. Well, sister, do you know my big brother? How did you know my big brother? Mirong Lingran got up and put the rope back into the bag, and said lightly, This matter is a bit complicated, I can't tell you, you should go back and ask your elder brother. Although he knew that the child's family was looking for him, he just mentioned that there were wild boar herds appearing, in order to prevent them from meeting again, Murong Lingran had to say, It is not suitable to stay here for a long time, go home with me, my home is not far from here, come down the mountain. Nodded to Zishu, yes. Murong Lingran was about to take his hand when Xiang Zishu's face turned red, Sister, I'm a boy and I'm seven years old. Murong Lingran sighed helplessly, hit her hand and she forgot that this was Xian Qingguo, where men and women were seven years old. Sorry, I take you as my younger brother. Mirong Lingran touched her nose embarrassedly, let's go, follow me closely. Yes, sister. After walking a few steps, Mirong Lingran turned his head when he heard the movement behind him, and looked at the dog with a relaxed expression, what are you doing with me? Wang, Wang, Wang. The dog roared three times, looked at her, and then looked down the mountain. Mirong frowned and said, Looking at your fat and strong body, you are very clean. You must have a master. You go with me, what will your master do? Although she likes it very much, she won't grab it if it's not her own. The dog suddenly made a pitiful expression. Mirong Lingran's eyes became itchy again when she saw it. She had no resistance to these long-haired animals. In this forest, there are jackals, tigers, and leopards that are more ferocious than it. If it is left alone, if it never finds its owner, it will definitely become a skeleton tomorrow. Although she grew a little bigger, it looked scary, but it was a dog after all. She brought it home temporarily, so it shouldn't cause panic. When its owner finds it, she will just return it to him. Well, you can follow me, but you're not allowed to scare people, you know? Or I can eat dog meat anytime. The dog nodded obediently. Mirong Ling sighed, that's all, no matter what, it's a life. And it's good that he was trained by his master, so he should not cause trouble for her. Xiang Zishu was shocked by the interaction between them. This sister is so powerful that the dog can listen to her. Two people and one dog quickly walked down the mountain, just as Mirong Lingran thought, because it was just a dog, it didn't cause much panic. And the people he saw were basically people who worked in her home. Out of trust in her, when he saw the dog behind him, he could at most ask, where did this dog come from? And Mirong Lingran returned all of them, if they met on the mountain, she had to follow her back, and she didn't know. The villagers didn't ask any more questions after hearing this. Some dogs would take the initiative to find someone who was destined to go home with them, and they didn't find it strange. Chapter 200 Really Obedient Was walking forward when he suddenly heard a burst of exclamations behind him. Mirong Lingran thought that someone was finally afraid of the dog. He turned around and saw that the dog ran to the edge of the pool, circled around the pool excitedly, and immediately began to drink water. Xiaoshi and a few women who were fetching water were sitting on the ground in embarrassment. Obviously, the dog rushed over when he saw the water. 
Xiaoshi and the others thought the dog was going to attack them, but they did not stabilize their bodies for a while. Fell to the ground. Mirong Lingran had no choice but to step forward to help the Xiaoshi up, ants, I'm sorry, it's all my fault for not watching it. After finished speaking, he glared at the dog, if you scare people again, I will throw you up the mountain. Xia hurriedly said, it's okay, it should be thirsty, it's my aunt who made a fuss. The other women also said, yes, we are too timid, don't blame it. The dog felt that she was angry, so he glanced at the pool reluctantly, and followed her with his head down. It just suddenly felt that the taste of this water was different from what it had drunk before. Seeing this, the worker thought at the same time, this dog looks big and scary, but it is really obedient. Back home, the whole family had just come back from the field and were talking in the main room. Seeing that she brought a child and a dog back after a trip to the mountain, Mirong Zhe said with concern, Aaron, they are. Mirong Lingran briefly explained what happened just now. Everyone suddenly realized that in that case it was the best decision to come back first. Is that their families and owners must be in a hurry. Mirong glanced at Xiang Zishu, brother, his whole body is soaked with sweat, take him down to wash him, and then change his clothes to prevent him from getting sick. Okay, don't worry, I'll leave it to big brother. After speaking, he took Xiang Zishu to the guest room. In order for the younger brothers to have a change of clothes when they came back, Mirong Lingran also bought some boys' clothes that could be worn by five to eight years old and put them in their room, so there was no shortage of clothes. The dog has been following Mirong Lingran, and she will follow wherever she goes. Mirong Lingran only instructed it not to take it to the house for convenience, not to go out to scare people at will, and ignore it when it nodded. Mirong Lingran walked to the kitchen, rolled up his sleeves and started preparing lunch. As soon as all the vegetables were cut, Xiang Zisha changed his clothes and came to the kitchen to stand, and said pitifully, Sister, I... I'm hungry. Mirong Ling was stunned for a moment, followed the sound, and saw Mirong Zong standing behind Xiang Zishu helplessly, as soon as he changes his clothes, he will come to you. Brother, if you have to do some work beforehand, he will leave it to me. Although it was not time to eat, the child was frightened by a wild boar and a dog in less than half a day, and cried for a long time. His physical strength was exhausted. Fast is also normal. Okay, then I'll trouble you. Mirong Lingran handed him the three egg cakes left in the morning, you simply fill your stomach first. When lunch, if your family doesn't find it, come eat with us. Xiang Zisha took the egg cake and said obediently, Thank you, sister. After saying that, he took a big bite. Mirong Lingran glanced at the dog's position, and saw the dog looking straight at her and then looked at Xiang Zisha's egg cake. Chapter 201 Sun Lei Mirong was stunned for a moment, are you hungry too? The dog nodded. Mirong Lingran searched in the kitchen again, only to find white rice and a small amount of shredded pork in sauce, looking at its smooth and soft hair, its previous owner must have given it a good meal, and suddenly hesitantly said, white rice goes well with it. Do you want shredded pork with sauce? The dog nodded again. Mirong Lingran smiled and immediately poured all the white rice and shredded pork into a large bowl for him to eat. This dog understands human nature and is not a picky eater, unlike some dogs that only eat meat, it is really easy to feed. Seeing that it was very face-saving, Mirong pondered in a good mood. It's not bad to have such a dog by your side, you don't need her to lead, and she is so obedient, she suddenly said. I don't know where your master is, you stay here until your master finds you. Give me a home nursing home. The dog nodded while eating. You agreed. Mirong Lingran was pleasantly surprised, then you are not allowed to go back when you agree, then let me give you a name, what would you like to call it? Um, you have so much hair on your whole body, and your whole body is like that. Hey, I'll call you Hey Mao, okay. Kuro Mao nodded again, it's just a name, anything is fine. 
Then it's settled, Kuriko. As soon as the voice fell, there were rapid footsteps at the door. As soon as Murong Lingran raised her head, she saw Murong Zong brought Xiang Zimo towards her, and there were several guards behind him. Xiang Zimo finally breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that his younger brother was safe and sound. Xiang Zisha just finished eating the egg pancake, when he saw the person coming, he quickly wiped his mouth and shouted excitedly, Brother! Why don't you run around? Didn't I tell you to wait for me in the tree? Do you know how anxious Big Brother is to find out that you are gone? Xiang Zimo lowered his head and said apologetically, I'm sorry, eldest brother, I was wrong, thanks to this sister for saving me. Xiang Zimo then looked at Murong Lingran and said with a smile, Girl, I didn't expect such a coincidence. Thank you very much. If you hadn't rescued him, I wouldn't be able to explain it to you next time. Murong said lightly, It's really a coincidence, how did you find this place? It's very simple. After I found out that he was gone, I kept sending people around to look for it. I happened to ask about the people in your village. He happened to see you brought a child down the mountain and showed me the way. I came. Murong nodded, so it is. Xiang Zimo finished speaking, looked aside inadvertently, saw the black hair, took a step back involuntarily, and immediately protected Xiang Zisha behind him, is this a dog? Yup. Xiang Zimo said in surprise, this dog is too big, it, will it bite? He had never seen such a big dog in his life, standing on all four legs at the same time, even taller than Miss Murong. Murong raised his eyebrows, this young master Xiang is really timid, how dare such a timid person go hunting? Looked at Xiang's issue helplessly, it stayed in the pit with your brother for at least half an hour. If he wants to attack someone, can your brother still stand here and talk to you? Xiang Zimo was startled and looked at his younger brother, Zishu, you stayed with it for so long? How is it? Are you injured? If there is any injury, you must tell me. Murong Zong said, Don't worry, young master, I cleaned him just now, except for the clothes that were cut by the branches, and there was no injury on his body. Chapter 202 Killing Xiang Zimo breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the words, and said sincerely, Thank you, young master Murong. After he finished speaking, he still looked at Hamao nervously. After all, he is a beast. Who knows if he will suddenly go crazy? Murong Lingran had no choice but to say, Don't worry, young master, he won't attack people, he's very obedient. After saying that, he looked at Kuro Mao, black hair, sit down for me. Kuro Mao was stunned for a while. For the sake of the food in the future, although he was reluctant, he had to do it obediently. Black hair, give me a roll. Black hair still did it obediently. Black hair, stand up for me. Kuroj immediately stood up like a human. Murong Lingran spread out his hands helplessly, look, isn't it very obedient? The obedient she wants to have it for herself. Xiang Zimo said in surprise, it is indeed obedient. Xiang Zimo put down his guard, suddenly thought of something, and said sternly, Today was originally to hunt some game and go back to make barbecue to eat, but I happened to encounter a group of wild boars, and accidentally hunted a little more, so I gave half of the girl as a gift. Thank you. The life-saving grace has to be repaid. Went out hunting, for the convenience of him, he didn't bring anything valuable on him, so I can only thank him temporarily. When he has time next time, he will officially come to thank him. Murong Zong hurriedly whispered in her ear, Aaron, I hunted seven wild boars from the gentleman's men, and now they are all piled up in the front yard. Murong was shocked, seven wild boars? Did they kill the wild boar herd? Then thank you, young master Xiang. Xiang Zimo was about to say goodbye, when he saw the sky suddenly covered with dark clouds, lightning and thunder, and raindrops the size of his fists fell on the ground in an instant. Girl, can I borrow your ground for shelter from the rain? Nature is okay. However, 
although it is said to be shelter from the rain, it is lunch time soon. The visitors are guests, and they have brought so many prey, so it is okay to treat them to a meal. Murongje knew that there were a lot of people eating today, so he quickly ordered his three sons to help his daughter together. Xiang Zimo also asked the guards to come forward to help him. He brought a lot of people, so he took the initiative to take out a wild boar for lunch. Therefore, although there are many people who eat, there are also many people who help, and Murong Lingran basically only does the job. When all the dishes were served, most of the wild boar was used. Naturally, the dishes she made were unanimously praised by those present. After lunch, the rain and the sky soon passed. Seeing that it was getting late, Xiang Zimo instructed the guards to carry all the wild boars into the carriage, and then pulled Xiang Zisha to leave. Xiang Zisha said softly, Brother, can I stay here? Xiang Zimo frowned, What are you doing here? It's more fun here than at home. There are green mountains and green waters here, which makes people feel at ease. Once he got home, he was forced to learn to read, learn how to do business, and how could he be at ease here. Xiang Zimo shook his head, No, you will cause them trouble by staying here. There are still people at home waiting for you to come home. Xiang Zisha glanced at Murong Lingran reluctantly. Xiang Zimo had no choice but to compromise, I'll send you here in a few days when eldest brother is free. Xiang Zishu had no choice but to nod, all right then. Seeing that the two brothers were negotiating on their own, without asking her permission at all, Murong shook his head speechlessly, is it a little bit like you don't treat yourself as a guest? It's just that as soon as they reached the gate, a figure rushed towards Xiang Zimo. Chapter 203 Don't you like him? Xiang Zimo lightly turned to the side, and easily avoided it. Murong Shui didn't expect him to dodge, and before he could stabilize his body, he fell to the ground with a bang. Murong Lingran saw the person coming, raised his eyebrows and said, What are you doing here? Murong Shui ignored Murong Lingran, got up quickly and looked at Xiang Zimo apologetically, My son, I didn't mean to, I didn't scare you just now. Xiang Zimo frowned when he saw her contrived face, No. That's fine, that's fine. Murong Lingran glanced at Murong Shui coldly, and seeing that she was about to speak again, she took the lead and said, Mr. Xiang, then I will send you here. Well, Miss Murong will stop. Seeing Xiang Zimo getting on the carriage without turning his head, Murong Shui glanced at Murong Lingran complainingly. Naturally, Murong Lingran didn't even give her a look, and immediately made her furious. After he couldn't see Xiang Zimo's group at all, Murong Lingran said calmly, Murong Shui, what are you doing here? Murong Shui thought of Xiang Zimo's tall body, her face flushed and said, Aaron, who is that son? I heard you call him young master Xiang, how do you know him? I see his clothes, it should be from the city. Where is the son of a big family? Why does he come to your house? Are you familiar with him? Where does he live in the capital? Murong raised his eyebrows, this was the first time that Murong Shui had spoken to her in such a gentle manner since they were released, and she still had the light of an outsider like Xiang Gongzi. What did you ask him for? Oh! Murong Lingran suddenly folded her arms across her chest, with a look of sudden realization, Murong Shui, you must have taken a fancy to him, right? Murong Shui saw that she had directly spoken her mind, her face turned even redder, and she snorted coldly, is it strange that I am attracted to such a handsome and tall gentleman? Stop talking nonsense, hurry up. Tell me who he is. Murong frowned and nodded in agreement. That's right, young master Xiang is really good, he has money and he has a sister who is a concubine for the prince. He is indeed a good man in the eyes of many people. But compared to ninth young master, it's still far behind. She always knew that Murong Shui looked down on the village husband of Yamano in Luwa village, but she didn't expect that she was quite ambitious and actually wanted to marry a big family in the city. Also, if dad is still an imperial physician, 
she might indeed marry someone like Xiang Zimo. It's just that it's a bit whimsical now. Yes, it's not strange. After speaking, he ignored her series of questions and walked into the yard. Mirong Shui was not worth her time. Mirong Shui was in a hurry when she saw that she was going to leave. She ran in front of her and blocked her way. She said softly, Mirong Ling Ran, you haven't told me what that young master's name is. Just now, she watched the young man come to the uncle's house from a distance. She originally wanted to come to the uncle's house for a meal. If there are guests, the uncle will definitely give her face. But grandma just happened to ask her to go back to help grandma with her work, so she had to go back home temporarily. After lunch, she was waiting at the door of her uncle's house. She thought she could have a few words with him, but she didn't expect to leave as soon as she arrived. She couldn't even say a few words, which made her happy. Disappointment. With her appearance and figure, I believe that those sons and buddies who know her will definitely fall in love with her. Chapter 204 Sold Even if she is willing to be a concubine, she can get out of the bitter sea of Luwa village. I have no idea. Murong Shue's complexion suddenly became contorted, and she said with a gloomy expression, Murong Ling Ran, are you afraid that the young master will fall in love with me after he understands me, that my status will become nobler than yours in the future, that's why you don't tell me about him and stop me from contacting him. Mirong Ling Ran's eyes were astonished like copper bells. After realizing what she had said, she burst into laughter. Mirong Shui, Mirong Shui, why didn't I know that you were so narcissistic before? Don't be self-righteous, I believe that you are in love with him, but that young man will not fall in love with you even if he is in love with Hamao. Dream less in the daytime, you know. Mirong Shui was taken aback, who is Hei Mao? Mirong turned around and shouted into the courtyard, Hey Mao, come out, someone wants to see you. Kuro Mao, who had just smelled the smell and arrived in the master's room, heard the sound, and immediately ran away, and soon ran to the master's side. Seeing Mirong Shui, he seemed to sense that she was not a good person, and immediately yelled at her fiercely, Wang, Wang, Wang. Mirong Shui was so frightened that she took a step back and said, trembling, with such a big dog, Mirong Ling Ran, you are not afraid of it hurting people. Wang, Wang, Wang. You are the dog. Hurt people? It does hurt people, but it will only hurt people who are not good to my family. After Mirong finished speaking, he ordered coldly, Hamao, drive her away from me. She's busy and doesn't have time to talk nonsense with her here. Hei Mao grinned in coordination, and slammed towards Mirong Shui's neck. Mirong Shui was bitten by a dog when she was a child, and when she saw the black hair pounce on her with sharp fangs, she didn't care to ask the son's name any longer, and ran away, shouting unwillingly as she ran, Mirong Ling Ran, I remember you. Seeing that people were scared away by it, Hei Mao returned to his master in a very sensible manner, raised his head proudly, and looked like he was begging for compliments. Mirong Ling Ran stroked Hei Mao's back and praised, Hei Mao, you are too smart, I will make you a big bowl of delicious food to treat you later, okay? Wang. Okay. Good boy. After running a distance, Mirong Shui looked back and was relieved to see that the dog named Hei Mao was not chasing after him. The hateful Mirong Lingran dared to scare her with a dog, just wait and see. Mirong Lingran returned to the kitchen yard and immediately made a large pot of boiled meat for Hamao to eat. Seeing the remaining three wild boars in the yard that were still warm, he thought about it for a moment, and after obtaining the consent of all the family members, he asked the eldest brother to pull all the wild boars into the city and sell them. There was still a lot of meat left from the one that was killed at noon. A wild boar weighed hundreds of kilograms. Even if it was left at their house, even if it got tired of it and it was spoiled, it would not be able to finish it. Although it can be kept fresh in the space, there is a difference between wild boar and domesticated pork. It will be troublesome to find an excuse to take it out in the future, so it is better to take it out and sell it. 
and the eldest brother did not let her down. The three wild boars were sold for 120 tails of silver, with an average of 40 tails of silver per head. As soon as they got home, they handed all the money to her. After everyone in the family came back, Mirong Lingran was very generous and gave five tails of pocket money. Originally they didn't want it. After all, there are a lot of places to spend money in the family, but I heard that the three wild boars were sold for free, so they didn't refuse. Chapter 205 Planting Potatoes At night, just as Mirong Lingran returned to his room, Changi Shenzhen suddenly said, Girl, you and Hamao are both here for this seat. Mirong Lingran heard the words and had to lock the room and take the black hair into the space. Shenzhen Changi saw the black hair and said to himself, It's really still alive. Mirong Lingran was stunned for a while, then looked at Hamao suspiciously, Shen Jun, do you know it? Well, take good care of it. Doesn't it have an owner? Shenzhen Changi snorted coldly, Who else can be its owner except you? Do you see it obeying others? Do you see it running after others? Mirong raised his eyebrows and cast an inquiring look at Hamao. Is it a divine beast? Or a mythical beast related to Chanki God? Just looks like a dog? Well then, for your sake, I'll take good care of it. Since Chanki Shenzhen said so, then she was relieved. If the owner of it suddenly finds it after she has developed a relationship, then she will definitely cry to death. Kuro Mao changed his place in the blink of an eye, it was more spacious than the room just now, and he rolled around excitedly. Seeing that the master was talking, he looked in every direction in doubt and couldn't find anyone, and immediately fell at her feet in fear. Mirong Lingran knew what it was thinking by looking at its expression, patted its head amusingly, and said softly, Don't be afraid, this is my secret base, it's very safe. Kuro Mao understood her words, suddenly felt something, looked at the Ling Chuan pool, and wanted to go forward when excited. Mirong Lingran saw through what it was thinking at a glance, grabbed it quickly, and said with a stern face, You are not allowed to approach the pool without my consent in the future, understand? Otherwise, I will not let you in in the future. Kuroj nodded obediently. Mirong raised his eyebrows, It seems that it is really a beast, and he knows that it is a good thing. Wait, Kuroko was very excited when he saw the pond in the vegetable field during the day. Could it be because he smelled the spiritual spring water in that pond? Well, it must be so. It was impossible to go to the kitchen now, so Murong Lingran had to go to the basement of the space to take out a large soup bowl she used in modern times, fill it with water, and let it drink happily. When it was full, take it out of the space and let it sleep beside her bed. Good night's sleep. Xiao looked at the budding lumps in the bamboo basket, picked it up and looked at it curiously, and asked the people who worked with her, but she didn't know what was in front of her. Mirong Lingran waited for the eldest brother to put down the last bamboo basket, and stepped forward to wipe the sweat for the eldest brother, brother, thank you for your hard work. It's not hard, don't be polite to big brother. Xiao asked curiously, little master, what is this? Mirong Lingran acted like he didn't quite understand it, this thing is called potato, it can also be called potato, I bought it from a merchant when I went to the city, I heard that it can be used as a staple food, but also when it comes to vegetables, it is particularly high yield. The merchant also said that he can grow this variety all year round, it is cold and heat resistant, and it can survive in all seasons. When the other people heard her words, they immediately gathered around and couldn't help but take a look at the potato nuggets. Tian Shi said in amazement, Little master, what you said is true, can these be used as staple food and vegetables? Can it be grown regardless of the season? Is there such a food in the world? Well, I heard him say that after planting it, it can yield thousands of caddies per mew. Chapter 206 Too Risky when she bought it in the 21st century, the seller said that this is the latest variety from their research institute. If it is carefully planted on the most fertile land, it can yield at least 4,000 caddies per mew. 
There is no fertilizer here, and the land has just been developed from wasteland. The fertility must be extremely low, and there is no experience in planting, so she is a little conservative. Tian Shi was shocked and said, Up, a thousand jins. It's not surprising that Tian was shocked. You must know that the yield per mu of rice they planted is only five or six hundred caddies, and this thing called potatoes can actually produce thousands of caddies. That's right, but that's what the merchant himself said, and I don't know if he's fooling me, so I want to try it first. And he also said that whether it is boiled, fried, fried, or stewed, it is delicious and nutritious, just like rice. Xiao looked at the five acres of land under the sky, and asked tentatively, Xiao Dong, don't you want to plant all these five acres with this thing called potatoes? Yes. Mirong blinked, potatoes are a good thing, of course the more the better. Tian hurriedly persuaded, little boss, this is unacceptable. You can't fully believe what the merchant says. If he deceives you, then you will lose five acres of land income at a time. Yes. Xiaoshi also said, Little master, it is too risky to use five acres of land to test. After he finished speaking, he looked at Mirong Zong again, Little master, you have to persuade your sister. You can also experiment. Just take one mu of land to test. Five mu of land is too much. Mirong Zong looked at his sister dotingly, Auntie, it's okay, Aaron won't mess around. Although he also felt a little risky, since they came back, Aaron has not made a wrong decision. Dad supports her unconditionally. As a big brother, he naturally supports her too. Aaron's performance during this period is all in their eyes. My sister has more ideas than them. And a few days ago, Aaron used this thing called potatoes to eat them. It was very delicious after a simple stir-fry. Unfortunately, Aaron cooked too little, and they didn't have enough. Mirong Lingran knew that they were doing it for his own good, so he smiled helplessly, I understand the kindness of the ants, but I still want to try it. If I can really gain a thousand jins, the ants' homes can follow suit in the future. It doesn't matter if you fail, don't you still have twenty acres of land? The worst is to earn less money. A few women were also a little moved when they heard the words. Indeed, if this potato can really be used as both food and vegetables, if she grows it, they can also benefit in the future. Looking at the entire Liwa village, it is true that only the Murong family can afford the risk to experiment. Clan Xia also knew that Murong Lingran's decision could not be changed, so he could only say, Little master, we have never planted this before. How to plant it, please tell us. She will do her best to serve this land. Tian Shi saw that Xia Shi had compromised, so he had no choice but to say, Yes, little master, we will definitely plant it for you. Mirong Lingran smiled suddenly, Okay, aunties. After she finished speaking, she carefully told them all the methods of planting and serving potatoes that she had read in the space book in the past few days. Busy all morning, the two brothers and sisters walked towards the house exhausted, and in the distance they saw two people getting off the carriage carrying their vegetables and knocking on the door of their house in a hurry. Chapter 207 Sick Seeing that no one has opened the door, the two of them were planning to go to their vegetable farm to find someone. As soon as they turned around, they saw their brother and sister walking slowly. M.O. Kefu and Yu Lichen breathed a sigh of relief. Yu Lichen is a child of the Yu family in the village. He is also 15 years old this year. He is younger than Murong Zong, but he is very smart. He forms a team with M.O. Kefu to sell vegetables every day. Kefu, Lichen, do you have anything to do with us? Seeing that the door was still locked, Mirong Zong asked, Didn't my father and my second and third brothers go to the city with you this morning? They haven't come back yet? M.O. Kefu said sternly, The two little masters, we are here for this. The big master visited your grandmother today and found that your grandmother was ill, so he asked us to let you know when we came back, saying he will stay there to watch over your mother, and won't be back at noon. 
the two brothers and sisters said excitedly at the same time, Auntie is sick? What's the disease? You like and said, the big boss said that he had a cold and had been having a fever. The people from Xiuzhuang sent him to Ji Shitang. He went to Ji Shitang to see it and then told us that it was not a big problem, so please don't worry. Murong Zong glanced at his younger sister, saw her nodding, and then said, Keifu, Lycan, thank you, you don't have to go this afternoon, leave the carriage for us, you can go to the vegetable field to help in the afternoon. Yes, little master. Murong Ling Ran opened the door and asked the elder brother to bring the horse in to replenish its strength. I ran to the kitchen quickly, took out the lamb chops from the space, neatly handled them, put them in the pot and simmered them, and then peeled some winter melons, cut them and put them aside for later use. The lamb chops were still sent by Mrs. Wei last time, and they have not been eaten. Anyway, the kitchen is her world, she has seen it for a while, no matter what she brings out to eat, her father and brothers will not bother. So as long as you see what everyone likes to eat and don't take it out, you won't be suspicious. All of them are bought for more than 20 kilograms, and they are all stored in the space. It's no use worrying about their brother and sister now. Mommy is already in the medical center. Although Dad can't use his hands, he is also a doctor. Since Dad said it's fine, then it's definitely fine. The second and third brothers are still there, they will help with anything. They can't help if they are in a hurry now, they might as well prepare some nutritional supplements for any Ang to bring over. Let the lamb chops simmer on the stove, Murong Lingran began to prepare lunch for himself and his eldest brother. There were only two of them, so Murong Lingran was not as complicated as what he used to do, and only made a stir-fried pork with chili peppers and braised eggplant. After the two of them finished eating, Murong Lingran put the cut winter melon into the lamb chop soup, thinking that the lamb chops would need to be stewed for at least an hour before they tasted good, so he let the lamb chop soup simmer on the stove. While there was still some time left, Murong Lingran and the elder brother went back to the house to clean up and changed their clothes. After all, they had been in the field all morning telling the villagers about potatoes. Then I went to pack up some clothes for my mother and father, and the soup was almost simmered. Murong Lingran opened the lid and took a bowl to taste. Seeing that the taste was already simmered, he put the broth into a large soup cup and then put the whole thing into a large food box. Black hair has been sitting by the side, seeing that the owner has been ignoring it, and he didn't even give it a look when he came back, and hurriedly yelled at her, Wow! Chapter 208 Someone bullied her again? Murong Lingran felt a little guilty, she almost forgot that she had a dog. I'm going to go out later with my eldest brother, and I wanted to take you out, but we're all gone and there's no one in the family. As a member of the family, you'll have to take care of the family, okay? A part of the family? Kuromao nodded while sticking out his tongue, then looked at the lamb chops that were still smoking in the pot. Murong understands the meaning of it clearly. Anyway, there are still many lamb chops, so he filled its bowl without any distress, touched its head and said, take a good look at the house. I'll cook you other delicious food when I come back. Wow! Murong Zong just went to the Xia family's house and asked her to help take care of things in the field. When he came back, he cleaned the vegetables in the carriage. Seeing the younger sister wobbly sitting inside with the soup she just made, she frowned and said, Aaron, why don't you give the food box to the big brother, otherwise it will stain your clothes. Murong Lingran decisively refused, don't worry, eldest brother, I sealed it well and won't leak. Just kidding, wouldn't it be revealed if you hand it over to the big brother? This food box is just a cover, the food box with mutton soup is already in her space. Seeing her insistence, Murong Zong had to go with her, that's fine, but you have to be careful not to get burned. Okay, big brother. After half an hour, the carriage finally entered the city, and the two brothers and sisters went directly to Ji Shitang. The two guys from Ji Shitang hurried forward, knowing that they were looking for Xiaomanan, one helped them park the carriage in the backyard, 
and the other led them directly to the inner courtyard. The two brothers and sisters had also heard Dad say that this Ji Shi Tang is not the largest medical center in the capital, but it is indeed the most humane medical center in the capital. There are more than ten small rooms for patients to rest. The guy stopped in front of the innermost door and said solemnly, This is it, the younger ones will go to work first. Murong Lingran took out a piece of silver from the satchel and gave it to him, and said lightly, Thank you. The guy got the silver reward, and he said something, even if he ordered him, and went down with a smile. Murong Xian, who was dozing in the room, heard the sound outside and quickly opened the door. Seeing that the elder brother came with his younger sister with a heavy food box in his hand, he lowered his voice and said, Brother, Aran, you are here. Murong Zong nodded, looked inside, and saw his father sitting by the bed, greeting him with his eyes, while his mother was lying on the bed, soundly asleep. Murong Quan saw his elder brother coming, and quickly got up to give him his seat. Murong Lingran went in and asked softly, Father, how is your mother's condition? Murong Zhe looked at his wife and said slowly, Don't worry, fortunately you found it in time. The doctor ordered someone to boil the medicine and pour it on her shortly after the people from Xiuzhuang delivered it. The fever has subsided, and she woke up just now. I drank the medicine again, because the medicine has the effect of helping sleep, so I fell asleep. Murong Lingran and Murong Zong breathed a sigh of relief at the same time, A Niang will be fine. Murong Zong put a food box on the table, and put a bag on the head of the bed. Looking at A Niang who was pale, Mirong pulled A Daddy outside, frowned and asked, Why did A Niang suddenly have a fever? Did someone bully her again? I don't blame her for thinking too much. After all, people are unpredictable, and this happened last time. Mirong Zhe shook his head and said, Aaron, at first Daddy thought your mother was being bullied, but this time it was indeed an accident, we thought too much. Chapter 209 Murong was stunned for a moment, how do you say this? Murong Zhe said slowly, I heard from a sister-in-law who claimed to be surnamed Yang, because the business of the embroidery shop was so good a few days ago, everyone was busy, and it was only in the past two days that they gradually became more leisurely, so yesterday afternoon, during the Shen Shi, I was in charge. If they don't, let them take an hour off and let them go around the streets and relax. But I didn't expect that not long after I left the Xiu Zhuang, when I walked downstairs, someone happened to splash water from the second floor. Your mother, the sister-in-law surnamed Yang, and others were all wet. They were in good health, but no problem. You know your mother's body. She has always been weak. Even though the water on her clothes is not as much as that of Mrs. Yang, she worked too hard some time ago and became ill from overwork, so she suddenly had a fever last night. Murong Lingran frowned upon hearing this, how could it be so coincidental that her mother poured water upstairs when she walked there? What's that building called? Murong Zhe shook his head, that sister-in-law Yang didn't say anything. Aren't those ants looking for a theory? No. Sister-in-law Yang said that when they looked up, they couldn't see a single figure, and the doors and windows were closed. Their identities were low, and if they went to the door, it was estimated that others would not admit it. If the identity of the other party was unusual, they would give the embroidery village got into trouble. In addition, I was afraid of delaying work when I got sick, so I hurried back to change clothes after getting wet. Although the voices were lowered outside, the windows were papery, and someone could still be vaguely heard talking inside the room. Xiao Minan opened his eyes in confusion, and heard the third son's voice coming from his ear, Father, Aaron, mother is awake. Murong Lingran was overjoyed, and hurried in, lying beside the bed looking at the weak A Niang, she called out obediently, A Niang. Xiao Minan reached out and touched her head, then smiled and said, Aaron is here. Seeing that the eldest son was also beside him, he said, A Zong is here too. Yes, Auntie. Murong Zong motioned for his second brother to help Auntie up, 
while he opened the food box and tried the temperature with his hand against the outside of the soup cup. He was a little surprised, and it was almost an hour away from the stove, yet it didn't cool down much. I thought that maybe because there was a thick layer of suet on the surface, I stopped thinking about it. Carefully filled a bowl of soup and brought it to A Niang, and said softly, A Niang, this is the soup that A Ran has been stewing for over an hour, you can drink a little. Murong Zhe knew it was mutton soup as soon as he smelled it. Seeing that there were still some winter melons in it, he nodded and said, eating some mutton soup in Feng Han is really good for the body. Winter melon and mutton complement each other and are very nutritious. Aaron has a heart. Xiao Minan smelled the fragrant broth. She had only drank the soup from last night until now. She woke up once in the middle and didn't have any appetite. She didn't eat anything. Now she was really hungry, she nodded and said, OK. Murong Zong was about to feed her when he saw A Niang smiled at him and said not so squeamishly. Winter squash. Feeling that everyone's eyes were on her, Xiao Minan saw that there was still a lot left in the soup cup, and said with a smile, Aaron must have prepared your share, there are many more in it, let's eat together. Murong Lingran stepped forward to set the bowls, and helped them prepare the soup and meat one by one, yes, daddy, eldest brother, second brother, third brother, come and eat some too. Chapter 210 Rejection Murong Xian and Murong Quan suddenly swallowed their saliva, they really didn't eat a good lunch at noon. I simply went to the street to buy a few meat patties and kept guarding my mother. I was really hungry. Murong Zhe couldn't bear to refuse his wife's kindness, and said with a smile, You all eat a little, Dad will go out to buy dinner, and eating too much meat at night is not good for your health, you can't finish it you can only have leftovers. It won't taste good by tomorrow. Murong Lingran brought them a bowl one by one, and even sent chopsticks to their hands, and the three brothers did not refuse when they saw it. Murong Lingran fed Dad some more, and ate the last remaining bowl by himself. After eating, Xiao Minan said with a contented face, I heard your father said several times that A Ran's craftsmanship is now better than that of A Niang. At first, a Niang didn't believe it, but now A Niang completely believes it. Murong Lingran sounded very unpleasant, A Niang was here entirely because of her, she frowned and said, A Niang, if you like it, I can often send you delicious food I made myself in the future, anyway, at home there are carriages coming to the city every day, so it's not troublesome. Xiao Minan smiled helplessly and touched her daughter's head. How could she be willing to work so hard for her daughter? She is very happy if her daughter has this heart. A Niang just said casually, Don't worry about it, A Ran, the food in Xiuzhuang is not bad, you don't have to waste time and money, you just need to take care of yourself, our family is safe and sound, A Niang will be very happy. Murong Lingran suddenly said with a serious face, Auntie, you stick to the embroidery village for a while and when I save enough money, I will redeem you. After this period of busy work, the family already has more than 1,000 tails of silver. According to the agreement with Xiu Zhuang, if my mother wants to leave early, she needs to pay Xiu Zhuang 3,000 tails of silver. After a few months, the silver should be enough. The three brothers did not object when they heard the words, the money was earned and used. Murong Zong said, yes. We will work harder in the future, and A Niang will definitely be able to go home soon. Murong Zhe also knew that the family had a lot of money recently, and agreed, Well, I also have this plan. Our family can be reunited one by one, and you can't be left alone in the embroidery farm. I thought Xiao Minan would be happy, but unexpectedly she refused, No, you can't spend all your hard earned money on A Niang. 3,000 tails of silver, even if it is given to her in 10 lifetimes, she can't earn it, the whole family's hard money is spent on her body, she is not worth it, she is afraid of losing her life. She has many children and 3,000 tails of silver is enough to create countless bright futures for several children and their descendants. Murong said hesitantly, Auntie, don't you want to go home? 
Don't you want to live with us? The new house has been built, you haven't gone back to live yet. Mirong Zhe also said, Yes, Aran is only ten years old, and the three children outside are still young, if they come back one day, they can't be without you, don't you want to watch them grow up? And Azong, he's already sixteen years old, and he should think about lifelong affairs. Don't you want to choose a good daughter-in-law for him? Mirong Zong saw that dad suddenly mentioned him again, he opened his mouth, but he didn't say what he planned. Even though he is sixteen years old, he has no intention of starting a family yet. He is the eldest son. No matter what, he has to wait for his younger brothers to return home. Chapter 211 Stay He had many brothers, so he could not marry a daughter-in-law casually. Dad has a wound on his hand and life is very inconvenient. If you want to marry him, you must marry someone who will not dislike his father and siblings, but such people are probably very few. Xiaomanan sighed and said, nine times out of ten, the unsatisfactory things in life, the three thousand tales of default money, I only need to stay in Xiuzhuang for three years, no, I can save it in less than three years now, why spend more money? But don't you feel wronged? Mirong Zhe frowned. How can I be wronged? It's all of my own free will. The path I choose, even if I cry, I will go down. Mirong Zhe wanted to say something else, when he saw Mirong Lingran smile and said, Father, it's all my fault, I have enough money to talk about the future, since Aniang insists, just listen to Aniang first. Xiaomanan glanced at her husband and children, and sighed, Actually, you really don't have to worry about me, I really had a good time in Xiu Zhuang. Except for being wronged by Du Xi last time, I got along very well with everyone afterwards. Of. Xiu Zhuang is really tired sometimes to catch up with work, but no matter how tired it is, it's not as tired as living with my uncle and the others before. Every day I get up with everyone, and there is ready-made food when I get up. You don't have to cook three meals a day for a big family, you don't have to wash pots and dishes, you don't have to think about how to get along with your younger siblings and neighbors, and you don't have to look at the faces of the old lady and the old man at home. It's the most tiring thing to do every day. It might be to wash your own clothes. Recently, every time Aaron came to see me, he gave me money and delicious food. I didn't treat myself badly. I asked someone to go out and buy whatever I wanted to eat. It was a good life. I know that you feel sorry for me because of my illness this time, but I really don't feel sorry for myself. These days are really good, and I am very satisfied. She was telling the truth. Although she was a little tired from working in the embroidery village every day, she was very satisfied without Lu Shi and Murong Ki family to block her. The debt to the youngest daughter, she can only make up for her after three years. Anyway, the daughter will only be thirteen years old at that time, and there are still a few years before she gets married, and she still has a few years to make up for it. Mirong Zhe frowned and thought for a moment. He felt that what his daughter and his wife said made sense, and said helplessly, Since you said so, let's listen to you for the time being. If it wasn't for Ruyi Embroidery Village who was willing to give the fifty tales of life-saving money in advance a few months ago, Aran still doesn't know what happened. If the wife suddenly leaves the Ruyi Embroidery Village, it is indeed a bit of crossing the river and demolishing the bridge. Xiaomanan smiled and said, Thank you for the child's father. After all, he was still ill. He said so much just now, and asked some more about the situation at home. Xiaomanan fell asleep again exhausted. Seeing that it was getting late, Mirong Zhe instructed, There is still business at home, so you can go back first, as long as your grandfather is here to watch. Judging from your grandmother's current situation, take a good rest for a day or two. She should be able to recover completely, and it is impossible for Xiu Zhuang to send someone to take care of her, and we will go back in two days. The children looked at each other. Anayang is a woman, and the situation has stabilized. The men of them can't help if they stay here. 
it's better to go back. Mirong said, Father, I'll stay with you too. I'm a woman, so it's more convenient to take care of my mother. Chapter 212 Minjiuilu Mirong Zhe thought about it for a while, then nodded and said, Okay, then I will wrong you. You should take care of Aniang, don't feel wronged. The three brothers took the empty food box to the backyard and drove back the carriage carrying the vegetables when the family agreed to stay. This was the first time Mirong Lingran spent the night in the city since she was reborn. Now that the sun has not completely set, Aniang is still asleep and can't use her. Dad had eaten something and was definitely not hungry. It was still a while before dinner time, and Mirong Lingran told Dad that she was going out to buy something to eat and stroll around. Mirong Zhe wanted to refuse for her safety, but thinking that there was an old immortal behind his daughter, he agreed. Mirong Lingran went out of Ji Shitang and went to Ruyi Embroidery Village, and went straight to that building after asking where Enti was splashed with water. Aniang and the rest of the embroidery girls had an accident when they rarely went out, so she had to be suspicious. After a few turns, Mirong Lingran came to the downstairs, and raised her eyebrows at the three-character signboard. It was actually Minjiuilu where her house served food. Since it is an acquaintance's restaurant, then everything is easy to handle. Mirong neatly tidied up his clothes and walked in with a swagger. Because it was dinner time, Minjiuilu was very crowded with people. When she went in, Xiao Er was greeting the guests in front of her, and no one greeted her, so she walked directly to the counter. Shopkeeper Huang was burying his head and beating on the abacus attentively, and from time to time he picked up the Mao notebook. He had just finished calculating a ledger, and before he could breathe a sigh of relief, a young female voice suddenly entered his ears. The shopkeeper deserves to be the shopkeeper, this is a really good abacus. Shopkeeper Huang was stunned for a moment. Hearing the young woman's voice, he thought that some child ran out to make trouble again. After all, her words sounded like sarcasm, and when she looked up, she saw Murong Lingran was looking at him with a faint smile. A junior saw that Murong Lingran was actually going to disturb the shopkeeper, and was about to step up to reprimand. But seeing that her clothes didn't look like a poor family to make trouble, she had to respectfully step forward and said with a smile, This girl, have you lost your family? Do you want to help you find family? The shopkeeper is very helpful. Busy, don't disturb him, let's go with brother, brother promises to help you find a family member, okay. Mirong Lingran looked at his flattering expression, the corners of her mouth twitched fiercely, she was ten years old, not four years old, she looked at manager Huang with admiration, as expected of Minjiuilu, the service attitude is really good. Shopkeeper Huang smiled awkwardly, and said to the guy with a straight face, go and do your business, it's none of your business here, this is my guest, I'll entertain it myself. Xiao Er was stunned for a moment, then quickly responded, yes. Was very fortunate in his heart, fortunately he didn't speak casually just now, otherwise he would definitely be reprimanded. After Xiao Er left, manager Huang immediately came out of the counter and said with a smile, Miss Murong, why are you here so late? Is there anything urgent? Mirong nodded, well, it's a bit of a private matter. Manager Huang hurriedly said, if you want to do things, you have to fill your stomach to do it well. I will be the host today. How about treating Mirong girl for a meal? The shopkeeper's gracious invitation, it would be too impersonal for me to refuse, then I would like to thank shopkeeper Huang. Manager Huang smiled immediately, You're welcome, Miss Murong, then come with me. I'll take you to the box upstairs in person. Chapter 213 It was her. No, you are busy with your work, I am alone, don't delay your business because of me, just find someone to take me up. Shopkeeper Huang saw that she was so considerate, stroked his beard with relief, and called to the door, Zhang San. Zhang San? Mirong raised an eyebrow. Zhang San saw the shopkeeper calling him again, and came to them with a terrified expression, 
his voice involuntarily lowered a little, and asked anxiously, the shopkeeper, what is your order? Could it be that he said something inappropriate to this girl just now, and the shopkeeper wanted to vent her anger? Shopkeeper Huang seriously instructed, take this girl to the best private room upstairs and serve me for a long time. The account is all on my head, do you understand? Zhang San breathed a sigh of relief. It wasn't to teach him a lesson, so he nodded and said, Yes, I understand. Girl, please come here. Murong nodded, suddenly turned around and asked, Manager Huang, shouldn't there be another person named Li Si here? Shopkeeper Huang said blankly, How did the girl know? Murong Lingran laughed and said, It's okay, I just guessed it. On the second floor, Zhang San was about to open the nearest private room. Mirong looked at the innermost private room and said, Is there anyone in that room? The girl likes that room? It's the Furong room. There are many hawkers downstairs and it's quite noisy, but if the girl likes it, the little girl can bring her there. Well, it's work. After arriving at the Furong room, Mirong Lingran ordered a few dishes at random, and then asked him to prepare one for him to pack and take away, and let him go down. She didn't come here for enjoyment. Before the food was served, Murong Lingran came to the window and opened it. Looking down, a wide and lively street appeared in front of her. And on the opposite side of her is a stall selling flowers. Sure enough, it was this room. Aunt Yang said just now that they got wet by the side of the stall selling first flowers. When you pour water from here, you can pour it on whoever you want. I heard from my father that a whole pot of water should have been poured down here. Those who can use the pot here are probably the only people who work here. At this moment, Zhang San brought the food. Mr. Wang's good intentions, she never let it down. After all, she was a partner. After instructing Zhang San to go down, she returned to the table and ate more than half of each dish. Well, the taste is not as good as what she made herself, but it's not bad. When I was 70% full, I was thinking of going down to the first floor to see if there were any clues, when I heard the voice of a familiar and unfamiliar woman outside the door. Strange, there is no sound in the room, there should be no guests, why are there footprints at the door? Murong frowned and before he could recall who the owner of the voice was, the door was rudely pushed open with a bang. Mirong Lingran was sitting right in front of the door, and their eyes met unexpectedly. Seeing the person coming, most of the doubts in Mirong Lingran's heart were immediately resolved, it turned out to be her, sitting lazily on the chair, and said in a leisurely manner, Who am I? It turns out to be Aunt Du, I didn't expect that we would be there. I can still see it here. I haven't seen it for a few months, and my aunt seems to be doing pretty well. That's right, the person in front of her is Du Shi who stole a purse at Ruyi Embroidery Village last time to frame her Aniang, but she exposed the conspiracy instead. Chapter 214 You really did it. Looking at her flushed face, life must have been good recently. The last time she said that she was so miserable, she really pretended to be pitiful. The front feet can work in the Ruyi Embroidery Village, and the back feet can work in the second-ranked restaurant in the capital, which is much stronger than her uncle. Mr. Du felt a sigh in his heart when he saw someone inside, and he never thought that a person would come to the private room for dinner. The only people who can dine in the private room are distinguished guests, and her rude opening of the door just now will definitely offend her. But after hearing what she said, he was stunned for a while and it took a while to realize who the person in front of him was. But it's not that she has a bad memory, but that Murong Lingran's outfit today is completely different from the last time she was in Xiu Chuang. If last time she was compared to a beggar, then this time she is a lady from a big family. Du Xi looked at Murong Lingran's clothes with undisguised jealousy in his eyes. She really couldn't believe that the person in front of her was actually the daughter of the Xiao family who had to sell herself to get the money to save her life. Took a look around the whole room and determined that she was the only one, and immediately said unceremoniously, You stinky girl, where did you steal such a good outfit? 
steal. Murong said in a mocking tone, Do you think you are a thief and everyone else is a thief? The old saying is right, dirty people have dirty minds. Du's face stiffened. He didn't expect this girl's mouth to be so straight. When she came up, she poked her in the sore spot, and immediately roared unhappily, You girl, do you know where this place is, and you dare to come here? Murong Lingran said slowly, Of course I know where this place is. My father taught me to read since I was a child. I know the three characters of Minjiuilo naturally. Du Shi said with a gloomy face, since you know, then don't hurry up and get the old lady out. The old lady finally cleaned up yesterday, but you made such a mess. If you don't clean it, you will have to pay for these carpets. Murong Lingran sneered when he heard the words, are you admitting that you cleaned here yesterday? Du Shi coldly snorted, Humph, I'm from Minjiuilu, is there anything strange about cleaning here? Murong stood up in a hurry, squinting dangerously, then you deliberately splashed water on the embroidered ladies at Ruyi Embroidery Village yesterday. Du Shi was stunned, her eyes flashed, but when she thought that she was alone here, her waist straightened again, what are you talking about? I wouldn't do such a thing. The embroidered mother of Ruyi Embroidery Village was splashed with water, so that's also true. They are unlucky, don't frame good people at will. Murong Lingran glanced out the window, to frame a good person? I wouldn't do such a thing. Then, where were you when you applied for a moment yesterday? Du Shi said arrogantly, where am I and what does it matter to you? Murong frowned, if you don't tell me then I will treat you as the water you poured yesterday. Du Shi sneered, you said I did what I did? What evidence do you have? Also, what if I spilled water? Which law says I can't pour water from upstairs? The street downstairs not those embroidered girls. Murong Lingran's face suddenly became extremely cold, and her voice couldn't help but become colder, it seems that you really did it. Hey, so what if I did it? Get out of here right now, or I'll let someone shoot you out. Chapter 215 Stealing? Kick me out. Murong raised an eyebrow, okay, let's go, I'll be waiting for you here. When Du Shi saw that there were still dishes on the table, she thought she was waiting for the last guest to leave and ran in to steal the food, and said with a grim expression, Humph, it's just a little girl's film, I need other people, old lady. I'll take you to the shopkeeper myself. After saying that, he walked around the round table and came to Murong Lingran's side, his rough and greasy hand quickly stretched towards Murong Lingran's ear. It's all because of this dead girl. If it weren't for her, she would still be able to do the clean work in the embroidery village. How could she come to the restaurant to do dirty work like cleaning every day? Falls into her hands today, new hatred and old hatred will be counted together, girl, I want you to look good. Murong stared coldly at Du Shi approaching her fiercely. When Du Shi was still one meter away from her, he was about to kick him when he heard a low voice suddenly coming from the door, stop. Du Shi was stunned for a moment, and when he looked at the door, he saw two noble sons in brocade clothes frowning at them at the door, and hurriedly stretched their hands back. Murong Lingran turned his head to look, and suddenly showed a big smile. Helian Rongju saw that she was still laughing, and gave her a stern look, and then looked at Du Shi coldly, what did you want to do just now? Du Shi saw their temperament and clothes and knew that she was not someone she could offend. Although she felt a little guilty, she thought that it was not her who was wrong this time, and she became more confident. Second Sons you are busy with other people's affairs, so don't waste your time here. This dead girl secretly came in to eat the leftover food from the guests. I just found out, and I was going to take her to the shopkeeper and let him go. Helian Rongju frowned when she heard her name, glanced at the cold scraps on the table, looked up at Murong Lingran and said, You came in to steal food. Murong Lingran spread out his hands helplessly, How is it possible? Will this girl be reduced to the point of stealing food? Seeing the clothes she was wearing, Helian Rongju's face couldn't help slowing down. 
I didn't expect her to look good in her dress, and it took him a day to choose the color to send. At this moment, the sound of rapid footsteps suddenly came from behind the three of them. Manager Wang's face was very anxious, and he looked at Murong Lingran as soon as he stood still, and then looked at the two young masters next to him, and said uneasily, Master, this child is still young, if there is anything that offends you, he will also please Hai Han. Murong Lingran said helplessly, Manager Huang, I didn't offend them, it was the people from your restaurant who wanted to attack me, they just came to stop me. Manager Huang noticed that Du Xi was actually inside, and scolded, Du Xi, what are you doing here if you don't clean the floor properly? Mrs. Du started to sweat coldly when Manager Huang opened his mouth to protect Murong Ling Ran. She couldn't believe it, Manager Huang, do you know this girl? If I don't know her, can she stay here alone? Then, that's what you asked her to eat in this room. Isn't this nonsense? After saying that, Manager Huang thought of what Murong Lingran had just said, and said in shock, You had a conflict with this child? Do you still want to hurt this child? Murong interjected Lingran, That's right, she wanted to do something to me when she came in, but luckily the two young masters stopped her. When Du Xi heard the words, he knelt straight on the ground with a bang, and said with a sad face, Manager Huang, I was wrong. I thought this child was sneaking up to eat the leftover food from the guests, so I wanted to drive her away, but I didn't. On purpose, I'm all for the sake of the restaurant. Chapter 216 Waste Flashed Shopkeeper Huang frowned and said, What you said is true. Du Xi was extremely regretful, she never thought that Murong Lingran was actually the shopkeeper's guest, so she eagerly said, The shopkeeper, what I said is true. If there is a lie, my whole family will be struck to death by lightning. This. Seeing that she actually swore a poisonous oath, Manager Huang was a little embarrassed. Anyway, if what she said is true, it is for the maintenance of the restaurant. If it is handled like this, I am afraid it will be a little inhumane. Manager Huang, let me tell you the truth. Seeing that Manager Huang was embarrassed, Murong Lingran had no choice but to tell her true intentions of coming today. That's it, that's why I'm in the city so late. My mother is still lying in the hospital. As a daughter, I really can't just sit by and watch the reason for her illness. Aunt Du also said just now that she I cleaned this room yesterday, so I think she told the truth whether she deliberately splashed the water yesterday. Shopkeeper Huang suddenly realized. He said that she was still in the city so late, and she was not afraid that she would not be able to go home after the city gate was closed, and looked at Du Xi with a cold face, you said, did you pour the water down yesterday? Du Xi was about to deny it, after all, as long as she didn't admit it, Murong Lingran couldn't produce any evidence. Helian Rongju suddenly said, this young master was next door just now, but I heard this woman admit it. Du Xi was horrified, and his face suddenly became extremely ugly. The words just now were actually heard. Murong raised his eyebrows, they were actually next door all the time? Shopkeeper Huang said coldly, Miss Du, is what this young master said true? After thinking about it for a moment, MRS Du knew that it was useless to quibble, so she lowered her head and said, Yes, after the guests left at noon yesterday. I came to clean the tables and chairs in the room, but I happened to be unwell yesterday, and I didn't have much strength in my hands. After wiping the table and chairs, I wanted to be lazy and poured the water out of the window, but I really didn't know it would make her mother sick. Although Manager Huang knew that what she said was not necessarily the truth, but if he pressed further, the answer was probably similar to what they thought, and looked at Murong Lingran apologetically, Miss Murong. It's because I didn't discipline my servants well, as long as if you say a word, I can drive her away immediately. MRS Du frowned, knowing that this girl would come to her door, she would not pour the water down on impulse. That's right, she did it on purpose, it was those embroidery girls who let her get to where she is now. Knowing that his intercession might be the same as the last time, Du Shi gritted his teeth and glared at Murong Lingran, 
Humph, I don't need you to deal with it, I'll just leave. After saying that, he threw his apron to the side, raised his feet and walked towards the door. There are jobs, she just needs to change jobs. It's just that she walked too fast. As soon as she walked to the door, she stepped on the greasy apron she just threw. The solace of her feet slipped, and she immediately fell to the sky with her four feet upside down, with gold stars in her eyes. Ah! Do she suddenly screamed and was about to get up when he suddenly heard a click from his waist, and exclaimed again, Ah! My waist, my waist flashed, my waist! Shopkeeper Huang frowned unhappily when she saw her being so rude in front of the guests, Zhang San Li Si, throw her out for me. Du Xi's face had turned pale from the pain, and he endured the pain and said, Manager Huang, please take me to the hospital, my waist is flashing, if you throw me out like this, I may die tomorrow. On the street. Chapter 217 The Little Girl is Grateful Shopkeeper Huang glanced at Mirong Lingran tangled, and saw her indifferently say, she is the shopkeeper's subordinate, so naturally she is at the disposal of the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper Huang nodded and instructed in a cold voice, throw it to the nearest medical clinic, and there will be no Du Xi in Minjiuila from now on. Du Xi was relieved when he heard the words, he couldn't bear the pain from his waist any longer, and he fainted when he rolled his eyes. Murong shook his head speechlessly, the sound of her waist flashing just now made her feel pain, and now she probably won't be able to get out of bed for a month. Manager Huang, I came to the door today, I'm really sorry for delaying your business. Manager Huang hurriedly said, Don't mind Miss Murong, Minjiuilo has servants who offend the guests so casually. Yesterday you can throw water on your mother at will, and tomorrow you can do more rude things to others. You help me remove this hidden danger, it's me who should thank the girl. After saying that, he looked at the rest of her dishes. When he saw her, he only ordered three dishes, and hurriedly said, Is the girl full? If you are not full, order a few more dishes, all of which will be counted on the old man's account. During this period of time, because of the use of vegetables from her family, the business of his restaurant has really improved a lot. I don't know how her vegetables are grown. Just fry them with some oil and salt, and they are delicious. Even the children of his family who don't like vegetables have recently fallen in love with vegetables. The same is true for the customers of the restaurant. They don't know that he has changed the supply of vegetables. They only say that the chef's cooking skills have improved a lot recently. Let's continue to maintain it. As long as it tastes like this every time, they often come to eat. So don't say that Murong Lingran only eats a few dishes, even if she wants to live here, he will have nothing to say. Murong Lingran said lightly, Thank you for the kindness of the shopkeeper, I'm already full, I have just asked the second brother named Zhang San to help me pack a portion, it's getting late, so I won't give the shopkeeper any food. Trouble. No, it's me who caused trouble for the girl. Yu Guang saw that Zhang San and Li Si were just back, and manager Huang hurriedly said, go to the kitchen and bring the dishes the girl asked for. Yes, shopkeeper. After Murong Lingran carried the food box out of Minjiuilu, he realized that the sky had completely darkened. But the capital is worthy of being the capital. Even if it is dark, the streets are as prosperous as they are during the day. Large lanterns hanging high can be seen everywhere on the streets, and people come and go in an endless stream. It does not affect people's enthusiasm for going out because of the night. Helian Rongju saw that Murong Lingran walked out of Minjiuilu and walked forward on his own, and couldn't help coughing heavily, cough. Murong Lingran's footsteps paused, then turned to look at the two of them, and smiled embarrassedly, she really forgot that there was someone behind her. Ninth son, Wei son, I want to bring food back to my parents, now is the time. It's not too late, let's part ways. Helian Rongju said dissatisfiedly, Little girl, I helped you just now, you didn't even say thank you. Thank you for your righteous words just now, young master Ju. The little girl is very grateful, 
okay. Helian Rongju snorted coldly, I'm not sincere, but forget it, my son doesn't care about a little girl's movie. Mirong Ling Ran frowned slightly, was he turning a corner and saying that she was young and didn't understand the world? Ninth young master, why don't you go to Ji Shitang with me, and when I serve my parents for dinner, we'll go out for a walk together. What do you fancy, as long as it is within my ability, I will send it as a thank you. Here, how? Chapter 219 Rare Objects If you don't know their identities, and one day you know that they were once sinners, but relying on him to make a good life, they will definitely settle accounts for them in the autumn. Their family could never experience such a heavy blow again. Then Aran knows the identity of ninth young master. Xiao Minan asked again. Mirong Zha lowered his voice again and said, I didn't tell her, I only said that ninth young master has something to do with Ningen Marquis Mansion. Don't look at Aran's cautious and assertive actions now, but after all, he is still a child and has been busy since he woke up. How to help the family to make money? She is still careless about some things, and she believes in my words, not only her, but also her brothers all don't know. Xiao Minan nodded, that's good. If the children found out, they would live with their hands and feet tied, and they might even resent that person and cause a monstrous disaster. On the other side, Mirong Lingran came out of the backyard of Ji Shitang and saw Zhu Gongzi, Wei Gongzi and a woman talking and laughing in front of a vendor. Mirong raised his eyebrows spiritually, so he found a beautiful woman to accompany him. Approached them leisurely, and saw them pick up a thing and talk. Jing Xian, Yushan, the old lady has been in a bad mood recently, and she has been unhappy all day. Help me to find some rare objects that can please the old lady. Wei Yushan picked up a wind chime and asked tentatively, Ninth brother, do you think this is okay? Probably not the old lady will think this is a child's play. Wei Yushin frowned, indeed a little childish. Wei Yushin looked at the other things on the stall again, and suddenly felt a little embarrassed. She originally thought that many of these were suitable for the old lady to relieve her boredom, but when Brother Ju said that, she felt that they were all children's toys. Wei Jingxian has been vigilant about his surroundings, he sensed the sight behind him, looked behind him suddenly, and saw Murong Lingran slowly walking towards them. Ninth brother, she's here. Helian Rongju immediately turned around, spread out the folding fan in his hand and shook it, dissatisfied, why did it take so long? Murong Lingran said helplessly, Ninth young master, didn't you ask this knowingly? My mother is ill and my father hurts her hand. As a daughter, shouldn't I just throw the food to them? I have to serve them all before they can come out. Helian Rong choked, and suddenly coughed awkwardly, I'm not waiting for you for a long time, my mind is confused by the night wind. Mirong Ling Ran. That's still her fault, right? Wei Yushin looked at the two of them curiously. She had heard from her elder brother that they knew each other, and both of them were able to speak well. This was the first time she had seen them slumped at the same time, so she hurriedly smiled and said, Miss Murong, I heard that your mother is sick, is she feeling better now? Well, it's much better. Dad is watching. Thank you Miss Wei for your concern. After Murong Lingran finished speaking, she looked at Helian Rongju again, Auntie is ill, I can't go out for a long time as a girl, ninth young master, according to what I just said, it's just on this street, just take a look at it. As long as I can afford it, I will give it to you as a thank you gift. Did you hear my conversation with Yushin just now? Well, but I'm not eavesdropping, I'm listening openly. Who made you speak so loudly? Helian Rongju smiled, I don't mean to blame you, if you hear it, then I'll make a long story short, you help me find something the old man likes, whether it's food, play or use, find it and the three of us think it's suitable, I'll let you go back, how? Chapter 220 Do you want to be so domineering? It's that simple. Girl, this is not easy. If my old lady doesn't like it, or if she gets more angry after reading it, 
I will ask you in the end. Then she asked. Do you want to be so domineering? Mirongling was helpless and had no choice but to quickly search the street. The other three saw this and followed behind her. If you can eat, play, and use, the range will be very large. Mirong Ling Ran thought that she would find a suitable one soon, but after walking for a long time, seeing that there were fewer and fewer people on the street, all the things she proposed were actually rejected by Helian Rongju. Seeing that it was almost time to go back, Mirong Ling Ran thought for a while, and suddenly asked Helian Rongju a question in a low voice. Helian Rongju nodded, well, the old lady really likes it very much. Mirong Ling Ran showed a mysterious smile, since he likes it, it's easy to do, ninth young master, I've already thought of something suitable, but it's too late now, and it takes too long to make that thing. Afternoon tomorrow, you will wait at the entrance of Ji Shitang, and I will give you the things, how about it? Helian Rongju saw what she said was so mysterious, looked at her sideways and said, don't you just find a random reason to fool me into wanting to get out early? Mirong smiled slyly and said, Ninth young master has been worrying too much, but I still have to earn money from you and Wei Gongzi's family every day. How could I offend you? Helian Rongju thinks about it too, this little girl wants him to be her backer, and she doesn't dare to offend him if she gives her a hundred courage. Okay, I'll let you go today. Mirong Lingran smiled and said, Thank you, ninth young master, then I will leave. After saying that, he hopped away. Helian Rongju frowned at her cheerful figure and said, Jing Xian, why do I have the feeling that she has finally gotten rid of us? Could she be stalling for time? Wei Jing Xian said lightly, No, she's not that kind of person. Wei Yushan also said, Big brother is right, she dare not lie to you. Unless she doesn't want to die. Helian Rongju nodded, probably because he thought too much. Jishitang's room is small and the bed is small, but fortunately there is a soft bed that accompanies the bed, which can sleep two people, but there is no place for Murong Lingran to sleep. Fortunately, there is an inn next to Ji Shitang. Murong Zhe took his daughter to the next door and opened a room for her, while he stayed with his wife in the ward for the night. Originally, Mirong Zhe was a doctor himself, so he could grab some medicine and take Xiao Minan home for self-cultivation, and then send it back when he was cured. But the people from Xiu Zhuang came over and told them that the only way to recover from illness is in Ji Shitang, not a step outside Ji Shitang. The husband and wife both knew that Ji Shitang was afraid that someone would run away, or that Xiao Minan's family would hide her, so they gave up the idea of going back. Mirong Lingran locked the door of the inn and entered the space, packing all the things she needed. When it was quiet at night, I gave the shopkeeper some money, borrowed the inn kitchen, made the things that he promised to Helian Rongju tomorrow, and put them in the space. After all, what she is going to do has never been seen here before, so it will attract attention, so she can only do it quietly when there is no one in the kitchen. The next day, at the appointed time, Helian Rongju's carriage stopped under a tree near Jesetang. Here. After Murong got into the carriage, he handed him a food box. Chapter 221 Cake Helian Rongju took it and asked curiously, Can I see what's inside? Of course. Helian Rongju opened the food box and took a look inside, but couldn't see what it was for a long time, and frowned with a complicated expression, Why have I never seen this thing? From the outside, it is indeed a rare thing, are you sure? Will the elderly like to eat? Mirong Lingran knew for a long time that he would question, so she brought two servings over, opened the food box next to him specially for him to try, and used a wooden fork to fork a small piece and put it to his mouth, you can try. Helian Rongju was stunned for a while, and it was not easy to refuse her kindness, so she took a bite out of her face. After chewing a few bites, her eyes suddenly brightened, she took the fork in her hand, ate it quickly, and praised while eating, yes, yes, soft, sweet, fragrant, really delicious. I finished the tasting soon, and I still have a little bit of something to eat. 
Opening another food box, Helian Rongju swallowed. Although he still wanted to eat, he couldn't compete with the old man, so he closed the lid and glanced to the side. Mirong Lingran smiled at his childish movements, saw a lot of cream on the corners of his mouth, took out a small mirror from his satchel and took a picture of him. Helian Rongju was stunned when he saw his dirty mouth in the mirror, and took out a handkerchief to wipe it, I'm laughing. It's normal for the cream to get dirty easily. Mirong thought for a while, and then said, Ninth young master, if you like it, you can leave it to me and make it for you later. Anyway, she also promised to give him good food at any time. Helian Rongju nodded as if pounding garlic, Well then, I'll have enough to eat, you have to make more. This girl is indeed a treasure, and she surprises him from time to time. Well, Ninth young master, let's go home quickly. This must be eaten within today, and it will go bad tomorrow, so I will go back first. Seeing her finished speaking, he was anxious to get off the carriage, Helian Rongju hurriedly asked, What's your name? Mirong smiled and said, It's called a cake, no, it's a cream cake to be precise. The ingredients for making the cake are all put into the space when she moved in the 21st century and there are many more and everything. The parents over there like to eat cakes, but they dislike the uncleanness outside, so after she learned it during a summer vacation, she stocked up a lot of ingredients at home and often made them for them to eat. Although there is no oven here, but there is an oven in the inn. Last night, she failed several times before succeeding. Naturally, the time was too tight last night, she was so sleepy that she couldn't open her eyelids after whipping the cream, and she didn't do much decoration, just simply smeared a layer of cream on the outside. But even so, for the ancients, it was extremely rare. Cream cake? Was about to ask a few more questions when he saw that someone had already got off the car, so he had to shout outside, go back. Yes, master. Helian Rongju returned to the palace and hurried to the Queen Mother's palace with the food box. Seeing her son coming in sweating profusely, the Queen Mother hurriedly ordered someone to pour him a cup of tea, and said with a smirk, How can you be so unsteady when you are so old? Isn't it a loss of identity for the servants to see it? After drinking the tea, Helian Rongju finally felt a little more comfortable and said with a smile, The mother said yes, but today is really a good thing for the son and I can't wait for the mother to taste it, so I was anxious. Chapter 222 Back to the Village The Queen Mother also became curious in her heart. Since her son was young, he had seen countless good things, but few of them caught his eye. Something that could make him lose his temper like this is definitely a rare thing, and he couldn't help but craned his neck and looked at the food box he brought with anticipation. The maid next to was about to step forward to help when Helian Rongju hurriedly said, Don't move, I will do it myself. After saying that, he personally lifted the lid of the food box, revealing a round white cream cake the size of an adult's palm. This is... Helian Rongju took it out whole, picked up the fork next to it, forked a small piece and handed it to the Queen Mother. Mother, try it. It's called a cake. The one in my hand is called a fork. I've tasted it beforehand. It's delicious. The Queen Mother had never seen this kind of food before, so she was at a loss when she took the fork, but she still put it directly into her mouth. Helian Rongju said with a look of hope, Mother, how is it? The Queen Mother's eyes widened in surprise, Yes, what kind of dessert is this, it's too delicious. After he finished speaking, he started to work hard and he lost his image of being too old-fashioned in the past. I heard it's called cream cake. Cake? Egg cakes? The name is easy to understand. What is cream? Helian Rongju shook his head, this white layer should be cream. She didn't say what it was made of, but it tasted very sweet. I guess it's made of milk and sugar. The Queen Mother nodded, quickly finished eating the plate, and said with satisfaction, Yes, it's delicious, this thing called a fork is also very convenient, where did you find it? The house of an acquaintance. 
The Queen Mother knew that her son liked to visit privately, and said with a smile, It's really good, the folks are really capable, and if you have time in the future, go to your friend's house and get some food for the AI family. This is just right. Helian Rongju saw that the Queen Mother was in a good mood, and said with a smile, OK, Queen Mother. After Murong Lingran returned to Ji Shiteng, the doctor was leaving from A Niang's ward. After asking his father, he found out that A Niang's physical recovery was better than the old doctor expected. Take another day off today, and you can resume your normal life tomorrow. Just be careful not to catch cold and get overworked. Murong breathed a sigh of relief, and after Auntie took the medicine, she took out the extra cakes for her parents to eat. The parents naturally wondered where the cake came from, but she wasted a few words on it. The father and daughter accompanied Xiao Minan for another day. At noon on the second day, they returned to Liwa village with the vegetable cart. However, she also knew that A Niang's body was depleted in the past few years. Some time ago, she gave A Niang money to buy whatever she wanted. In order to fear that the steward of Xiu Zhuang would be unhappy, she always gave her money every time. Send something every six or seven days. But judging from the fact that A Niang's body just got a fever after being splashed with water, it is estimated that the money given to her is of no use. Now she doesn't care so much anymore. For the sake of her mother's health, Murong Lingran visited every street in the capital before returning to Liwa village. After determining what fruits are available this season, she planted them in the space, and planned to send her some space fruits every two or three days in the future, and then send them to the soup to replenish her body. Chapter 223 Murongi Incident As for the fruit trees she planted in the backyard some time ago, some of them have indeed already produced fruit, but they still have a long way to go before they mature. After returning to Liwa village, the Murong family resumed their previous life. On this day, Murong Lingran and her eldest brother were talking in the main room when there was a knock on the door of their house. Murong Zong opened the door and saw that it was Zhuang King He, he quickly led him to the main room, and asked in doubt, Uncle King He, what happened? Zhuang King He ran in a hurry just now. Although the weather is a little cooler now, he is still sweating profusely. He wiped the sweat from his forehead, but it is hard to say the words when they reach his lips. The relationship between the two families is known to the whole village. When he said this, he was in a hurry to make the family embarrassed. Seeing his hesitation, Murong Lingran had a bad premonition in his heart, and hesitantly said, Uncle King He, is it something over there? Yes, it is. Zhuang King He saw that they had guessed it, so he did not hide it, looked around the main room, and asked in doubt, Where is your father? Murong Zong said, Dad gave his hand medicine in the backyard. Do you want to find him? Then I'll call him here. Zhuang King He sighed and said, No need, it's the same with you. Go tell your grandfather and let him go to your grandma's house quickly. If you don't go, your uncle will be beaten to death by your grandfather. Although Murong Chi is a bastard, but after all, it is a life. If he really died, it would not be worth it for his own father to go to jail for that kind of son. There is still a difference between Mr. Murong and Mrs. Lu. I heard that Mrs. Lu didn't come to their house to make trouble recently. It's all thanks to the old man. If the old man has any accident, no one will press Mrs. Liu's head in the future, and the Asia family will inevitably suffer some grievances in the future. Murong Zong frowned, Uncle? He's back? Why did Grandpa beat him? Zhuang King he shook his head, I don't know, your grandfather's family has a lot of female dependents, so he can't hold your grandfather, nor dare to pull your grandfather. Someone came to my grandfather to persuade me, but before my grandfather I went out to visit friends in a few days, and when I wasn't at home, I went over to listen. I only heard your grandfather's furious roar, saying, I'll let you go to that kind of place and beat you to death. I didn't understand the rest. He should have gone to a place he shouldn't go and caused a big disaster. Already. I saw that your grandfather broke a pole, 
Nurong Ki head was broken, and there was a lot of blood on his face, so I'll inform you right away. Nurong Zong nodded, Thank you Uncle King He, I know, I'll go tell my father right now. Okay, I have something to do at home, so I'll go back first. After Zhuang King He left, Nurong Zong went to the backyard and told his father everything he had just said. Nurong was indeed a little embarrassed after hearing this. They did everything possible to plot against their family, and they would run over whenever something happened, which seemed too spineless, A eh Zong, do you think we should go there? Nurong Zong thought for a moment, then nodded and said, Dad, it's good to have a look in the past. If my uncle is really beaten to death or maimed, leaving orphans and widows, then he may have to rely on our family again. Nurong Zhe also felt that what the eldest son said was reasonable, and rushed to the parents' house with all the children. Before reaching the door, far away, the villagers who had been watching the excitement at the door were surrounded by three layers and three layers of air, and they were talking about the room. Chapter 225 Selling to a Brothel to Pay Off Debts Nurong Chi knelt down in front of his eldest brother and prayed pitifully, Brother, you must help me or I really have to die. Big Brother has already had more than twenty acres of land before he knew it, but now he doesn't have a single acre. With more than twenty mu of land he can be regarded American Samoa a small landlord. I heard that the money he sells vegetables every day is enough for him to do a year of running the hall in a low voice. There are dozens of people under his management, so impressive. Now he really regrets his death. Why was he blinded by lard in the first place, and he was overconfident, thinking that the elder brother who has lost his hands must be inferior to him. Otherwise, their family's current life, although not necessarily the same as before, would certainly not be much worse than when they were in the imperial physician's mansion. When Lu Shi saw that his beloved son actually knelt down, he was immediately dissatisfied, second child, what are you doing on your knees? The old lady has never read a book and knows that the man has gold under his knees, how can you just kneel on someone? Murong Liang glared at her, you are everywhere. Gold? Where is the gold? Find it for me. If you can help him, let him get up, don't ask the boss. The eldest brother is the father, he what's wrong with kneeling? Even if he kneels to death, he deserves it. Lu pouted unwillingly and had to keep silent, but glared at Murong Zhe, the meaning in his eyes was obvious, he is your brother, you are the eldest brother, he should get up. Murong Zhe didn't feel much when he saw him kneeling down. He had raised him for half his life and could bear this kneeling. Ignoring Liu's vicious eyes, he frowned and said, you're a few decades old, and crying can solve the problem? Just say it directly. Don't pretend there, the juniors are watching here, you don't feel ashamed. I'm very busy, so I'll leave if I don't speak up. Murong Chi quickly wiped the tears from his face, and said anxiously, Brother, don't go, I said, I. I seem to be in trouble. What woe? I, I. Murong Chi glanced at a few nephews and nieces awkwardly, and knew that it was impossible for them to avoid them so he could only bite the bullet and said slowly, Brother, you also know that I work in Shengzhen restaurant. The business of the restaurant was not good yesterday, and a person who ran with me took me to the casino to gamble, I. I lost the bet and owed a lot of debt. Murong Zhe stood up in surprise, and raised his voice involuntarily, What? You can earn thousands of tails a month, do you know that it is a place where you can eat people without spitting bones? and you dare to go to a casino. Big brother. Murong Chi hurriedly pulled his trouser legs and said in a panic, Big brother, I know I shouldn't go, I already know the mistake, but the mistake has been made now, it's useless to say anything now, just please help me. The people at the casino said that if I don't pay the money within three days, not only will they have my legs, but they will also sell my eldest daughter to a brothel to pay off her debts. Murong Shui knew it just now, and when she heard her father say it again, her body trembled even more. Murong Lingran glanced at the panic-stricken Murong Shui, and suddenly said, Uncle, 
how did the casino know that you have a daughter? That's right. Murong Zhe thought of something, with an unbelievable expression on his face, Murong Chi, shouldn't you be? Yes. Murong Chi said with a sad face, yesterday, my luck was always good. Although I lost all my silver in the middle, the casino lent me money and made me turn over quickly, but I made a mistake later and let me take all the silver that I won later. Lose it in. Chapter 226 will definitely not come out. At that time, I was red-eyed, and I knew that I would definitely be blamed by my family when I came back, so I wanted to try my luck to see if I could turn over again, but the casino people asked me to bet two things before they would lend me money again, what am I worth? If you don't have anything, just, just. I bet me wrong shui on them, but in the end they still lose, right? Mirong Zhe couldn't help roaring. Mirong Chi flinched at the roar of the elder brother, and his voice could not help but lower a little, yes, and my legs are also pressed on them. Although Mirong Liang had already listened to it just now, he couldn't hide his anger when he heard it again, so he stepped forward and kicked him fiercely. Lu Shi hurriedly stood in front of his younger son and pleaded, Old man, didn't you hit enough just now? He is already injured all over. If he hits again, he will really die. Mirong Liang pulled her away, pushed her in Chen's direction, and kicked Mirong Ki several times. I am his father, I gave him my life, and I just took it back when I died. Mirong Liang was really angry this time, and he showed no mercy at all. Mirong Chi knew that he made a big mistake, and the elder brother was watching here and didn't dare to resist. It's just that after a while, Seeing that the elder brother didn't seem to be pleading at all, he couldn't take it any more, and quickly began to beg for mercy, Father, I was wrong, stop kicking, I was beaten by someone from the casino yesterday, and I still have something on my body. Hurt. Mirong Liang was stunned for a moment, then stopped beating. Lu hurriedly stepped forward to remove his clothes, and really saw bruises all over his body. Such obvious bruises could never have been caused by Mirong Liang just now, and he was so distressed that he began to wailing again, these people who have suffered thousands of knives, how can they beat you like this? Can people make money? It's too much. Mirong Kikyang endured the pain and said, Auntie, I really know I'm wrong, so please ask my eldest brother to help me. I really don't dare to do it again in the future. Mirong Zone covered his sister's eyes when his grandmother pulled off his uncle's clothes, and waited for his uncle to put on his clothes, then he took his hand away and frowned, Uncle, you have been talking about debts, but you haven't said it yet. How much do you owe? Mirong Zhe also said, Yes, how much money do you owe, so that you even mortgaged your daughter and legs, or is it a place like a brothel? No not much. Mirong Zhe looked at his dodging eyes and frowned, how much is not much? Mirong Chi glanced at Mirong Shui, who was shivering, and said with a complicated expression, it's just, two, two thousand tails of silver. Mirong Zhe was taken aback by the amount of debt he owed, two thousand tails of silver, Mirong Chi, why don't you put your life into it and sell your daughter, what a father you are. Mirong Lingran was also shocked when she heard this. She had always known that the uncle was a jerk, but he didn't expect to be so courageous and actually lose 2,000 tails of silver. Their family has been busy for so long, and even if they have a lot more money than before, they still dare not use the money casually. Chen Shi heard such a huge amount and knew that Mirong Zhe's family would definitely not give out so much money, he fainted as soon as his eyes darkened, and fell to the ground with a bang. Auntie. Mirong Shui and Mirong Qing quickly stepped forward to help her up, shaking her thin body anxiously. Mirong Zhe sighed and said, A king, one of those who pinch your mother. Yes, uncle. Chapter 227 I can't help. Mirong Qing hurriedly did as she did, and it didn't take long for Chen to wake up with a gloomy face. Seeing Mirong Shui by his side, he hugged her in despair and cried bitterly, My poor daughter. Why did you meet such a father? Didn't he force you to die? Brother, I know I'm wrong. 
I don't dare any more, so please help me this time. I promise, I'll never make such a mistake again. I... I heard that you are serving Shengzhen restaurant now. Food delivery, business is not bad, you must have the money to save me, right? Murong Lingran said with a calm face, Uncle, who told you this? Murong Chi looked at Murong Shui. Murong Shui saw everyone's eyes squinting at her, and said nervously, Yes. I went to Shengzhen restaurant when I entered the city. Dad is the uncle's younger brother, what's wrong with me telling the uncle's family? Murong sneered, How did you know that there is Shengzhen restaurant among the restaurants provided by our family? Shengzhen restaurant came to deliver food, I saw it before when I watched Dad. Murong said again, Uncle, does the shopkeeper of Shengzhen restaurant know that you are Dad's younger brother? Murong Ki eyes flickered, and he knew very well that if he told a lie, they would know the truth as soon as they went to verify, and they would definitely anger the elder brother's family, so he had to tell the truth, after Axiu told me. I I just revealed my identity to the shopkeeper and euphemistically said that I wanted him to give me a little more money per month, but the shopkeeper didn't listen to me at all, and I was afraid of losing my job, so I never mentioned it again. After the debt yesterday, I originally wanted the shopkeeper to lend me some money for the sake of my eldest brother, but he said that he was only working for the owner, and he earned it with hard-earned money. He didn't have that much money, so let me go home. I've been hesitating for a long time to find a way for my big brother, so I just came back. Mirong Zhe sneered, think of a way? Mirong Chi, do you still think I'm your old eldest brother? Will I take care of you unconditionally? Mirong Chi was stunned for a moment, a bad premonition arose in his heart, and he said blankly, Brother, won't you help me? Help you, I also have the ability. Do you think two thousand tails of silver is as simple as a few hundred coins? Don't think I don't know, if you don't want me to help you deal with the aftermath, after you lose a hundred when you have two silver coins, you will close your hands. Don't you just know that I'm selling vegetables recently, and I may have made a little money, so I dare to play such a big game. Murong Chi, let me tell you, I've earned a little money recently, but I'm just looking for your three nephews. Compared with your debt of two thousand tails, it's a drop in the bucket. I can't help you. Murong Chi anxiously said, Brother, are you really not helping me? They only give me three days, and they know where I live. If they can't collect the money, Shui will really be sold to a brothel. And my legs, they will really cut them off. I really only have a dead end. Axiu is also what you grew up with, and you raised it hard. Can you really bear it? Murong Zhe closed his eyes, then opened them and said only four words, I can't help you. Big brother. Murong Chi roared in despair. Lu said excitedly, Murong Zhe, he is your only younger brother and A Shui's own niece, do you really want to watch them die? Chapter 228 Kindness is like a donkey's liver and lungs. Hearing this, Murong Lingran showed a sneer of disdain on her face, AMA, you don't need to use your family to kidnap dad, not to mention that our family doesn't have two thousand tails of silver right now, even if we did, it's impossible for us to split up. Take it out for him. He's already an adult, and an adult should be responsible for his own behavior. My ten-year-old child understands the truth, doesn't he understand? If he doesn't even understand such a simple truth, you will be him. Mother. Shouldn't you think about it for a while? Lu Shi's eyes were split with anger at her words, and she gritted her teeth sinisterly, You girl, you have no place to speak here, you get out of my way. I don't have the right to say anything. Murong Lingran mocked, The money in the family is earned by my father and brothers together, and you want us to take out all of it just by your words, we really think we are a money shop. Tell you, even if my family has two thousand tails, I will save it to redeem A Niang. Don't forget, A Niang now has a family in the embroidery village and can't return it, and you have a share of the credit for it. If she was willing to take out all the money and didn't hide it, 
how could A Niang be reduced to the point where she couldn't go home even when she was sick? Mirong Zong frowned and said, Nat, A Ran is right. You should clean up the troubles your son caused. When you gave up A Ran, you should have thought of today. Our vegetable business has only started for dozens of days. Not to mention that there are no two thousand tails, even if there is, you must save it to redeem A Niang. Even if A Niang is unwilling, they have to prepare the money. As long as she wants to come back, they can immediately use the money to redeem her and restore her freedom. Lu Shi had already lost his mind because of the fear of losing his son, and blurted out, I sold your house and land without money. If it wasn't enough, wouldn't you be able to make money so well? If you earn ten tails of silver easily, let's go to the darts again, or I will sell this dead girl Murong Lingran, I don't believe it's not enough money. Everyone in the room suddenly looked at Murong Zhet, Mirong Ling was his life, Lu Shi said, didn't he cut off the only way back for his youngest son? Sure enough, Mirong Zhe's eyes turned red with anger, and even his lips were trembling, and he laughed angrily, okay, very good, this is my mother, it's useless for me to look at my younger brother today because of my blood connection. In this way, I put my words here today, even if I am cast aside by the whole world, I will not give a coin. Aaron, let's go. After saying that, he took Murong Lingran's hand and left without looking back. Atch, Atch. Murong Liang shouted anxiously, but there was little use, and Murong Zhe's footsteps were even faster and faster. Murong Zong looked at Lu Shi with a chilling expression on his face, Grandma, are you talking about people? It's too much. Murong Xian also said, Yes. If it is possible, I would rather not have relatives like you. Mirong Quan said with a sneer, Take good intentions as donkey liver and lungs, you are not worthy of human beings at all, I will never come here again. After the three brothers finished speaking, they left angrily. Seeing that both his son and grandson were mad and ran away, Mirong Liang's eyes instantly turned sullen, and he kicked Lu Shi's chest with a kick, You wicked and poisonous woman, it's all right now. I'll see what your son will do. As soon as Mrs. Lu said the truth, she knew that she had said something wrong. Back then, the eldest son was willing to be separated for Murong Lingran's sake, and he didn't even want his parents. Today, for Murong Lingran's sake, he doesn't want his younger brother and niece. It's been said, and it can't be taken back. Chapter 229 I Vomited Blood Before he could think of a remedy, there was a sharp pain in his chest, and he was kicked to the ground by Murong Liang. Murong Liang didn't show mercy at all this time. As soon as Lu Shi fell to the ground, before he had time to be shocked, he felt a rush of blood, and he spit out blood on the ground. Seeing that A Niang was actually kicked and vomited blood, Murong Chi said in a frightened voice, A. Eh? Dad, A Niang is vomiting blood. Mirong Liang just sneered when he saw this, without the slightest pity in his eyes, turned around and walked out the door. When Lu Shi saw Mirong Liang leaving ruthlessly, he felt a pain in his heart and fainted in despair. A Niang, A Niang. Mirong Chi shouted anxiously a few times, and hurriedly looked at Chen Shi, who was already frightened, What are you still doing, hurry up and call the doctor. Chen was really frightened by his father-in-law's sudden action. After all, he used to be slapped at most, and it was all flesh wounds. This time, he actually kicked someone and vomited blood. He heard the voice and hurriedly said, OK, I-I-L-L go right away. MRS Lu is now her husband and daughter's only hope, and if something happens to her, Mirong Zhe will not help. It was only after she went out that she realized that she didn't know where to ask a doctor. The city is too far away, and the doctor may not be willing to come to this back country. The nearest doctor was Mirong Zhe, but he injured his hand. Just now, Mrs. Lu lost her popularity. She knew it was useless to find him without thinking. She had no choice but to ask Li Chen. But I didn't expect that Li Zheng was not at home, only Li Zheng's wife. Mi Shi, was there. 
After hearing about the intention of Mrs. Chen, Mrs. Mi didn't like Mrs. Lu, but after all, she was a villager under her husband's hands. It would be a sin if she died. Her family just bought a carriage, so she had to ask her eldest son Zhuang Qinghe to take her to the next door Linhe village to ask for a doctor. At the same time, as soon as Murong Zong returned home, Murong Liang hurriedly followed, seeing that they were about to close the courtyard door, and hurriedly said, Wait, don't close the door. Murong Zong closed the door for a while, and when he saw his grandfather following, with a clear expression of prayer on his face, he had to let him come in first. When they got to the main room, Murong Zong said solemnly, Grandpa, you don't need to be a lobbyist, our family doesn't have two thousand tails, and even if we had, it's impossible to spend all the little family property that we have managed so hard to spend on my uncle. That is a bottomless pit, not to mention that daddy doesn't agree, even if he agrees, it is impossible for our three brothers to agree. As for Murong Shui, if she was sold to a brothel, it would also be her life. And one has two, this time it is a debt of two thousand tails. If they solve it for him, there is no guarantee that he will not get a debt of twenty thousand tails next time because of the sweetness. Murong Xian also said, Brother is right, Grandpa, you can go back first. Grandma treats Aaron so cruelly one after another. As her relatives, we can't pretend that we didn't hear it. Mirong Liang frowned tightly, nodded and said, I know what your grandma said just now is too much, and I also know that your uncle is a bastard. He deserves the retribution, but, but you can't be rude to ax you. Help, she is your cousin, grandpa's granddaughter after all. Mirong Zong and Mirong Xian looked at each other and sighed, Grandpa, you should know what kind of temper a Shui is, she is a white-eyed wolf, since our family was in trouble, she has always hated us, there is no need for our family to a man who has always hated us went bankrupt. Chapter 230 Not Grateful Mirong Zhe was about to go to the backyard when he heard a voice from the main room and walked out again, helplessly said, Dad, you don't need to say, our family really doesn't have two thousand tails of silver, even if we sell the house and land. That's not enough. Just based on what A Niang said just now, even if there is, I won't come out. Dare to attack A Ran's idea, even if it is his own mother, he will not forgive him. Murong Liang knew that Liu's words just hurt his heart, so he looked at the innocent Murong Ling Ran apologetically, and after thinking for a while, he had to say, Ach, it doesn't matter if you don't have money, you used to those colleagues. It's useless. Murong Zhe shook his head, when A Ran was sick, didn't you go to many homes with me? Back then, I was reluctant to borrow 150 tails of silver, let alone 2,000 tails of silver. Murong Liang thought about it and thought he was right. Murong Ling Ran suddenly asked, Grandpa, in which casino did Uncle lose his money? Your uncle seems to be talking about Xiangjia Casino. Murong raised her eyebrows, shouldn't it be the Xiangjia she knew? Aaron, why are you asking this? Murong Liang said excitedly, Aaron, do you have a solution? Murong shook his head, no, I just think the timing of uncle's death this time is a bit strange. Method? Of course she has, and there are more. But just because Lu Shi was going to sell her just now, she was out of her mind and rushed to help my uncle to solve it. She could guarantee that even if she rescued uncle and Murong Shui, they would never be grateful to her. When she was in a coma, her uncle could drive her and her father out of the house. If her father insisted on healing her, she might have died long ago. They can do the first year of the first year, and she can naturally do the fifteenth. Now that they are in trouble, she has considered her kindness for not taunting them in person. She was just curious and asked casually. Mirong Zhe carefully recalled what Mirong Chi said just now, and asked doubtfully, Aaron, do you think your uncle owes something else? Mirong nodded, think about it, he has been in the city for several months. He doesn't gamble in the early days, and he doesn't gamble in the evening but when our vegetable business is stable and we already have some spare money, 
he will bet. It's a big bet. Mirong Liang thought that his younger son had just said that he was called by someone who ran with him, and said in shock, Aaron, you mean he might have been designed by someone? It's just a possibility. But there is another possibility, that possibility is bigger and scarier, she dare not say it for the time being. The eyes of everyone also showed shock. Mirong Liang didn't believe that his youngest son was such a stupid person. It would be too embarrassing to spread it out. Aaron, you may be thinking too complicated. Your uncle may think that you have made some money recently, maybe. Maybe you are still the same as before, that you will definitely come out to deal with the aftermath, so you dare to bet so much. Maybe. Mirong Ling Ran said again, but now these are just our guesses. Mirong Liang hesitated, Aaron, no matter whether he was designed or not, even if we go to the door, it is useless, the mistake has already been made, and the debt is indeed owed, you, you really have nothing to do. Mirong sighed, Grandpa, our family really doesn't have so much money. Chapter 231 Don't be impulsive. Your family, didn't your family know a lot of rich people because of selling vegetables? Can you find, find them? Grandpa meant to borrow them from them, right? Right, right, but don't worry, I won't let you borrow it, I'll let your uncle's family borrow it, and you'll just have a connection, even if all of their family are sold as slaves, it's better than losing its good to die and be sold into a brothel. Mirong Liang said. Mirong Ling Ran took a careful look at Grandpa's expression. He hadn't noticed it before, but now he realizes that Grandpa at this time is actually ten years older than the day he returned to the capital. Alas, pity the hearts of parents all over the world. Selling as slaves, it would take their family worth so much money to be able to sell them. Grandpa, wait for three days to talk about it, anyway, it's not the time yet. Mirong said perfunctorily. Mirong Liang thought she had agreed to help, and said excitedly, Aaron, are you willing to help your uncle? Grandpa, I'm just a child, even if I want to help, I can't help, just wait and see, when the big deal comes, you talk to the casino people about the conditions and delay the time. The way is people who come up with it, and you can always find a way. Fixed. As for the outcome of the solution is good or bad, that is not for her to decide. Mirong Liang hesitated for a moment, then he nodded with a sigh, so far that's all. Mirong raised his head and looked at the sky, Grandpa, it's getting late, why don't we have dinner here? Mirong Liang realized that it was getting dark, and shook his head, no, Grandpa will go back first. Where can he eat? Okay, Grandpa, walk slowly. And the others went out of the courtyard, Mirong Lingran's face suddenly turned cold. As soon as she turned around, she saw her father and brother looked at her with disbelief, and smiled helplessly, Why are you looking at me like this? Aaron? Don't you really want to match up with Grandpa and let them lend money to them? Then they won't be able to pay it back, so we'll be our family after taking care of them. Mirong Zong said worriedly. Yes. Aran, don't be impulsive, it's not worth it for someone like uncle. Mirong Xian also said. Mirong Quan followed, Aaron, the third brother knows that girls are soft-hearted and you are also kind, but some people really don't deserve what you do. Mirong looked at them speechlessly, am I that stupid in your eyes? How long have we been with those people? How could they lend so much money to ordinary people like us? Mirong Zong frowned and said, Then you were just now. Mirong raised his eyebrows Ling Ran, For the sake of how well he has disciplined AMA during this period of time, I just want to reassure him, otherwise I will definitely keep begging us and affect our lives. It's natural to go straight to the bridge, and we'll talk about it later. Anyway, it's impossible for me to prepare money for that right now. Mirong Zhe nodded, Aaron is right, you are still young. Don't think too much, we have separated our families, let them handle their affairs by themselves, there are so many poor people in the world, we can live our own lives already. It's very difficult, 
and I can't worry about other people's affairs. The four brothers and sisters looked at each other and nodded at the same time, yes, dad. The family had dinner, Mirongja looked at the round moon in the sky, and his heart became melancholy. Liu's remarks today really hit him a lot and hurt his heart very much. Chapter 232 He is not your father. The same son, why can she be so cruel to herself and her children? Said a few words to enlighten her daughter and told her not to think too much, then went back to the house. Mirong Lingran and his brothers quickly cleaned the dishes and entered the room. She didn't feel anything about Liu's words today. The combined soul of her two lives was thirty years old, so she could already see some things. When Lu Shi forced her father to give up her life, she already saw the true face of Lu Shi, and it is not surprising that she can say the words that betrayed her today. And when Murong Liang came home, he happened to meet the doctor who came to see Liu's doctor. He heard the doctor said that it was only a minor internal injury. After taking a few medicines and resting in bed for half a month, he would be fine. He gave the doctor money and sent the doctor away. Murong Ki head has also been dealt with by the doctor. He knew that dad went there just now and saw him come back with a dejected face. Although he had already guessed the attitude of the other side, he still asked a question without giving up, Dad, what did big brother say? Is he willing to help me? Mirong Liang glanced at the hopeful Chen family and their three grandchildren, and said angrily, Yinzi, you know Yinzi, as they said, how many days did they start their vegetable business? Two thousand tails of silver, you really dare to gamble, you don't have to think about it and know that he can't come up with it, you can just leave it to your fate. Was about to leave when he suddenly stopped, and saw that Mirong Chi had changed into clean clothes while he was away. He was begging for help in a low voice for his business, but he still had time to pay attention to decency, and he was suddenly furious, your auntie is in a coma and it's all caused by you, an unfilial son. Now let me go to her. Kneel down in front of the bed, when will she wake up, and when will you wake up again? Father. Mirong Chi said anxiously, is big brother really not giving money? I've already said that, if he doesn't have it, he can't show it at all. Can you understand people's words? Mirong Liang said angrily. Seeing his father looking like he wanted to clean him up again, Mirong Chi hurriedly said, I understand, of course I understand. If you understand, don't get me in. Mirong Chi was about to nod his head, but Mirong Shui suddenly said with a shocked expression, Grandpa, you mean that the uncle doesn't want to save me, doesn't it? Mirong Liang glanced at her and sneered, Now I know he's your uncle? Don't think I'm too old to know, you always hate your uncle, hate him for not giving you a good life. So every time you see him he, no, looks at their family like enemies. Let me tell you, your uncle really doesn't want to save you now, and he can't save you either. This is all the fault of your biological father. If you want to find your own father, don't look for your uncle if you have nothing to do, he is not your own. Father. Mirong Shui's face suddenly turned pale, she glanced at Mirong Chi next to her. What was the use of looking for her biological father, her biological father was a waste, if the uncle didn't save her, she would be finished. Sister, don't worry, it's only been a day, there should be time, let's think of a way. Mirong Qing stepped forward to comfort. Mirong Shui pushed Mirong Qing away, her eyes were fierce, it's not you who was mortgaged by daddy, of course you are not in a hurry. Mirongking was caught off guard and pushed to the ground by her, but she didn't look angry at all. She understood sister's mood at this time, got up and hurriedly said, Sister, I didn't mean that, I just wanted to comfort you. Chapter 235 Reluctant to Dig Ax you, don't even think about hitting on your sister. Things haven't gotten out of hand yet. Maybe your uncle will really take out the money that day. Your uncle has always been soft-hearted, and he will definitely not die at that time. Real. Really. Mrs. Chen wasn't sure either, but in order to comfort her daughter, she could only say so temporarily. Well then, 
I believe you for the time being. Seeing Mirong Shui returning to her room, Mrs. Chen looked at Mirong Qing and said, A king, you should go back to the room first. After dinner is over, A Niang will call you out. Mirong Qing nodded and returned to the house in a daze. No matter how gloomy and gloomy it was over there, the business of Mirong Lingran's family continued as usual for the past two days, and she was also thinking about how to make more money for her family. After eating breakfast, Mirong Lingran went up the mountain to collect medicine as usual, then entered the space, harvested a batch of fruits, and placed them neatly in the basement with his spiritual sense. Looking at the various fruits placed in the basement, Mirong Lingran gradually fell into contemplation. Although A Niang doesn't want them to redeem her in advance, but if the money their family earns in the future doesn't take 3,000 taels into consideration, maybe A Niang will agree. There are many rich people in the capital. In any era, making money from the rich is the fastest way to make money. And for them to willingly pay for it, it must be something that catches their eye. The day after the ninth son took the cake back, he sent Zeke to the door to give her feedback, saying that his old lady liked it very much, and he liked it too. As a token of thanks, he sent her a box of autumn and winter clothes and jewelry. This year she doesn't have to buy any more clothes. The family background of the ninth son must be regarded as one of the first in the capital. Even he and the old lady like cakes so much, so the rest of the wealthy people will definitely like it. But the ingredients for making cakes in her space are limited, so she can't last long. And there is definitely some difference in the taste of the ingredients made from the 21st century and those made from Suankikuo. In order not to smash their own signs, they can only use all the ingredients such as flour and jam made from Suankikuo plants from the beginning. Mirong Lingran thought about it carefully, and after rummaging in the space for a long time, he found a book How to Make Your Own Cake Ingredients. After looking through it roughly, Mirong Lingran suddenly knew something. Looking at the seeds she bought in her previous life, the seeds she needs are there. If you want to plant them now, it will take at least six hours to harvest them, which is a waste of time. And there is no open space for planting for the time being. She is reluctant to dig those fruit trees that are still bearing fruit, and those fruits are of great use to her. After leaving the space, Murong Lingran went to the field and asked one by one, and finally bought flour and dried corn at Lichhen's house. Actually, she has corn in her space, but it's still whole. It's wet, so she can't grind it into powder. That's right, all she has to do is low gluten flour. The book said that if you want to make cakes without low gluten flour, you can use ordinary flour and cornstarch in a ratio of 4 to 1. There is no grinding plate at home. So Murong Lingran borrowed the grinding plate from Lichhen's house to grind all the corn, because a series of processes such as sieving, precipitation, drying, grinding, etc., will take a lot of time, so Murong Lingran will fiddle around in the yard whenever she has time. Chapter 236 Bite Him to Death During the period, Murong Chi also came to beg them several times. In order not to interfere with the villagers' work, Murong Zhe instructed the eldest son and the second son to carry him away and throw him far away whenever they saw Murong Chi coming. Murong Chi came several times but failed to get any benefit, and was seen as a joke many times, so he had to give up temporarily, planning to wait until the time. He couldn't believe that in front of so many people at that time, as his own elder brother, he really dared to have his own brother's leg chopped off and his own niece to be dragged to a brothel. The Murong Zhe family was about to go to the vegetable field when the door was padded with a bang. The faces of the family suddenly sank, and when they opened the door, they saw Murong Chi standing outside the door in a panic, while many people were coming towards them in the distance. Some people were obviously bad people, others were villagers who followed to watch the fun, and there was Murong Liang who was a step slower. As for Mrs. Lu, I don't know if God didn't want to help Murong Chi. She was in a coma after vomiting blood that day, and she is still lying on the bed. Hamao saw that Murong Chi, an outsider, was about to come in, and he immediately made an attack, showing sharp fangs. 
As long as this person dared to step into the house, it would kill him. Although it is not a human being, it can clearly feel that this person has a bad mind and is obviously a bad person, and a bad person is not worthy of entering its door. Wang, Wang, Wang. Get out of here. Murongchi had no idea when the eldest brother had fed a dog, and he could see that it was at least 1.6 meters tall. He was about to step on the threshold, and when he heard its deafening roar, he had to reluctantly put his legs on the ground. Take it back. Brother, save me, they are here, they are here. Murongchi stood at the door with a look of fear. Murongzhe didn't speak, he just stared blankly at the group of men who were approaching him aggressively. Murong Lingran stepped forward and patted Hamao's head, motioning it to sit beside her and looking at the person opposite. One person led by stood three meters away from the gate of Murong's house with a knife, looked at Murong Zhe, and then looked at Murong Zhe's house, a meaningful smile suddenly appeared on the corner of his mouth. Murong Chi, this is the rich eldest brother's house you said? The house is not bad, I've come all the way, it should be considered as the first part of the village, no wonder you dare to bet so big. Since you have such a wealthy eldest brother, let your eldest brother take out the money quickly, and we will leave. You are welcome to continue to play in the future, and we promise to entertain you with delicious food. But if you can't take it out, then don't blame us for being rude. The last sentence, the tone is obviously a lot colder than the previous one. Murong Chi saw the knife in his hand, his whole body trembled involuntarily, his breathing became more rapid, and he said with a trembling voice, Qian Guanxi, wait a minute, my eldest brother is rich, he won't let him die. Of. After saying that, he bowed his waist and looked at Murong Zhe with a pleading expression, Brother, please save me. Murong Lingran saw that the group of people opposite her had been looking at her house like hungry wolves, and suddenly said, You're welcome. Murong Liang was about to speak when he saw Murong Zhe waved his hand so he had to keep silent for a while. Manager Qian sneered, Where did you get the little girl movie, you don't have the right to speak here. You want my family's money, don't I have the right to speak? Chapter 237 Thinking of him as stupid? Murong Lingran spread out his hands helplessly, Uncle, since that's the case, you can just leave it to your fate. After speaking, she turned around and was about to enter the room. Murong Chi heard from Mrs. Chen that everything in the Murong family is now under the control of Murong Lingran, so it is very likely that all the money in the eldest brother's family belongs to her, so he hurriedly said, Aaron, what you said, don't do it. Let's go, uncle still needs you. Real. Murong Chi nodded his head like garlic, really, really, really. Okay then, then I'll just reluctantly stay. Manager Qian said impatiently, OK, don't delay any more time, I will say it one last time, whoever you are, take out the 2,000 tails of silver immediately, and we will leave immediately. Murong Zhe glanced at Murong Qi indifferently, and said in a cold tone, You want money, look for him, we have already split up, he caused trouble, let him give it himself. Manager Qian frowned, he said he didn't. You are his eldest brother, and the younger brother caused trouble, it is only right that you help him deal with the aftermath. He has no money, so we have to ask you for it. I heard that your family has dozens of acres of land, and this new house, if you put it together, you should be able to take it out, you can't just let him die, can you? Why not? Don't you know what he did to our family? If it wasn't for God's mercy, my child would have been killed by him long ago. I'm not a saint. Manager Qian couldn't believe it, did you know that he crushed his legs, and his eldest daughter, do you really want to watch them ruin? Murong Chi cried bitterly and said, Brother, please help me, I promise this is the last time, as long as you give me this money, I will never go to the city again, and I will stay in the village and serve my father well. Mother, are you all right? Not good. Big brother. Don't call me big brother, I don't have a younger brother like you. 
Qian Guanxi sneered when he heard the words, if that's the case, don't blame us, come. As soon as he finished speaking, Murong Shui was dragged from behind by them, and one person immediately took off the cloth ball in her mouth. Uncle, save me, save me. Murong Shui said in horror, I don't want to be sold to a brothel, uncle, it was my fault that I was disrespectful to you before, I know it was wrong, I will definitely treat you as my own in the future. Treat me like a father, please save me. I'm only 13 years old, and I don't want the rest of my life to be ruined like this. When she finished saying what she should say, the cloth was stuffed into her mouth again. There is no other reason. Manager Qian dislikes her for being too noisy. It is enough to say key words. Murong Zhe heard the words without the slightest loosening on his face, and glanced lightly into the distance. An uncle who has something to do, an enemy who has nothing to do, consider him stupid? The three Murong Zong brothers looked at each other and turned their heads to the side, not looking at Murong Shui's frightened eyes. Murong Shui was also very cute when she was a child. If she had a better attitude towards her parents and their brothers and sisters after their family was in trouble, she would not be so ungrateful, they would not just sit back and ignore them now. Seeing this, Manager Qian said with a sneer, Your uncle won't save you, nor your father, come here and chop off Murong Ki legs immediately. Yes. The five people next to him immediately came to Murong Ki's side, one of them dropped him to the ground, and the others suppressed his hands and feet, making him lie on the ground in a big letter shape. One person took the knife in Steward Qian's hand and quickly found the position. As soon as Steward Qian gave an order, he immediately chopped off Murong Ki leg. Chapter 238 Do yourself a favor, don't live. Murong Qi lay on the ground and said in horror, Big brother, save me, save me, they will really cut off my legs, I don't want to become a cripple. Murong Zhe said without changing his face, Do your own sin. Don't live. Big brother. Do you really want to be so heartless? Manager Qian suddenly smiled and said, Actually, we don't want to hurt people, nor do we want to see blood on our hands. If you say you don't have the ability, then you say how much you can give. I'll give you some more grace depending on the situation. Murong raised his eyebrows, and a silent sneer appeared on the corner of his mouth. The money steward means you want as much as we can, right? Yes, for example, your land deed, and this house deed, you can press all of them to me temporarily, I can give you a month, you can still live in this house during this period, and when you have enough money, I will how about returning all the land deeds and house deeds to you? Li Zheng just came to hear the words of Steward Qian, and was afraid that Mirong Lingran would be deceived by Steward Qian's rhetoric at a young age, so he hurriedly stopped and said, Ach, Aaron, don't believe what he said, the casino. What people say is unbelievable. How can you earn 2,000 tails of silver just by selling vegetables in a month? Even if they earn it, they will play rascals again, saying that if the time is too long, they will add a few cents of interest. At that time, the house and the land will be meat buns and dogs, and there will be no return. Their family finally managed to have these properties. For a prodigal like Murong Chi, they really felt it was not worth it. Xia's husband Meng Chenjai also said, Master, you really can't believe what they say, you have to think twice. Zhuang King he also said, Yes, they are tricking you now and stop the loss in time. After all, he won't get any money if he kills Murong Chi, so it's better to take as much as possible. Yes, yes, don't listen to them. Can't listen. Yes, I can't listen. It's a one-month period, and I can't talk about it. Maybe I hand over the house and land deeds today, and they will come to drive people tomorrow. Most of the onlookers disapproved of Jian Steward's proposal. After all, how many good people can there be in the casino? Moreover, they felt very uncomfortable when they thought that the money they worked so hard every day to help the owner would eventually be used to pay off the gambling debts for Murong Chi. Seeing everyone's opposition, Mrs. Chen swept everyone's face with a grim look, 
you selfish bastards, you don't want him to mortgage it, aren't you just afraid that you won't have a place to work in the future? What, do you earn money? More important than my husband's life. Sia sneered loudly, Asai, motherfucker, how hard it was for their family to walk all the way, we all see it in the eyes of the whole village. You didn't even give a grain of rice when his family was in trouble. Now that you are in trouble, do you think of him? You say that we are selfish, so isn't your family selfish? Compared with our selfishness, your family is a hundred times, thousand times, ten thousand times more selfish. That's right. Tian's husband, Mo Erkang, couldn't help but interject, you are too embarrassed to say that we, although we really want to continue working in his house, we are really good for him. If you can believe the words of the people in the casino, unless the sun hits the west side. Other people's life is a little easier, and you will kill others for nothing. There is no one more vicious than you in the world. Chapter 239 Take a Breath Chen's eyes widened in disbelief. She never imagined that it was Mirange's family who did not behave kindly, so why was she the one who was blamed in turn? Is it only natural for my brother to die for his younger brother? Shouldn't they scold Mirangje for being ruthless and ignoring his six relatives, and then forcing him to use the money to save his younger brother? Mirang Lingran looked at Chen's expression and sneered again and again, wanting to kidnap them with family affection, and didn't care how much impact their family would have on the village if they compromised. Now there are dozens of people working in their homes, and there are only a hundred families in the village. If their land is taken away by the casino people, it will affect the livelihood of about half the village. Even if they agree, don't see if the villagers agree. Okay. Manager Qian said impatiently, I don't care what kind of grievances there are between you, now I have given you a choice, either, mortgage the house and fields, or, I will chop off his legs immediately, and you can weigh it yourself. Do it. Mirong Zhe glanced at his daughter, saw her nodding, then glanced coldly at Mirong Chi, who was pinned to the ground, and sighed, when I had nowhere to go, it was Liwa village who took me in, and mortgaged the house and fields. Impossible, if you want to take his leg, just take it. After finishing speaking, he looked at Mirong Chi, Mirong Chi, it's not that I don't want to help you, but I'm really powerless. If the eldest brother is down, you'll have nothing to do and no income. If your parents have any headaches in the future, the family will suffer. But I can't get any more money. Mirong Liang, who was about to say something, heard this sentence and swallowed the words in his mouth again. The eldest son is right. If he is down and out, the younger son is a dog who can't change the virtue of eating shit. If they have an illness in the future, the old couple will only have to wait to die. Everyone nodded in agreement. Although Mirong Chi was healthy, he was a waste. He had been working in the city for a few months. Hearing that he didn't take any money back home, the old couple definitely couldn't count on him. Mirong Chi cried and said, Brother, are you really so cruel? Li Zheng couldn't help but reprimanded, Heartless? You don't know what your elder brother's hands are like now? Wouldn't your heart be cruel to force a man with crippled hands to lose his livelihood? If your elder brother has no money, he will what are your three sons looking for? They are also your nephews, and the youngest is only five years old. If they fall into the wrong hands, do you know what kind of life they are living now? I. Mirong Chi opened his mouth, but after thinking for a long time, he couldn't say a word to refute. Zhuang King he looked at Guan Qi Qian and said, Since you guys have plans to want a house, don't you know that Mirong Qi owns a house? Why didn't he mortgage him, but he fell in love with his eldest brother? Manager Qian's eyes flashed, and he said angrily, I want whoever I want, you don't care. Mirong Zhe said lightly, If that's the case, then you can do it, A eh Zong. Mirong Zong immediately put a medicine box in front of Mirong Chi, and under his doubtful eyes, he said indifferently, Uncle, don't worry, Dad has taught me how to stop the bleeding these days, and we are ready. 
There are a lot of hemostatic and painkillers, and when your leg is really gone, I will stop the bleeding in time and promise to give you a breath. Chapter 240 Murong Chi almost vomited out a mouthful of old blood after listening to it, the eldest brother's family has gone too far. Steward Jian looked at Murong Chi, then turned to Murong Lingran unwillingly, he is your uncle, so are you really willing to let him be a waste for the rest of his life? To tell you the truth, in my heart he has never looked like an uncle in my life. Murong Lingran said in a very calm tone. Murong Shui struggled suddenly, woo woo, woo woo. Aaron, even if you don't care about me, think about Axiu, she is a girl, do you have the heart to let her jump into the fire pit? Murong Lingran glanced at the embarrassed Murong Shui, and said lightly, she was also caused by your own father, you don't care, why should we outsiders feel distressed? Everyone thought it was justified, and immediately looked at Murong Shui with pity. Murong Shui's eyes showed despair. Seeing Steward Jian stunned, Murong Zhe said lightly, If you want to do it, do it. This. Manager Jian sighed and said, Murong Chi, since your eldest brother doesn't want to save you, then I have no choice. Big brother. Big brother. Save me. Save me. After all, he was his own child. Murong Liang was about to ask for mercy when Murong Zong suddenly whispered a few words in his ear. Hearing this, Murong Liang was stunned, frowned and looked at Murong Shui, then at his son, and sighed, Shui, it's because my father didn't teach you well that dad hurt you, if you want to blame, blame me. Var. When everyone saw that Murong Ki biological father was saying that he was going to give up on him, the sighs came one after another. It is not surprising that Murong Chi has such a day. Manager Qian glanced at Murong Chi and suddenly fell silent. When everyone saw that he didn't make a move, Zhuang King he frowned and said, If you want to make a move, hurry up, it's still not a man who is grinding. Old Five. The servant with the knife replied, Hey. Everyone's eyes were immediately focused on the knife in Lao Wu's hand and they saw him raise the knife high and look straight at Murong Ki leg, as if he was thinking about which leg to chop first. Some villagers who came with their children quickly covered their children's eyes, for fear that they would have nightmares at night when they saw blood. Murong Chi never imagined that all the villagers disapproved of the elder brother's mortgage of the house and land. Looking at the knife in Lao Wu's hand, his eyes kept rolling, and he started to think of a way anxiously. It's just that a cup of tea has passed, everyone's eyes are tired, and it is obvious that the old fifth's hand holding the knife is shaking, but he hasn't waved it for a long time. Li Zheng suddenly felt that something was wrong and frowned, aren't you going to chop off his legs? Chop, what are you waiting for? Manager Qian looked at Murong Chi with a complicated expression, what else do you have to say? Murong Chi said excitedly, big brother. Just listen to them, this is the last chance, I don't want to be a waste. Murong Zhe ignored his words and rubbed the back of his hand against Hei Mao's head, and Hei Mao closed his eyes in enjoyment. When the old fifth saw this, his hand holding the knife trembled even more. At this moment, the old fifth's hand seemed to start cramping suddenly because he insisted on one movement for a long time, and the knife fell off with a shake of his hand. Ah! Unfortunately, the knife was pointed downwards, and it was extremely cumbersome, and inserted straight into Murong Ki calf. Once the fifth man saw that he really hurt someone, he quickly pulled out the knife, and the rest of the people who suppressed Murong Chi also stood up in fright. Chapter 241 Officially Visited Although the wound was not deep, the blood soon stained half of the grey pants. Murong Chi suddenly felt dizzy and dizzy and said without thinking, what are you doing, the fifth one, didn't you say it's just acting? You really cut my leg. As soon as the voice fell, the surroundings were suddenly silent. What did they just hear? Acting? Means that the cutting of the leg is fake, it's just a show, and Murong Chi is just forcing his eldest brother to take out the house and land from beginning to end? My god, this, 
is this something my own younger brother can do? Manager Qian and the people he brought helplessly rolled their eyes at the same time, what a fool who is more than successful. Murong Chi saw that the surroundings suddenly became unusually quiet, and after realizing what he had just said, he covered his mouth in shock. The pale face that had turned pale because of the injury was even more ugly at this time, he, how did he say it himself? Looked at the onlookers, and saw that they all looked at him in shock, even his daughter Murong Shui and his wife Chen looked at him blankly. Looked at the elder brother's family again, and saw that they were all staring at him angrily. Murong Ki heart skipped a beat, and he immediately forgot the pain in his feet. He struggled to get up, and said embarrassingly, You, you didn't hear anything just now, did you? Seeing him like this, Murong Liang didn't understand anything. The fist clenched in his sleeve couldn't hold back any longer, and he punched him in the head, you bastard. Just now he wanted to plead with the eldest grandson and said that if Murong Chi really lost his legs, their family would not ignore him. He also knew that the eldest son was indeed powerless and had already accepted his fate, but he never thought that there would be such a terrifying truth. Before he could get up, there was a commotion in the crowd. Murong Lingran was wondering what happened when he saw a small head suddenly pop out from behind Xiaoshi, and he was startled when he saw the blood on the ground. Looking up and seeing Murong Lingran standing in front of him, he immediately forgot what he had just seen and said excitedly, Sister Murong. At this time, a worried voice came from a distance, Xiaishu, wait for me, there are many people there, you are still young, how can I explain to my father when I squeeze you? Murong Chi hurriedly got up and limped behind Qian Guanxi, looking at his father like a bird in shock. Murong Liang saw a child suddenly intruding into him. From the look of the child's clothes, he knew that he was not an ordinary person. He was afraid of hurting him, so he had to hold back temporarily. Zi Shu, I asked you to wait for me, why don't you listen? The person who spoke also came to the front of the crowd at this time, and was shocked when he saw the blood on the ground, blood? There is actually blood here? Zishu, come over to big brother. Xiang Zishu obediently walked over to the elder brother and stood up. Murong Lingran looked at the surprised adult, then looked at the child, raised his eyebrows and said, Master Xiang, Zishu, why are you here? We came to see you specifically. Xiang Zishu said softly. Come to see her today? Murong smiled involuntarily, he really knew how to choose a day. Xiang Zimo took a sigh of relief and smiled awkwardly, I'm sorry, I didn't know there was something wrong with your family today, so please forgive me. He just wanted to officially come to thank Murong Lingran for saving his younger brother's life today, but he didn't expect it to be a coincidence. Murong said lightly, Nothing, I also like Zishu. Let him come if he wants. Chapter 242 Tricks Xiang Zimo breathed a sigh of relief, looked aside inadvertently, and frowned suddenly, Mr. Qian? Why are you here? Murong smiled, it seemed that it was really their casino. Qian Guanxi has been in a cold sweat since seeing the two Xiang Zimo brothers appear, and his legs are a little weak. Seeing that the son noticed him, he said with a trembling voice, Master, I. I'm here to gamble on debts. Oh, is that coming? After speaking, he looked at the person sitting next to him holding his leg, is this person in debt? Yes. Manager Qian nodded. Steward Qian was about to speak when Murong Lingran suddenly interjected, Young Master Xiang, it's the right time for you to come today. This Steward Qian is from your Xiangjia Casino, right? Right. The casino will have a ledger for each debtor to make specific records, right? Nodded to Zimo, that's natural. Murong Lingran said with a sincere expression, Today this manager of money came to my uncle to ask for a debt, and he said it was 2,000 tails of silver, and asked us to mortgage the land and house to him, I really don't believe me. Uncle can do such a thing, please ask the son to help me find out the truth. Xiang Zimo looked at manager Qian and frowned, is there any other matter? 
Mirong Zong looked at the younger brothers, and saw the expressions of admiration on their faces at the same time. Aaron said this and put all the faults on Qian Steward. Now that his master is here, in order to escape, he will definitely tell all of Murong key tricks. Aaron told the three brothers yesterday that she suspected that the uncle was either being calculated or directed and acted by himself. Originally, they couldn't believe that the uncle was such a vicious person, but from the fact that the old man called the fifth man didn't dare to do anything and accidentally leaked the uncle, it was definitely him who directed and acted. Sure enough, seeing Murong Lingran suspicious of him, Manager Qian knew that she knew his son and seemed to have a good relationship, so he was afraid of being reprimanded by his master, so he hurriedly said, Young master, there is something else in this matter today. After he finished speaking, he pulled Murong Chi out from behind and pushed him to the center, Murong Chi, it's already like this, do you speak for yourself or I speak for you? Murong Chi glanced at Murong Liang, then lowered his head and said with dull eyes, I, what can I say? Manager Qian called that person young master. That person seemed to know the eldest brother's family again. I am afraid that his purpose is doomed to fail today. Okay, don't tell me, I'll tell you, young master, this is what happened. Seeing that he didn't admit it, Steward Qian had no choice but to tell their plan today. It turns out that since Murong Chi worked in Shengzhen restaurant, he started to gamble at Xiangjia Casino after he got his first monthly money. At first, he was very measured and timid. Every time he lost a certain amount of money, he stopped gambling. Until a few days ago, Murong Chi was in a bad mood because of being scolded by the guests when he was running a restaurant in a restaurant. After drinking too much alcohol and losing all his money, he actually borrowed ten tails of silver from the casino and gambled a lot. Yes, but they all lost. He knew that his family would definitely scold him when he knew about it. Thinking that he was earning a few tails of silver every month, while his eldest brother's family already had dozens of acres of land, he immediately moved his thoughts. Chapter 243 Fake He approached the money manager and asked him to help him pretend to be in debt with his legs and his daughter, tricked Murong Zhe into mortgaged the land and house to the casino and promised to give the money manager 15 mu of land after the matter was completed. After waiting for a month, he released the news again, saying that he went to the casino and blocked it again and won back the house and land. In this way, he can get his eldest brother's house and land without any effort, and he will no longer have to work so hard in the future, nor will he be looked down upon by his eldest brother and father. As for what the eldest brother's family will think of him in the end, he doesn't care, anyway, the house deed and the land deed will definitely be in his hands by then, and he will just plug some money into the official and change it to his name, and the eldest brother can't help him. But he didn't expect that Murong Zhe would not get caught, and the villagers also helped Murong Zhe's family, making his plan unsuccessful. That's the way it is. This is Murong Ki idea. Young master, I was greedy for money and wanted 15 acres of land for my son to marry, so I agreed to help Murong Chi in this situation. As soon as Steward Qian finished speaking, there was an uproar, and he didn't expect Murong Chi to have such vicious thoughts towards his own eldest brother. Fortunately, fortunately, they didn't stand by Murong Qi's side just now, otherwise they would be his accomplices, and they would have no face to work in Murong's house. Murong raised his eyebrows Ling Ran. Murong Ki acting skills were comparable to those of professional actors who had taken acting classes in the 21st century. Murong Liang clenched his teeth even more, but he didn't step forward to beat him again, just stared at him sullenly, to see what kind of he could say. Chen stunned and said, The child's father, do you mean that selling your daughter to a brothel is false? Murong Chi glanced at Murong Shui guiltily, Yes. Is it false that you owe 2,000 tails of silver? In fact, you only owe 10 tails of silver. Chen continued to ask. Yes. Chen Shi was about to collapse, slapped him on the face without hesitation, and roared, Murong Chi, how could you treat us like this? 
Do you know how A Shui and A Qing have been in the past few days? How did you live? How could you take your daughter into such a situation? Do you still have a conscience, and do you still treat A Shui as your own daughter? God knows how she and her two daughters have been living these past few days. She is worried that the eldest daughter will really be sold to a brothel today. She has not slept for two days. A king was also afraid that they would really let her replace the eldest daughter. For the past two days, she has been trembling, not eating or drinking, and not even a drop of water. As soon as he fell asleep, he would be awakened by nightmares. In just two days, he lost a circle of weight. The two daughters even had a rift because of this incident, which affected the relationship between their sisters. In the end, everything is actually fake, it's outrageous. Murong Chi was displeased and said, I. I didn't mean to let you live a good life, haven't you been coveting the house and land of the eldest brother's house? That's why I wanted to take all my energy to get it, so that you will never be able to do it again. Don't have to work so hard, I'm not doing it for myself. Murong Shui broke free from the hand of the person holding her down, and a woman kindly stepped forward to help her untie the rope. Spit out the cloth ball in his mouth, and just wanted to question his father, but when he heard that what he did was for their family, he was silent. Damn, Dad had thought like this, so why didn't he tell her earlier, she was frightened for two days, and her spirit was about to collapse. Chapter 244 He had offended Murong Ching a few days ago, and he has ignored her for the past two days. Murong Liang couldn't bear it any longer, and stepped forward and kicked him fiercely, You, you unfilial son, you actually plan on your eldest brother like this, your mother is even bedridden because of you, how could I have you like this? Son! Murong Chi lowered his head, his eyes were fierce, and he showed no remorse at all, who asked you to separate the eldest brother, if you don't separate him, everything that the eldest brother is now may be mine, I need it. Do you count? Do I have to go home once a month? Murong Ling Ran sneered in her heart, do you think she is a fool? If there is no separation, and there are these white-eyed wolves, she will not take out the gold bars in the space to build a house and buy land. You. Murong Liang became annoyed, Murong Chi, why your elder brother was separated in the first place, you know in your own heart, don't shirk the responsibility. Murong Chi said again, I made up my mind to ask A Niang to share the eldest brother out, but A Niang doesn't have to listen to me, so if you want to talk about responsibility, isn't your responsibility greater? You are the head of the family, and you didn't stop me. Grandma's decision. Enough. Murong Zhe said in a cold voice, You are still so righteous when you make a mistake, Murong Chi, you knew this earlier, why bother? Today, you are so deliberately plotting against my big brother, it can be seen that you have never regarded me as a big brother from your heart. Look, I will tell you now, in the future you will walk on your Yang Guan Road, I will walk on my single plank bridge, and I will no longer have your brother. Murong Chi said anxiously, Brother, you, are you going to cut off your brother relationship with me? You can understand that. Big brother. Murong Liang said angrily, Don't call him eldest brother, do you deserve to be his younger brother? He completely understands the decision of the eldest son. If his younger brother came to plot against him like this, he thought he would be angry and slashed at him. After listening to it for a long time, Xiang Zimo also understood. He had also investigated the Murong family some time ago, and knowing that their brothers were not on good terms, he rolled his eyes and suddenly said, Mr. Qian, you seem to say that he seems to owe ten tails. Silver, right. Qian steward nodded with a bitter face, yes. Then ask for the money. If you want the money back, I will forgive you this time. Xiang Zimo said lightly. Murong Chi was startled, then remembered that he still had ten tails of gambling debt to pay, his face suddenly changed, and he looked at Dad pleadingly. Father, I... I was wrong, I shouldn't have talked back just now, 
but I really don't have a single coin on me now. You must have ten tails of silver. Please help me pay it back. Murong Liang smiled coldly, the last time you came back, you said that your money was deducted because of a mistake, but now I know that you have gambled it all. Murong Chi, let me tell you, even if the family is separated, I will didn't you use a single copper plate of yours, didn't you speak very hard just now? Pay it back yourself. After saying that, he walked away angrily. Daddy. Murong Chi immediately looked at Murong Zhe, but Murong Zhe didn't even give him a look. Xiang Zimo looked at manager Qian with a blank expression, how does the casino deal with the real debt? Qian Guanxi respectfully said, if you have money, give money, but if you don't have money, use your wife and daughter to pay for it. If you don't have money and your wife and daughter, you will not owe a lot of money. You will be cruel and dumb and let him go to the street to ask for a few dollars. A year's worth of money is enough. Chapter 245 Compensation Nodded to Zimo, then looked at Murong Chi, you can choose either. Murong Chi looked at his eldest brother with a sad face, and saw Murong Zhe looking at the onlookers and said lightly, Today I'll let everyone laugh, it's getting late, the food carriage is coming soon, everyone, let's go to work. The crowd came back to their senses, and immediately dispersed obediently. Murong Chi looked at Chen Shi helplessly again, Chen Shi gritted his teeth and said, We still have money, I know where the money is at home, you can go back with me and get it. She just thought that today was really going to be difficult. Compared with her daughter being sold into a brothel and her husband being beaten and maimed, it was only ten tails of silver, and there was nothing to give up. Although it seems that the Murong Zhe family and the young master know each other, Maybe he could have asked him to forgive them the twelve tails they owed because they were brothers. But her husband had just calculated others, and they must have hated them already, and they knew that it was impossible to help them without thinking about it. After saying that, he pulled his daughter to stand up and looked at manager Qian, come with me. Steward Qian glanced at his son, saw him nodding, and then followed. Murong Chi knew that he would not gain any benefits by staying here so he endured the pain in his feet and limped away after Chen Shi. Murong Zhe's heart is even colder, their family can still get ten tails of silver, so why have they been fighting so many times to buy farmland? Although Xiang Zishu is still young, he was born in a merchant family after all. In addition to the necessary literacy and literacy, he also learns how to do business every day. He has a smart head and already understands many things, so he probably knows what happened. Waiting for all the people at the gate to disperse, he asked worriedly, Sister Murong, are you all right? Murong shook his head and said with a smile, Don't worry, elder sister is very strong. After speaking, he invited them into the room. And not long after they entered the house, Qian's steward came to the door with ten tails of silver and respectfully handed it into Xiang Zimo's hands. Xiang Zimo handed the silver to Murong Zhe without hesitation. Murong Zhe asked suspiciously, What does this mean, young master Xiang? Miss Murong saved Zisha's life last time. With such kindness, how can I ask for money from your family? Although I heard that the two of you have split up, but you are his elder brother, he has done such a deplorable act. For the common anger, you got his family's money it can be considered as compensation. Murong Lingran stepped forward to take it and agreed with it, Father, if young Master Xiang didn't arrive in time today, things would definitely not go so smoothly. You have raised their family for so many years, so it's okay to accept them. Murong Zhe thought about it for a moment, but also felt that it was reasonable, then thank you young Master Xiang. Xiang Zimo knew that they were definitely not in the mood to entertain them after the morning, and he didn't waste time, so he offered them the gift of thanks, Miss Murong's life-saving grace, last time was a special case, I couldn't thank them properly. This is a little thought, and I hope the girl can accept it. Murong Lingran looked at the exquisite box and patted his head embarrassedly, this rich man is very particular, Xiang Gongzi, in fact. I sold the wild boar you gave me last time, 
and I also sold a lot of money, you don't need to specialize. Thank you again. Mirong Zhe also hurriedly said, Yes, young Master Xiang is too polite. Today you helped us expose Mirong Qi conspiracy, which is already a great help to us. Please take back this thank you. Chapter 246 Ancient Medical Books How can a few wild boars be compared to Zisha's life? You don't have to refuse, girl, let's accept it. If you don't accept it, then only our entire clan will come to thank you. Mirong was stunned for a moment, the whole Xiang clan? Thinking of Xiang Zisha's elders all coming to her door for her, Mirong Lingran shivered for a moment, so let's forget it. Took a look at Dad and saw that he nodded too, so he took it over solemnly, then thank you, young Master Xiang. Also, Xiang Zisha's life is far from worth the more than 100 tails of silver, so accept it. Xiang Zimo knew that they must have something to do, so he whispered a few words in Xiang Zisha's ear. Seeing that he was reluctant, he nodded, and he said goodbye to the Murong family. Murong Zhe was almost tricked by his younger brother today, and he was really in a bad mood, so he didn't hold back and sent them out in person. Murong Lingran didn't have anything to hand, so he could only take a large bamboo basket and put a lot of persimmons from the space planted in it and give them to them to take away. I picked it on the mountain, it tastes very good and I hope young Master Xiang will not dislike it. Xiang Zimo felt that the persimmon was bigger than what he had seen before. Although he was a little surprised, he didn't ask any more questions. After all, he also received fruit once in the last greenhouse, and the taste was not bad. After receiving it, he thanked him and left. After Xiang Zimo left, Murong Lingran opened the box in front of everyone, and when he saw what was lying inside, he turned his head and glanced at Dad. Seeing that his daughter suddenly looked at him, Mirong Zhe thought that there was something valuable in it, he stepped forward to look curiously, his eyes widened, and he said excitedly, This, this is something that has disappeared in Xianqing Kingdom. A hundred years of hundred herbs? The three brothers also put their heads over to take a look. Although Dad is a medical student, none of the three brothers can inherit Dad's mantle. I really don't know why Dad is so excited. Mirong Zong took it out and carefully turned the page for Dad to see and let him confirm it carefully. Mirong Zhe glanced at it and asked his eldest son to quickly turn a few pages for him. He was pleasantly surprised, it really is the hundred herbs. I never thought that I would be able to read this wonderful book in my life as a father. Mirong Lingran also followed a few pages just now and it was nothing more than recording some herbs and their usage in pictures and texts. Why is Dad so excited? Mirong Zhe watched his daughter staring blankly at him, knowing that he had lost his temper just now, and explained with a light smile, You have never studied medicine and do not understand Dad's mood. The Hundred Herbs is an ancient medical book, which records with a lot of prescriptions for incurable diseases and some unknown herbs and their medicinal properties. No one who studies medicine does not want to get this book. But it disappeared in the Xianqing Kingdom for a hundred years, and I thought it was extinct. I didn't expect it to be in the hands of Mr. Xiang. With this hundred herbs, Dad's medical skills will definitely improve a lot. The four brothers and sisters nodded. It turned out to be an ancient medical book. It is indeed extremely precious. It seems that young Master Xiang also knows the situation of their family, so he chose to do what he likes. Mirong Zhe was so excited that he forgot that he had a wound on his hand. Just when I was about to reach out and pick it up for myself, I froze when I saw the ugly scar left by the injury on my hand. Looking at his hand again, Mirong Zhe suddenly said brightly, Originally, I had planned to give up practicing medicine, although I soaked in potions every day. Compared to a few months ago, I did recover a little, but it was only a little. Just a child. Chapter 247 Breathless I really can't be sure if I can fully recover. It takes half a day to soak the medicine every day, and I wanted to give up a few days ago. Now I have decided, for the sake of my family and my dream of becoming a genius doctor, I must stick to it. 
Mirong Lingran looked at Daddy's spirited appearance, smiled and said, Daddy, don't give up, keep reading whatever book you like, just like in the Imperial Doctor's Mansion, don't waste it, you will definitely have it in your hands. The Day of Recovery Shenzhen Changki said that it will take a few years at most, and Dad's hand will be restored to its original state. Um. Seeing that it was getting late, and the carriage carrying the vegetables was about to arrive, Murong Zhe asked his sons to do their own thing, and then ordered his daughter to help him put the book in his room. I asked my daughter to open the first page on the desk so that he could read it easily. I told my daughter the names of a few books, and asked her to bring them back to him when she went to the city. He had to review them carefully. He hasn't read a medical book for several years since it was distributed. Although he has a good memory, several years have passed and he has never touched a book again, so there must be something he has forgotten. Murong Lingran readily agreed. If a person is idle, it is easy to think wildly, and even suffer from the disease called depression that she heard about in the 21st century. Recently, too many things have happened in their family, and Dad has also suffered too many blows. It is good for him to do something. When the people from the casino came, Murong Lingran's family just finished their breakfast. Murong Lingran came out of Dad's house and returned to the kitchen to clear the table. As soon as they went out, they saw the shopkeeper Ding of Shengzhen restaurant from Murong Zong's house. Side away. After he got on the carriage, he went over to ask, Brother, is there anything that manager Ding is looking for from you? Murong Zong said lightly, It's nothing, I just asked uncle how the matter was resolved, and I told him the truth. Murong guessed, Big brother, he doesn't want my uncle to go back to work. Well, he said it's impossible for such a scheming person to stay in the Shengzhen restaurant. Just now, he asked M.O.K. Fu to tell Grandpa. Grandpa was afraid that my uncle would gamble again. I will keep him in the village from now on. So it is. Murong Lingran was not surprised. If she were Grandpa, she would never let him go to the city again. I spent several tales to buy a job, but after a few months, I didn't earn one tail, but even lost ten tails to go out. Not only offended most of the people in the village, but also made a mess of brotherhood. Let him go out again, he is fascinated by the world of Huawa, and he doesn't know what catastrophic disaster will happen in the future. Grandpa must put him under his nose before he can rest assured. And Lu Shi also woke up at noon and Murong Liang told her everything about Murong Qi game and the loss of ten tails of silver. She didn't care that the younger son was plotting against the older son, but she felt a little pity that it didn't work out. It was only after knowing that the younger son's job and her money were gone, he couldn't bring it up in one breath and fainted again. When she woke up again, except for Murong Qing, who was overly frightened and cultivated in the room, everyone else kept guarding her. Murong Chi saw that A Niang was awake, and was about to say something, but when she saw the reproach in her eyes, she swallowed the words and had to change a sentence, A. A Niang, are you hungry? Mother cooked porridge for you. Chapter 248 Poison Woman Lu Shi thought that the ten tails of silver she finally saved had been sent out like this, ignoring her younger son's words, and looked at Chen Chi angrily. How did you know that I still have ten tails of silver? Mrs. Chen knew for a long time that Mrs. Liu would question her, but she didn't regret it, she also pursed her lips for the sake of this family, Auntie, once you took out the money without closing the door tightly, and I saw it when I was passing by. You. Liu Shi couldn't help cursing, you idiot, do you know that it is all the money in our family, without that money, Murong Zhe is completely broken by you all. Tell me how will our family live in the future, tell me. Chen grieved and cried, Auntie, what am I doing? I'm not doing it for your son. The people at the casino said that if you don't lose money, it's not for me and my daughter to repay the debt, and you want your son to be poisonous and dumb. I can't do anything about being handicapped, throwing it on the street and begging. Lu Shi was even more angry when he heard the words, and despite the pain in his chest, he roared, 
you have two daughters, if they want, you can pay for one of them. It's a loss of money anyway, and keeping it at home is a waste of food. I tell you. Take a shui or a ching as you like, and now go and get back the ten tails of silver, or I want you to look good. Murong Shui burst into tears immediately, Grandma, how can you say that, I'm your granddaughter. It's a pity that she has been here to guard her for so long. I thought her catastrophe was over, but I didn't expect that Grandma was still hitting on her. Murong Liang roared displeasedly, enough, lose money and lose money, you are also a woman, so you can't see a woman like that? You can make more money if you don't have money, but if you don't have people, you have nothing. No matter how unbearable Murong Shui is, it is also the blood of his Murong family, and there is no room for such insults. Earn more. Lu Shi sneered, is it so easy to earn ten tails of silver? Then you go and earn it for me. Murong Liang frowned and said, Aki, what do you think will happen if the woman is mortgaged to the casino? Murong Ki face suddenly turned ugly, Dad, didn't you ask this knowingly? He must have been sold into a brothel again. Mu Rong Liang looked at Lu again, did you hear me? If my granddaughter goes, she will only be sold into a brothel. I know, so what? Murong Liang gritted his teeth and said, You poisonous woman, if you don't have money, you just want to let your granddaughter fall into the fire pit. Do you know that if the Murong family has a daughter who is sold into a brothel by her own family, you say that in the future, the villagers will what will they think of us? Listening to her husband's name, Lu Shi said sadly, Poison woman? I'm not doing it for our family. Anyway, our reputation is already ruined, so do you still care about this? Murong Liang sneered, then you don't care if your grandson can't marry a wife. Murong Cai was taken aback for a moment, why did it involve him again? You, what do you mean? What does this have to do with our Cai? Murong Liang snorted coldly, you must know that our family has a daughter who lives in a brothel. Who else would you say would marry a daughter? How many people would be willing to be relatives with a prostitute? Besides, if our family has a precedent of selling their daughters for gambling debts, the in-laws will definitely worry that if they marry and give birth to a daughter, their daughter's daughter will also be sold. Who would want a daughter to jump into our fire pit? Chapter 249 Coffin Book it doesn't matter if the people who have no money in the family are taken away by the casino people, after all, it is not their original intention. But the family has money, and I regret giving it, and I want to exchange the money to let others know. Isn't it obvious that their family values money more than their daughters? Chen Shi hurriedly nodded in agreement, Auntie, what Dad said makes sense, just spare Axu and Aking, they are all flesh that fell from my body. After saying that, he glared at her husband. Murong Chi hurriedly said, Auntie, I promise I will never gamble again, I will make good money, forget it. A few days ago, because he knew it was fake, he was not in a hurry. Now, if he really wanted his daughter to pay off the debt, he was unwilling. Seeing that Mrs. Lu didn't speak, Murong Liang knew that she was listening, and said coldly, OK, with me here. Axu and Aking will not be allowed to go to that kind of place. They don't go, there is no money, so many people have to eat and drink every day, how do you let us live? Lu Shi frowned, our family has no land, and we have a few children to do housework, and we have no money. Find another job for him, what can he do in the village? Murong Liang sneered, don't think I don't know what you are thinking, don't you just want the boss to take care of him? I advise you to stop thinking about it. After this, he still has the face to ask the boss for help? Believe it or not, as long as he enters the boss's vegetable field, he will be kicked out by the people working in his house. Lu Shi said in a daze, why, how could it be so serious? Murong Chi hurriedly said, Auntie, I'm not going to my eldest brother. They would rather watch me break my leg than support my eldest brother's family to take out the house deed and land deed, they won't accept me, I hurt them and they almost died. Work, 
they must hate me, maybe they will beat me. Lu started to wailing when he heard the words, Oh my god, then what should you do? Murong Liang's eyes were stern and said, What should I do? I know what to do. Since you still have ten tails of silver, why didn't you take it out and buy land for your family? With the land, Aki can stay in the village and go out to gamble? Now no, it's all yours. Lu Shi was startled, and was speechless. Don't panic if she has money in her hand, she must keep some coffin books when she is old. What can you do if you stay in the village, you can only make a lot of money in the city. Murong Liang thought for a while, and looked at Chen Shi suddenly. Mrs. Chen was taken aback by her father-in-law, thinking she had done something wrong again, and said in a trembling voice, Father, why are you looking at me like this? Murong Liang said, I remember when the eldest eldest was still an imperial physician, one year your parents came to borrow money, but Asia refused to borrow the money, so I took forty tails of private money to do business with them, and agreed to return it in two years. But it's been several years now, and they don't mean to pay it back, shouldn't it be because they don't want to pay it back? Chen's face changed suddenly, and he never thought that father-in-law actually remembered that incident, and sneered, Father, how could it be? My mother's family will never be such a person, we were not assigned to Siwen Mansion at the beginning. Is it? They just can't find anyone. Yes, your mother's family still owes forty tails. Lu Shi was overjoyed when he heard this, and immediately began to allocate the forty tails of silver, as if he had already obtained them, if you have these forty tails, twenty tails will be used to buy land. Ten tails of silver will be given to Ocai to marry a daughter-in-law, and another ten tails will be left to press the bottom of the box, and our family's predicament can be solved. Chapter 250 East Sea House Auntie Chen's face was reluctant, it's been so many years, is it not appropriate to go now? At the beginning, the people of her parents' family just saw that dad was not short of money, and they casually gave a deadline for repaying the money. Anyway, Murong Zhe was an imperial physician at that time, and he would give the old couple a lot of filial piety during the festivals, and there was no shortage of forty tails. After all, he treated the people in the palace, and there were dozens of tales of reward at any one time. When S mother's family left, they also told her that they would not return it. Now if she suddenly came to ask for money, how could she have that face? And she hasn't been back in years, and she doesn't know how their business is going. If their life is also difficult, they go to ask for money, won't it make it worse for their parents? After all, none of their family had ever read a book and their ancestors had never done a business, she didn't believe they could succeed at all. What's wrong? It's just right to pay your debts and pay your debts. If you don't ask for it, then you can find money for your son to marry a wife and I won't care about it in the future. Murong Chi was afraid that A Niang really didn't care, so he immediately patted his chest and assured, A Niang, don't worry, I will definitely go and get the money back. If you have money, don't be a fool. I didn't expect that he would also be a creditor one day. It was originally the money of their Murong family, and it was his father's own private money. They have to go first and come back so it's okay to solve the current difficulties. It's not too late, you all set off immediately. Lu Shi said impatiently. Auntie, if I leave, who will cook for you? Who will do the housework at home? MRS Chen said without giving up. Lu Shi glanced at Murong Shui, isn't this your reluctant daughter? Murong Shui's face suddenly had no love for her. A Niang couldn't straighten her tired waist at night with her help every day. She could think of how sad she would be in the next days. Murong Chi was also a little worried, Auntie, my leg is still injured. The journey is long, it must be bad for the wound, can you wait a few days? Lu Shi glanced at his younger son's calf, which had been bandaged, and was immediately distressed. Just as he was a little hesitant, he saw Murong Liang's breathless voice. Your wound is not deep, it's just a little blood, not to mention. You hired a carriage and stayed on the carriage, 
and by the time your father-in-law's house is over, maybe your wounds will be healed. Murong Chi choked and was speechless. Lu Shi also thought it was reasonable, and immediately dismissed the idea of letting him go after he had cultivated. Chen Shi knew that he couldn't convince them, so he had to say, Auntie, this toll. Lu Shi said angrily, the fifteen coins that Ah Ching earned, I only let you hand in the ten coins each time, and the coins that you sold every time you sold eggs, duck eggs, and goose eggs, which time did you not steal it? Don't think I am old if you don't know anything, I will use your money this time, and you have given all my money away, how can I still have money? Chen was helpless and had to give up. Taking advantage of the good weather today, the two went back to the house and simply packed their luggage, and quickly baked a few cookies to make dry food, so they planned to return to their hometown, Daquan Village. Daquan Village is right next to the capital, Dong Haifu. The Murong Lingran family has absolutely no idea about the farce here, and they don't want to know either. Murong Lingran didn't want to keep Daddy waiting for a long time. After going to deliver fruit and soup to Daddy the next day, he went to the bookstore to help Daddy buy all the books he wanted, and then he kept studying her flower. Chapter 251 Not Easy Murong King has been in a bad mood since she was frightened a few days ago. On the second day after Chen's departure, Lu saw that she was still at home, and scolded her and kicked people out. After all, if one day is delayed, the family will lose 15 cents of money. As for whether Murong Zhe would ask her to work after her father's calculations, Lu Shi didn't think about it at all. Although Murong King hasn't gone out for the past few days, she just woke up and went out to drink water when the manager of Qian came to the house to get 10 tails of silver yesterday. After asked Murong Cai, Murong Cai briefly told her what happened at the door of the uncle's house. My daddy did such an outrageous thing to the uncle's family, how could she still have the face to work with him? Murong King didn't know where to go after going out the door. She looked around and found a way to walk. A gust of wind suddenly blew, and Murong Ching, who lowered her head, shuddered suddenly, looked up and looked around, and immediately became confused, she unexpectedly walked to the uncle's vegetable field again. It was impossible to go back now, so Murong Ching had to open the fence door and walked in. The women who greeted her warmly every time they saw her saw her coming, and immediately stayed far away from her, for fear of talking to her and being seen by the boss, they would not be allowed to work. They still clearly remember what Murong Lingran said, she said that she held a grudge. A king, you have to cheer up, don't mind, they also have difficulties. Mirong Ching encouraged herself. Seeing what Aunt Tien was doing, she bravely walked over, squatted down, and started to work. Dad is sorry for the uncle's house, so she will pay it back. She will just need no wages in the future. Tian Shi glanced at Mirong Ching, opened her mouth, suddenly thought of something, and let her stay by her side. As soon as Murong Zone came to the vegetable field, he saw Murong Ching squatting on the ground and picking eggplants restlessly. A king, what's the matter with you? Murong Zone reached out and probed her forehead, surprised, why is it so hot? Why do you still come when you are sick? Murong Ching saw that her elder brother was treating her like before, she shook her head excitedly, stood up suddenly, just about to say her thoughts she fell down in the dark. A king. Murong Zone quickly supported her. The women around saw this and rushed forward. After all, the little boss took the initiative to contact her, so they were no longer afraid of anything. Tian Shi touched Murong King's forehead and exclaimed, What's wrong with her mother? Why do you still let her do the work when she has a fever? I heard that her parents went back to their parents' house. Murong Zone frowned and said, A king, I'll take you home. After speaking, he hugged her and wanted to go to her house. Murong King regained her consciousness a little at this time, shook her head and resisted, No, I will be scolded by Grandma when I go back. Murong Zone thought for a while, then turned in a direction and walked towards his house. Murong Lingran happened to be in the front yard. Seeing that the elder brother came with a person, 
he hurried forward. Brother, what happened to Aking? Aaron, Aking has a fever. I'll take her to the guest room. Okay, hurry up. After speaking, Mirong Lingran hurriedly went to find Dad. Chong Chi Shenzhen said that Mirong Ching is also a poor person, and her character is not bad, and it is not easy for her to be with such a family. Therefore, Mirong Lingran cared about her as always, regardless of her father being such a hateful person. At this time, the person was completely unconscious, and as soon as Mirong Zone put the person on the bed, Mirong Zhe rushed over. Chapter 252 It was a success once. Thinking of the farce that day, with the help of my daughter, I briefly inspected it, and frowned, it should be overly frightened, looking at her complexion, she probably hadn't eaten well in the past few days. Daddy just happens to have medicine here, boil it for two days, and then eat something nutritious. Mirong nodded and said, Father, tell me where the medicine is, and I'll boil it for her. Okay, you come with me. When Mirong Ching woke up, she realized that she was in a strange room. Mirong Lingran just came in with her food, saw that she finally woke up after a long day of sleep, and said with a smile, A king, you're hungry, drinking this lean meat porridge will make you feel better. Mirong Ching quickly sat up from the bed, took the lean meat porridge in her hand, and said with a complicated expression, Sister, I have heard that Dad treats you like that, I... I don't deserve your kindness to me. Mirong raised her eyebrows, considering she has a conscience, it's worth taking care of her all day today, if you feel bad about it, when you're healthy, you have to work harder to help me with my work. Mirong Ching hesitated and said, Sister, I just wanted to tell you that Dad is sorry for you, I, I think I will still work for your family in the future, but I don't need any wages, and I will compensate you for Dad, okay? Mirong smiled reassuringly, their family really did not misunderstand A Ching. A King, don't think too much, you are you, your father is your father, as long as you keep being pure, my sister will always be your sister, and the uncle will always be your uncle. Mirong Ching's eyes were filled with tears, and she said very excitedly, Sister, you are so nice, you are better than my own sister. Okay, since I think I'm good to you, then take good care of your body, and don't even think about not wanting wages. If you don't want wages, how do you save private money? If you want to repay us, if grandma hits our family again in the future. Idea, you can find a way to tip us off and let us prepare in advance. Mirong Ching's eyes suddenly lit up, yes, she can quietly help the uncle's family to guard against the grandmother, and excitedly nodded, well, Thank you sister. Okay, hurry up and drink the porridge. Um. At this time, the sky had completely darkened. When Mirong Ching was in a coma, he was given medicine twice, and the fever had subsided. Now that he had porridge, he felt much better. Although Mirong Zong told her about her situation during the day and said that she would not be deducted from her salary, Lu Shi let her lie down for a day but she was still worried that she would be scolded if she went back late, so after drinking the porridge, she insisted on asking for it. Go back. Mirong Lingran knew that keeping her was hurting her, so she didn't force her to stay, so he stuffed her with the herbs that her father had prepared for her, and told her that she must decoct the medicine for another two days, and let her go back. The days returned to the previous life. With Mirong Lingran's unremitting efforts, her low gluten flour, which is cake flour, was finally made by her. There is no oven or oven at home, so she used the method in the book, this time it was steamed in a pot. Maybe she really has a talent for cooking, or maybe God has been helping her all the time, making her a success in one go. Mirong Zhe watched how his daughter made the cake this time. He never imagined that it would be so troublesome to eat something so delicious last time. Mirong Lingran took a good look at the round cake. It looked good from the outside, but he didn't know how it tasted. Chapter 253 Preliminary Thoughts Mirong Quan tied a fork to Mirong Zhe's hand. Seeing that they were ready, 
Mirong quickly cut the cake into triangles and placed it on a plate, and inserted the homemade wooden fork on it, and brought it to them respectively. Although there is still a lot of cream from the 21st century in her space, she didn't put it on this time. After all, she made the cake flour herself, and if it didn't taste good, it would be a waste. Mirong Lingran said with a look of hope, Father, eldest brother, second brother, third brother, try the taste and see if it tastes good. Mirong Zhe had already eaten it last time, but he was not in a hurry. He didn't eat it first, but looked at the cake in front of him. He always felt that it was rougher and had a different color than the one he ate last time. Forked a small piece and put it into the mouth, and tasted it carefully. Although the taste was slightly different from the last time, it was also sweet, not too far behind. On the other hand, the three Murong's own brothers had smelled a fragrance they had never smelled before, and they were hooked out of their greed. Seeing that Dad had moved his hand, he quickly picked up the fork next to him and started to enjoy it. Well, not bad, delicious. Murong Zong said with a look of surprise. It's really delicious, it's so fragrant. Murong Xian also praised. Murong Quan is a little younger, and the food he eats has no image at all, it's so delicious, Aaron, when did you learn to make this? Murong Ling Ran touched his nose embarrassedly, and said with a light smile, this is a secret. He also sat down and started eating his own portion. After eating, seeing that everyone was still very much in the mood, Murong said with a look of anticipation, Father, eldest brother, second brother, third brother, tell me the truth, how is this cake? Don't be afraid of me. Tell a lie if you are sad. Although she thought it was pretty good. Murong Zhe is a favorite of his daughter. Even if his daughter brought out the burnt food for him to eat, he would not dislike it at all. He smiled and said, Aaron's craftsmanship is very good and delicious. Murong Zong also said, it's really delicious, but... But what? Big Brother likes sweets, if only it were sweeter. Murong Xian and Murong Quan also echoed, that's right. Just this one request. Yes. Murong Zong nodded. Cough. Mirong Zhe coughed lightly and said uncomfortably, You guys might like something sweeter when you're young, but Dad is older and thinks the sweetness is just right. Mirong Ling Ran smiled suddenly, it seemed that she did a great job, and it didn't waste her hard work. Since it can be made with Suankikuo's materials, it will be easy to handle. However, it is impossible for her to start the business alone. For example, it takes a lot of time to beat eggs, requires a lot of manpower, and there is also the problem of paving. In order to avoid things like the Gao family driving them out, it is impossible to rent a house, and it will never be possible. The capital is expensive, and if it is too expensive, she will have to wait for a while or find another way. After made up his mind, Murong Lingran planned to express his initial thoughts. Murong Zhe said in surprise, Aaron, do you want to sell this cake? Are you even dealing with rich people? Yet. Mirong nodded Ling Ran, Father, brothers, I don't think we need to spend too much energy selling vegetables now, so I ordered to go on, the villagers are all rushing to help us, we should also think of other ways. Make some more money. Chapter 254 The Person Who Has the Power of Life and Death Mirong Zhe really didn't want to disappoint his daughter, but he had to say something, Aaron, Daddy is sorry for you. The four brothers and sisters were stunned at the same time, why did Dad suddenly apologize? Aaron. Seeing that they were puzzled, Mirong Zhe had no choice but to say, Father's grievances have not been cleared up. This is different from selling vegetables. Not only does he have to show his face, but he also has to serve it directly to others. Although Ninth Young Master and the Minister of Rights don't care about our family's past, there must be someone who cares. If those who are jealous of evil want to suppress us, it only takes a moment to do something in your cake, and our store will be able to do it. Collapse. Daddy can see how you've done these days. It's extremely hard to do. 
Daddy really doesn't want the store you've worked so hard to open to be in vain in an instant. Mirong frowned, Father, isn't there ninth young master here? With his care, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Isn't the vegetable sales going smoothly now? Mirong Zhe sighed and said, It's extremely rare for a son as noble as ninth young master to take care of our vegetable business for so long. We should know how to be content and not ask for too much. After all, young master ninth is not a real person from the Marquis of Ningen, but a person who holds the power of life and death. The king is like a tiger, and the emperor has always been moody. He allowed their family to sell vegetables on his power just to repay the life-saving grace. And he helped them many times, allowing their family to earn so much money peacefully, and also solved Xiongfu's trouble of robbing the land at the beginning, the life-saving grace has long been repaid. If he were to rely on his power to do other things, Ninth Young Master would inevitably feel that they were insatiable and ignorant of proportions. Maybe if he is unhappy, he will no longer take care of their vegetable business, and he may even anger him. When the time comes, they will find a reason to distribute them again, and then they will be miserable. Murong frowned, originally wanting to say that Ninth Young Master and his old lady also like to eat, so they shouldn't be unhappy. But when he thought about the last time Zeke came to give her clothes and jewelry, his father knew that, he must have thought of it too. Seeing Daddy's joking face just now, his brows turned sour, she knew that Daddy was worried about her safety and for her own good, so she suddenly smiled and said, OK, Daddy, you have a lot of experience, I listen to you. But you don't have to apologize, and being framed is not something you can control. I don't blame you. Daughter was so understanding, Murong Zhe was relieved, he was really afraid that his daughter insisted on going to the city. Murong Zhe looked at the little pieces of cake left on the plate, and sighed, Aaron, your hard work this time has been in vain, Dad is really sorry. If he knew that his daughter had the idea of opening a store in the city, he would not have kept her so busy in the first place. Murong Lingran shook his head lightly, it's okay, Dad, trust me, your grievances will be cleared up one day, and it will come in handy at that time, and you also like to eat, I can do it. Feed you. Murong Zhe nodded, what Aran said was reasonable. I also quickly thought about how to compensate my daughter in the future. The family talked for a while, and after they left, the three Murong Zong brothers came to their sister's room and looked at her sitting with her back to the door. Mirong Zone comforted, Aaron, don't blame Dad for thinking too much. My father and I also think the same, it is normal to be afraid of losing when we finally meet someone who doesn't care about our past and is willing to take care of us. Chapter 255 Suddenly Stupid He has another wound on his hand. If there are no people who are willing to help us, life will be even more difficult than before. That's right. The three brothers thought that the younger sister was afraid that dad would be too guilty, but just pretended not to care. Seeing that his sister was still motionless, Mirong Zone was just about to walk right in front of her, when she suddenly turned her head and said with a speechless expression, Brother, am I the kind of person who can't think of anything? Dad is right, I just said. It's the truth. Her soul is not really ten years old and some things are easy to figure out. Mirong Zong said in a daze, then why did you just? You looked like you were about to cry. Mirong Lingran stood up and sighed, I'm just mad at why I'm suddenly stupid. Although I want to open a store, everything is just an idea. After all, you have seen it, this cake is complicated to make, I am one of them. People can't do a few things in a day and I have to find a lot of apprentices to help me, and it takes a lot of time just to teach them. And I don't want to rent a shop, I don't want to be controlled by others, and I want to buy a lot of money. Maybe all the money I have saved in my family will be invested. I don't know how long it will take to pay back the money. It's not worth it to get nervous. So, from the beginning, the idea was doomed to not be realized quickly. There is space to help. Farming will not be slower than opening a store, and the cost is still small, so just spend some labor and land fees, 
isn't it bad to farm honestly? There are so many fruits in her space. Now, when she is short of money, she has a ready-made space and does not know how to use it. She suddenly wanted to do a business with such a large investment, such a slow return, and such a high risk. There are also many fruits in the backyard that have already come to fruition. After waiting for more than a month at most, she can start her fruit business again, and she can also use the fruits in the space as a shield for her. Although it is unrealistic to transplant fruit trees back then and bear a lot of fruit, but with the help of spiritual spring water, the abundant fruit can be clearly displayed in the backyard, so they can't believe it. As for the cake business, although she can't sell it in the city, she can sell it to Jugongzi and the others, and it's specially made for them. Anyway, she likes to cook, so she can adjust her mood by the way, but she just earns a little less. The god Lord Chenki in the space recovered a little because of his injury today, and an excited consciousness entered Murong Lingran's mind, overheard her thoughts and nodded silently. That's right, there is space, a ready-made tool for making money, and he is there, why go to a place in the city where people are so complicated to make a cake that he can't eat right now? Staying in Luwa village, finding him herbs, and then helping her make a fortune in silence is the real thing. Murong Zong nodded, Aaron, your concerns are right, the guards often deal with wealthy businessmen, they mentioned it when they chatted with us, the capital is expensive, just like an ordinary grocery store, it takes three a thousand tails of silver, let alone bigger ones, our family's money is not enough at all. Three thousand tails again? Murong Lingran was speechless for a while, A Niang's ransom was also three thousand tails, did their family go against three thousand tails? The four brothers and sisters talked for a while and then saw that Murong Lingran was really not pretending to be strong, so they went out with confidence and started to work on their own. Chapter 256 Message After the brothers all left, Murong pondered for a long time, and then went out to tell her father an idea. Murong Zhe saw that his daughter had thought of the idea of making money again, and felt even more guilty, and could no longer say the words of rejection. Daughter thinks about the family so much, so he shouldn't hold back. I was still in the village anyway, so I readily agreed. Murong Lingran quietly lifted three caddies of meat out of the space, and happily ran to Lichun's house. After R.I. was aware of her intention, he excitedly said that it should be possible to buy it, but he still had to go to the government to ask specifically, and he could give her an answer after tomorrow. After all, Murong's family is as good as the entire Liwa village, and Li Zheng is very happy to help her run errands. Murong Lingran had to go back first. The next day, Murong Lingran was sitting on the carriage, a gust of cold wind blew, and his body couldn't help shaking, and he hurriedly closed the door. No one thought that the weather was fine yesterday, but today the temperature suddenly began to drop sharply, and some people who were afraid of the cold even put on cotton coats. The clothes they bought last time were all for summer and autumn. They had been busy selling vegetables, and they didn't have time to prepare clothes for winter. Young Master Ju has given her a lot of winter clothes, but none of her father and brothers have yet. Although there are a lot of ready-made cloth at home, and some time ago, I invited people to make several outer robes, but they have to go to the ground every day, and they are often covered with mud. Those fabrics are too expensive, and it is a waste to get dirty, so I have to let them press the bottom of the box temporarily, and then take them out and wear them when they are not busy or on important days. With three people left at home, Murong Lingran and her eldest brother entered the city with the measurements and went straight to the clothing store. The family has left some extra money now, and every piece of clothes brought back from Siwen Mansion has holes. They are now in business, and that kind of clothes must not be worn, so Murong Lingran bought four or five sets of comfortable and decent cotton padded clothes for everyone. Naturally, the three younger brothers and grandmother also have a share. The two put all their clothes on the carriage, and Murong Lingran was about to get on the carriage when she suddenly thought of something so she had to go back to the clothing store again. When she came out, she carried two more bags. A few days ago, 
I received a message from He Wenai, I, the trustee of Grandpa He. I heard that the furniture made according to her drawings sold very well some time ago, but now it seems that everyone is a little tired of seeing it. Although the sale is still sold, the business is obviously not as good as it was at the beginning. I want her to find some time to send him some new blueprints. Therefore, after handing over the clothes, persimmons, and tonic soup to the mother, Xiao Minan, the two brothers and sisters went straight to He Wenai's yard. As soon as he knocked on the courtyard door, Shi Shi quickly opened the door. After seeing Murong Ling Ran, he hurriedly greeted him with a smile, Sister Ran, Brother Zong, you are here. The four children who were begging with the stone also greeted them happily, Sister Ran, Brother Zong. Murong smiled and said, Well, here we come. Then he handed over the snacks and fruits prepared for them. Murong Zong led the carriage into the courtyard, and then closed the door. Since he when I I's business was very good during this time, sometimes he was so busy that he didn't even have time to cook. Stone was too busy to go back to their small courtyard, and even slept in he when I I's place. The children were bullied, and he when I I also lacked cooks. Recently, his income has increased greatly, and it is easy to support a few and a half year old children. Chapter 257 Zheng Gihua Although the children are still young, apart from Shi, the oldest is seven and the youngest is five. They used to cook with Shishi, so it was not difficult for them to help he when I, I cook. And they are also people who repay their gratitude. Seeing that he when I, I and Shitu are busy every day, they not only never make trouble, but they are all actively rushing to do what they can do. For example, put the tools in Hiwenai's hands, work together to arrange the small furniture neatly, or clean the sawdust, these simple tasks they can do. Therefore, even if Hiwenai had a few more children here, not only did it not cause trouble for him, but it also helped him a lot, which improved his efficiency a lot. As for the small courtyard where Shitu and the others lived, after Shitu and the others did not go back for several days, it was occupied by other beggars. The place was not the home of Shishi and the others. It was a place that he when I, I casually found for them at the beginning. Anyway, the roof over there was almost gone, so the four of them slept in the same room with the stone. Murong smiled and touched their heads one by one, glanced at the yard, and asked, Where is Grandpa He? Isn't he here? Stone's face suddenly became serious, he glanced at the main room where the door was not closed, and said in a low voice, Sister Ran, the wife of that nasty uncle is here, as if she is here to ask for money. It took a while for Murong Ling Ran to realize that what he was talking about should be the wife of He Tang Gli, who heard that his wife was pregnant that day. He Tang Gli is still in prison, I am afraid his wife is not having a good time. But it was all her own fault. If she had not cruelly forced her husband to abandon the seriously ill Grandpa He, Grandpa he would not have been chilled. After all, it was someone else's family business, and Murong Lingran was an outsider, so it wasn't easy to get involved. Let Shitu and the others continue to work. After she and her eldest brother saw clearly what Shitu and the others were doing, they went over to help. After a while, I heard the cry of a woman coming from inside the house. After all, it was the father-in-law and the daughter-in-law. In order to avoid suspicion, the door was also open, and the conversation inside could be clearly heard in the courtyard. The woman cried and said, Father, I was confused for a while, and I already knew I was wrong. I really can't do anything now, the child will be born in three months, and I can't do any heavy work with a big belly. My savings are all used up, and if I don't have any money, I'm going to starve, Dad. Do you have the heart to starve your grandson? He when I, I said angrily, Zheng Gihua, you don't have to say that you are so miserable, I originally thought that when He Tang Gli was in prison, your life would be very sad, after all, your relationship is good on weekdays, I am afraid that you will be too sad and hurt your body. I also asked someone to go back to inquire about your situation some time ago, but I didn't expect you to have returned to your parents' home. Yes, you are the only one in the family now, 
and it is understandable that you want to go back to your mother's house and let someone take care of you. After my friend found out that you had returned to her mother's house, in order to live up to my trust, he inquired about your residence and rushed to the house in a hurry. Your mother's family just wanted to know if you were safe or not. But he never imagined that not only did he see you eating and drinking in the yard, and you were at ease, but he even heard your parents discussing the matter between you and he tangly at the door, and you actually listened to a little objection. None. He knew something was wrong, so he came back and told me everything. Chapter 258 You Lie to the Ghost Zheng Gihua never thought that what happened that day would actually be seen, and quickly explained, Father, I already have children, how can I reconcile with your son? My parents talked about reconciliation, but I didn't agree. Even if I agree, the child's father will not obey me, and the one in my belly is his own son. He when I I sneered, you dare to say that you don't have the idea of reconciliation. I. Enough, you don't need to explain. He when I I said impatiently, since the day you pushed he tangly to throw me out, I have neither his son nor your daughter-in-law. You have food and drink at your parents' house now, and I don't owe you anything. It's he tangly who wants to say sorry to you. He was the one who insisted on marrying you against my will. I won't give you any money now. Don't you always dislike the dirty wood chips? This yard is full of wood chips, what are you doing here? Get out of here immediately. Said and walked out of the main room angrily. Seeing he when I, I go out, Zheng Gihua hurriedly chased after him and said, Dad, I really know I'm wrong, although I have someone to take care of me now, but I have to eat nutritious food every day, and it costs a lot of money and my parents' family is not rich. They're not having a good time. He when I I ignored her. As soon as he came out, he saw Murong Ling Ran brother and sister helping the children clean the yard. He also heard movement in the yard just now, so he was not surprised, and said with a smile, You guys are here. The two brothers and sisters turned around quickly, Yes, Grandpa He. Zheng Gihua chased after him and saw that there were outsiders, so he quickly restrained his expression and asked in doubt, Dad, who are they? You can't control it, you can leave me quickly, I don't welcome you here, and you won't be here in the future. A vicious look flashed in Zheng Gihua's eyes, she was immortal, and she didn't give her any face in front of outsiders, it was too much. Now that his business is so good, even a few little kids can be raised with kindness, so what if he gives her some money for his son? Glanced blankly at Murong Lingran brother and sister, although she knew that it was her who would be embarrassed if they continued to entangle, but for the sake of money, she still risked it, Father, can't you really give me money? No. Zheng Gihua rolled his eyes and suddenly said, Anyway, the child in my womb is your grandson. If you don't give it, I won't leave. After saying that, he took a chair from the main room and sat struttingly in the courtyard. He when I, I saw that she was so brazen and shameless in front of so many children, and immediately became angry, Zheng Gihua, don't go too far. I'm too much. I've worked hard for your family to inherit the lineage. Your son can't give me any money now. Is it too much for me to ask you, the father, for some money to make up for his body? He when I, I sneered and said, fix your body? You lie to the ghost. You and he Tangli have only been married for a few months. I let you take all the gifts from the visitor, and gave you twenty tales of dowry, and listened to it with your own ears. By the time you said that your mother's family was all for you to bring back to your husband's. Before you left, you quietly dug out my private house money from under the tree, tricking my house into a thief and it was stolen. All the money is enough for you to spend for several years, and I will not give it to you again. Money. If you don't leave. He when I I looked at Murong Zong, A Zong, go and report to me, say I'm here to be a rascal, ask them to help me drive people away. Chapter 259 Hard to Say Murong Zong nodded, yes, Grandpa He. Zheng Gihua's face changed. She stood up suddenly, 
and said in amazement, Father, you are too ruthless, but your grandson is in my stomach. Grandson. He when I, I sneered, I have no blood relationship with He Tang Glee. Seriously, this is the grandson of that who is a slut. I raised He Tang Glee and my brothers and sisters to the best of my ability. What He Tang Glee did to me. Even if I cut off relations with him now, it's only human nature. If I raise his son again, will I raise a white-eyed wolf to harm me? I won't do that stupid thing again. Zheng Gihua pouted, who asked you to raise it in the first place, so he had no choice but to say, it's impossible for Zhu Kui to listen to you. Since you know you can't listen to me, why do you talk nonsense? Zheng Gihua stomped her feet and had to leave unwillingly. No ordinary person is not afraid of Zhe Kui, she was really afraid that he would invite Zhe Kui. After all, her husband was arrested for fooling Zhe Okui, and she must be the unlucky one. After and the others left, he when I, I looked at Murong Lingran's brother and sister, I made you laugh. Murong shook his head, it's not the right time for us to come. He when I, I didn't want to talk about these annoying things, he turned his head and instructed, Stone, go and take out the ledger and show it to your sister Ran. After saying this, they asked their siblings to wait for him in the main room, while he returned to the bedroom and took out the latest income. Stone nodded, quickly took out the ledger and handed it to Murong Ling Ran, then walked out of the main room sensible. Murong Ling Ran turned over them one by one, nodded secretly, the profit was not bad. He when I, I also put a box in front of her. This is the income from your drawings during this period. Murong Lingran opened it and took a look. Since she had read the ledger beforehand, she was not too surprised to see the box full of white money. In front of everyone, Murong Lingran counted 35 tails of silver from the inside, put it into the satchel, closed the lid and pushed the box to He Wen I, I again. He Wen I, I reminded, if you take less, you will get four or six points. Murong Lingran explained slowly, Stone and the other five children have caused you a lot of trouble here. Thanks to Grandpa he taking care of them during this time, I should take part of their food expenses. He when I, I looked at the five children who were still busy in the courtyard and knew that she wanted to do her best. He also knew that her family was in the business of selling vegetables, and the business was not bad. He didn't lack the five tails of silver, so he didn't refuse. Well then, I'll thank you for them. But if I take care of them, it's better to say that they take care of me more. Thanks to them during this time, otherwise I wouldn't be able to earn so much. I will treat them well. Murong nodded, and took out the drawings of the latest design. He when I, I took a look and praised, yes, these styles are not worse than the last time, but girl, you are really good at designing. Murong Lingran smiled and said, It's really not all my design. But the girl is too modest. Murong Lingran. How should she explain it? Murong Zong smiled helplessly when he saw that his sister was speechless. Murong Lingran sighed silently, That's all, he couldn't explain it clearly anyway, so it's just a misunderstanding. The three of them talked about some things in the children's lives, which would affect Grandpa He's progress and Murong Lingran quickly bid farewell. Chapter 260 News from the Younger Brothers He when I, I warmly invited, it's almost noon, it's rare to come here once, why don't you stay here for lunch? This. Murong Lingran looked at Big Brother, Big Brother, what do you think? Murong Zong nodded and said, okay. I originally wanted to go to the security bureau to see if there was any news about the younger brothers, but it's not easy to come to the door at noon, so it's good to have lunch here. Seeing that the eldest brother agreed, Murong Lingran nodded, okay, then I'll disturb you. He when I, I gave sheet of money to buy vegetables, and Murong Lingran also took the initiative to follow. When she returned to the yard, Murong Lingran naturally wouldn't let her half-old children cook for her. Anyway, she was idle, so she took the initiative to take over the kitchen work. Naturally, her dishes have also been well received by Grandpa He and several children. 
After lunch, Murong Lingran and his sister came to Huei escort. The two guards at the entrance of the office saw Murong Zong came back, and immediately stepped forward to greet him with a smile, A Zong, you are back. Murong Zong nodded and said sternly, Brother Dalin, Brother Erlin, let me introduce to you, this is my sister, Murong Lingran. Murong shouted eloquently, Brother Dalin, Brother Er Linear. Dalin Erlin replied cheerfully, Oh, be good. Murong Zong said again, I want to ask if there is any news about my younger brothers. Dalin shook his head, You are also a customer now, and you know Uncle Cao's rules, so he won't leak these things out. But he happened to be in the security bureau today, and many people sent letters to his yard today. You can ask yourself. Murong Zong nodded dragged his sister and walked to Uncle Cao's yard. After passing through several corridors and turning a few corners, the two came to a secluded courtyard entrance and stood still. After Murong Zong said a few words to the boy guarding the door, the boy quickly went in to report, and after a while, he came out and said that they can go in. As soon as he entered the courtyard, Murong Lingran saw a middle-aged man carefully checking something in the pavilion. When he saw them coming in, he quickly got up to greet them. Murong Zong also introduced Murong Lingran first, and then asked sternly, Uncle Cao, do my brothers have any clues? Humanity called Uncle Cao said, You said that your sixth brother has a red birthmark on his left wrist, right? Brother and sister were startled at the same time, Murong Zong said excitedly, Yes, yes, did Uncle Cao have news of my sixth brother? Uncle Cao said slowly, My people found out that a child with a red birthmark on his left wrist appeared in the spring and autumn tooth shop in the city, but the child was bought by a person who claimed to be his second brother. Murong was stunned for a moment, his second brother. Yet. Yeah. Uncle Cao nodded, The people from Yaxing told my people that his second brother said that the child was also lost a few months ago. Their family searched for a long time and couldn't find it. There was a person in Linhe village who happened to be in Yaxing. When Seeing saw the child, he informed his second brother, and his second brother took out all his savings and bought the child from Yaxing. But because the child was originally picked up by them, he was weak and sick for a long time. He couldn't sell it for a long time. He had to eat a lot of food every day when he stayed in the tooth shop. I sold it to his second brother. Even the time of disappearance is the same. If the people from the Yaxing tell a lie, isn't it very likely that it is her sixth brother? Chapter 261 Go to Confirm in Person Murong said excitedly, Linhe Village? Is it the Linhe Village that you reached through Wuming Mountain? Uncle Cao nodded, yes, but although the child does have a birthmark on his hand, and the person who claims to be his second brother may also be a fake, but I think it is very unlikely that it is your younger brother. The smile on Murong Lingran's face stopped, and she asked in a daze, Isn't it my sixth brother? Uncle Cao added, My people went to see the child and asked him a few questions. He didn't respond to your family's response, and he had some problems with his speech. The two brothers and sisters were startled and couldn't believe it, fool. It shouldn't be a fool. He can answer any questions, but he speaks slowly. There is a scar on his forehead, which looks like it was scratched by a knife. His appearance is only three points similar to the portrait, but it may also be hungry and thin. So it's different from the portrait. So only the birthmarks and the age and the time of the disappearance match what you said. Murong Lingran's heart clenched when she heard it, and there was a scar on her face. If it was really the sixth brother, did the sixth brother also get hurt when she fell off the that day? Have you heard how the wound on his face was injured? Uncle Cao said, the people from Spring and Autumn Yaxing said that they found the child in the woods outside the city, and the wounds were already scarred when they were picked up. When I asked the child, the child couldn't tell, so they also do not know. Murong frowned again and said, isn't there any other child next to him? No, he is the only one. Murong Zong frowned and said, Uncle Cao, can we check it out in person? Anyway, 
the child also has a birthmark on his left wrist, as long as there is a silver lining, they will not give up. Uncle Cow hesitated for a moment, the guards are afraid that customers will be disappointed and their reputation will be affected. Generally, 90% of the people who are sure they are looking for will notify customers. But for A Zong's face, if you are willing to confirm in person, I will you can also accompany you, but don't expect too much, the greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. I can go anytime, just see when you are free. Murong Lingran glanced at the elder brother, saw him nodding, and said sternly, then why don't you go now? Uncle Cao smiled helplessly, I know you're in a hurry, but it's getting late, and this place is a little far from Linhe village. It may be completely dark when you get there, and you have to pass through part of Wuming Mountain. It's still dangerous to pass there, so let's go again tomorrow and during the day. Murong Lingran wanted to say that she was not afraid, and she still had black hair, but she couldn't eat hot tofu in a hurry, and there was a whole carload of stuff on the carriage, so she had to nod. The two returned to Liwa village anxiously, and repeated what Uncle Cao said to Murong Zhe and Murong Xian. The three of them were naturally very excited when they heard the words. Just like when Murong Lingran only found out, although Uncle Cao said that he might not be the sixth brother, he could not wait to go to Linhe village to confirm. After listening to Murong Lingran's persuasion, he suppressed his excitement and had to wait for tomorrow. On the second day, Murong Zhe, as a father, must go and see it in person. Although the guards said it might not be the youngest son, but what if it was? Murong Zong and Uncle Cao are familiar with each other, and he can say anything, and he must go there too. Murong Lingran also wanted to go see it in person, so she went too. Therefore, the people who stayed to look after the business were Murong Xian and Murong Quan. Chapter 262 Le Yun But they didn't have any complaints. After all, the family's current business is also very important. The carriage drove for more than half an hour before entering the small road leading to Linhe village. Uncle Cao and two guards were waiting for them on horseback. Seeing Murong Zong's carriage coming, he motioned for them to follow behind and lead the way on his horse. After another half an hour, a village larger than Liwa village appeared in front of them. Uncle Cao left two guards to watch the carriage and led them on foot to the location that he had already inquired about. After walking for a stick of incense, Uncle Cao stopped under a tree, looked at a child washing clothes by the river, and said sternly, It's that child, my people heard that he often comes to the river at this hour. Washing clothes, there is no one around now, we can just go over there and take a look. Mirong Zhe nodded. After all, he was in someone else's village, so he should be careful. Looking at the child who was doing laundry, he couldn't help but feel nervous. The weather was getting colder and colder, looking at the white and rushing river, he actually asked a five-year-old child to wash clothes by the river alone. If it wasn't his son, his family wouldn't be afraid of anything. Li Yun Uncle Cao stepped forward and said softly. Li Yun was rubbing the clothes in his hands intently, when he heard someone call him, he turned his head slowly, You, you, who? Who? Murong Lingran sighed helplessly when he saw his face. But just by looking at the face, it is indeed similar to Murong Ding, and there is something wrong with his words, and he actually jumps out word by word. On his forehead, as Uncle Cao said, there is a scary scar. Murong Zong stepped forward and looked at his left wrist. Sure enough, there was a red birthmark similar to that of the sixth brother. It's only been a few months and Murong Zhe will not fail to recognize his son. From a distance, he knows that this is not his son, so he shook his head regretfully, although he does have a birthmark on his left wrist, he looks a bit like Murong Ding. Similar, similar height, but he is not Murong Ding. Uncle Cao was not too disappointed, he knew it might not be. Who are you? What are you going to do to my brother? Before Uncle Cao could speak, a worried voice entered his ears. The crowd followed the sound and saw a 15 or 16-year-old man suddenly yelling at them on the other side of the river. 
After the man finished speaking, he walked to the wooden bridge next to him, and soon came to them. He hurriedly pulled Li Yun over and looked at his whole body carefully. Li Yun, are you all right? Why did you come to the river again? Didn't I tell you not to come yesterday? Do you know that the river is dangerous? And they, did they do anything to you? Li Yun said slowly, De, sister-in-law, rush, happy, cloud, come, happy, cloud, also, no, think, come, river, water, cold, hand, he, they, no, yes, hurt, hurt, music, cloud. El Yulajang gritted his teeth and said, Li Yun, I'm sorry, the second brother will take you wherever he goes in the future, and he will never let you stay at home alone again. After finishing speaking, he packed up all his clothes and put them in the basin, protecting Li Yun behind him, and then looked at Murong Lingran and his party vigilantly. What were you doing to my brother just now? Murong Zhe quickly explained, Don't get me wrong, little brother, my son is lost. I heard that there is a child here who has a red birthmark on his left wrist just like my son, so I came to take a look. El Yulajeng's eyes became more defensive, and he frowned, Don't fool me, say, are you trying to kidnap my brother, why can't I find my son, if I don't come, will you just kidnap my brother? It was taken. Chapter 263 Catch the Snake with Bare Hands Uncle Cao also said, You really misunderstood. I don't believe it. El Yulajang pulled his younger brother back and started to step back, Don't think I'm afraid of you because of your crowd, I'll go back to the village and call someone to go. After saying that, he pulled El Yun out of his legs and wanted to run. Murong Lingran hurriedly ran in front of him and explained patiently, this eldest brother, we really have no ill intentions, we live in Luwa village. There are also girls in your village who were married from Luwa village. If you don't believe me, you can ask. The whole Luwa village knows that the Murong family who settled in Luwa village lost three children, and they have been lost for several months. Suddenly there is news about my brother, so I will come to see. Even though we know that he may not be and has family members, Please understand our desire to be reunited. As long as there is a little clue, relatives will not give up. Besides, you see, I'm still a child, and I want to abduct and sell children, how can I bring the children with me? After listening to her analysis, El Yula Jang also felt that what she said was reasonable. He used to be the same. When he heard a little news, he would ignore it and confirm it. He suddenly let down his guard, you, you really didn't lie to me. Murong Lingran nodded sincerely, really not. Li Yun suddenly said slowly, second, brother, he, they, said, yes, really, yes, just, just, said, yes, me, hand, shang, birth, mark, yes, thing. Lu Lajeng was finally relieved to see his brother say the same thing. Although my brother has trouble speaking, his brain is still good and his mind is clear. El Yulajang touched his head embarrassedly, Well, I'm sorry, I misunderstood you, my name is El Yulajang, this is my younger brother, El Yulayun. You have also seen the situation of my younger brother, he just speaks slower than ordinary people, but his brain is still good. I can do housework like laundry, and I'm honest and obedient, I'm afraid someone will sell him again. Again? Murong Lingran glanced at the clothes of the two brothers, thinking of the elder sister-in-law the child said just now, and roughly guessed a few points. At this moment, El Yula Jang was startled, and suddenly strode in the direction of Murong Zhe. Murong Zhe saw him approaching suddenly, he thought he was going to do something to himself. Just as he was about to take precautions, he saw him quickly behind him, crouched down and stood up shortly after, returning to El Yulayun's side. Taking a closer look, El Yulajang actually had a grey snake on his hand. Murong Zong also thought that El Yule was about to attack his father, and he took a big step with his feet. When he saw this, he looked closely behind his father, 
and then looked around. When he saw that there were no other snakes, he suddenly let go. In one breath, El Yulajang held the grey snake's head in one hand, and took out a small knife from his waist with the other, and cut out the snake's gallbladder like flowing water, and put it in the bamboo tube he carried with him. Then he squeezed the grey snake's tail and shook its body, and the snake completely lost its strength to struggle. After confirming that the grey snake had indeed died, Lule was holding its seven inches in order to prevent it from feigning death, intending to go back and have a good meal. Murong raised his eyebrows spiritually, this person's reaction was really quick, just as Shenzhen Changki reminded her that Daddy was in danger, this man walked towards Daddy. And he is very courageous, he dares to catch a snake with his bare hands. Lu Leun seemed to have gotten used to it. Seeing his second brother catching a snake, he didn't show any fear, but there was a hint of surprise in his eyes. Chapter 264 That's right, it's a surprise. Seeing that Lule was looking at him, Mirong Zhe said sincerely, Thank you little brother for your help, otherwise I would be in danger today. Mirong Zong also said, Yes, yes, thank you Zion Tai for your help. Lule Zheng said indifferently, It's nothing. This is not a poisonous snake, and it won't be a big problem if bitten. I just don't want this snake to be scared away by you. This snake gall is worth a lot of money, and it is worth a lot of money to sell to a pharmacy, and the snake meat is also worth a lot of money. Much, enough for Leun and I to eat for several days. Murong Ling suddenly realized, no wonder his brother was not only not afraid, but also so happy. Mirong Zhe asked suspiciously, little brother understands medicinal herbs. I only know a little about the fur. El Yulajang took his brother's hand again and said, since we have misunderstood, then you can go back. I wish you to find your relatives as soon as possible. Mirong Lingran looked at El Yulayun's uncovered clothes, then looked at the cotton clothes in the basin, and suddenly said, wait. El Yulajang turned around and paused. Mirong Lingran took out two pieces of silver from the bag and gave it to the big brother. Mirong Zong understood what his sister meant. Although the snake was non-venomous, it was a great favor to save dad from harm after all. Stepped forward and handed the silver to El Yula Zheng. Mirong Zong said solemnly, Thank you, Ziant Tai, for helping us. We have nothing to do. We can only thank you so much. Lu Lajeng saw that there was a sudden increase of twelve tails of silver in his hand, opened his mouth in shock, and immediately returned it back, No, it's too much, I can't ask for it. Mirong Zong stuffed it into El Yula Jeng's arms without thinking. El Yula Jeng was about to take it out when he suddenly caught a glimpse of a woman walking from a distance, so he had to hide it in his arms, then, then thank you very much. If she let her know that the money was given to him by the other party, I am afraid that there will be a big riot here again, adding to the jokes. After a while, the woman approached them aggressively. Second, you came to this little again, you feel so sorry for him, he eats my food, drinks my food, lives with me, what if I let him do the laundry, can he be exhausted to death? Worth you do you have to come to him every time? He is not your son and he is ugly, is he worth your preciousness to him? Looking at a group of strangers, the woman said vigilantly, Who are they? El Yula Jang frowned and said, Sister-in-law, I was about to ask you, why did you let El Yun do the laundry alone? Do you know that the water looks shallow, but the undercurrent is turbulent underneath, he is a five-year-old child, he must fall down will die. The woman curled her lips in disdain, is it dead? Children in the village often come to wash their clothes, so why didn't one drown? Sister-in-law, can you be reasonable? Are there other children who come to wash clothes as young as him? Even if they come, they are brought over by their brothers and sisters. Besides, there is no sun today, and the river is freezing cold. Even if you wash it, it won't dry. Look who comes out to wash it. Didn't you mean to embarrass him? The woman roared unhappily, Okay, what if I asked him to do some work? 
He bought it with a tale of our family's money to help the family do some work and make up for what happened to the family. That's my money, I can do whatever I want with it. Sister-in-law, Li Yun is my younger brother. If you treat him like this again, I will take Li Yun far away, never come back, and never come back. I won't give you a penny. Chapter 265 Mean People The woman was stunned for a moment, as if she had heard some big joke, she laughed straight with her arms crossed. After laughing enough, he sarcastically said, Go away and fly high? El Yulajeng, don't blame me for looking down on you. You left home, no money, no place to live, no connections, and you still bring this little one, and he will come back on his knees within seven days. Beg me. If you have the ability, you can leave now, and see if what I said is right, if you don't come back within seven days, my mother will listen to you in the future. L-U-L-E was righteous, sister-in-law, don't look down on people. Humph, let me tell you, your parents are gone, and your elder sister-in-law is your mother. You must know that you haven't married a daughter-in-law yet. If you contradict me again in the future, I will ask your elder brother to kick you out of the house and make you a bachelor for life. Now, you and this little quickly wash my clothes and go back, hurry up, if it's too slow, you won't have lunch. Mirong Zone couldn't help but say, this sister-in-law, you are too much, they are your relatives after all, why do you make it so ugly? The woman looked at Mirong Zone with contempt, and then looked at the people behind him only to realize that the group of people were dressed well, and asked with a cold face, El Yulajeng, you haven't answered me yet, who are these people? Before El Yulajeng could speak, Mirong Lingran quickly said, Brother El Yu is a friend of my family, let's come to see him. Friend. Being scolded by his sister-in-law in front of a stranger, El Yulajeng was immediately embarrassed, if you have nothing to do, then go first. Mirong Zong approached El Yulajeng and whispered, Brother El Yu, my name is Mirong Zong. If you have any difficulties, feel free to come to Liwa village to find us. El Yulajeng heard the implication in his words, and nodded stunnedly, OK. Mirong Zong was about to leave when he finished speaking, when El Yulajeng's eldest sister-in-law said again, Who are you? Why are you so kind to my second brother? Mirong sneered, who is it? After all, he is not a mean person. The woman was stunned for a moment, and it took a long time to realize that she was scolded. By the time she wanted to scold her back, the person had already gone away. She hurried to catch up again, but happened to see them get on the horse and carriage and leave quickly. The woman frowned. Those who can afford a carriage must not be ordinary people. When did El Yulajang know such a wealthy person? No, she has to ask quickly. That's right, the girl just said that Lule is their friend. If this is the case, then their family's good days are coming. It's just that it's not destined to be what she wants. She treats her brother so hatefully, how could Lule Jeng talk nonsense with her? Ignoring her questioning, Lule Jeng was about to pick up the basin, but when he saw that none of the clothes in the basin belonged to him or his younger brother, all of them belonged to his daughters. Went. The woman immediately became angry when she saw that they dared to treat her clothes like this. But the person was already far away, no matter how much she shouted, she would not turn her head back, so she picked it up cursingly, washed it again, and brought it back. On the way back, Uncle Cow sat in the carriage and said apologetically, I'm so sorry, I made you go away for nothing today and you were almost misunderstood, and even Brother Aja was almost bitten by a snake. Mirong shook his head, it's not Uncle Cao's fault, you already said that this person may not be the sixth brother, but we insisted on confirming. Mirong Zong also said, yes, Uncle Cao, we originally proposed to come yesterday, so I really don't blame you. Chapter 266 Thief Mirong Zhe nodded and said, yes, we were too impatient. Seeing them say this, Uncle Cao felt a lot more relieved. Seeing that the carriage stopped, knowing that they had reached a fork in the road, 
he promised to help them find someone attentively, and then rode on a horse and headed for the city. After Uncle Kao left, Murong Zhe saw his daughter's worried look and said with relief, Aaron, don't be discouraged, they will be found, and they must be safe now. Seeing that Dad had misunderstood, Murong Lingran hurriedly said, Father, I understand, I was thinking about that Lu Laun, didn't Lu Lajang just say it? I'm afraid we will sell his brother again, so it can be seen that his brother may have been arrested last time. The person sold it quietly, then ran out for some reason, and was picked up by the people from the tooth shop, and the person who sold his brother was most likely his sister-in-law. Maybe it was because the child had the same birthmark as the sixth brother and was the same age as the sixth brother, so Murong Lingran couldn't help but care about him. Murong Zhe's face suddenly became serious, it is indeed possible that you said that. Compared with what Murong Chi has done, that person is almost as good as Murong Qi. It is really hateful. That's right. Murong asked spiritually, Father, is Lu Leun suffering from some kind of illness? Is his speech so different from ordinary people? Murong Zhe looked at his hand and sighed, it takes a careful look and sound to know that some are caused by poisoning, some are caused by irritation, and there are various reasons. Murong frowned, Father, I'm sorry. Murong Zhe smiled helplessly, it's been a few months since nothing happened. Dad isn't so easy to look down on, so don't worry. Well. Dad, your hand will definitely recover one day, Murong Lingran secretly assured. The carriage slowly drove into Liwa village. Murong Lingran was swaying in the carriage. Today, because he had to go out early, his head gradually became confused. Suddenly there was an angry shout from outside, and she was shocked and woke up suddenly. Who? Stop for me. Murong Zong shouted loudly. Murong opened the door of the carriage in a hurry, looked forward and saw five sneaky men running away as if they were running for their lives. Murong Zone was about to chase after him when he heard Murong Zhe say, Don't chase after poor thieves. Yes, Dad. Murong Lingran looked at the direction those people were fleeing, and said suspiciously, Big brother, they. As soon as the gate appeared in my sight just now, I saw those people hurried out of our house. After he finished speaking, the carriage arrived at the door and saw the iron lock that fell from the ground. He was startled, jumped out of the carriage, quickly helped dad and sister out of the car, and said anxiously, Aaron, dad, you guys go to your room and see if you're missing anything. Damn thief, sneaking in and picking the lock while we're not in broad daylight, waiting for me to catch them and make them look good. Murong Zhe became nervous and hurried to the house. Murong Zone quickly led the carriage into the stable, and did not go back to the house first, but ran to the vegetable field to find the second and third brothers. Murong raised an eyebrow, but she wasn't worried about her room, all her money and most of her clothes had been put into the space. Naturally, the jewelry that Dad asked her to keep is also in the space. There is a fence in the vegetable field not far away, and everyone is working hard. The second and third brothers must have just gone to the field. They went out again today. It seems that those thieves really chose a good time. Come. Chapter 267 was stolen. Although she was sure that she didn't lose anything valuable, Murong Lingran went back to her room in order not to make everyone suspect. No accident, the lock at the gate could be picked open, and the lock on the room was picked too. Went in and checked it carefully just as she thought, only the cabinet was opened, some worthless clothes were turned over in a mess, and the drawer of the mirror table was also opened. Of course, she only put a comb and some worthless headbands on the mirror stage. Those thieves also knew that they were worthless, but it was just a little messy, and nothing was lost. The rooms and guest rooms of the three younger brothers were all arranged by Murong Lingran, and there were some things she knew best. Although the locks on the doors were still there, she opened every room and looked around. After a while, Murong Xian and Murong Quan also hurriedly returned to their house to check. After a while, Murong Xian shouted, Ah! Damn thief! 
Hearing his roar, the family hurriedly gathered in his house, Mirong Zhe worried, Ah Xian, what's wrong? What's missing? Seeing that everyone was here, Mirong Xian touched his head embarrassedly, picked up a piece of clothing on the ground, and said with a bitter face, I didn't lose anything, it's just that A Ran stepped on the new clothes that he just bought for me yesterday. Footprints, I haven't had time to wear them yet, and my heart ached for a while, so I roared a little louder. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, and Mirong Zhe looked at the other children, have you lost anything? Mirong Zong said, I didn't lose anything. Just like the second brother's room, the clothes were thrown everywhere, and the money was hidden. They didn't find it. Mirong Zhe nodded, Daddy's room is the same as yours. At this moment, Mirong Quan said with a sad face, all the money that Aran gave me some time ago has been stolen. He thought that if the door was locked, everything would be fine, so he put the silver in the cabinet, and he could see it as soon as he opened it. Mirong was startled and said in surprise, Third brother, all the ten tails of silver have been stolen. Some time ago, since they had to go to the city to sell vegetables every day, the money for selling vegetables must not be moved. Mirong Lingran was afraid that they would be hungry on the way, so he gave each brother five tails of silver. In addition to the wild boars sold to him last time, if all of them are useless, the total is twelve tails. Yet. Mirong Quan felt aggrieved as he spoke, gritted his teeth and said, I was stolen before I even found a chance to start using it. Damn thief, let me catch him, I must make him look good. Mirong Zhe looked at his daughter, Aaron, is your room okay? The three brothers turned their heads to look at their sister. The money and the house deed are all collected by the younger sister. All the valuables sent from the greenhouse some time ago are also with the younger sister. Could it be stolen as well? Seeing their nervousness, Mirong Lingran said calmly, My ability to hide things has been taught by my eldest and second brothers before they came back, and I haven't lost a single thing. Mirong Zong couldn't believe it, really. Seeing that everyone doubted her words, Mirong Lingran took out all the family's recent income from the bag, and then took out all the land and house deeds, Look, I didn't lie to you. As for those jewelry, it's fine in the house. Chapter 268 Isn't Kuro Mao at home? Their family would exchange the money for banknotes every few days, leaving only some cash for emergency use so she could take all the money out of the bag at one time and actually take it out of the space. You can see that the number is not small. After all, the thieves must steal all of them. How can they be left with so many? S. Hart was instantly relieved. Their hard work over the past few months was finally in vain. Just now, they really thought that their home had been ransacked and they had to start from scratch again. Mirong Zhe frowned and said, then it means that Aquan is the only one in the family who lost ten tails of silver. Father. Why can't the pot be opened and lifted, he was sad enough to lose the money. Mirong Lingran saw that he was gloomy, and took out two silver ingots of five tails from the bag and gave him, and instructed, Third brother, here it is, hide it well this time, you can't lose it again. Mirong Quan immediately became energized when he saw this, and took the baby's baby into his arms with a smile, Thank you, Ran, third brother promises not to lose it again. Mirong Zhe shook his head helplessly, and frowned suddenly, Aaron, isn't Hamao at home? Why did a thief come in but it didn't come out, and I haven't seen it after so long? It it might have gone to the mountain. Mirong said shyly. I knew she wouldn't put Kuro Mao in the space. Hamao did go up the mountain often, so Mirong Zhe and his son didn't think much about it, but secretly decided whether it would be better to keep Hamao at home in the future. After all, few people are not afraid of such a big dog. Told the children to tidy up the house. After all, many things were dirty and must be washed before they can be used. He himself planned to go outside the door again to see if he could find any more clues. Ten tails of silver can be earned in less than a day now but their family will never give up, otherwise their family will never have a peaceful life. Mirong Lingran also wanted to find the culprit, 
and also planned to go to the gate to have a look. Chuang King he was walking on the road just now and saw a few people with black ashes on their faces running up the mountain in a panic as if they were fleeing from the direction of Murong's house. Immediately had a bad premonition in his heart, he hurried to the door of Murong's house, and saw that the lock was picked up and he fell to the ground alone. He didn't have to think about what was going on in the room at this time. He was afraid that when he went in, he would lead to misunderstandings, so he was about to call someone over when he saw Murong Zhe come out. Ach, you are at home, you're home. Chuang King he said quickly. Murong Zhe sighed and said, as you can see, but fortunately, only a little of the child's private money was lost, and the loss is not heavy. Chuang Qing said angrily, it's not reasonable, these thieves are going too far, they dare to sneak in and pick the lock in broad daylight, when there is no one in our Liwa village. No, I must tell Dad that such a big thing happened in the village. It can't be like that. Uncle King He, wait. Chuang King He was about to leave when he heard Murong Lingran stop him, and assured him, Ran girl, don't worry, your grandfather Lichen will definitely decide for your family. Murong shook his head, leaned slightly closer to Zhuang King He and said a few words in a low voice. Zhuang King He hesitated, Is this okay? Murong smiled lightly, I just want to try it. Zhuang King He looked at Murong Zhe, and when he saw him nodding, he had no choice but to say, Well, if you need help, just call us at any time. Chapter 269 Try to Bring You Thank you, Uncle King He. By the way, Uncle King He, what are you doing here today? Chuang King He was a little hesitant for a while. It was too much for him to ask for help today when someone else's family was in trouble. You can do your home affairs first, and I'll come to you when you're done. After he finished speaking, he turned around and raised his feet before leaving. Originally, he wanted to say that the thieves had gone to the mountains, but he was afraid that the children of their family would use their own skills to show their success. If it was the thief's trick and something happened to them, then he would just do it. Sind. Uncle King He. Murong Lingran hurriedly called, If you have anything, just say it directly, you're welcome. Chuang King He turned around for a while. Seeing what she said, he had to shamelessly say what he came to say, Aaron, Uncle King He is welcome. Uncle King He came today to ask you, if your house is okay. Can Uncle King He build a toilet that flushes with water at home? Murong smiled, she thought it was something, of course it is possible. Chuang King He hesitantly said, Aaron, if someone comes to Uncle King He's house after the completion of the building and takes a fancy to that kind of toilet, can Uncle King He also help others to do it? Uncle King He also knows that it is a bit of a step but now building a house the business is not very good, there is no innovation, and others will not ask for it at all, so. Of course it's possible, Uncle King he just use it. Lee is helping their family a lot, just a simple toilet design, nothing to give up. And they have already done it once, most of them must have understood the principle, even if they did it quietly, she did not know. It is very valuable to be able to seek her opinion. Murong Zhe also said, Aaron is right, King He, you can use it. Chuang King He said with surprise, Aaron, Ach, thank you, your family will be reunited soon, trust me. It is no wonder that their family can live such a good life after coming to Liwa village for a few months. God blesses such a generous and kind person. Cheng Ching and Uncle's auspicious words. Murong said with a smile. Chuang King He said seriously, Do you really need my help here? Murong Zhe shook his head, Don't worry, we can solve it. Chuang Qing nodded together, leaving a message that he had something to do and left despite the order. After Chuang King He left, Murong Lingran quietly released the black hair from the space when everyone was not paying attention. Wang Kuromao roared loudly and looked at the master with a resentful expression, the meaning in his eyes was obvious, you are finally willing to let me out. Murong motioned it to lie down, patted its head and said, Hey Mao, it seems that when we are not at home in the future, 
we will only let you watch the house. Wow! Don't! Don't be unhappy, there was a thief at home today, otherwise I would be reluctant to let you at home alone. Don't worry, as long as I leave in the future, if I leave for a long time, I will definitely tell you in advance, and I will try my best to take you away. Take it, and the thing like last time will never happen again, is that okay? Mirong Ling Ran persuaded bitterly. After she came back from the city last time, the eldest brother said that Hamao always sat at the gate waiting for her when she was not at home. He sat for a whole day, and at night, he was lying at the door of her house. Ignore. Even if you bring the food in front of it, you don't even look at it, let alone eat it. Chapter 272 Heartache As long as she has been away, Kuro Mao hasn't eaten for a long time. As soon as she came back from the city, Hamao complained to her for a long time. As long as her eyes met her all day, she could see its resentful eyes, and she followed wherever she went, for fear of her suddenly disappeared again. Mirong knew that it was worried about herself and complained that she had left it, so from that day on, she planned to wear black hair everywhere she went. Everything went smoothly before, but I didn't expect that something happened at home today. Black hair immediately drooped his head, knowing that it would be useless to protest, so he nodded reluctantly. Mirong Ling Ran patted its head, Good boy, I'll cook something delicious for you later. Hamao's eyes suddenly lit up, the depression just now was swept away, and he roared spinelessly, Wow! All right! Mirong Ling Ran! And Hamao greasy for a while, Mirong neatly tidied up the room and washed all the dirty clothes, then went to the kitchen to make lunch, and discussed with everyone about the five thieves while eating. Even though his sister gave him ten tails of silver, Mirong Quan was still brooding in his heart, even his favorite braised pork tasted the same, gritted his teeth and said, Father, we can't just forget about it, ten tails. Silver, in the past, how many herbs we had to work so hard to earn, my heart hurts so much. Mirong Zhe looked at his eldest son, you saw those thieves first, but what useful news is there? Mirong Zong shook his head, they are very cunning, and they smeared their faces. When I saw them, the distance was too far, and when I shouted, they ran faster. I still don't know all the people in Liwa village. I can't even see who it is. Mirong Ling Ran suddenly asked everyone to put their heads closer, we might as well, do this again, and then. Mirong Zhe said helplessly after hearing this, Aaron, no wonder you asked King He to do that just now, is it really okay? If you try it, you'll know. If I guess wrong, we'll just spend a little time and energy. If it really works, we can catch people to avenge the third brother, teach them a lesson, and get the money back, isn't it? Is it good? Otherwise, the thieves will never be caught, not only our family, but the whole village must be panicked. Mirong Quan felt that what his sister said was reasonable, and he was instantly filled with fighting spirit, just listen to Aaron, I must ask those people to spit out the money for me. Mirong Zhe looked at the eldest son and the second son, and seeing that neither of them objected, he had to agree, okay. Mirong Ling Ran laughed suddenly, it felt good that her family supported her unconditionally. After lunch, Zhuang King he told what Mirong Ling Ran had just said about the thief picking the lock in broad daylight in Liwa village. And he also specifically asked that kind of big-mouthed woman to talk, so it didn't take long for the Mirong family to be stolen to spread throughout the entire Liwa village. Hearing that Mirong Ling Ran's house had been burglarized, most of the people who were friends with them and some who liked to join in the fun hurried to their house to inquire about the situation. Suddenly, a lot of people gathered at the door of their house. There are also some people who come because they are afraid that the thieves will follow them. They know how the thief stole it, so they can take precautions. Whether he came to see a joke or to care about him, Mirong Zhe all smiled and said, Thank you for your concern, there is nothing lost in the family, just a little pocket money for the child, no big loss. Chapter 271 Xia's husband, Meng Chen Jai, said worriedly, Master, what you said is true. 
if there is any embarrassment, be sure to say it. Tian also said, yes, they are all from the same village. You have helped us so much. If you have anything, just say it and see if everyone can help. That's right, everyone present felt that Murong Zhe was forcing a smile, and he didn't want to make the villagers worry or make people laugh. Their family's recent vegetable business is seen by the whole village, and the income is extremely impressive. The locks on the door were picked up, and the house was empty when the thieves entered. They must have turned their house upside down. How could they have lost a little pocket money for their children? Murong Zhe smiled and said, I didn't lie to you, what I said is true, don't you still know what my temperament is? Lichen's wife Mi Shi knew that Murong Zhe didn't seem like a liar, but she was still concerned, Ach, if you lose too much money, go to the police as soon as possible, you can't let those thieves go unpunished. Murong Zhe said with a calm look on his face, everyone really don't have to worry, let me tell you honestly, a few rooms in the house have also been pried, and there should be some capable people in this area. But those thieves are much more stupid than everyone thinks. They turned over several houses and only took away my third son's pocket money. There was no loss in the rooms of the eldest, the second, and the little girl. Basically, they had no money. Or the room with less money, the room with money or the room with more money ran away without a chance to pry. Michi asked in amazement, really? If those thieves are real, they are really useless. It's true, my little girl was laughing at those thieves just now. No one in the family allows them to steal and they can't find any money. If anyone was there, wouldn't they be able to catch them immediately? They also said that they were originally thieves who were useless. To actually let them steal casually, they can't steal the money that a ten-year-old child of hers put away, it's more waste than a waste person. Seeing that he was still in the mood to laugh at those thieves, most of the villagers knew that there was absolutely nothing wrong to say something to ridicule others, and they were relieved at the same time. Murong Zhe said slowly again, Thank you for your relationship, my family, and I really have nothing to do, everyone is very busy, let's go back to rest. Although some people are still worried that he is forcing a smile, but the owner said that it was all right, and they couldn't say anything else. They all said that if they needed help, just say it, you're welcome, and then they all went to work. Murong Zhe was about to go back to the house when he saw a person standing in the distance, raised his foot and walked over, and called out lightly, Dad. Murong Liang has been shameless since the last time his younger son had plotted against his older son. Just now he heard that the eldest son's house had been robbed. After thinking about it, he still planned to come over and have a look, Ach, I heard everything you said just now, is it really okay? Father we really have nothing to do, don't worry. That's good, that's good. Murong Liang knew that he was busy, so he said something to make him be careful in the future and go back. Murong Zhe returned to the main room, frowned and said, Aaron, did you see any suspicious people in the dark just now? Murong shook his head, no. Murong Zhe looked at the other children again, and when he saw them shaking his head, he sighed and said, Let's all do things separately. Yes, Dad. Chapter 272 Give Him a Lesson The three Murong Zong brothers and Murong Zhe arranged herbal medicines together in the yard, one instructed and three started. Before getting the hundred herbs, Murong Zhe would occasionally take his son around the periphery, picking up some medicine by the way. After all, he is a medical student and some simple diseases can be prescribed by his experience without taking the pulse. If the family members have a headache, they will not rush to the city and delay the illness. Therefore, there is no need to buy the medicinal materials needed at night, they can prepare them right away and start making them. And Murong Lingran went up the mountain with Hamao in the afternoon, and prepared the medicinal materials for Changi Shenzhen, and she and Hamao stayed in the space all the time. Shenzhen Changi's injury has recovered a little after this period of recuperation, and now the land that can be planted can already be planted with eight fruit trees. After the potatoes were planted, the land in the space was idle again. 
Mirong Lingran planted everything when he had something to do. After harvesting, they were all neatly stacked in the basement, and he could take out what he wanted to eat. So when I went down the mountain, I brought down a lot of fruits, all of which my family liked to eat. Father and son saw the fruit in the main room, and they were not surprised. Since Xiao Manan fell ill and Mirong Lingran came back from the city, every time she went up the mountain, she would bring down a lot of fruit, and it was delicious. Asked where she picked it, she just said it was a secret. Mirong Zhe and Mirong Quan have seen her bring cherries back, so they are used to her finding things they can't find from the mountains now. And Mirong Zong and Mirong Xian asked their sister once at first, and they couldn't find anything, and Dad even took the lead in eating these fruits, so they didn't ask more, anyway, the sister wouldn't poison them. Su at three quarters, the moon hung high, and under a courtyard wall of Mirong Lingran's house, a few people were secretly discussing something. We only came during the day, are you in a hurry to come again tonight? You're stupid, because we've already been here during the day, and they definitely didn't expect us to come again at night, so they wouldn't be prepared. If they were given time to change a more complicated lock, we might not be able to open it. That's right. I'll remember the crippled taunting of us today for the rest of my life. I actually disliked us for being stupid and couldn't steal their money. Tonight, I'm going to make them regret what they said during the day, and show their family a bit of color. Yes, I almost jumped into a rage when I heard Mirong Zhe's words today. What he meant inside and outside of his words was that we were trash. I have never been ridiculed like that in my life. Erjing teach him a lesson and make him look down on people. Didn't they say during the day that the rich houses were not opened, and all the houses that were opened were houses with no money and little money? During the day, when you saw their carriages, we hurriedly ran away, and there were indeed a few left. It's too late to pry open the rooms. They earn so much money every day, and they must have put it in one of the three rooms, or in the three rooms separately. So much money we should find out while the iron is hot, when they move, we won't be able to find them in the future. That's it. After one person finished speaking, he distributed the smoke to them, are you ready? Chapter 273 The head will be bitten off. The four of them whispered at the same time, it's been ready. The smoky man nodded, supported the ladder in the moonlight, and turned his head to signal them to go up first. The person who spoke first just touched the ladder when he suddenly thought of something, and said with a look of fear, I suddenly remembered that they have an all-black dog at home. The dog may go out for a walk during the day, and it will definitely come home at night, we are like this. Go in, the dog's hair is black, if we hide in the dark, we really can't notice it, will we be attacked by it? That dog is fat and strong, and extremely tall and fierce and can kick them away with one kick. In case of being bitten by it, their heads will be bitten off. Everyone was stunned, and the heart that was eager to try just now also hesitated. One of them suddenly smiled and said, If you didn't say it, I almost forgot, don't worry, I was ready to deal with it. After he finished speaking, he took out a cloth bag hanging from his waist and let everyone smell it. One of them guessed his plan, You drugged your meat? You are really willing to buy meat with the two tails of silver that was distributed to you in the afternoon. You think I'm stupid, this is rat meat. I found it in the firewood pile at home in the afternoon. There are ten cubs. I just cooked them, but I spent a little money on the sweat medicine. You can give it to me later. Flattened. Understood, cheapskate, act quickly. Several people threw a bit of mouse meat into the yard around the courtyard wall, and in order to make sure that there was no danger inside, they also threw several small stones into test. Dogs are vigilant animals, and they must start howling immediately when they hear movement in the yard. The five returned to their previous positions. After waiting for a long time, they did not hear any sound at all. They thought that the dog had really eaten the meat they prepared and fainted so they climbed in. Because we have been here once in the morning, all five people know which rooms are occupied by people, 
and there are exactly five occupied rooms, so each person is responsible for one room. After and so on, they all blew the smoke into the room they were responsible for, and the five sneaked up to a room that had not been locked during the day. You two, go to the left side, you two, go to the right side, as for the one next to you, I will do it myself. The four of them whispered at the same time, OK. The five people basically touched the locks of the three rooms at the same time. They were about to pick the locks when they felt something flashed in front of them at the same time. Before they could realize what it was, their bodies were suddenly dragged to the center of the yard and collided with others. Come together. His back was hit and hurt, and before he had time to exclaim, a few figures suddenly appeared in front of him and quickly circled around them several times. After they reacted, they were all tied together firmly. A few people, no matter how stupid they were, knew they had been tricked. They were about to shout when suddenly a pain in the neck caused them all to faint. Murong Lingran saw that the brothers had taken care of everyone, so he brought Hamao with four lanterns, and divided three out to give to the three brothers. Black hair smelled everyone on the ground, and when he smelled a man's waist pocket, he immediately fell to the ground, showing his sharp fangs to the man. Murong Zong stepped forward and picked up the pocket and smelled it. He also smelled a few pieces of meat that he had collected in the yard just now, nodded and said, it seems that this person wants to dazzle the black hair. Chapter 274 Why are they two? Kuromao was furious when he heard this, and suddenly wanted to go forward and bite him. He underestimated it so much that he actually gave him stinky meat to eat, it would kill him. Murong Lingran quickly said, Black hair, don't bite. Kuruga's teeth stopped as soon as they touched the man's calf. Murong motioned it to sit down patted its back, and stepped forward to look at the five people. Seeing that everyone had a thick layer of ashes on their faces as in the daytime, Murong Lingran went to draw a basin of water, Murong Zone quickly took it, tore a piece of cloth from one person, and rudely wiped them one by one drop their disguise. Just kidding, how could these people deserve his sister to wash their faces in person? Murong Lingran took the lantern closer and took a closer look. When he saw the appearance of the three of them, he suddenly raised his eyebrows. Murong Zhe also stepped forward to take a look, frowned, why are they two? The three brothers also stepped forward and looked at them. They only knew two of them. Murong Zong said, Dad, two are from the village, and the other three have never been seen before, so they should be from the outer village. Murong opened his mouth openly but did not reveal the identities of the other three. Murong Kwan thought that it was these people who stole his money and embarrassed him, so he stepped forward and kicked them several times. Feeling still off, he started greeting them in the face again. He stopped when he was tired, and said angrily, it's really abhorrent to actually gang up with outsiders to steal things from the people in your village. But they were too stupid. Uncle King he deliberately spread the news, and some people really came with other villagers at noon. And Dad just revealed a little bit of news and mocked them, and they took the bait. Well, today I know what it means to be stupid. Murong Zong and Murong Xian nodded at the same time, yes, it's really stupid. When Aaron told them about her plan, they thought it was too obvious. It was obviously a plan to invite June into the urn. There shouldn't be such a stupid thief. But I didn't expect the world to be so big, it's really all in one. After night fell, before Liwa village was completely quiet, they couldn't wait to throw themselves into the trap. And before they came, didn't they find out that their father was a doctor before? In the afternoon, under the guidance of Daddy, they quickly formulated the antidote such as cigarette smoke and sweat medicine. Those cigarette smoke blown into the house had no effect on them who took the antidote. What's more, they were not in the house at the time, and they took the antidote just to prevent them from sneaking up. I didn't expect them to be so useless, and they were all overwhelmed in three or two times. Mirange knew that no one is perfect, and some people think their family is pleasing to the eye, so there must be some people who are not pleasing to their family, because recruiting people to work has also offended some people. 
They had just arrived, and their luck has always been good. It didn't take long for them to earn too much money, and they would definitely be hated by people, let's do things according to the original plan. The three brothers said at the same time, Yes, Dad. Mirong glanced at Hamao, Hamao, I'll leave the rest to you. Wow. Okay. The next day, just as the sky was getting brighter, a group of people gathered under a big tree not far from Mirong Lingran's house, pointing at the people on the tree. After a closer look, the five people arrested at their house last night were all hung upside down from thick branches around a tree, their heads were only half a meter above the ground, their faces were facing outwards, and they were still in a drowsiness at this time. Chapter 275 Crazy Revenge It was spread by ten and ten at a time, and many villagers who liked to join in the fun gathered under the tree when they heard the news. Kuromao has been standing by the side, whenever anyone wants to approach, he will grin and scare people away. Why are these people hanging here? I don't know, I heard that it was five people who stole Murong's house yesterday, and they were hanged near Murong's house. They were also five people. Could it be they? Ah, the black hair is guarding here you may have guessed correctly. They succeeded once yesterday, and they thought they would go again at night, but they didn't expect to be planted. The villagers suddenly realized. It was almost time for the others to arrive, so Murong Zhe walked over slowly with his family. Li was seeing Murong Zhe coming, and asked in a daze, Ach, I heard when I came back yesterday, these are the thieves who entered your house to steal money. Murong Zhe nodded, Uncle Zhuang, that's them. For a while, the villagers began to discuss again. At this moment, the five people seemed to be woken up, one of them seemed to have not woken up, and actually started to get up, it's so noisy, shut up for me, and I'll tear your mouths to pieces. Everyone was stunned for a moment, and then there was an uproar. Haha, <laughs> these thieves don't seem to know their situation yet. Yeah, it's really stupid or else I wouldn't have been planted a second time. Yeah, it's really stupid, no wonder the owner scolded them in front of us yesterday, I said why the usually decent and gentle owner suddenly started scolding people, it turned out to be deliberately provoking them and wanting them to take the bait at night. When you said that, I also remembered. The owner dug the hole, and they jumped down obediently. There are still such stupid thieves in the world, and they are stupid together. Ha 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 ha! Listening to the ridicule of the crowd, the five hanging people immediately came back to their senses, thinking of what happened last night before falling asleep, their faces suddenly turned extremely ugly. They reacted before they fainted last night, is it necessary to remind them again? Let go of me, how dare you do this to me, when I am free, I will kill you. Yes, do you know who we are? Dare to be so rude to us don't you want to live? If you don't let us go, you will wait for the rest of the house in the future. Three people who were not from the village started shouting recklessly. The common people are not afraid of thieves, and generally do not dare to offend them easily. After all, they didn't kill anyone and set fire to them. According to the criminal law of Xianqing Kingdom, they would not be sentenced to death, at most, they would be punished in a large prison. Being in prison can range from a few months to a few years before being released, and they will definitely be furiously retaliated by that time. Murong smiled and walked to their side and shook, How are you? It's been so long, I didn't expect you to be so stubborn. Do you still know me? The three of them were stunned when they heard the familiar voice. They would never forget this demonic voice. It was because of this person that they were just released and suffered a lot in prison. One of the fat men suddenly lost the arrogant arrogance just now, looked at her flatteringly and said, Goo, girl, I didn't expect it to be such a coincidence that we meet again. Another tall man also said, Girl, why are you here? Chapter 277 How are you two? You guys are really promising. Usually you don't know how to steal and play tricks but now you have brought outsiders to the village to be thieves. You are very courageous, and you dare to sneak in and pick locks in broad daylight. 
Today if you don't give a good explanation, I'll let you go all the way. The villagers saw that the two people inside were so angry, and they went over to take a look out of curiosity. After seeing their faces clearly, two of them immediately changed their faces. In their line of sight just now, they could only see the fat man, the thin man and the tall man. They thought they were all from outside the village, so they didn't think much about it, but they didn't expect that the two inside were actually from the village. Chong Yong Song, Feng Jai Feng, why are you two? Zhuang King he said in shock. Murong's expression was indifferent. She had been in Liwa village for a few months, and there were many women who came to her house to work. She usually listened to a lot of gossip, and naturally she also heard about the two families. Chong Yong Song is the child of the Chong family in Liwa village. His father is Chong Wanbo, his mother is Pan Chunye, and he has a younger sister. Pan's in-laws died of illnesses one after another long before she got married. Her husband went hunting in the mountains when his son was four years old and his daughter was one year old. He encountered a big bear in the mountain and rolled down the hillside in panic. After being rescued, the doctor said that his waist was seriously injured and he could no longer get up, and has been paralyzed until now. Mr. Pan was alone with two young children and had to take care of her husband who was paralyzed in bed. You can imagine how difficult it was. Although the family has five acres of land, her husband is an only son and has no uncle to help her. When her husband had an accident, the children were small, so she couldn't do much work. Over the years, for her husband's medicine money and to keep her two children from starving, she gradually sold not a single mew of land left. She raised livestock and grew vegetables to live next to her. Life was very difficult. And Pan has been thinking about how to survive and how to raise two children every day these years, and he neglected to discipline the children. When Chong Yong Song grew up, he would run to the city every day for the past two years, and he could come back with some money every month. He told Mr. Pan that he earned it by working. MRS Pan was happy that her son could share the burden for herself, and even took it out and told people that she was going to end the hardships. But I didn't expect that in the time that followed, villagers gradually saw him mingling with the rogues in the city. Some people even saw him deliberately collide with someone, and then they were very skilled in the person's purse. Knew that she was not easy, so he came back and told her. After all, stealing is against the law, and there are dignitaries in the capital. If he steals from someone who shouldn't be stealing, he will definitely die, and she will definitely not be able to bear it. After hearing about it, MRS Pan also advised her son not to hang out with people with bad intentions, and not to do that kind of thing again, but every time his son promised her verbally and comforted her, in fact, he was always a rogue. Everyone in the village knows that Chong Yong Song is a scoundrel, but he has never harmed his village before. Another person, Feng Jai Feng, was the eldest son of the Feng family in the village. He had a good personality and was obedient. But when he grew up and went to the city, he was fascinated by the wealth in the city. He didn't work hard every day, and he tried to make a quick money by taking crooked ways. For some reason, he got mixed up with Chong Yong Song. My father is Feng Wenbo. Because he has read books for a few years, he works as a cashier in a restaurant in the city. He leaves early and returns late every day. Chapter 278 Reporter S. Mother is Gao's sister, Xiao Gao. At this moment, MRS Pan stepped forward to look at the hanging sun, wiped his tears and said, Yong Song, how can you do such a stupid thing, now it's all right, you'll be arrested, I told you not to be with you before. They mixed together, you see, isn't this an accident? What do you ask A Niang to do? Chong Yong Song couldn't bear to look at A Niang's tearful face, and said expressionlessly, I'm unlucky to be caught, you quickly ask them to let me go. Chong Yong Song Do you know that A Niang stays in the village all day long and can't see her with the Murong family? If you do this, where will A Niang go? Pan roared. Chong Yong Song said indifferently, just ignore them. You. 
Pan couldn't help crying, woo-hoo-hoo, woo-hoo-hoo. Some soft-hearted women hurriedly stepped forward to comfort him. Although his son was an asshole, everyone in the village could see MRS Pan's behavior. She has taken care of her paralyzed husband for more than ten years without remarrying, and she has worked hard to bring up the child. In these years, she has never quarreled with anyone, blushed and offended anyone. Whoever needs help often takes the initiative to help, honestly live the life of duty, and the character will not be too bad. Xiao Gao also stepped forward to confirm it just now. She was not angry for her son to be a thief, but looked at his blushing and obviously injured face from hanging upside down all night, and said with a distressed expression, Son, does it hurt? Knew that it was her son hanging here, and she would not have watched the lively for so long just now. Feng Jai Feng suddenly said aggrieved, Auntie, I hurt so much, but it's nothing, can you let them put me down first, my head is so uncomfortable, it feels like it's going to explode after hanging it all night. Xiao Gao hurriedly said, Okay, 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 A Niang, let me put you down. After finished speaking, he looked at Mirong Zhe with a cold face, Did you hang your son up? Now, let me go immediately. Mirong Lingran looked at her self-righteous expression and her face suddenly sank, and said in a cold tone, Let him go? Stealing my house twice is just a word from you. It's not that easy. Xiao Gao said arrogantly, What evidence do you have that my son stole money from your family? Then I can also say that you used lynching to kidnap and beat my son for no reason. Mirong raised his eyebrows. Just because our family arrested the five of them yesterday and got them, can't we prove it? Xiao Gao said arrogantly, no. Mirong Lingran didn't want to talk nonsense with her anymore, so she turned her head and said, Brother, let's report to the official. When we arrive at the official mansion, the official master will call the shots for us. The official master is fair and honest, I don't believe it anymore, it's obvious that our family is a victim. When the time comes, Master Guan will help the five of them speak. Mirong Zong glanced at them coldly, nodded and said, Yes, the carriage is ready, I'll go and fetch it. Feng Jai Feng's expression changed suddenly, he had heard Fatty talk about the situation in the prison. Not only do I have only one meal a day, but it is often sour and my stomach hurts. And when you go in, you will be hit with dozens of large boards first. If you get hurt, you can't get a doctor. It's more painful than death. I heard that the people inside will tell the truth unconsciously, and those who don't recruit will also be beaten. At that time, he may not have the luck of being fat and they will be able to come out alive. Chapter 279 Lookout Auntie, save me, I don't want to go to the prison, I will definitely die if I go in. Feng Jai Feng said in fear. Chong Yong Song began to beg for mercy when he heard that he was going to be sent to the official, just please let me go, I promise not to do it again in the future, please, don't send me to prison. Pan also pleaded, I know my son is a jerk, but I am the only son. If he is thrown into prison, and if he dies, my husband and I will not be able to live, so I ask you to be gracious. Forgive him this time. As long as he is not sent to office, I will do anything for you. Li Zheng thought of MRS Pan's paralyzed husband, if he wanted to let him know that his son had stolen someone from the village, he would definitely be off, and sighed, Ach, I know it's a little bit for you to forgive him. Excessive, but I still want to ask you to spare Chong Yong Song this time, not because of Chong Yong Song, but for the sake of his parents. And Feng Jai Feng for the sake of the same village, but also for the reputation of the village. You can mention any conditions, and I will supervise them to fulfill them one by one for you, okay? Mirong Zhe glanced at his daughter, and saw Mirong Lingran said lightly, it's okay if we don't pursue them, but it depends on their next performance. If we are satisfied, we can consider it. R.I. knew that they were going to investigate the inside story, and motioned them to continue. Mirong said slowly, First, tell me who is the mastermind who came to steal our house. 
Chong Yong Song thought that Murong Lingran would let them go if he knew the truth, and immediately confessed Feng Jai Feng. Fatty and other three other villagers also interjected from time to time. It turns out that since Xiao Gao was not selected to work in the Murong family, he cursed the Murong family at home every day, and even told the family to stay away from the Murong family. Feng Jai Feng really wanted to avenge her mother, wanted to teach the Murong family a lesson, and complained to Chong Yong Song several times. But Murong's family was always full of people. Later, there was a dog, and he never found a chance. Yesterday, he ate breakfast and came to Murong's house as usual to stare. He saw that the whole family had gone out, the dog didn't seem to be at home, and the three of them happened to be nearby. The Murong family was looted. After picking the lock and entering, Chong Yong Song was in charge of Wang Feng, and the four of them went inside to steal. I just didn't expect that every room in their house was locked, so it took a lot of time to unlock every door. They pried into four rooms and searched at random. Just after they found ten tails of silver, Chong Yong Song saw Murong Lingran's carriage coming back from a distance, and quickly told them to leave. That's what they saw when they came back. That scene. Chong Yong Song said dejectedly, That's it, the mastermind is not me, I am just in charge of watching the wind, and the mouse meat was also prepared by Feng Jai Feng. Murong glanced at Feng Jai Feng and sneered, So that's it, Feng Jai Feng, do you agree with what they said? Does Feng Jai Feng dare to say that he does not agree at this time? Everyone said it was him, he could only nod his head. Xiao Gao's face suddenly hated iron and steel, and this kind of thing can't be admitted to death. Murong Lingran said again, Since this is the case, then I will say my second request. Yesterday our family lost a total of ten tails of silver. You guys rummaged through the boxes, and soiled the clothes I just bought for my family. No, it took a lot of effort to wash it clean. Last night, our family didn't sleep much, and today's spirit is not very good, and the body is injured. Therefore, I want you to not only return what you stole, but also give ten tails of silver as spiritual compensation, a total of two ten tails of silver. Chapter 280 More Excessive Requirements Xiao Gao thought of losing a lot of money, and immediately forgot that his son was the mastermind, and roared dissatisfiedly, You black-hearted girl, you actually want to get ten tails of silver for nothing, you might as well go grab it. Murong said calmly, What are you worried about? This is just a condition for me to agree to let Chong Yong Song go, not a condition for letting go of your son. Xiao Gao was stunned for a moment, and immediately closed his mouth in embarrassment. Originally wanted to invite her uncles and brothers to come and grab it, but she glanced at the dog beside her, and it was estimated that this idea would not work, after all, she also heard that all three of their sons knew martial arts. Even the thief can be caught if he wants to, and the uncle and brother come over and expect to be beaten. Also began to feel uneasy in his heart. Just now everyone said that her son was the mastermind. It is estimated that this black-hearted girl will definitely make more excessive demands. Chong Yong Song said anxiously, Yesterday I only divided two tails of silver, how can I not let me all out, and there are four of them. I will give you four tails of silver, and you can find four of them for the rest. Yes, okay. Okay. As for the three other villagers, if they can't get the money, then she has a way to get it back from them. Chong Yong Song said again, the money we shared yesterday should not be used yet. It's in our respective arms. Come and get it. The three Murong's own brothers started to search their bodies, but none of them dared to complain, and let them search their whole bodies. They had already searched once last night, so they knew exactly where the money was, and it didn't take long for them to collect all the money they had. No more, no less exactly twelve tails. Mirong frowned and said, What else? Chong Yong Song said, Auntie, give her my two tails. Pan's face immediately flushed red, and his lips trembled as he said, I, how can I get two tails of silver, can, can I owe it first? Mirong nodded, 
looking like he was very good at talking, it's okay to owe, just write an IOU. Pan said embarrassedly, yes. Murong Lingran asked the eldest brother to enter the room and write out the IOU according to her request, and added, this IOU says that if the two tails cannot be repaid within two months, it will be doubled by then, and after that. If you can't repay it in two months, that is, after four months, it will double, and if it doesn't, I will let you know in advance. Mr. Pan struggled for a while, and for the sake of his son, he had no choice but to say, yes. By then, she has sold all the pigs in the family. Although it is not yet time for the slaughter, she should be able to collect enough money. Murong Lingran stepped forward to collect the money, asked her to draw a bet, and put all the money in the bag. Chong Yong Song said dejectedly, Can you put me down now? Murong Lingran said with a cold face, What are you panicking? Things haven't been played yet. As soon as he finished speaking, Murong Zong took five confessions and read them in front of them. After reading them, he confirmed, the above are all your crimes, right? The five didn't dare to say anything of resistance, and all nodded. Murong Zong looked at the three other villagers separately, report me their real names one by one. The three didn't dare to think carefully, after all, the government had their records, and they couldn't be fooled by lying, so they had to say their names truthfully. Fatty said, my name is Zhou Daxing. The tall man said, My name is Zhou Erxing. Xiaozi said, My name is Zhou Sangzing. Are you three brothers? The three nodded at the same time, Yes. Chapter 281 Lion's Big Opening Murong Zong added their names after inquiring about the specific characters. Murong Xian dyed their thumbs red with ink pad, grabbed their hands and pressed their fingerprints on the five confessions. Chong Yong Song was hanged overnight, his body hurt by the rope, and he said anxiously, Can you let me down now? Aren't the five of you good brothers? You should be blessed and suffer together, and I will release them together later. After Murong finished speaking, he looked at Xiao Gao again with a sullen face, and his cold eyes suddenly shot out a cold light. Xiao Gao's hair stood up when she saw her sharp eyes, she was obviously just a ten year old girl. Why did she feel that this girl looked like a ghost from hell? Just when she thought what Murong Lingran was going to do to her, she saw Murong Lingran said in a cold tone, Aunt Xia Jao, I didn't know you had so many complaints against our family, we don't want you to work, that's you. The one who offends our family is the first to fall into the trap, and since we hate our family so much, it is not easy for our family to let your son go. After all, your son is the mastermind, so I give you two choices. Either, we will send your son to office, or, in addition to the four tails of silver we just mentioned, we will give my family twenty tails of silver, a total of twenty-four tails. You choose one. Li Zheng nodded in agreement, she knew that A Ran was already looking at his face to open up the internet. Don't let Xiao Gao feel distressed once, she can't be cruel to discipline her son. Murong Zhe didn't object, and if he dared to steal their house, there should be consequences. Xiao Gao was immediately startled by Murong Lingran's lion's mouth, and said in disbelief, What did you just say? How much do you want? Murong smiled mockingly, I believe you haven't reached the point of deafness and blindness. Xiao Gao's anger, impossible, twenty-four tails of silver, such a large sum of money is enough for our family's household for several years, I can't give it to you. No? Then you choose to send officials. Feng Jai Feng panicked and said, Auntie, the money I gave you in the past adds up to more than twenty-four tails. Didn't Dad also give you money every month? If you don't have enough money, go to your uncle's house to borrow some. Come and pay it back, you can give it to her. Xiao Gao hurriedly said, Son, don't worry, she is just to scare us, she would never dare to send you to officialdom, their family is a sinner and was forgiven, those officials will never believe their words. Murong Lingran's face suddenly sank, and he actually looked down on them. Don't you believe us? Look at the vegetables in my field, 
and I believe you know how good they are. Think about it again, why did the Xiang family in the capital seize my land and finally became my friend, helping me to debunk my uncle's conspiracy that day? Do you think that if we didn't have a little backing behind us, we would be able to do business in the capital so smoothly for several months? As soon as her voice fell, not only did Xiao Gao's face turn pale instantly, but even the rest of the villagers looked at each other in dismay. Yes, they have been ignoring an important issue. They have all heard the story of the bookman telling the story of guilt. With such a good vegetable field in hand, their family has been safe and sound, and their wealth is prosperous. The backer behind them must be a very powerful official. The figures of two tall and handsome young masters immediately flashed in Lichun's mind. The backers she said should be the two of them. Chapter 282 Gold Chain Murong glanced at the surprised expressions of the villagers and was very satisfied. Their family has been in the limelight since they came to Luwa village, and they have also offended some people. Take advantage of today's good opportunity to beat them well. If you want to beat their family's idea, you must carefully measure whether you have enough weight. Feng Jifeng was horrified when he heard the words, Yes, I heard that someone was going to rob their house, but then I don't know why it suddenly stopped, and no one ever bothered their house again. I heard that on the day of their housewarming, several people with unusual identities came and sent many precious gifts. Feng Jifeng became more and more scared the more he thought about it, why didn't he think of this? If he knew that her family had such a strong backer, he wouldn't dare to do anything to their family. Auntie, agree to her request, or she will definitely let her patron kill me in prison. Xiao Gao obviously also thought of it, and his forehead suddenly covered with cold sweat, and hurriedly said, OK, I. I'll go back to collect money, you wait. While Xiao Gao went back to get the silver, Murong Lingran's eyes were on the three Zhou brothers. Fatty Zhou Daxing happened to be facing Murong Lingran face to face, and when he saw her, his eyes were like a concubine. Murong raised his eyebrows, each of you still misses us two tails of silver. Zhou Daxing gritted his teeth and said, there is a gold chain around my neck. Although it is a little thinner, it is worth six tails of silver. Murong Zong stepped forward and stretched out his hand to probe it. He really found a gold chain and weighed it. It was indeed worth six tails of silver. Isn't this also stolen goods? If it is stolen goods, you can't use it for me. Zhou Daxing said with a bitter face, this. This is indeed a certain person we robbed in the past. He has been hiding in the ground. After I was released from prison, I dug it out and took it with me to make people look good, but we don't have any other money. You can just take it for a while. There are so many people here to prove it to you, no one will say that you are thieves. That's true. Murong nodded succinctly, finding someone to melt it again, brothers, what do you think we should do with them? Murong Zong said lightly, I beat him, and I scolded him. The other two can be spared for the time being because they are all in the same village, but the three of them should be sent to the government for disposal. Murong Zhe nodded, that's right. Let's send him off. The three brothers were startled, but they didn't expect that they would still send themselves to office, and started to think of a way in a hurry. At this moment, Mrs. Gao came over with the silver in a hurry, stuffed them into Murong Lingran's arms, pouted and said, Here, can you let my son go now? Murong Lingran untied the cloth bag and glanced at it briefly. Seeing that the number was correct, he nodded to the elder brother. The three Murong Zong brothers stepped forward and put down all five of them. MRS Pan and MRS Gao hurried forward to untie their son's rope, pulling them and wanting to leave, but Murong Lingran didn't like what they wanted. Seeing her indifferently said, if you want to take revenge on our family in the future, or let me see you doing wrong and attack other villagers, then don't blame me for being rude, I will hand over this confession. To the government, I believe you understand what the consequences will be. Chapter 283 Tongue Cut, Hands and Feet Crippled Mr. Pan nodded quickly, Yes, we know, I will discipline him well. 
Xiao Gao also assured, I will take good care of him in the future. Mirong Ling Ran stared at Chang Yong Song and Feng Jai Fang again, I will put the confession in my city friends, and you don't want to steal it again, or you will know the consequences. Li Chen also admonished, if you dare to do another bad thing in the future, I will drive your whole family out of the village, you know. Chang Yong Song and Feng Jai Fang were startled, how dare they, they nodded immediately, yes, yes, we dare not again. Mirong Zhe said, let's go. The four of them ran away as if they were escaping for their lives. After the three Zhou brothers were put down, they knelt down with a bang, regardless of the ropes still tied to their bodies. Zhou Daxing begged, girl, don't send us to office, you only need to forgive us this time, we are willing to be a cow or a horse for you, you already have our confession in your hands, that is, you have our weakness. We dare not seek revenge from you. That's right. Zhou Erxing also said, that prison is really not a place for people, really don't send us in again, as long as we don't send us to prison, let us do whatever we want. Zhou Sangzing also prayed, girls, it's all right, all the young masters. It's our first time to burglary. In the past, at most, we just ordered money bags and robbed passers-by. People. When we were in prison last time, we had already recruited them all. We were punished for everything we did before. Coming to the girls' house was the first bad thing we did after we got out of prison. Please forgive us this time. Mirong Lingran looked at them crying bitterly and sneered in his heart. If she hadn't put all the money in the space, their family still doesn't know what the tragedy is. Thinking that their family's hard-earned money was almost gone, Mirong Lingran said coldly, Brother, let's go to the official. Okay, Aaron. The three Zhou brothers pleaded at the same time, Girl. Mirong Zone gave them a stern look, Shut up. If you talk again, I'll cut your tongues off, your hands and feet will be crippled, and they will all be thrown into the river to feed the fish. The three brothers immediately shrank their necks and did not dare to say a word, for fear of angering them. Mirong Zone was just wanting his younger brothers to watch them, he went to bring the carriage over, and before he could say anything, he heard the sound of horse hooves coming from the front. Not long after, a luxurious carriage was parked in front of their house, and behind the carriage were eight guards on horseback. Then two young and handsome young men walked down quickly from above, immediately attracting everyone's attention. The two looked at the gate after they came down, and then looked under the tree not far away, saw a familiar figure, and walked over slowly. Mirong Zhe quickly stepped forward and said, Ninth young master, Wei young master, why are you here? Although the weather was getting cooler, Helian Rongju still carried the folding fan, shook it, and said with a light smile, Nothing happened in the morning, and tomorrow morning, I was idle when I was idle, so I just wanted to come out for a walk. It's just that it didn't seem to be a coincidence that you came here today, and your family seems to be in trouble. Mirong Ling Ran sighed silently, how could all the people who knew her family show up on the day when something happened to their family? Just really because it's so easy to figure it out? Glanced at the three Zhou brothers, Mirong Ling Ran suddenly looked at Helian Rongju with a resentful expression. Chapter 284 is only half. Helian Rongju was stunned for a moment, he had never seen Mirong Lingran look at him with such eyes, raised his eyebrows and said, Girl, are you playing on my mind? Mirong Lingran almost jumped up at his ambiguous words, but he didn't dare to get angry with him, so he had to tell him what the three Zhou brothers did with a trace of complaint. Helian Rongju slammed the folding fan away, and recalled the punishment for robbery in the criminal law. It seems that if the circumstances are not serious, they will be released after being locked up for a few months. When Ziyu and Zeke sent these three people in, he didn't want to make extra troubles, and he didn't reveal his identities. However, as soon as they were released, they started to do evil. It seems that a few months will not teach them a lesson at all, but it will also encourage their arrogance. Helian Rongju whispered a few words to Wei Jingxian. Wei Jingxian nodded from time to time. 
Mirong Lingran saw that the two big men were actually biting their ears in broad daylight, an idea suddenly flashed through his mind, and his whole body trembled all of a sudden, absolutely impossible. Just when she couldn't bear it, Helian Rongju suddenly looked at her and said, it's better to leave these people to me to help you deal with them. Mirong raised his eyebrows, I can't ask for it, but, isn't it like last time that I didn't get a lesson and I was let out again? Helian Rong choked and gritted his teeth, don't worry, I won't give them a chance to come and seek revenge from you again. Oh, all right. Although Mirong Lingran believed him, but Helian Rongju felt that she didn't trust him at all, and she felt depressed, Jing Xian, they handed it over to you. Yes, Brother Ju. Wei Jing Xian beckoned behind him, and the four of them stepped forward and came to the side of the three Zhou brothers. The three Zhou brothers saw that the person who arrested them last time was standing not far away, and knew that there was definitely no room for negotiation. After and others were taken away, the villagers immediately dispersed when they saw that there was no fun to watch. Lichen stayed, looking at Mirong Lingran's guests, he was a little hesitant to say anything. Mirong Lingran knew that there was news about her request for him a few days ago, and there was nothing to hide. He smiled and said, Grandpa Lichhen, just tell me straight, they don't matter. Li Zheng saw that she didn't mind, so he said bluntly, Aaron, you said a few days ago that you wanted to buy more wasteland and the small barren mountain you mentioned, I'll help you go to the government and ask about the wasteland in Liwa village. You can buy it as you like, but the official said that only half of the small desolate mountain has not yet been traded, but the other half has already been owned, and if you want to buy it now, you can only buy the remaining half. The other half has a master? Who is the master? People in the government dare not say it, they only say that the owner of the half of the barren hills can't be offended by ordinary people. Mirong frowned, half of it is better than none at all, and gratefully said, then let's find a time to buy the half. Okay, when you have time, Grandpa Lichhen will accompany you when the time comes. Yes. Thank you Grandpa Lichhen. After Li Zheng left, Helian Rongju noticed that a dog had been following Mirong Lingran's side, and asked in confusion, This is your dog? When did you raise it? He didn't seem to be here last time, right? That's right, I met it by chance on the mountain. I thought it was fate, so I kept it. Hei Mao was repeatedly said to be a dog, and he didn't want to explain it. This man was obviously helping his master, and he felt that this man was not something he could provoke, and he knew that he didn't care about him. Chapter 285 The Emperor's Child Guarded all night, it was also tired, yawned a lot, and went into the room on its own, without even leaving a look. Helian Rongju said in surprise, this dog has a big physique and seems to have a big temper. Mirong Lingran suddenly burst into laughter. I let the cold wind blow outside all night, and I'm not in a good mood. Ninth young master, please sit inside too. Helian Rongju didn't ask any more questions. Just as he was about to enter the door, he suddenly thought of something and asked in confusion, Girl, you just said you wanted to buy a mountain, which mountain is it? Mirong Lingran motioned him to follow her to the distance, and then pointed to the small desolate mountain on the upper left to show him. It's there, I originally wanted to use all of them to plant fruit trees, but I didn't expect only half of them, then it's only half the crop. Xianqing Kingdom stipulated that only grain and vegetables can be grown in the wasteland reclaimed from the flat land, and fruit trees cannot be planted on the wasteland, so she thought of buying a barren mountain. And the small desolate mountain is not far from her home, so it is easy to take care of. Helian Rongju raised her eyebrows as she looked at the small barren mountain, you want to plant fruit trees? As far as I know, your family's income per day has caught up with the rest of the villagers for several years. Are you still short of money? Mirong Lingran said bluntly, Black, money is a good thing. How many rich people in this world dare to say that they are not short of money? Even the emperor's child must be short of money. Mirong Zhe's expression suddenly changed when he heard her name, he looked nervously at Helian Rongju, 
and saw that he didn't seem to hear clearly, Girl, what did you call the emperor just now? Murong was stunned for a moment, but his body froze when he reacted. Helian Rongju slammed her head and said helplessly, It's okay to talk in front of me, don't talk nonsense in front of other people, otherwise I can't save you, understand? Understood. Murong Zhe breathed a sigh of relief. The three brothers also let go of their hearts. They were really afraid that the ninth son would go to the imperial court to file a complaint. Helian Rongju raised her feet and walked into the house, thinking of the name she was called just now, she was actually called Xiaor by a girl younger than him, and she couldn't help turning around. Murong followed closely behind him, not knowing that he would suddenly turn around, and slammed into the folding fan he was holding on his chest. But this person's folding fan doesn't know why it's not made of wood, it's like cold iron, and her head is instantly stunned. Helian Rongju saw the red mark on her head, and sighed, Does the bump hurt? Murong shook his head, It hurts, but it's nothing, I'm not that vulnerable. Murong Zhe always felt that something was wrong when he saw Helian Rongju's tone of speaking to his daughter. But after thinking about it carefully, I think it is impossible, after all, the identities of the two are very different. Helian Rongju's own fan accidentally hurt someone, so he can't say anything to blame. He knew that Murong's family was very busy every day now, especially Murong Zhe would be uncomfortable knowing his identity, so he asked Murong Lingran to accompany him by himself, and let her father and brothers go down to do their own thing. Murong Zong was naturally worried that his sister was talking to the two big men alone. He was about to say that he would stay too, but when he saw his father shaking his head, he had to do things obediently. Helian Rongju struttingly sat in the main room, looked at the furniture and furnishings in the entire room, turned his head and asked curiously, Girl, what fruit trees are you planning to plant on the barren hills? Chapter 286 Prodigal Son Murong, who was rubbing his head, said lightly, What to grow for money, and what to grow for good? Are you sure you can make money? Murong Lingran thought he was looking down on her, and his face showed dissatisfaction, Young Master Ju, look at my vegetable business, isn't it good now? However, there is a part of your help in it, and the little girl is grateful. You really appreciate me? Yes, our whole family is deeply grateful for your kindness and virtue. Helian Rongju smiled and said loudly, do you really want the other half of the mountain? Naturally. Murong Lingran looked at him with a complacent look, and said suspiciously, Young Master Ju, don't you say that you know the owner of the other half of the mountain, and you can let him resell it to me. Helian Rongju coughed lightly and suddenly puffed out his chest, What's so difficult about this, it's just a sentence. Murong Lingran's eyes suddenly lit up, hurriedly poured a cup of tea, brought it to him in person, and said with a flat face, Ninth young master, you are only eight times tall and wise, can you please help convince that person? That barren mountain is neither big nor small, but if it is only half of it, it is too small. It was rare for Helian Rongju to see her flattering herself and took the tea from her hand in a funny way, but she didn't intend to embarrass her, she said cheerfully, Okay, it's not difficult that half of the mountain is worthless, so I will too. If you don't have any money, I'll send it to you directly. Murong said in a stunned manner, give it to me directly. No other request. So easy to give her half the mountain? Is there such a good thing in the world? Prodigal son, if she were Ju Gongs's parents, she would definitely be off. Even if he is rich, this is not the way to send it. Naturally. Helian Rongju raised his eyebrows and said, My son is rich and powerful, and he is only half a mountain. For the sake of acquaintance, I will send you directly. Murong said suspiciously, Ninth young master, don't you have some ghostly idea in your heart? How did you talk? Helian Rongju glared at her, My son's life is so valuable, you should be my son to repay your father's life-saving grace. He didn't forget the look in her eyes when she received the silver note from Xiangjie last time. He is richer than Xiangjie, 
how can he be compared with him? Young Master Ju has helped our family so much, the life-saving grace has long since been repaid. Helian Rong was furious. He actually had a day when he couldn't send the things he wanted to send, and said angrily, Since you feel ashamed, then pay for it, and I'll sell it to the government for whatever price you want. What's your price, okay? Mirong Lingran's eyes lit up and nodded excitedly, It's so good, so good, I'll pay for it. You don't get paid for no merit, and you can only use it if you buy it with your own money. Helian Rongju was speechless for a while, so don't spend money to buy it for her, this is the first time he has seen such a person. The two discussed the time to meet at the government tomorrow, and then Helian Rongju explained the purpose of his coming to her house. He specially came to invite her to make cakes. It turns out that the Queen Mother had been thinking about it since she ate the cake last time, and she said it when she was chatting with a few concubines. The concubines had never eaten pastries made of eggs, so they asked the Queen Mother to let them eat it once. The Queen Mother was reluctant to let the king of a country go out of the palace to find food for these people who have been jealous of her for a lifetime. It is really shameful. Chapter 287 Not Afraid to Offend Him Unexpectedly, after Helian Rongju found out, not only did he not feel troublesome, but he was very happy. He said that the Queen Mother also liked to eat it anyway. The Queen Mother felt a little better when she heard this, and reluctantly agreed to let him out. Bake a cake. Well, the old lady wants to invite a few female relatives to eat, so I want to invite you to cook some. Mirong's shrewd eyes rolled, and suddenly he said very seriously, Ninth young master, making cakes is time-consuming and laborious, and the ingredients are hard to find. I also got them by accident. I don't have much for the time being. Helian Rongju shook his head amusingly, is he the kind of person who eats and drinks for free and only knows how to take people's property? Don't worry, you won't lose your money, you can make a price. Mirong stretched out five fingers. Helian Rongju raised his eyebrows, 500 wen? It's not expensive. Mirong shook his head, it's the same size as the last time, and it's five tails apiece. Helian Rongju said in surprise, five tails. Wei Jing Xian also frowned and said, five tails is too expensive. Mirong Lingran spread out his hands helplessly, the ingredients for the cake are really hard to find, and it's extremely complicated to make, and I've run out of these ingredients, so I have to find a way to replace them. Method The two ingredients that I made for Ju Gongza last time were the ingredients I bought in my previous life, and it was too late to change it now. If the space in the space is used up, and if they still want to eat, she will have to grow wheat and corn homemade cake mix in the space, and try to make it taste the same. If she can't do it, she has no choice but to reduce the taste. If they disliked it, she wouldn't do it if it was a big deal. Anyway, she would be busy enough with Xia Huangshan's affairs by then, so she probably wouldn't have time to do it. Helian Rongju sighed, this unconscionable little girl, they are so familiar with them, and they still charge him so much, and they are not afraid of offending him and not selling her half the mountain. Five tails of silver he could afford, and the taste of the cake was really worth it, so he had to say, Okay, just do as you said, and make ten for me this time. Wei Jing Xian immediately handed her a fifty tail silver note. Mirong Ling Ran took it, looked at it, and put it into his satchel with a smile. Not bad, if he comes to order ten every day, then she will earn fifty tails of money just by making cakes every day, with a sincere face of assurance. Ninth young master, don't worry, I will definitely do better than last time. It's also exquisite, and it won't let you spend this money in vain. Helian Rongju laughed suddenly, isn't this what it should be? After speaking, Mirong Lingran just thought that the kitchen was busy, and suddenly turned around and said, Master Wei, would you like to buy some to try? Wei Jing Xian said lightly, no. He is not interested in desserts, and his mother and sister rarely eat them. And both the ninth brother and the queen mother have only eaten it once, which is what the queen mother likes very much. 
The girl just said that the ingredients are hard to find, and they will be gone after eating. He dare not grab it with the Queen Mother. Murong Lingran was not too disappointed, after all, it took a lot of time to beat eggs and whipped cream for these ten cakes. Helian Rongju and Wei Jingxian had nothing to do, so they followed her to the kitchen, where Murong Lingran poured them a cup of tea on the stone table next to them and left them alone. Men may be born with little interest in the kitchen, and they feel boring after watching it for a while. Chapter 288 No Promise Glimpsed that some of the fruit trees in her backyard were already bearing fruit. He walked under the tree and looked at it carefully, then raised his eyebrows, Jing Xian, are the fruits you've seen before growing so good? Wei Jing Xian shook his head, no, the ones here are bigger and better looking. Helian Rongju touched his chin, after I met this girl, I always have a feeling that I have lived in vain for more than ten years. Some time ago, he also received several fruits from her, but he knew that she must have gone to Wuming Mountain to pick them again. After all, they just arrived, and even if they were planted, they would not be able to mature so quickly. So although it was delicious, the Queen Mother also asked him to find time to bring her some back home. He knew that their family was busy with business and didn't want this girl to work too hard, so they all refused. But he didn't expect that as long as it passed through her hands, whether it was vegetables or fruits, not only did it taste completely different from what he had eaten before, but the company was also different from what he knew. The imperial doctor said that eating more fruits is good for the body. He didn't like it at all before, but after eating the cherries she sells, he gradually likes it now. Wei Jingxian nodded in agreement, me too. Seeing that some of the fruits were heavy, as if they were about to ripen soon, Helian Rongju thought about it for a moment and looked at each tree before returning to the stool and sitting down. This time, I received money, so after making it, Murong Lingran was in a good mood and decorated the edges of each cake, and decorated it with fruit. Originally wanted to make a flower, but she only had white cream, she was afraid that they would be taboo to make a flower, so she gave up the idea. After a while, Murong Lingran finally finished all ten cakes, put them in the food box they brought, and put them in front of Helian Rongju, ninth young master, if you can, give it to me. Introduce customers. Although Daddy was worried that ninth young master would tire of them and that he would no longer be their backer in the future, she was not worried at all. There is a very popular saying in the past life, to grab a man's heart, you must grab his stomach, although they are not that kind of feelings, but the truth should be the same. Judging from the special visit of young Master Ju today, just because he was so obsessed with what she made and liked her cooking skills, she felt that no matter what happened so far, young Master Ju should protect her. Introduce customers. Yup. Okay, okay. Said yes, but Helian Rongju didn't agree in his heart. He also saw part of how this girl made this cake just now. It was indeed very complicated and laborious as she said. He felt very uncomfortable when he thought that what she had worked so hard to make had to be eaten by other men. And she also said that this ingredient is hard to find, and after eating it, you have to find other substitutes. The Queen Mother is still thinking about it, how could he let others eat such a delicious food, so that the Queen Mother can't eat it in the future? She wants to make money, he will come to buy it often in the future he has money. Murong Lingran saw that Helian Rongju still didn't want to leave after taking the cake, so he asked in doubt, Ninth young master, what else is there? Helian Rongju said what he had just seen. Young master Ju means you want to bring some vegetables from my backyard to eat at the same time. Well, I think the fruit on several trees seems to be ripening soon. Don't worry, I will buy it from you with the money. Chapter 289 Unbearable Murong Lingran hesitated and said, Ninth young master, you can sell it, it's the price. Don't worry, this gentleman is someone who knows the goods. Your planting is really good. As long as the taste is good and the price is not excessive, this gentleman can accept it. Murong nodded again and again, Okay, as long as I'm mature, I'll do what you said. By the way, 
young master Wei, do you want to buy some for Madam Wei too? Helian Rongju hurriedly said, Yes, Jingxian, buy some for your mother, didn't she like the cherries this girl sold last time? Ninth brother said so, Wei Jingxian was not easy to refuse, well, I will explain to the people below when I go back. Then it's settled. Helian Rongju's movements were fast, and when she arrived at the gate of the official mansion the next day, Zikwa was waiting for her with the land deed for the other half of the hill. Therefore, after Murong Lingran bought all the remaining half of the mountain, she integrated the land deed into one, and wrote her name. When I came, Dad said that everything in the family is her credit, and no one in their family is qualified to write their name on it except her. He also said that the fifty acres of land and barren hills bought this time will be her dowry. She felt that everyone's name was the same, and they belonged to the family anyway. She is only ten years old, and she is only eleven years old. She is still too early to marry, and she will definitely have other family properties in the future. It will be enough to write their names at that time, and she has not refused, so today it is only her and Lee is coming. The small barren mountain cost her two hundred tails of silver, and the fifty acres of land cost her two hundred and fifty tails. After the land deed was settled, Murong Lingran went around to look around. After searching for a long time, he couldn't find anyone selling fruit trees. He bought some gifts for Li Zheng, and then returned to Liwa village. The wasteland near Murong Lingran's house had been almost bought by her the previous two times so this time only part of the 50 acres of wasteland was next to the 20 acres of land she bought the second time, but the rest were not scattered. Next to her small barren mountain. Although it is a little troublesome at the foot of the mountain, to guard against the beasts that go down the mountain because they can't find food in winter, but she is near her house, so she can see it at a glance, and it is convenient for her to walk there. Murong Lingran gave the matter of land reclamation to a few brothers. They had already done it anyway, so she was not worried. Because the fifty acres of land and hills need a lot of seeds and saplings, now Murong Lingran takes Hamao up the mountain whenever he has time. After picking the medicine, he goes into the space and starts to prepare the seeds and saplings. As before, the seeds are in the same bottle, so she doesn't need to worry about it at all. As for the fruit saplings, in addition to the ones that she bought in the past life, there were quite a few of various types left. But it is impossible to plant the whole mountain, even adding the saplings from Xianqing Kingdom that I bought last time is not enough. Seeing that the master was in a bad mood, Kuromao didn't dare to sway in front of her, so he found a place to stay silently, watching the master quietly. Ugh! When he heard Murong Lingran sigh for the eighth time, God Lord Changi finally couldn't bear it any more. How could this silly girl become the master of his space? Girl! Murong Lingran was thinking attentively, whether to go to other villages or to the next door to the capital to have a look, if not, whether to use the seeds from the fruits to directly plant them in the space and try to see if they can germinate. Chapter 290 I heard that saplings bred from seeds are also called seedlings. If the seedlings are not grafted, even if they bear fruit, they will bear late, poor quality and low yield. But she can be planted in space first, and if she grows up in the black land of space, there shouldn't be those problems. But there is too little land to plant in the space now, and she needs a lot of saplings. When one seed after another grows to the fruiting stage and then pulls it out, she can predict how hard she will be in the future. Was fascinated by his thoughts, so he answered absent-mindedly, I'm here. Shenzhen Changi said with a proud face, Are you stupid? What did I say when I gave you the same bottle? Murong sighed and said, I didn't forget, you said that the same bottle can reproduce the seeds of vegetables, fruits and medicinal materials, but my fruit trees have become saplings, not seeds. Not seeds but they are derived from seeds and are essentially seeds. Murong Lingran asked a new question, but your bottle is too small, I can't even put it in if I want to copy it. You'll know if you try it. Murong frowned. Could it be that this bottle is like the treasures of the gods in Journey to the West, 
and things can become smaller when they go in? Mirong Lingran found the smallest sapling and threw it into the mouth of the bottle tentatively, and then something miraculous happened. Seeing that the bottom of the sapling still covered in mud just touched the mouth of the bottle, the sapling disappeared in front of her. I quickly picked up the bottle and took a look. I really saw the sapling that had shrunk several times and lay at the bottom of the bottle. This, this, really, really went in. Shenzhen Changi stammered when she saw her surprise, and said proudly, What's surprising, this seat's capabilities are more than that, you underestimate this seat too much. Yes, yes, God, your mana is boundless, and the world is invincible. This goddess really thinks about what she thinks and is anxious about what she is anxious about, just like the roundworm in her stomach, haha. <laughs> the mouth is not right. Shenzhen Changi snorted coldly, and didn't bother to care about a girl's film, and said, just wait for twelve hours, don't touch it in the middle, when the time is up, pour out the saplings, they will it will naturally return to its original size. Mirong nodded excitedly, yes, I see. Suddenly thinking of something, Mirong asked suspiciously, Shen Jun, fruit tree seedlings can be copied, so can vegetable seedlings and herbal seedlings. Naturally, it's possible, but it takes 7, 7, 49 days to duplicate a vegetable seedling and a herbal seedling. Can you wait? Hey? Why do they wait so long? So few. Shenzhen Changi suddenly coughed lightly, it's nothing, I just made some mistakes when I made the same bottle. That's a pity. But she didn't care too much. After all, she had the black land with space, and the seeds had to grow to the seedling state very quickly, but the land that could be planted was too little, so it was a little troublesome. The problem of saplings was also resolved, Murong Lingran's expression finally relaxed, he put the bottle away and said a few more words with God Lord Chanky, and walked out of the space with black hair. Although the autumn harvest has passed and it is considered a slack time for farming, there are many people who come to their house to pick vegetables every day. The population of Liwa village is limited, and it is estimated that very few people can go to the wasteland. It is good that all the wasteland can be developed this year. It is possible to invite people from other villages to do the work but the short distance from Liwa village and several surrounding villages takes an hour, and it takes two hours to go back and forth. It is estimated that no one will be invited. That's all, just do it slowly first, if you recruit some bad people, it will not be worth the loss. Anyway, it will take some time for her to prepare the seeds. The plan is to plant them all before next summer, so there is no hurry was about to say hello to Kuro Mao to go home, but suddenly found that Kuro Mao disappeared. Mirong Lingran was about to call it when he saw Ha Mao suddenly appear right in front of her with a roe deer in his mouth. As soon as his eyes met, Kuro Mao put down his roe deer and ran into the depths of the forest. Chapter 291 Nice Not long after, a hare came back, and then ran to the depths. After going back and forth several times, the ground was already full of various animals. After a while, Kuromo saw that the prey on the ground was almost there, sat on the ground and shouted at his master, Wow! Then he sat on the ground and gasped with his tongue out. Mirong frowned and said, Hey Mao, you hunted too much today. The five of us and you won't be able to eat all the wild beasts you have eaten in five days. Fortunately, her space has the function of keeping fresh, otherwise she would have to find a way to keep so many wild things, and she would definitely be exhausted. Kuro Mao looked at the sky, then looked around, and then made a trembling and curling action. Mirong Ling suddenly realized, but his brows furrowed even tighter, Hey Mao, you are a dog, and dogs don't need to hibernate, why do you save meat? Black hair immediately stood up and roared in dissatisfaction, Wang. 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 You say I'm a dog again, I'm not a dog. It's so cold in winter, it's hard to catch them at that time, why don't you save some rations for the family just in case? Is it not good? Although it has long hair, it is also afraid of the cold. In winter, 
it also wants to be like your human beings. If you can't go out, you won't go out. Murong Lingran's ears hurt by its deafening roar, and hurriedly said, All right, all right, I'll save it for you. I have to say, I thought that Hei Mao was the same as an ordinary pet dog in the previous life. With such a big physique, he would definitely eat her up. I didn't expect it to look like a long, cumbersome and slow-moving dog, but it is an extremely useful hunting dog. I went hunting for whatever I liked to eat. After raising it, not only did their family not spend any money on it, but the dishes on the table were more abundant, and they also saved a lot of money for meat, as if the black hair was there. Keep them the same. But Hei Mao doesn't eat raw food, and likes to eat what she cooks, but it's a bit of a waste of firewood. Black hair nodded, wow. It was originally for you, just eat it. Murong Lingran carefully observed the surroundings, and after confirming that there was no one around, he threw all the prey into the space. And for the next few days, every time Hei Mao went up the mountain with Murong Lingran, he would hunt a lot of food for her to save, so she had to find a special room in the space bamboo house for him to put meat. The temperature was getting lower every day. After Murong Lingran went up the mountain, he went to inspect the field again. When he walked to the gate, he heard a burst of laughter from strange children inside. Walked in and saw two four- or five-year-old children laughing and playing around the chairs in the main room. And at the bottom right sit a middle-aged man and woman, talking to Murong Kwan. Murong Kwan saw his sister came back, and he immediately seemed to see a savior, and said excitedly, Aaron, you are back. Murong nodded, looking coldly at the man and woman sitting and said lightly, Third brother, who are they? When the children saw Murong Lingran appear and saw her cold eyes, they instinctively felt a little scared. The man and the woman turned their heads and heard Murong Lingran's address to Murong Kwan. Before Murong Kwan could answer, the woman said with a look of surprise, Is this your niece Murong Lingran? Murong Lingran walked to the third brother's side and said solemnly, I don't have the two relatives in my memory. Seeing Murong Lingran's bad face, the woman was not angry at all, but smiled and said, Oh, it's normal that you don't know us, we haven't seen each other for several years. Chapter 292 Not Welcome Let me introduce, I am Murong Cai's aunt, my name is Wu Chun Hong, he is Murong Cai's uncle, my name is Chen Dai, Murong Cai is our eldest nephew, you are his cousin, aren't you also our niece? Murong Kwan whispered in his sister's ear, they are indeed the family of the aunt's maiden. Didn't the uncle and aunt go back to their maiden's house? When they came back, I don't know why, but the whole family came back with them. As soon as they came back, they lived in my uncle's house. They wanted to build a house after the spring, and it seemed that they planned to settle in Luwa village in the future. Murong said in confusion, third brother, how do you know so much? They arrived yesterday. Yesterday, Aching saw them after returning from work and asked Murong Cai. He came to you early this morning, but you went out and told Dad and our three brothers. Murong nodded, walked to the top without hesitation, sat down, and said lightly, Oh, relatives over there, what are you doing here? After finished speaking, he looked at Murong Kwan, third brother, sit down too, they are all sitting. Seeing their faces change, Murong Kwan nodded, OK, Aaron. Although the husband and wife were dissatisfied with the attitude of their brother and sister, this was their home after all, and they dared not say anything. Wu Shi said with a smile, it's inconvenient to talk to your children about some things. We're here to find your father. We want to discuss some things with him, so let's talk about it when he comes back. Chen Dai also said, Yes, we can wait. Murong Lingran sneered in her heart, looking at the clothes of the two, it didn't look like they were out of money. And it's impossible for Mrs. Chen to not tell them about the current relationship between the two families. She didn't even give her uncle a copper plate. Mrs. Chen didn't tell them that it was impossible to ask for money. Then what else can you do? No matter what you are here for, she is not welcome. 
negotiate? Didn't my aunt tell you that my daddy basically leaves the family affairs to me now? Even if he comes back, daddy won't force anything I don't agree with. If there is anything, just tell me directly. Var. Washi glanced at her husband and saw him nodding, so she could only say, Ling Ran, to tell you the truth, we have something to ask of you. Begging. Murong smiled and looked at the two meaningfully, since you used the word begging, why did you come to the door empty-handed? It seems that you have no sincerity at all. Anyway, she was still a child, and she had no scruples. She didn't have to give them a good face when they came to the door. The husband and wife were stunned for a moment, but they didn't expect her to speak so directly. Wu Shizen explained with a smile, We just arrived yesterday, and we haven't had time to prepare anything yet. If you want a gift, my aunt will make it up for you later. I heard that their family is now earning dozens or even hundreds of tails of silver every day, but they still care about this, which is really stingy. And she hadn't said anything yet, she hadn't promised them yet, how could they have prepared gifts in advance? If it doesn't work, wouldn't they have to waste a lot of money? I didn't have time to prepare. Mirong Lingran said lightly, Okay then you should go back and get ready before you come. There are so many things at home, I didn't have time to prepare for you today, so I won't leave you, third brother, send off. Mirong Kwan stood up indifferently and said in a cold tone, Let's go. Chapter 293 Cousin? Cousin? He wanted to drive them away for a long time, but AMA brought them here just now. At that time, there were many people passing by at the door, so he couldn't drive his AMA out. I just didn't expect AMA to bring them in and left in a hurry. He was persuading them to go back, and Aaron came back. Chen Dai has earned a little money in business over the past few years, and he is considered one of the best in his hometown. In recent years, many people have tried to please him wherever he goes, and it has been a long time since no one dared to give him face like this was about to scold her for not being polite and let her know what an elder was, when Wu Shi stopped him. Chen Dai then remembered that this was not his home, gave her a sullen look, and had no choice but to leave angrily. What? Wow! Wu! Wu! Suddenly there was a scream of a strange woman from the backyard, followed by a roar from the black hair. Mirong Lingran's face sank, and he got up and walked to the backyard. Chen Dai and his wife stopped for a while as they left, and their hearts trembled. They each took a child and hurriedly followed behind the siblings. Mirong Lingran walked to the kitchen in the backyard, and from a distance, he saw a man and a woman sitting paralyzed at the door of the kitchen, while Hei Mao was standing not far from them, grinning at the two of them. The woman saw her parents coming, and said with a look of fear, Daddy and Auntie, save me quickly. The dogs in the capital are so big, they are too scary. The man also said in horror, Father, Mother, this big dog came out of nowhere, it's so scary, it's like it's going to eat people. Mirong Lingran didn't greet Hamao when he saw it, and ordered the third brother to go to other places to take a look. He entered the kitchen and saw at a glance that the meat she was stewing on the stove was completely eaten took another look at the place where she placed the vegetables and meat. Fortunately, it was the same as before, so they probably hadn't turned it over. Mirong Kwan came back soon, shook his head at her, Mirong breathed a sigh of relief, walked out of the kitchen, looked at the two of them with a cold look in their eyes, his tone was never before, you two who is it? Dare to come to my kitchen to steal food, I think you are impatient. The woman saw that a child younger than her was questioning her, ignoring her words, just as she was about to stand up, she saw the dog in front of her suddenly approach her and roared at her a few times, wow. Wong Wong Wong. Washi was afraid that the dog would hurt the girl, so she hurriedly said, Ling Ran, she is your cousin, that is, my eldest daughter, Chen Lian Lian. Chen Dai had never seen such a big dog, he was taller than him. He couldn't help swallowing, and said with a look of fear, Besides is your cousin, Chen Yangfu, don't let your family the dogs hurt them. 
Cousin? Cousin? Chen Lian Lian? Chen Yangfu? Mirong sneered, I don't have a relative who will be a thief the first time I come to my house in a few years. Ribs, it was fine when we went out, but now there are only bones left, if you don't give me an explanation today, you will never even think about going out of this gate. Seeing that she was being treated as a thief, Chen Lian Lian immediately forgot that there was a dog on the opposite side, and suddenly got up and pointed at Murong Lingran and roared, Who do you call a thief, you dead girl? You say it clearly, you have evidence to prove it. Did I steal it? If you can't show evidence today, I want you to look good. Chapter 294 Three more slaps in the face. Pop. Clap. Clap. The air suddenly quieted down, no one expected that Murong Lingran would suddenly take action. Before everyone could return to their senses, Murong Lingran returned to Murong Quan's side, and sneered, Dare to speak rudely to me at my house, I really think I'm a jerk. No matter how presumptuous you are, this girl doesn't mind rewarding me again. You three slap in the face. Chen Lian Lian's hands covered her stinging face, she couldn't believe it. You, you actually hit me? My parents have never hit me, why did you hit me? Just as he was about to go forward and call back, he saw that Hei Mao seemed to have already known her movements, and quickly ran to the master's side with a fierce look in his eyes. As long as Chen Lian Lian took another step forward, it seemed that he was about to rip her apart. Chen Lian Lian saw this, her footsteps stopped, she immediately took a few steps back and never dared to step forward again, she turned her head and said aggrievedly, Anayang, look at her, she beat me, you have to decide for me. Chen Yangfu saw that Hei Mao was no longer staring at him, so he quickly got up and hid behind his parents. Washi looked at her face distressedly, turned her head and said angrily, Murong Lingran, is there anything you can't say? As for beating people, Chen Dai also said, yes, there is something wrong with her, that only we parents can teach a lesson, what qualifications do you have to beat someone without authorization? Murong frowned and said, what's wrong with me attacking the thieves who stole my house in my house? As parents, you don't know how to discipline, so I, the owner, will discipline you for you. Also, your family is really close to Murong Chi. It was only the second day after coming to Liwa village that they actually came to plot against my house. If Hei Mao hadn't found out, would you still plan to empty my kitchen? No, if I hadn't added two more locks to every room in my house since the last time I was burglarized, you would definitely still want to go in and steal my money, right? Murong Lingran felt depressed for a while. He thought that no one would dare to attack her family after killing chickens last time but last time Murong Chi and his wife were not in Liwa village at all. Knowing what happened last time didn't shock them at all. Murong Quan thought about what happened just now, and immediately regretted it in his heart, Aaron, I'm sorry, Chen Lian Lian and Chen Yangfu said that it was a little boring to stay in the room as soon as they sat down in the main room, so they went out of the main room and sat down on the stone bench in the front yard, I went out to see it once, and they did sit well but I didn't expect them to sneak into the backyard quietly. Since the last time the thief happened, their family has kept everything they care about. Thinking that there is nothing of value in the front yard, I let them sit. He hadn't had much contact with this family before, and he didn't expect them to be such people, so he didn't protect them much. Mirong raised her eyebrows and said, Third brother, I don't blame you, how could you manage the six of them by yourself? And who would have thought that someone would come to Liwa village the next day in the name of someone else's relative? Come be a thief. Being scolded and ridiculed by a little girl for a while, the faces of Chen Dai and his wife suddenly turned blue and white, and they could not wait to find a ground seam to get in. Originally wanted to ignore their brother and sister and leave quickly, after all, there are only two and a half children, and they dare not do anything to the two adults. But looking at that dog's fierce eyes, and threatening them with sharp fangs from time to time, it shouldn't be so easy to get away. Chapter 295 Compensation 
but fortunately, there are only two of them here, two children, and today's affairs can be passed by just fooling around. However, she never thought that she was actually considered to be a thief, and they came to Liwa village. If it spreads out, they may not be able to stay there. Wu Shi had to explain, Ling Ran, it's definitely not the case. As you imagine, we don't know why they suddenly appeared here, just wait a minute, I'll ask you clearly. After finished speaking, he began to question his children with a stern face, aren't you sitting outside? Why are you here? Chen Lian Lian whispered, Auntie, I didn't do it on purpose, I was sitting in the yard and smelled a fragrance I had never smelled before, and I happened to be hungry, so I sneaked in while you weren't paying attention. Already. Chen Yangfu also took the initiative to admit his mistake and said, Niang, I, I know I'm wrong. The meat was so fragrant that he couldn't control himself. Wu Shi thought that there was still something to ask their family, although the daughter was wronged, but she no longer had the arrogance when she questioned just now, and said with a flat face, Ling Ran, you also heard, our two adults absolutely do not know, nor not instructing them. They didn't do it on purpose, they were just greedy. You know, after a few days of bumps on the road, there's no oil or water in your stomach. It's understandable that you are still a child. No matter what, you are a girl and younger than Lian Lian. Lian Lian is your cousin. You can't beat her casually. We don't care about your beating. It's not good for your reputation if you spread it out. It's okay if Lian Lian and the others ate your meat, it's not worth anything. Your family is not short of the meat money now. We both just let it go, okay? The devil will believe what you say. Murong Lingran mocked, I thought I was young and could fool me with just a few words, didn't I? Child? I'm ten years old, and my third brother is eleven. Who do you think is more like a child? Seeing that they are at least fifteen, they are all at the age of starting a family, don't they still understand the truth that if you don't ask yourself, you will steal? Let us brothers and sisters forgive those who are older than us, do you think it is possible? You don't you feel ashamed if you can say it out loud? Don't think that I can't hear what you mean, isn't it that I won't forgive you today and I'm going to spread the word about my beating? Tell you, this girl is not frightened. If you want to say it, go ahead and say it today. If you don't apologize and compensate, don't blame me for being rude. Chen Dai's family's expressions changed, and they never thought that a ten-year-old girl could say such a thing. They are all relatives, so I don't even know how to give this face. It's really ignorant. Chen Dai frowned and said, there is no need for compensation, they are all relatives, and they are a little bit of meat that is not worth a lot of money, so it is not easy to make too much trouble. From now on, they will all be people from Liwa village. Right. Murong Lingran sneered and said, You are the ones who did the bad things, and you are the ones who are embarrassed to meet others. What is it about me? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that what you ate just now was made by me for Hamao. The rations, it finally came back from the mountains, I finally cooked it, it just came to the kitchen and was waiting to eat, and you all ate it, otherwise why do you think it is so angry? Chapter 296 Shoot Them to Death Chen Lian Lian and Chen Yangfu turned pale, Chen Lian Lian asked tentatively, that's for dogs, which means you didn't wash it carefully. After all, all the food her family raised in the past was thrown directly on the ground. She didn't think anyone would waste time on the dog to wash it. But she didn't expect Murong Lingran to treat Hamao like a family member, so how could it be possible to give it unclean food? In order to discuss the two of them, Murong Lingran said with absolute certainty, of course. Chen Lian Lian and Chen Yangfu suddenly felt nauseated, they squatted on the ground and started to hold their throats hard, trying to spit it out. They just ate dog food, oh my god, how could they be so stupid? It's no wonder that although it was fragrant just now, it always felt an indescribable taste. But they almost cut their throats, but nothing came out. Murong Lingran didn't want them to pollute the land at home, 
so he said coldly, don't waste time there. Today, you can either apologize sincerely and leave ten tails of silver, or our newspaper officer, you can choose one. Wu Shi never thought that she would speak so loudly, and said stunnedly, Ling Ran, although it's their fault, but why can't they have ten tails of silver, is this too much? Mirong Quan said, then you are choosing newspaper officers? Okay, our father and brother are in the vegetable field, and I will inform them immediately. After saying that, he made an appearance as if he was about to leave the backyard. Anyway, with Hei Mao there, they didn't dare to do anything to Aaron, and Hei Mao could slap them to death with a single slap. Chen Dai suddenly said something in his wife's ear, Wu Shi's eyes suddenly brightened, he nodded again and again, and said a few words to his children, suddenly straightened his back, and said arrogantly, it is impossible to give you ten tails of silver. Yes, you are extorting. Chen Dai said gloomily, today we will not give you any money, just want ten tails of silver for a little dog food, you are dreaming. I don't believe that you really dare to let your dog kill us, hum, let's go. After saying that, he took the lead and walked towards the gate of the courtyard. Mirong smiled lightly, since you don't know what's good or bad, then I'll be rude, you're right about a little bit, you just stole the dog food, it will be released in a few days, the reporter is really it's too cheap for you guys. Third brother, then I'll give you a chance to show your skills and let out a good breath. Anyway, Xianjing has a law, and once the owner finds out, he can deal with it freely regardless of life or death. Okay, Aaron. Mirong Quan stepped forward immediately, without waiting for Chen Yongfu to react, he suddenly kicked him to the ground, and immediately started kicking him frantically. Ah, it hurts so much, oops, mommy save me, daddy save me, it hurts. Thinking that it was because he didn't stop these people that the black-haired dog food was stolen, and that the house was invaded by thieves, and that he didn't keep the house well, Mirong Quan felt very guilty in his heart. Therefore, in order to ease his own guilt, the more he yelled, the harder Mirong Quan kicked, all of which were not critical, but were in unbearable pain. The people from the Chen family were about to step forward, and when they saw Hamao staring at them, they stopped and stomped on the spot anxiously. At this time, Mirong Quan became more and more excited with his kicks, and when his feet were tired, he immediately started to use his fists. Gradually, Chen Yangfu's mind became blurred after being beaten, and he didn't have the strength to resist. Chapter 297 End Seeing this, Mirong Quan felt still pissed, and suddenly rode on him and punched his face fiercely with his fists. Soon his entire face was red and swollen, like a pig's head. Mirong said lightly, Third brother, it's almost there. Mirong Quan heard the words and gave Chen Yangfu another slap before standing up and returning to his sister. Chen Dai and his wife saw that their son was beaten all over, and immediately stepped forward in distress. Before they could express their concern, they heard their daughters cry for help behind them. You, what are you going to do? Auntie, save me. The husband and wife turned their heads and saw Murong Lingran suddenly throwing something at her daughter's knee, and her daughter suddenly knelt on the hard ground. As soon as she knelt down, two round things appeared in front of her. Took a closer look and saw that it was actually two walnuts. Before she could look up, she received another slap on the face, followed by another slap on the other side of the face. After Murong Lingran had hit ten, he stopped. Chen Lian Lian never thought that she would be beaten twice today, like she was beaten stupidly, she knelt on the ground in a daze, and even forgot about it. And Chen Dai's pair of young children hugged each other tremblingly as early as Murong Quan's shot, for fear that they would be the next to be beaten. Wu Shi saw that both of his sons and daughters had been beaten with scars, and his eyes suddenly turned red. Stop! The crowd followed the sound and saw Murong Zhe and his two sons walking quickly towards them with a sullen face. Walking to his daughter and son, Murong Zhe looked at Wu Shi coldly and frowned, What did you want to do just now? Wu Shi said angrily, What are you doing? Your daughter and son beat my child up like this, 
and of course I want to beat him back. Fight back? Dare to come to my house and beat my daughter, are you bullying my family? Ah Zong, Ah Xian. Murong Zong and Murong Xian replied at the same time, yes. Ah Quan is still young, I guessed that he was showing mercy just now, and the lessons are not enough, so that they don't even know where they are wrong, you continue. The eyes of the two showed excitement at the same time, yes, dad. After saying that, the two of them stepped forward, regardless of Chen Yangfu's unconsciousness, fists like raindrops began to greet Chen Yangfu. Suddenly, Murong Zong punched Chen Yangfu's ribs, Chen Yangfu was instantly awakened by the pain and screamed, ah. Seeing that the people who beat him actually changed too, the one was still bigger than the previous one, and he fainted again with fright. Wu Shi said in horror, Yang Fu. Upon seeing this, Murong Zong smiled coldly and greeted Chen Yang Fu twice before returning to his father with his younger brother. Dare to be presumptuous in their home, this is the end. The husband and wife hurried forward to check on their son's injuries, and Chen Lian Lian was also shocked by the shrill screams of the elder brother just now, got up and hid behind Wu Shi, looking at Murong Lingran angrily. Murong Lingran noticed her gaze and smiled at her, What? If you don't agree? If you don't agree, I can continue to give you a few slaps. You should be glad that my three brothers didn't hit women, otherwise, your fate will be with your brother. Same. Chen Dai clenched his fists and said angrily, Muranj, we are relatives after all, just now your two little ones were just ignorant. Why do you care about the juniors, and they didn't do anything to you? Chapter 298 Jokes Relatives? I can't afford relatives like you. My relatives won't come to the door when only juniors are at home, and they are not juniors, they are just thieves who entered my house. Murong raised his eyebrows, Dad, you already know. Murong Zong explained, Aaron, in fact, when we came back, we saw you rushing to the kitchen. Dad wanted to see how you dealt with it, so he followed quietly, so we heard what you said just now, you well done. So it is. She said how they appeared so timely. Chen Dai clenched his fists tightly, the child just ate a bit of dog food. You have such a big family business, is it reasonable for you? You beat the two children so badly. If you don't lose money today, I'm going to report to the officer. Murong Lingran smiled lightly and said, you guys really don't know how high the sky is. Go, just to make things bigger, and let everyone see your disgusting faces. As I said just now, Xianqing has a law, and there is a law against burglary. The owner, once discovered, is free to dispose of it, regardless of life or death. We have not violated any laws of Xianqing Kingdom, and we have left your son's life, which is already a blessing to this girl. You. Damn girl! Murong Zong immediately interjected, Please be careful, otherwise we won't be able to take care of you, and taking care of your son will be easy. Chen Dai was stunned for a moment, and he immediately hated gnashing his teeth, but the other party had so many sons, he had nothing to do, he never thought that he would be bullied like this one day, Murong, I remember today's events, let's go. Look, hum. After saying that, he asked his wife to help his son on his back and wanted to leave. Murong said calmly, Wait, you haven't paid the compensation I said just now. Kuroj immediately stepped forward and blocked their way. Wu Shi gritted his teeth and said, You have already beaten my children like this, and you still ask me for money, I won't give it to you. Murong Lingran said with a look of regret, Since you don't give it, it seems that you don't want to let it go so don't blame me. Brothers, help me beat them all out. The three brothers said at the same time, yes. Black hair also shouted, wow. Chen Dai and his wife stiffened. If they were beaten out in humiliation, everyone would know what happened today, and they would definitely become a joke in Liwa village. Before thinking what to do, the two of them felt a pain in their backs, and when they turned their heads, 
they saw that the three brothers were holding a stick in their hands and greeted them unceremoniously. Ouch, ouch! The husband and wife jumped in pain, Wu Shi hurried forward and helped the unconscious son on her husband's back. He didn't dare to stay any longer, and hurried to the front yard gate. When the two-and-a-half-year-old children saw this, they immediately followed their parents and ran out in fear, for fear that they would also be beaten. As for Chen Lianlian, she was the first to run away when she saw the three Murong Zone brothers holding sticks. When Chen Dai's family ran out of Murong's house and turned around to see that they were standing at the door without chasing after him, Wu Shi couldn't care about anything else, and began to curse, Murong Zhe, you black heart, you not only beat my children all over, bruised and bruised. He even called us out, you wait. I'll go back and tell your old lady right away how her good son treats his relatives. Chapter 299 Can't Offend Murong Lingran didn't take it seriously and said, Go, go, please go as soon as possible. Lichen father and son and MRS Kui happened to come down from the mountain to pass by Murong Zhe's house. When they saw this situation, they were puzzled when they saw Murong Zhe suddenly come out and quickly tell Chen Dai's family what they were doing at his house. Li Zheng stared at Wu Shi angrily, on the second day after coming to Luwa village, he started to bully people in our village. You are really bold enough, are you bullying no one in our village? Believe it or not, I will immediately you go away. Kui Shi also said, oh, this is the first time I have seen a thief so righteous. If I were beaten out in such a humiliating manner, I would have wanted to run away with my tail tucked in, but I still have the face to shout here, my face is so humiliating. It is thicker than Wuming Mountain. Chen Dai immediately shrank his neck when he saw this. No matter how ignorant they were, they knew that Li was not to be offended. Although he was dissatisfied with their sarcasm, he hurriedly bowed his head and said, Li Chen, we didn't say anything because the child was injured. Don't be angry, we'll leave now. Wu Shi also lowered his eyebrows and said, Yes, yes, we will leave now. After saying that, he walked away with a few children in despair. Li was looking at their backs and snorted coldly, If I knew they were such people, I shouldn't have promised them to settle down yesterday because they could increase the population of Liwa village. Zhuang King he hurriedly comforted him, Father, you know people and faces but don't know your heart. When they came yesterday, they looked like people. No one thought they were such people, and they showed their fox's tail so quickly. Aj and the others are not even afraid of an old witch like Liu's, let alone a person who is not even a relative. Li was looking at Murong Zhe and said apologetically, Aj, I'm sorry, but your house was burglarized. Murong Zhe shook his head and said with a relaxed expression, It's nothing, it's not your fault, I don't have a big loss, it's just that the black-haired dog food has to be recooked by a ran. Kuro Mao suddenly whimpered in grievance. Everyone burst into laughter. After Li Zheng laughed, he frowned and thought about it, but he was still a little angry, no, they dared to come to Luwa village as thieves as soon as they arrived in Luwa village. No matter if it was an adult's intention, this kind of ignorant person can't stay in Luwa village. If someone recruits thieves in the future, it will be my sin, I am a lot of age, but I don't want to fail the festival, even if I am told that I don't believe it, I must not leave this hidden danger. After saying that, he looked at the eldest son seriously, King He, I will find some people later to drive them out of Luwa village. Zhuang King He nodded. Yes, Dad. Mirange didn't object after seeing this, Li Zheng was right, staying in the village would only lower Li Zheng's prestige. Dare to bully his daughter while he is not there, there should be consequences. Chen Dai's family of six hurriedly returned to Liu's house. Although Liu's house was not big, it was still able to make room for their family to live. Mirong Shui and Mirong Qing now live in the same room. And Mirong Shui's room was temporarily reserved for Chen Dai and his wife and their two children, and the four of them could sleep together. As for Chen Lian Lian, she was spoiled by her family. She would rather live in the firewood house alone than crowd with Mirong Shui and the others, 
so she piled the firewood in the firewood house in the yard and lived in the firewood house by herself. Chapter 300 Get Used to It Chen Yangfu shared a room with Murong Cai, so Chen Dai carried his son directly to Murong Cai's room as soon as he entered the door, and asked Murong Chi to rush to ask for a doctor. Lu Shi saw that Chen Dai and his family were disheveled, their hair was messy, and they were in a state of embarrassment, and they came back with a fainted one. Chen Lianlian's cheeks were also red and swollen, as if she had encountered a robber, and she wondered, Uncle Asiai, what are you doing? Become like this. Chen Dai angrily told Murong Zhe's house when he heard the words. Wu Shi added from time to time. Old lady, that's the way it is. I didn't expect your son and grandchildren to be so disrespectful. It's just that the child was ignorant and ate something, or they prepared it for the dog. As for being so preoccupied with it, no matter what we do. Relatives, how can you not be so ruthless, especially that Murong Lingran, who actually beat Lian Lian without any rules, you have to decide for us. Liu's eyes widened in disbelief, what are you talking about? Muranj actually cooked a big pot of meat for the dog? He beat you up like this for what the dog eats. It's true. Wu Shi knew that her focus was here, and quickly poked her daughter. Chen Lianlian's face has been burning and hurting, and it hurts even more when she speaks, so she can only endure the pain and say, Indeed, it's a big pot, my brother and I both ate it for a while before we finished it, although it's for dogs, but the taste is very good comparable to human food, and their family is too reluctant for dogs. Lu Shi was instantly furious, his whole body was shaking with anger, okay, okay, Murong Zhe feeds the dog meat every day and doesn't take it to honor me, it's really unfilial. I can't eat meat every day, the life of a dog. It's actually better than me, this time I'm going to find people in the whole village to judge me and see what he has to say this time. Lu hurried to go out after saying that. Chen Dai and his wife laughed sinisterly. Humph, if you dare to treat them like this, they will find the person they are most afraid of to clean them up. Although the younger sister Chen has already told them that Muranj basically doesn't take Liu's mother seriously now, but after all, she is her own mother. If you put an unfilial hat on them, they will be able to eat without food. Unexpectedly, before they were happy for too long, Murong Liang suddenly scolded in a cold voice, Stop for me, if you dare to trouble Asia and the others, I will interrupt your dog's legs. The faces of the Chen family suddenly changed, and they never thought that the old man would not give his wife face so much. As for the Murong family, they have gotten used to it recently. After all, Murong Liang kicked someone and vomited blood last time. Lu Shi was shocked. Old man, how can you help that unfilial son? Listen to what they said just now, dogs eat better than ours. You can bear it, I can't bear it. Murong Liang glanced meaningfully at Chen Dai and his wife, and said slowly, When ACAI and I were going up the mountain a few days ago, we happened to see Hamao fluttering about pheasants, and Aaron explained that Hamao is very good, and he thought he hunts whatever he eats. He has a big physique a big appetite, and he likes to eat meat. In order not to burden them, he will find food by himself every time he goes up the mountain with her, and he is extremely sensible. Lu Shi was taken aback, you mean that the meat was hunted and eaten by Hei Mao himself, not the meat that Murong Zhe bought for it. Chapter 301 Provoking Discord Chen Dai's family also looked at each other, isn't that a dog? Do dogs hunt too? So the huge body can run? It's better not to be eaten by other beasts. Murong Liang sneered, It's not like you haven't seen black hair, you are less than 1.6 meters tall, it is already taller than you, and if you want to know that a meal is at least several pounds or even more than 10 pounds of meat, a day after three meals, it will cost about one or two silver. Do you think he will be willing to give up with Ash's temperament? You are coming to the door now. Aren't you just going to grab the dog's meat to eat, you are too embarrassed to say it. Mr. Lu curled his lips, then, that black hair is so easy to hunt, and their family must not be short of meat. 
it must have saved a lot of money during this time. I can ask him for some meat money, right? Mirong Liang said with a sullen face, don't go. You are going now, no matter what name you are going under, from the outsider's point of view, you are helping ACAI and his uncle to vent their anger. Today is their fault, why, why are you still here? Do you want to unite with outsiders to bully your son? Do you still have the self-consciousness of being a mother? Don't you dare to blame me for really hitting you hard again. Lu looked at the Chen family embarrassedly, and repeatedly denied her face in front of outsiders, it was too much. Also resented in his heart, the dead old man will protect the unfilial son, she just went to ask for money, can it be considered bullying? Chen Dai knew that it was impossible to have Mirong Liang instigating Liu's troubles, so he could only say, Master, your eldest son and your grandchildren beat my children like this, you have to give us an explanation, right? Confession Mirong Liang smiled coldly, speaking of confession, shouldn't you give me an account first? You told me to go up the mountain, why did you go to my eldest son's house? He was also treated as a thief. Type it out. Liu's eyes flickered in guilt, and he didn't dare to say a word. Chen Shi and Mirong Shui also shrank their bodies, trying to minimize their presence. Wu Shi and Chen Dai glanced at the three of them, afraid that the old man would investigate further, so they didn't dare to speak again. Mirong Liang frowned and looked at the five of them, and there was something in his heart that he didn't understand, and he became angry, okay, I kindly took you in but I didn't expect it to be a thief who took in a family, even if I had a conflict with the boss's family. That's also our family's family affairs, you can't allow you to point fingers and sow discord here, you should get out of here immediately. Wu Shi gave up this time, old man, it doesn't make sense for you to drive us away. We agreed at the beginning, we will give you fifty tails of silver at one time with the principal and interest, and you will keep it until our new house is completed next year. How can you not believe it? Mirong Liang snorted coldly, four details of silver have been lent to you for several years, allowing you to start your own business smoothly, you have made a lot of money these years, and I only charged you ten tails of interest, which is already a small amount. Although I don't know why you gave up your career in your hometown and came to the capital, I now tell you clearly that even if you have money, I will not serve you, and now, get out of here immediately. Seeing that Mirong Liang seemed determined to drive them away, Wu Shi gritted his teeth. Today was enough of a shame. If they were driven out again, their family would really not be able to gain a foothold in the village in the future. Had to lower his posture, bent down and forced a smile and said, Father, let me tell you the truth, in fact, we really lied to you when we told you to go up the mountain for a walk. Chapter 302 Late But we really wanted to talk to Mirong Zhe for business. But we didn't expect Mirong Quan to be at home alone after he came, and waited at their house for a while. My father and I didn't really know about the two kids going to their backyard kitchen. They just thought the meat was too fragrant, so they went in and stole it for a while. Look, I can give you fifty tails of silver at one time, and when I arrived yesterday, I brought a lot of Donghai Prefecture's local specialties to you, you know that our family is not short of money, and we don't eat less meat. The children really didn't mean to be thieves. We are parents. We must be angry when we see our children being beaten by them. It's understandable that we don't choose to say anything. Please forgive us. We promise not to do it again in the future. Mu Rong Liang thought about it carefully. After they came here, it really didn't look like they were short of money. They shouldn't have gone to the boss's yard to steal things. Seeing Mirong Liang's face softened, Wu Shi took another tail of silver and gave it to Lu Shi, old lady, we now know that we are wrong, the child is still young, it is inevitable that mistakes will be made, so please let the old man not drive us away. Lu Shi was overjoyed when he saw Yunzi, and hurriedly took it and also began to persuade, old man, they are all relatives, otherwise Aki can't be a man. Unexpectedly, Mirong Liang said firmly, no, they must go. 
such a person who harms his children and grandchildren is a scourge to stay at home. I only arrived yesterday, and something happened today. I don't know what disaster will affect his relationship with his eldest son's family in the future. Was about to drive them away by himself when there was a knock on the door. Mu Rongliang had to go out to take a look. As soon as he opened the door, he saw Zhuang King He standing outside the door with many young men, staring at the back room with a bad expression, You are Uncle Liang, you probably know what happened at your eldest son's house today, right? Well, they said it just now when they came back. Zhuang King He said sternly, Then I won't explain much, Li Zheng said, it is impossible to keep such people who go to other people's homes and become thieves after entering the village, so. Chen Dai, who followed him out to see the situation, became anxious and looked at his sister pleadingly. Chen hurriedly interceded, Father, don't let Li Zheng drive my brother away, they only came the next day, and now drive them out of the village, how do you let them live? Zhuang King he sneered, how do you live? You are an adult. Can you still be suffocated by urine? If you dare to come to Luwa village to be a thief, you have to think of the consequences. Are you anxious now? It's too late. Chen Dai hurriedly took out a silver ingot from his arms and stuffed it into his hand. Brother King He, we really didn't know that children would do such a thing, I promise you, I will strictly discipline them in the future, just let us stay for now. Zhuang King He glanced at the silver ingot in his hand raised his eyebrows and said, it's quite generous. Since the money is not bad, where is there no place to stay? Why do you want to stay in Liwa village? I... I don't need to explain, I don't want to hear it either. Zhuang King he interrupted him and returned the money to him, I'll give you a quarter of an hour to clean up and get out of Liwa village immediately. If the time comes, I don't mind letting you go. My brothers throw you out. Chen Dai looked at Murong Liang anxiously, Old man, I am Asiai's uncle, please help me talk. Chapter 303 Don't Believe in Evil Murong Liang glanced at him coldly, If I knew this earlier, why bother? Chen Dai looked at Mrs. Lu again, Mrs. Lu had nothing to do, Li Zheng had made a decision, and he never wanted to see her again, how could she be a womanizer? Seeing that everyone didn't help them, Chen Dai clenched his fists angrily, knowing that he would only make himself more embarrassed if he continued to entangle him, so he could only say harshly, just leave, it's just a broken village, I still don't care. It's rare. I don't keep a master here, I have a place to keep my master, and I will move to the city right away, hum. Washi quickly grabbed her husband, I, are we really going? Everyone else has come to drive people. What are we doing here? Don't worry, we have money, I will take you to the city to enjoy happiness. After saying that, he went back to the house and started packing. Wu Shi had no choice but to go back to the house and pack up. After a while, Zhuang King he watched Chen Dai's family of six leave the boundary of Liwa village before returning home. Chen Dai kept paying attention to his back and saw that Zhuang King he had left with everyone so he dared to speak to Chen who came to see him off. Little sister, how did I treat you before you got married? And how do you treat me now? I agreed to live in your house and build a house. Look at me now, like a backwater dog. I've never been so embarrassed before. Wu Shi also complained, yes, you haven't gone back for a few years, and you will ask for money when you go back. We entertained you for a lot of time in Donghai Mansion, and finally gave you five ten tails of silver are nothing more than wanting to live in your house for a while, and you can't meet such a request, do you still treat us as relatives? Chen Lian Lian also said, Yes, auntie, look at what my brother is like now. He was so badly injured and was kicked out. If something happened along the way, wouldn't that kill us? Listening to their complaints, Mrs. Chen was displeased and said, Lian Lian, why did you talk to your aunt? If you and your brother didn't understand the rules and secretly ate other people's things, would you be kicked out? Come back now. Blame me, 
why don't you know how to reflect on your own behavior? I, how did I know they would become so stingy, I remember when I was in the imperial doctor's mansion, my brother and I also took their food casually, didn't they say nothing? Chen Lian Lian murmured in a low voice. Chen Shi frowned and said, I have already told you that our family is separated, and I also told you about the last time the child's father plotted their family, and also said that they are different from before, I just want you to face them in the future. Think about it before you speak, so as not to get angry. They don't even give the old lady's face now. You don't believe in evil, but you want to come and try it. Now it's all right, everyone in the village knows that my brother came to the door the next day and became a thief, corrupt. For my reputation, I haven't settled with you yet, and you still have the face to question me. Okay. Chen Dai frowned and said, Little sister, what are you mad at with your child? I didn't think about it today. After all, Mirong Zhe was good to Mirong Chi in the past. I didn't think about your two families. The relationship is so tense, especially that dead girl Mirong Lingran, her heart is harder than a stone, she doesn't give me and your sister-in-law any face, we are her elders anyway. Chapter 304 Let Her Disappear Chen Shi sighed and said, it wasn't that the person changed after she was injured. Now her father and brother listened to her in everything. She said to go east, but they will never go west. I have never seen such a spoiled person. If it wasn't for her, our relationship might not have been so bad. Chen Dai's eyes flashed, and he suddenly said in a ruthless tone, since the reason is all because of her, you never thought about letting her disappear. Big brother. Chen Shi looked around in horror when he heard the words, and said anxiously, what are you talking about? Their family is now doing business with the best restaurant in the capital, and they have become friends with the Xiangjia people in the capital. We it's just an ordinary person, if something happens to her and people can't do business, it is estimated that before Murong Zhe and his father and son can deal with us, the people from the restaurants will be able to devour us alive. Is it so serious? Chen Dai frowned and said, as long as they don't find out, it's fine. Big brother. Seeing his sister's unhappy face, Chen Dai had to say, okay, I know, why would I do such a thing? There is no airtight wall under the sky, if it is discovered, it won't make it difficult for you and Ocai in the future. Man, I know how serious things are. Chen Shi was relieved when she heard the words. Although her eldest brother loved her very much since he was a child, he didn't do anything less about stealing chickens and dogs when he was a child. She was really afraid that he would do something wrong, it's fine if you know the importance, don't talk about that. Have you decided where to go? Where can I go? I've already given up my message just now, so I can only go to the city. I just decided to rent a yard to live in. In addition to what I give you, I also have some money. As before, rent a small shop and open a noodle restaurant. Chen thought for a moment, but still asked the question, Big brother, since you have such a good plan, why did you want to be with us in the first place? You can make money, and your craftsmanship must be good. My house is a broken house, but it's very different from your house in Donghai Mansion, and staying in the village also restricts your development. Where can you open a noodle shop to get money quickly for farming? Chen Dai and Wu Shi looked at each other and were about to speak when they saw the figure behind her and said excitedly, ACAI's father is here. Mirong Chi hurriedly said, Brother, I only heard that you were kicked out after I went back. The doctor happened to be in the village to see a doctor. I promised the doctor to give him an extra tail before he came. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Chen Dai quickly looked at the old doctor, Doctor, take a look at my son. After saying that, he put his son on the ground from behind. The old doctor stepped forward to take a pulse, and then pulled Chen Yangfu's clothes to examine his whole body carefully. After a while, he said lightly, it's nothing, it's basically a flesh wound, just a broken rib, if you don't dislike it. I'll treat him right here, 
and then he'll be fine after another seven days of medicine. I don't dislike it, I don't dislike it, then I would like to thank the doctor. After Murong Lingran remade Hamao's food, he quickly prepared the family's lunch. Murong Zhe said, just now your uncle King he came over and said that the six members of the Chen family were all kicked out. Murong nodded and asked suspiciously, why did they suddenly come from Donghai Mansion? Is it bad to stay in your hometown? Murong Quan hurriedly said, A Ran, I didn't finish talking just now, and A Ching said it when he came over, saying that Grandpa seems to have borrowed forty tails of silver a few years ago to do business with the aunt's aunt's eldest brother, and when they returned to their parents' house, just to ask for money. Chapter 305 Discussion As for the reason for coming back together, there is no mention of it. A Ching also said that their conditions are very good, and Grandma just sees that they are rich and generous, so they are allowed to live at home. Mirong raised his eyebrows, so it is. It seems that there is really no way out. They can't get money here, so they actually went back to Chen's family to ask for money. But Grandpa's previous money was all given to him by Grandpa's filial piety. Isn't that forty tails of silver all from Grandpa? Murong Lingran felt distressed immediately. Forty tails of silver were so cheap over there, would she want to find a way to get them all back? But now that the Lu family is rich, it is estimated that they will not think about their family all day long. She's been busy lately, and she doesn't want to give her a look. As long as they don't mess with her, let them be proud for a while. Murong Zong saw his father frowning and asked with concern, Father. What's wrong with you? It's okay. You were all born in the capital, so I guess you don't have much affection for Donghai Mansion. You haven't gone back all these years, and I don't know if your mother's relatives are doing well. Dad said Grandpa and Grandma. Well, and your uncles? Murong Zhe nodded, back then, your auntie came to live with me in the capital not long after they got married. I have to be on duty. The hospital does not have long holidays, and the journey is long, so I don't worry about you either. Mother and your children go back, they have never been to the capital, they used to write letters, we have also broken news with them in recent years, and I don't know if they are all well. Murong frowned, Father, isn't my aunt's family also from Donghai Mansion? Why don't we ask them? They probably don't know either. Donghai Mansion is bigger than the capital, Chen's family is in Daquan Village, our home is in Baishan Village, and your mother's family is in Dashi Village, which is more than 200 miles away from Baishan Village, and there are two families today. It's too stiff, I guess they won't talk about it even if they know the situation. Murong said suspiciously, Dad, don't you want to go back and have a look? Murong Zhe shook his head, No. Your brother hasn't been found yet, and it's impossible for Dad to go back. We can't take care of ourselves, let's live our own lives first. Murong Lingran breathed a sigh of relief, she was really afraid that her father would soften her heart and say something to let them go back and have a look. Although they are blood relatives of Aniang, but she has never seen them, and to put it cold-bloodedly, she has no feelings for them at all. Aniang seldom mentioned them in front of her before. If they were really nice to Aniang, Aniang would not keep silent to them, and would not even mention it. Her mother can't go home now, the younger brothers have not been found, and they still have uncleared charges on them. If they go back hard, others still don't want to see them, and they are disgraceful for their assigned identities. Woolen cloth. What if after they go back? there is news about the younger brothers from Tiger Power Escort. If Aniang came back and said she wanted to go back, it would not be too late to think about going back. After Chen Dai's family was kicked out of Liwa village, within a few days, Murong Ki family bought six acres of wasteland at one time, and the news spread throughout Liwa village. For a while, there was a lot of discussion in the village, and people would talk about their house wherever they went. It's not surprising that the villagers are interested in Murong Qi family affairs. After all, the last time Murong Qi plotted against his eldest brother caused a sensation in the whole village. 
Chapter 306 Come to the door for forgiveness. They have never seen such kindness and vengeance in their lives, and such a cruel person to their loved ones. And Mirong Chi has always been raised by his eldest brother. After his eldest brother was separated, life was a mess. After what happened last time, everyone knew that Mirong Zhe would not care about him anymore, and they all waited to see the jokes of their family and see how miserable he would live. But who knew that after more than a month, not only did others not make life worse, but they still had money to buy wasteland, how could they not be surprised? A group of women from the Tian family and the Xia family were discussing in a low voice, and inadvertently glanced at the door of Murong Lingran's house, and suddenly shouted at Murong Lingran who was digging soil in the distance, Little Master. Murong Lingran was wondering, just turned his head and caught a glimpse of the person who entered their house, his face suddenly cold. In the Murong family at this time, Murong Chi smiled and put the prepared gifts on the table one by one for the children, and then looked at his eldest brother with a flat face, Brother, these five pounds of meat are for you. Murong Zhe glanced at the meat in his hand lightly, but did not speak for a while. Murong Chi didn't get a response, didn't feel embarrassed and looked at his three nephews enthusiastically, A Zong Akshu and Aquan, these three cakes are for you, all of them are from Yuxiang Jai, but they are delicious. The three brothers looked at each other, but didn't say a word. They just looked at their family with a probing face to see what medicine they were selling in the gourd. Seeing that they didn't respond, Murong Chi wasn't angry either. After putting down the cakes, he picked up a bag of candies, glanced around the main room, and said with a smile, Brother, isn't Aaron here? I heard that girls like sweets. This package of candy is specially prepared for her, please let her come out. Mrs. Chen also smiled and said, Yes, like the cakes, they are all bought from Yuxiang Jai. They are delicious. Aaron is not at home. Looking at the gifts on the table, Murong Zhe suddenly laughed at himself. Mirong Chi, today is the first time in your life that you buy something for this brother and your nephews and nieces, you have done me dozens of times. Brother Nian, I know your temperament very well, you can't afford to be unprofitable, just tell me if you have something, and if it's okay, I won't leave you. Mirong Chi didn't expect the eldest brother to say it so directly, and said with a smirk, Brother, don't say that, I also know that I was too much before so I'm not here to apologize to you for what happened last time. Apologize. Murong Chi hurriedly said, Yes, recently, I have also reflected on my previous behavior, and my father taught me every day, I also know that what I did in the past was too much, I only have one brother, and you used to be so good to me, no, it's good for our family. I don't know how to be grateful. Instead, I want to hurt you. It's really too bastard. I also asked my eldest brother and several nephews and nieces to forgive me this time. I promise to respect you in the future. Listen as you say, try to be a good brother, a good uncle, okay. Forgive you. Mirong Lingran suddenly walked into the main room and said loudly, Uncle, I have a question to ask you. If your answer is satisfactory to me, maybe Dad and I might think about it. Glanced at their family's clothes, finally, the salted fish turned over, why is it still the same as before? Didn't Grandpa let them hold the money? Is also right, let the uncle take the money, it is estimated that he will be able to go to the casino and lose everything in less than a day. Chapter 307 Vegetable Seeds Seeing Murong Lingran's return, Mrs. Chen hurriedly picked up the candy and held it in front of her with a diligent expression, Aaron, this is a candy that was specially bought for you, try it out and see if you like it. If you don't like it, it doesn't matter, you say what you like, and my aunt will go back and prepare it for you. Mirong Lingran walked to her father's side and stood still. She didn't even give a look at the candy in her hand. Chen Shi choked and said shyly, Okay, okay, you ask. Mirong Lingran looked at Mirong Chi with a half smile but not a smile, Uncle, you said that if your conspiracy is not exposed that day, you will get our land and house in a month, 
I want to know how you will settle our family. Murong Chi was stunned for a while, then forced a smile and said, Aaron, that incident has passed, and my uncle knows it's wrong. Let's not talk about those unhappy things now, okay? No, if I slap Murong Shui and say I've already slapped it, I know I'm wrong and ask her to forgive me, do you think she will forgive me? Murong Shui was stunned for a moment, then stood up suddenly, her face twisted, Murong Ling Ran, what did you say? Murong Ling Ran laughed, don't be angry, it's just a metaphor. It's not good for you to use a metaphor, but you want to use me as a metaphor, you did it on purpose, you gave it to me. Ax you. Seeing her father staring at her, Murong Shui had to swallow her words unwillingly, then returned to the chair and sat down. Murong Chi said flatteringly, Aaron, after all, uncle is your uncle, your father's younger brother, and you are my relatives, broken bones are still connected to tendons, I just want to take yours the house, the house and the land were just grabbed, no. I didn't think about what to do to you. Real. Of course it's true, you are my blood relatives after all. And your grandfather will not agree with me to drive you out a second time. Murong raised his eyebrows, oh, I see. Murong Chi was overjoyed and said excitedly, Aaron, have you forgiven us? Forgive me? I didn't say it, I just said to consider it based on your answer. I haven't considered it yet. After all, my uncle has driven me out of the badly injured before. If it wasn't for my luck, I would have died a long time ago. Now, there is still a hurdle in my heart that I can't pass. The house and land have been taken away, and you said you don't want to do anything to their family? Do you really think she is an ignorant child? Aaron, uncle really knows that he is wrong, so please forgive uncle. Murong Chi said with a bitter face. A big man made a coquettish sound to her, a little girl, and Murong Lingran suddenly shivered. Seeing that his daughter couldn't take it anymore, Murong Zhe hurriedly said, Okay, Murong Chi, tell me your intentions. I know you're not just here to apologize today. Murong Chi struggled for a while, he knew that if they didn't forgive him for what he had done before, they would definitely not agree to him, but they have come, it's okay to try, he gritted his teeth and said, Brother, then I don't have much. Talking nonsense, you should also know that I bought six acres of wasteland. I know, farm well, don't go to the casino, six acres of land can make you live well. Brother, I also want to live a good life, so I want to ask you, can you, can you sell me some of the vegetable seeds you plant? I want to grow vegetables with you to sell. Chapter 308 Help Uncle Chen had overheard the conversation of the women in the village some time ago, saying that their vegetables grew so well, not because of the land but because Murong Lingran bought the seeds from the city. As for who she bought from, not even the Xia family knew. Murong Zhe sneered, Murong Chi, you are indeed irreversible. Brother, what do you mean? You either agree or you don't, why are you saying it so ugly? Murong Lingran explained lightly, Uncle, I don't know if you have heard such a sentence, cutting people's fortunes is tantamount to killing their parents. Needless to say, you also know the current situation of our family, where money is used. There are more. There are so many things in the world that can make money, you don't know how to grow them, but you want to grow the same things as us, and even ask us to sell you seeds and rob us of our business. You say that your vegetables can grow into ours. Selling as smoothly as before. It's not that she doesn't give people a chance to reform. If Murong Kikin wants to disgust them and make trouble for them, then their business will definitely be affected next year. She is not so stupid to create a competitor for herself. And she doesn't think that Murong Chi is sincerely apologizing today. Can unite with outsiders to end the land and house of the pro-eldest brother. This person is vicious to the core. If there is a chance, this person will definitely stab them. Chen's dissatisfaction said, Aaron. You are serious, I heard that you bought another 50 acres of land and a small barren mountain. 
Your family now has a total of 75 acres of land. R6 How could the Mew of land affect your business? That's right. Murong Chi hurriedly said, We just want to drink some broth after eldest brother, eldest brother, you also know that I am not as smart as you, and I really can't find a way to make money, so please help help me, if my conditions are good, my parents will have a better life. Murong Zhe was still unmoved when he heard the words, he was not a fool, it was just wishful thinking to ask him to forgive him for hurting their family so badly in the past with just a few words and a little insincere gift. Murong Lingran sneered, you guys are really clear about my family's land, if I promise you, the dishes from the two families will be listed together, and there will be more supply, but there are only a few people in the city. Influences Aaron, just help uncle. Uncle knows that he was a in the past, and he will treat you well in the future, and will slowly compensate you, okay? Murong Lingran had never seen Murong Chi speak to her in such a low profile, but she didn't have any turbulence in her heart, she suddenly sighed and said, Uncle, don't make it difficult for us, what's not a kind of seed? Isn't it the same when you go to the seed shop to buy other seeds? Mrs. Chen pouted to herself, now that the part of the land in their yard was bought from the seed shop, and the appearance was horrible. How could it be sold for 20 cents a pound? It is also planting, and it takes the same amount of effort. Why doesn't she plant more expensive ones? Murong Kijian couldn't move Murong Lingran, so he took a step back and said, Aaron, can you tell my uncle who you bought the seeds from? Is it okay? Chapter 309 Only Call You Murong Chi Uncle, it's not that I didn't tell you, but that I don't know what that person looks like, and I don't know where he is now. She didn't lie, she was the seed of online shopping in her past life, she really didn't know the seller's appearance, and she didn't know where she was now. Murong Chi was instantly angry, stood up suddenly, and said gloomily, Murong Lingran, you just don't want to sell me seeds and help me with so many excuses. The three Murong Zong brothers also stood up abruptly when they saw this, and stood beside their sister without hesitation, staring sharply at Murong Chi as long as he dared to do something, they would not be polite. Murong raised her eyebrows and sneered, it only took a few words to show your true colors? Those who didn't know, thought you didn't come to apologize today, but came to collect debts. Since you can't hold your breath, then I won't talk nonsense with you. I want seeds, but I don't. There are no people who want to sell seeds. You take these things back, we don't care. The people in the village who didn't grow vegetables with us are still alive and well, and there are a lot of rich people, so you don't have to come here to pretend to be pitiful. Murong Zhe nodded in agreement, the boss, the second and the third, see you off. Please. Murong Zong said coldly. Murong Chi saw that Murong Lingran was so disrespectful, and his expression gradually became ruthless. He is so humbled, what else do they want from him? Just as he was about to step up and teach this unruly niece a good lesson, Murong Zong saw his intention and warned coldly, Uncle, if you dare to do anything to Aran, we will only call you Murong Chi in the future. Murong Chi was stunned and caught a glimpse of the three brothers looking at him with bad expressions, and said with a grim expression, OK, since you are so cold-blooded and ruthless, if your family has anything to do in the future, I will not help, let's go. He was about to leave when he saw the gifts on the table and gritted his teeth, since they don't need them, take them all back. Murong Shui was overjoyed when she heard the words, OK, Dad. After he finished speaking, he stepped forward and put everything in his arms, glanced at Murong Lingran disdainfully, and followed him happily. She wanted to leave for a long time, and she didn't approve of Dad coming to ask for help in a low voice. Although she hates Murong Lingran, there is one sentence she agrees with, what to grow is not to grow, why do you have to follow the uncle's family to grow vegetables? But she didn't dare to say it, for fear that her father would scold her. If these things are not sent out, they will definitely become their three siblings. This is Yuxiang Jai's dim sum candy.
she hadn't eaten it for many years. However, the fifty tails of silver given by uncle he was taken by grandpa as soon as she received it. Even if she had the guts, she would not dare to ask grandpa. Ask for money. Even these were bought by grandpa and asked by dad to bring them over. When she first bought it, she thought grandpa bought it for the three brothers and sisters, but she was disappointed when she found out that it was for Murong Lingran and the others. For a long time. It's all right now, these things are theirs again, and there is no need for cheap Murong Lingran's dead girl anymore. Chen saw that her husband and eldest daughter were gone, so she had to follow. Murong Cai saw that his parents were gone, so he quickly followed behind them. Murong King has been working in the field, so she never came. Chen saw her husband rushing ahead, and quickly caught up with him. Seeing that there was no one around, she quickly stopped him, His father, wait for me, I have something to tell you. Chapter 310 Four Kinds of Fruits What? Murong Chi said with an irritated face, just tell me if you have something to do. If we go back like this, Dad will definitely scold us. You forgot what Dad said when you came over. Murong Chi frowned and said, I didn't forget, he said that no matter what, he would ask for eldest brother's forgiveness today, and let eldest brother give me a hand. But you have seen it just now, they don't get into the oil and salt, and they still hate the past, I'm afraid even if I give this life to them, they will not forgive me, so what am I doing here? Am I being humiliated by them in vain? Chen Shi said anxiously, I know you are wrong too but how can we explain to dad when we go back? The money is all with him. If he is not happy, even if the family has money, we will not have a good life. Saw the children rushing up, Chen Shi hurriedly said, A Shui, A C A I, hurry up and think of a way to help your parents, and see how you can go back and say so that you won't be scolded by your grandfather. Murong Shui panted and said, when he saw that we went back with gifts again, he knew that things would definitely not work out, and he would definitely be scolded for no matter what he said. Isn't that the same as if you didn't say anything? Chen Shi frowned and looked at his son, ACAI, is there anything you can do? Murong CAI thought about it for a while, and said with a serious face, Father, Mother, in fact, Grandpa should also know that they will not agree, after all, the relationship between the two families is so tense now. How could it be possible to come back just because of an apology? Really? Grandpa should just want you to admit your mistake and try the attitude over there. It would be better if there is forgiveness. If he doesn't forgive, he probably won't say anything. Murong Chi nodded in agreement, Yes, yes, Daddy is not stupid. He also knows the temper of the elder brother. Even if the elder brother forgives, and Murong Ling Ran, she is not easy to deal with now. Chen Shi also felt that his son's analysis was reasonable, and suddenly heaved a sigh of relief. Thinking that he didn't get the seeds, he suddenly began to struggle again, then what do you think we will plant next year? Except for the vegetables they are selling now, I can't think of anything more valuable. Something. Murong Cai said indifferently, most of the villagers will plant whatever they want. I think it's good to grow rice, at least if you have enough food, you won't starve to death. Dad made a mistake. Grandpa must have anger in his heart. Grandpa will definitely be angrier if he is the one who is the main seeder next year and loses money or can't make money. Follow everyone to plant, although you won't earn any money, but even if it's a loss then, Grandpa probably won't say anything about Grandpa. Our family is not too short of money at the moment and we can live a good life. If you don't make money, you won't make money, right? Uncle and the others have already come to the capital. If there is any difficulty at that time, it's a big deal to ask uncle, he will definitely help us. Murong Chi and Chen Shi looked at each other, and felt that what their son said was reasonable. After thinking about how to explain when they went back, they returned home. After arriving home, as expected by Murong Cai, he was not very angry that Murong Zhe did not forgive them, 
but heaved a long sigh. After hearing that they wanted to plant rice honestly, Murong Liang had no objection. He said that they should plant it well and didn't say much. Asked their brothers and sisters to divide the cakes and candies, and urged them to go to the land to open up wasteland. A few days later, Helian Rongju just returned to the imperial study room, looking at the fruits on the table, then remembered what he said at Murong's house some time ago. Chapter 311 Find her to settle accounts. It hasn't been delivered for a long time, and he will forget it. Helian Rongju looked at the four kinds of fruits on the table, raised her eyebrows and said, She should have charged you a lot, right? Zeke smiled and said, For twenty pomelo, she received five hundred cents for one. Twenty apples, one a pound full, she received thirty cents for one. Twenty caddies of winter jujubes cost thirty cents a pound. Twenty caddies of oranges are also thirty cents a caddy. That's nearly twelve tails of silver in total, so it's only twelve tails for such an order. It really is a profiteer. Zeke said again, Miss Murong knows you will say that, she told you not to think it's expensive first, and said that she met you, so she gave the friendship price, if she sells it in the market, or next time you pay it back. If you want it, it is not at this price, and it will be sold even higher. She also said that apart from the grapefruit, the prices of other items are not expensive. They are better looking and several times better than the ones sold in the market today. After you try them, you won't complain about the price. Helian Rongju laughed, that little girl's mouth, a liar, she planted it herself, she naturally said good things, and only Zeke would believe it. However, these are indeed bigger and better looking than the ones sent by the Imperial Kitchen. This grapefruit is worth 500 yuan each. If it's not worth it, I will personally go out to her tomorrow to settle the account. Miss Murong also guessed that you would say that grapefruit is not worth it. She said that this grapefruit is different from Suan Kikuo. She bought it from someone who doesn't seem to be a native of China, and it is completely the same as our country's variety. It's different, she also decided to sell it at this price because she thought it tasted so good, and said that if you eat it, you won't feel bad for the money. Helian Rongju suddenly became interested, if that's the case, then you open it, I want to try it immediately. Yes. Zeke quickly took out the pulp of the grapefruit and put it on a side plate. Helian Rongju couldn't wait for him to peel them all, and as soon as he put down a small piece, he picked it up and stuffed it into his mouth. After tasting it carefully, he praised it unreservedly, sweet, full of water, and not sour at all, it is indeed better than what I have eaten before. Helian Rongju asked him to deal with the other three kinds of fruits. After trying all of them, he fell silent. This girl is really a talented person. No matter what she grows, it tastes so good. The taste of this grapefruit, he feels, is not comparable to the cherries he ate last time. After thinking for a moment, Helian Rongju instructed, let the people who carry vegetables buy fruits from her every day, and buy all kinds of fruits every day according to this quantity, and give some to the Empress Dowager, the Emperor's younger brother and the Emperor's sisters. Past. That price. I don't think there are many fruit trees in her yard. After this village, there will be no such shop. You won't be able to eat for a long time. It's just a little bit of fruit. If she wants to raise the price, she can raise the price. It's not very expensive. Okay, my subordinates will go and give instructions. After entering the twelfth lunar month, the weather became colder and the speed of land reclamation gradually slowed down. The fruits in the backyard are ripe. Every day, apart from the Minister of Rights and the Nine Young Masters Association, Murong Lingran plans to sell the rest by herself. After all, she still has a lot in her space. Half a month before the fruit ripened, Murong Lingran found several elderly people in the village who knew how to make bamboo baskets and showed them a bamboo basket she designed. Let each of them compile a sample for her, and after they are satisfied, let them follow the sample. As long as the quality is the same as the sample, she will buy it for ten pennies. 
Chapter 312 Ready-Made Connections In Xianqing Kingdom, the twelfth lunar month is always a month when people are busy visiting relatives and friends. Mirong Lingran saw the opportunity of this month and planned to sell in two ways. One is to use some fruits and wild flowers to make fruit flower baskets, which are convenient for people to give gifts. She matches and decorates the baskets and sells them one by one. A kind of cherries are still sold in bulk like the ones sold last time, and the price is all 50 cents a pound. Although the price of cherries was much higher than last time, many things were going up in price at the end of the year. There are very few people in Beijing who specialize in growing fruit for sale like her. Very few people sell fruit. I believe it will be sold. On this day, Murong Xian and Murong Lingran drove a carriage with a cart of fruits to Tianhe Tower, and explained their intention to shopkeeper Jie. Shopkeeper Jie confirmed her words, Do you want to sell fruit beside Tianhe Tower? Murong nodded, Yes, I wonder if shopkeeper Jie can agree? If not, I won't force it. I'll go to Minjiuilu and ask shopkeeper Huang. She had already thought about it. Tianhilo is located on Minghua Street, and the people who come and go are rich people. Her fruit is more expensive than the cherries last time. The guests who enter and leave Tianhilo are the most suitable ones to buy her fruit. It is natural to make good use of existing contacts. Hearing that Mirong Lingran was going to Minjia building, the shopkeeper Jia hurriedly said, Yes, of course it is possible, I was just hesitating where to arrange you. Since using the vegetables from Murong's family, the restaurant's business has been much better than before, there are more repeat customers, and the income has increased a lot. Murong Lingran can now be regarded as his god of wealth, the god of wealth came to ask him for help, how could he not help? Seeing him agree, Murong Lingran was overjoyed, I've already thought about it, I only need a place outside the door to park the carriage. The place 10 meters past the right side of the door is fine, it's convenient to park the carriage, it won't affect it. To incoming and outgoing guests. The location is very spacious, people passing by outside and people entering and exiting Tianhe building can see her fruit, killing two birds with one stone. Shopkeeper Jia glanced outside the door and nodded readily, of course it is possible. Murong Lingran also smiled and said, thank you. Shopkeeper. After said, he handed him a basket of fruits, I don't have much to offer. The fruits are still fresh and delicious. I hope Shopkeeper Jia will accept them with a smile. Shopkeeper Jia has never seen such a beautiful basket. Seeing that the fruits in it are in excellent condition, he stroked his beard and smiled and said, Then the old man is disrespectful. Murong Lingran quickly returned to the side of the road and asked the second brother to park the carriage under the roof on the right side of Tianhe building. Murong Xian is here to help his sister today, he will do whatever the sister asks him to do, so he puts the fruit basket on the long foldable table specially made by He Wenai. They came out relatively late, and it was almost noon after they were placed, so many people came out to eat. And what is the status of Tianhe Lu in the capital? Everyone in the city knows that this kind of high-consumption place has always disliked the image of the restaurant by hawkers hawking beside it. As a result, Murong Lingran's fruit stand received countless scrutiny from the very beginning. After all, there were many people who wanted to set up stalls there before, but all of them were driven away by the people from Tianhe Lu. Most people thought that the two children were young and ignorant, and they all cast sympathetic eyes on them when they saw that they were in full swing. Chapter 313 Fruit Basket Don't think about it, after a while those fruits will definitely turn into a pile of garbage, and the two children will definitely leave crying. Although some people watching the lively saw that their fruits were big and plump, they looked very good, and they also wanted to try it. But thinking that they might be chased away while shopping later, it would be too embarrassing, and many people gave up the idea of buying it. After waiting for a long time, there was no movement from Tianhe Tower. The people watching the fun couldn't help but start to think, is Tianhe Lu too busy? Haven't found it yet? After Murong placed the fruits in a sensible manner, he saw everyone staring at them from a distance, 
but he didn't come forward, and he immediately understood what they were worried about. Rolled his eyes, Mirong whispered something to the second brother, and then swaggered into the Tianhe Tower. Everyone was stunned, it was too late to hide from Tianhilo in this situation, and they dared to walk under the eyes of others. I just didn't expect that Tianhe Tower's shopkeeper would follow her out soon after, glanced at the position of their carriage, and nodded, as if he thought the position was good. Then I talked to her a few more words, and let her go back to work. The expressions on everyone's faces changed from shock to sudden realization. It turned out that it was storekeeper Jia's permission, or it was a country relative of storekeeper Jie, no wonder. Since it is allowed by Tianhilu, they have no worries, and some people who have been attracted by her fruit for a long time are curiously surrounded. Mirong Lingran saw this and hurriedly greeted, These are all fruits grown by my family. If you like it, buy some and go back and try them. They are all just picked from the tree, so they are guaranteed to be fresh. A fat boy with a roast chicken in his hand and two servants approached and asked curiously, How do you sell it? Mirong Lingran knew at a glance that this was a foodie, and pointed to the beautifully decorated fruit basket, this is two tails of silver per basket, if you are going to visit relatives and friends, you can buy this as a gift for your elders. Just go directly, it's very convenient. After speaking, he pointed to the four large baskets on the ground next to him, the fruits in the small basket are all made up of these combinations. If you don't like buying the ones in the baskets, you can buy these, except the grapefruit for a tail of silver. The rest of the winter jujubes, oranges, apples, etc., are all fifty cents a pound. As soon as the voice fell, one of the women onlookers said, Child, you are not meat, and they are too expensive to sell. The rest of the audience also nodded in agreement. These fruits looked big and plump. They were indeed different. I didn't expect them to be so expensive. Although they have money, the money is not brought by the wind. The province will still save it, and they will not easily take advantage of it. Mirong Lingran knew for a long time that they would question them, and immediately turned around and took out a few fruit bowls from the compartment behind her. She also put a lot of her homemade toothpicks on it, you can try it, if you feel satisfied. Buy again. The boy who was eating the roast chicken looked at the beautiful fruit plate and saw that he could eat it directly. He poked a small piece of grapefruit and took a bite. After quickly swallowing it, he tried other things. After trying all the fruits, seeing that there are a lot of fruits in the basket, he waved his hand, four fruit baskets here. Chapter 314 Underestimated Murong Lingran and Murong Xian were overjoyed. They didn't expect the first customer to be so generous. Little son, are there four fruit baskets? Right. Okay, a total of eight tails of silver. The boy instructed the servants to lift it up, and then let the servants take a look at the fruit plate just now, remember how it was placed, and gave eight tails of silver to nibbling on the roast chicken and left happily. Obviously, he also intends to go back and let people do this. Mirong Xian quickly picked up the fruit basket from the carriage to replenish. Everyone saw that the boy bought four fruit baskets so readily, and people started to try it one after another. If it was really good, they would like to buy them for their children. Oh, this grapefruit is so sweet, I have never eaten such a delicious grapefruit. This jujube is also sweet. My wife likes jujube the most. Oranges are also sweet, apples are also sweet and they all taste pretty good. I want a fruit basket. I want two fruit baskets. I want three fruit baskets. Mirong Lingran hurriedly said, Okay, okay, everyone come one by one, there are still many fruit baskets, don't worry. For the next period of time, the two brothers and sisters were always busy, and they didn't even have time to drink water. Therefore, in less than an hour, the fifty fruit baskets they brought were sold and earned one hundred tails of silver. Of course, in order not to take up space, they only installed ten of them, and Mirong Lingran installed the rest in the carriage, so that she could mix some of the fruits in the space from time to time. 
When Mr. Jia heard the excitement outside, he stood at the door curiously and took a look. Seeing that Murong Lingran's fruits were selling well, he heard a lot of people compliment them, and all the people who bought the fruit baskets were all smiles. Want to taste the taste of the fruit she gave him. I just didn't expect those who bought the fruit baskets to turn around and see Tian Hilu, and they stopped by for lunch, which made Tian Hilu more and more busy, so he never found time. A man dressed as a servant came over suddenly, glanced at the booth, and said in disappointment, Are there any fruit baskets? Murong smiled and said, No, but the taste in these big baskets is the same as the fruit basket, do you want some? It was because she underestimated the purchasing power of the people in the city. She didn't expect that fruit baskets would be the fastest selling at such an expensive price. There are still some baskets in her space but before she came, Dad suddenly took her brothers to count her fruit baskets several times, and she didn't want to take them out. The man looked at the fruits and was a little embarrassed. Murong Lingran could see what he was thinking, and quickly took out several cloth bags sewn with coarse cloth from behind him, Brother, I have cloth bags here that can hold things, I just made them and haven't used them. Ten pennies each. The man was instantly overjoyed and said excitedly, the girl really knows how to do business. Then give me five grapefruits, and the rest of the fruits will also be three caddies each, and they will be divided into a bag. Okay guest, please wait a moment. Murong Xian immediately packed the fruit he wanted and handed it to him. After the man gave the money, the rest of the people who were troubled by the fact that they did not come out with a basket also rushed forward to buy them. The two brothers and sisters started to get busy again, and soon all the fruits in the whole carriage were sold out. It consumed a lot of her space. Hey, it's actually sold out in the time of one meal. A woman said. Chapter 315 You admit the wrong person. When she came here just now, she watched people come out with fruit baskets one after another. She thought it was pretty and wanted to buy one to try. But there were too many people, so I planned to go in and buy lunch first, but I didn't expect that there would be nothing left after eating. Murong Lingran and Murong Xian were arranging the things they brought when they heard the woman's doubtful voice and turned their heads quickly. And when the woman saw their brother and sister clearly, her body froze suddenly, and she tentatively confirmed, Aaron, Akshuan, is it you? Murong Lingran's heart was beating wildly but her face was extremely calm, and she said calmly, Girl, you have mistaken someone, we are just people from the countryside, how could it be someone the girl knows? Murong Xian also said calmly, Yes, girl, we are not people you know, we are leaving, if the girl wants to buy it, come back tomorrow. The woman was immediately disappointed and said sorry. When she turned her head to leave, she saw her eldest brother coming to her side, Sister, how is it? Did you buy it? After the man finished speaking, he looked at the two of them, his face suddenly showing shock, and he said excitedly, Aaron, Akshuan, you are back? When did you come back? Why didn't you write to me and tell me, so I can pick you up? Where do you live now, and how are you doing? Why are you the only two? What about the rest of your brothers? And your parents, are you all okay? Thinking of what my sister said just now to buy fruit, she asked in confusion, Are you selling fruit for a living now? The woman saw that her eldest brother was also mistaken, for fear that he would frighten people, and hurriedly said, Brother, you think they are very similar, don't you? But they said we recognized the wrong person. The man was stunned for a while then looked at Murong Lingran, then at Murong Xian, his eyes firmly said, No, it's fine if there is only one portrait, it's impossible for two people to be so similar, there is no such thing as a coincidence. Although they haven't seen each other for more than three years, their appearances have indeed changed, but he and them have grown up together, and it is absolutely impossible to admit their mistakes. After finishing speaking, the man suddenly approached Murong Xian, looked him in the eyes and said in a very positive tone, You are Ashien, right? Murong Xian's heart froze for a moment, but his face was calm, 
young master, we have a low status, we really don't know you, and we have to go back in a hurry, please forgive me. After saying that, he quickly cleaned up the ground, pulled his sister into the carriage and left quickly. The man was about to chase, but the woman quickly pulled him, brother, they all said no, we may have really mistaken the person. The man was in a hurry when he saw that there were no carriages passing by, and suddenly turned his head to look at the signboard of Tianhe building, and hurried in. Manager Jie, who was the person selling fruit just now? The man asked directly as soon as he entered. Shopkeeper Jie said with a smile, Lu Gongzi, how can I know who they are? The man said solemnly, You old fox, what place is Tianhe Lu? How could you allow strangers to sell things next to Tianhilu, and they have been selling for so long, you must know them, right? Young Master Lu, you misunderstood, I really don't know them. Their surname is Murong, right? Those are the second son and eldest daughter of the Murong family, right? Shopkeeper Jia asked suspiciously, Young Master Lu, what are you doing to inquire about them? Are they your enemies? Chapter 316 There is no silver here, 300 tails. Naturally not. Since it's not, young Master Lu, please come back. I really don't know their identities. The man's sister suddenly came to him and said with a sad face, Brother, they may not really be, don't embarrass the shopkeeper, they can't come back, although I miss them very much, but we may be the same in our lives. There is no chance of seeing each other. The man quickly comforted, Little sister, don't worry, they will be fine, we will definitely see them again. Shopkeeper Jia has been a shopkeeper for many years, and he has been very accurate in seeing people over the years. These two must have no malice. Seeing the woman looking like she was about to cry, Shopkeeper Jia softened, opened his mouth, and suddenly swallowed the words in his mouth. They must have stepped forward to question Murong Lingran just now, they didn't admit it, and he wouldn't betray them either. The man caught a glimpse of shopkeeper Jia's expression out of the corner of his eye. After thinking for a moment, he finally said nothing, took his sister's hand and left. Others don't want to say it, and he can't force it. But the capital is so big, he has a way to know. At this time, Murong Lingran and Murong Xian were sitting outside the carriage at the same time, Murong Xian said with a tangled face, Aaron, are we going to go again in the future? Maybe we will meet them when we go. Although Aran is collecting all the money today, he also knows that he makes more money than selling vegetables. Has only been going on for a day, and he was really reluctant to give up like this. Murong Lingran didn't take it seriously and said, Go. Of course we have to go, and we didn't do anything wrong, why don't we go? It's us who don't go. Still go to Tianhe building. Yes, we can also sell fruit this month, and there are not many fruit trees. We will have a good year when we sell out. Murong Xian said hesitantly, Aaron, there are so many rich and noble families in Tianhe Lu, and there will definitely be more people who will recognize us in the future, should we? Second brother, do you mean disguise? Right. Murong shook his head, there's no need to disguise. We didn't flee back in fear of sin, but were pardoned by the emperor in an upright manner, and we didn't do anything wrong. Dad was also framed, so there's nothing shameful about it. And second brother, the looks of me and you have changed a lot compared to three years ago. Except for those who grew up with us, it is estimated that no one recognizes us. You don't have to worry at all. Many people have seen us today. If things suddenly change, wouldn't there be no silver 300 tails here? Murong Xian also felt that what his sister said was reasonable, so he no longer bothered. If the two people just appeared again tomorrow, they would just bite to death and not admit it, but... Where is Dad? Murong Lingran heard what happened when the third brother came back that day, thought about it for a moment, then frowned, let's not talk about it for the time being, although dad hasn't mentioned it in these days, he must still care about it, and it's hard to get through it. After a few months of quiet life, 
let alone the unpleasant things that made him sad. All right. After arriving at home, neither of them told what happened just now, but when they met old acquaintances, their faces were somewhat ugly. Murong Zong saw that something was wrong on the faces of his younger brothers and sisters, and said with relief, it's cold now, and it's normal that the fruit is not easy to sell. If it really doesn't work, we will keep it for ourselves. Murong Kwan also said, yes, Aran, second brother, it's okay. Chapter 317 Conflict Murong Zhe nodded in agreement. Murong Lingran didn't expect them to misunderstand, so he shook his head and poured the purse on the table, and the silver of the white flowers appeared in front of everyone. Father and son were shocked, so much money. Murong nodded with a smile, yes, there should be 120 tails here. Although her daughter told them the price she was going to sell in advance, Murong Zhe was still a little surprised when he saw so much money, Aaron. Did you have so many fruits shipped today? How can you sell so many fruits? Silver. That's right. Murong Zong and Murong Quan also had some doubts. Murong Lingran had already thought about the words, and said with a light smile, most of them are selling fruit baskets. The fifty fruit baskets I brought with me are all sold out, one is two tails, the fruit baskets look big, but if you don't have much there are one hundred tails of silver there. The father and son suddenly realized that they had never sold fruit before, so they didn't think much about it. In addition to the fruit that was transported by the Minister of Rights and Ninth Young Master in the morning, they earned nearly one hundred and fifty tails of silver a day from the fruit alone. The next day, Murong Lingran came to the front yard and heard someone knocking on the door. As soon as the door was opened, he saw Mrs. Xia anxiously saying, Little Master. Murong asked in doubt, Aunt Xia, why are you so anxious? Did something happen in the ground? Xia thought about it, it should be considered a matter of the ground, nodded and said, Little Master, it is like this. 